Chapter 226 Old Man Bailey's Decision The sun sets in the west and night arrives as expected. Outside Tinjiuxuan, the old man Bailey was lying on a wicker chair, looking up at the night sky. In his eyes, bright stars were reflected, and one of them was actually emitting golden light. He seemed to be doing something. His gray hair moved without any wind, and the dust on the ground rose up like a tent, covering his figure. After a while, the dust fell again, and the chi surrounding the old man slowly dispersed. Old man Bailey frowned and looked solemn. After being harassed by that boy for several days in a row, he decided to make a fortune for that girl Jinli. But this hexagram is actually blurry and unclear. When something goes wrong, there must be a monster. There are really variables. Old man Bailey muttered to himself. Just at this moment, there was a sound of footsteps. And the old man looked for sound. Qin Feng cupped his fists and said, Master, this disciple has been having the same dream these past two days. It is extremely real. Can you please clarify my confusion? As soon as these words came out, the old man narrowed his eyes slightly, as if he had thought of something, and said in a deep voice, Tell me about the content of the dream. After burning the incense, old man Bailey stood up and paced back and forth outside Tinjiuxuan. This was the first time Qin Feng saw the old man's solemn look, and his heart skipped a beat. Master, will something really happen to my wife? The old man did not answer, but asked again, about many details in the dream. 10,000 sword sword formation. Are you sure the sword that serves as the base of the formation is a purple sword wrapped with lightning arcs? Disciple is sure. Can that purple sword have the power to manifest itself and frighten the thunder when the heavenly calamity comes? Qin Feng carefully recalled the content of the dream, shook his head and said, In both dreams, the purple sword remained motionless in the formation. The nine heavenly thunders struck down, but they were all killed by my wife's cold water sword. The old man heard the words and thought thoughtfully. The purple lightning divine gun was forged from the nine heavens divine thunder. And the nine heavens divine thunder can be said to be the master of all thunders. When all the thunders see it, they must surrender. Even if the heavenly thunder confirms the hegemony of heaven and earth. The same is true for calamity. But in the brat stream, the purple lightning god didn't move. There are only two possibilities for this phenomenon. First, the purple lightning magic gun is fake. Second, in the heavenly thunder tribulation, there was a thunder that surpassed the nine heavens divine thunder, which blocked its power. After the nine thunderbolts struck down, are you sure that the last thunderbolt that came to the world was red? The old man frowned and had a bad guess in his mind. Qin Feng nodded solemnly. In both dreams, his wife was destroyed by the red thunder, so he naturally remembered it very clearly. Seeing that the old man looked wrong, Qin Feng hurriedly asked, Master, is there something wrong with the red thunder? Old man Bailey didn't answer. Above the nine heavens divine thunder, there is also a kind of thunder, called the life-destroying thunder, which has the terrifying power to destroy all life. According to legend, this kind of thunder was created by heaven in order to prevent the emergence of the most powerful existence in the world. However, in fact, this kind of life-destroying thunder has not appeared for an unknown period of time due to some reasons. Old man Bailey fell into deep thought. After a long time, he let out a breath and said, That's all. I'll go back tonight and make some preparations. We'll set off tomorrow morning to the Wan Jin sect. Qin Feng was stunned at first when he heard this. And then he was ecstatic. Although he didn't know how strong the old man was, he must be not weak if he could cast magical magic. If there is an old man standing by to assist the lady when she is going through the tribulation, then the probability of successfully overcoming the tribulation will be greatly increased. But... Master, don't you have to guard Ting Yushuan? Can you leave Jin on city at will? Qin Feng asked. The old man glanced at it, then stretched out his right palm and flipped it. In the blink of an eye, the three-story Ting Yushuan behind him shrank to the size of a palm and slipped into the old man's hand. Qin Feng looked surprised. Hei Tantu on the side was also shocked when he saw this. The misty peaks in the southern region. Wanjian sect. The continuous sword peaks covered by clouds and mist seemed to be floating in the sky. Among them, the highest sword peak is called Xingyue Peak. It has always been a sword peak that can only be controlled by the master of Wanjin sect. At this moment, on the mountainside of Xingyue Peak, there were many people gathered in a magnificent building. The leader is a middle-aged man with black hair, white temples, and a green and black coat. He is the current head of Wanjin sect and Lu Jinli's master Yu Huishuan. The remaining twelve in the lobby are the other twelve peak masters of Wanjin sect. They were summoned by the sect master. So they gathered here, 
Congratulations to the Sec Master. Lu Jianli's meridians have recovered from the damage. And he has also realized the fifth level of sword intention. He will surely lead the Wanjian sect to new heights in the future. Yes, with Nan Nizi's talent, it may not be impossible for her to step into the legendary realm of transcendence one day. It turns out that the sect leader has a keen eye for talents and has included her into the sect early. Listening to the compliments and flattery from everyone, the middle-aged man standing at the front was very impressed. He smiled and nodded frequently, but never spoke. After the twelve peak masters praised us for a long time, their mouths were a little dry, and they cursed in their hearts. Shameless! You invite us here again to show off your direct disciples. It's enough to praise you a few times. But you won't let us rest in the middle of the night? Seeing that the twelve peak master stopped talking to praise him, Yu Hushuan was a little uninterested and could only talk about the business. You should know that Jianli's girl repaired the damage to her meridians by chance. Now! The energy in her body is extremely full and she can hit the third level realm at any time and open the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth. Although she failed to overcome the tribulation last time, she will be able to survive it safely this time with the help of the sword ancestor sword, the purple lightning god June. Upon hearing this, all the peak masters nodded. Lu Jianli's talent and the blessing of Zidian Shijun gave him a high probability of successfully overcoming the tribulation. At that time, their Wan Jin sect will be able to add a third grave master to defeat sword emperor city, and Bin Wu Lijia. Seeing this, Yu Hushuan coughed dryly and said, If you want to better deal with the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth, you must naturally set up a sword array of 10,000 swords. Tonight, I invite you all to come here mainly to discuss which sword peak should be more suitable for this 10,000 sword sword formation. Don't be restrained and express your opinions. Yu Hushuan was in a hurry to settle this matter. And naturally it happened for a reason. First, because the Qi in Lu Jianli's body was almost unstoppable. They needed to set up the sword formation as soon as possible and let Lu Jianli spend some time to sense and pull the sword chi in the formation in order to defeat the 10,000 sword sword formation. Take control and deal with the catastrophe. Is this the second one? Due to Lu Jianli's previous confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth, there should have been 13 sword peaks. But now there are only 10 left. Therefore, no peak master would want his sword peaks to be affected. Sure enough, as soon as these words came out, None of the twelve peak masters spoke, and the hall fell into silence for a while. Yuhushuan pretended to be displeased and said, Why don't you guys say anything? Is it that adding a third grade master to our sect is not as important as your little Jian thing? This matter is related to the future of Wan Jian sect. The twelve peak masters looked at each other, suddenly understanding each other. I have an immature idea. How about setting the ten thousand sword sword formation as Xingyue peak? Huh? Yuhushuan raised his eyebrows. What a good idea. Xingyue Peak is the training place of the previous sect masters. The sword energy is so strong that only the sword tomb in the sect can be above it. As we all know, the stronger the sword energy around the 10,000 sword sword formation, the greater the power. But? Yu Hushuan raised his hand. Another person immediately interrupted. It's indeed true. And Lu Jinli is a direct descendant of the sect master. And he should survive the tribulation on the sect master sword peak, both emotionally and rationally. When the descendants of the sect saw the history of the sect, they saw this record and it was considered a good story. All the peak masters spoke to each other and finally said in unison, To sum up, My lord, the 10,000 sword sword formation will be located at Xingyue Peak. Yu Hushuan's face twitched, veins twitching on his forehead, and finally he nodded reluctantly, finally coming to a conclusion on the matter. Chapter 227 Departure for Wan Jin Sect In the luxuriously decorated room, Behind the gauze curtain, a vague black figure sat, tapping his fingers on the table, making rhythmic sounds. After a moment, a figure in black robe appeared out of thin air. Behind the curtain, a strange tone came out. How? In order for Lu Jianli to return to the Wan Jian sect to confirm the hegemony of heaven and earth, the purple lightning divine gun has been born as planned. The man in black robes replied calmly. Hearing this, the figure clicked his tongue and praised a third-grade sword god who is less than 20 years old. Who in the past and present can achieve such an achievement? It's just a pity that I made her disaster a little more difficult. No one can survive under the life-destroying thunder. The man in black robe asked, Why do you want to attack Lu Jianli? Are you worried that she will become a variable in future plans? If we give her some more time to grow up, she may become a variable. But it is definitely not now. In fact, I have no enmity with her. And this attack is not aimed at her. 
It's just that if you want to trigger the life-destroying thunder to come to the world, the person who can overcome the tribulation must be a genius. And she just meets the conditions. After a pause, the dark figure behind the gauze curtain said with a smile. Speaking of which, I am also grateful to the person who cured her Meridian's injury, which saved me a lot of time. Originally, I was planning to reselect by Wu Shuang from Sword Emperor City. Dickian is a master of swordsmanship, Lu Jianli of the Lu family, and by Wu Shuang, the daughter of the Sword Emperor. Although the latter is a little behind the former, it is still similar. At the age of 19, he has already comprehended the four mind hidden weapons realm, and is only one step away from the third level. Of course, during the journey of cultivation, sometimes, this last step will waste many years. In other words, your purpose is for that life-destroying thunder? The man in black robe asked. This is not what you need to know. According to the principles of your organization, you only need to do your job well. The figure behind the curtain said coldly. I understand. After saying this, the man in black robe disappeared in the blink of an eye. In the luxurious room. After a long time, a low voice sounded again. The life-destroying thunder that disappeared in the long river of history. I really want to see with my own eyes the terrifying power of destroying the world. Hey, this celestial phenomenon has changed. Behind the gauze curtain, the dark shadows stood up, then slowly faded away, disappearing out of thin air like a burst of mist. The next day, at dawn, Jean Fong got up, put on his clothes, and left the house. He was going to leave for Wan Jin Sek today to meet his wife. So naturally he couldn't neglect her. At the gate of Qin Mansion, the second mother and second brother were both there. Knowing that Qin Fong would be away from home for a while last night, they got up early in the morning to see him off. Fong, this trip is a long way. And it will take two days even if you don't say anything on the way. The weather is cold. So remember to wear more clothes and don't freeze yourself. I have prepared some dry food for you. Be sure to eat it. Erin Yang handed over a baggage and said, The world is too chaotic. Even if you take the official route, it is not absolutely safe. You must take more precautions. Never show off when you encounter danger. Avoid it if you can. You know? I understand. Erin Yang, don't worry. Jean Fong replied. On the other side, the second brother asked with concern, Brother, do you really don't want me to accompany you? Jean Fong shook his head. As long as the criminal guards accompany me, you stay at home and take good care of the house. Otherwise, I can't leave with peace of mind. Okay, big brother, you can rest assured that I am at home. Yes. Qin Feng patted the other party's shoulder, looking pleased. After a few people exchanged pleasantries, Qin Feng looked around and suddenly asked in confusion, Where is dad? Where has he gone? My son is going on a long trip. And this father doesn't know how to come out to see him off? When Erin Yang heard this, she opened her mouth but stopped talking. At this time, I heard my father's voice coming from outside the gate. I'm here. Qin Feng was curious, turned around and saw Haiden too acting as a groom, driving the carriage slowly to the gate. And in the carriage, a person opened the curtain and poked his head. Could it be his unreliable father? Dad, why are you in the carriage? Qin Feng said in surprise. Dad was very proud. I have thought of a great idea to make money before which is to go to Baiwa Valley to buy some tea and resell it. But I never had time to leave. I heard that you are going to Wanjin sect. So it just so happens that you can drop by. Madam, you can rest assured that I will accompany Fonger. When Xin Feng heard this, his expression immediately froze. How many punishments would he suffer along the way with this scammer? Er Nyong sighed. I tried to persuade him for a long time last night. But he patted his chest and promised that this time's idea would definitely make a lot of money. Fonger. You have to watch him closely. Don't let him waste your money in vain. The second brother also said solemnly. Brother, dad is just an ordinary person and has no cultivation experience. You should take more care of him along the way. Second mother, second brother, don't worry. I will take good care of dad. Qin Feng said helplessly with a sigh of relief. Dad, Qin Feng got on the carriage and waved goodbye to his family. A Tantu raised the reins of the horse in his hand. And the horse moved forward but the direction it was heading was not the gate of Jinyang City. Dad asked curiously, Aren't we going to Wanjin sect? Where are we going? Jin Feng replied, I have to pick up one more person before I leave. After a while, a figure appeared in the carriage. He has white hair, wears gray clothes, looks slovenly and unkempt, and holds the dirt in his ear with his right hand. 
He is not Qin Feng's chief master. Old man Bailey. Qin Feng briefly introduced each other's identity to the two of them. When Qin Jianan heard the word master, his expression changed slightly. Then he held his fists and saluted the white-haired old man. Old man Bailey also glanced at the other party and didn't say much. But the look in his eyes was quite intriguing. The atmosphere inside the carriage was eerily quiet for a moment. Qin Feng saw something unusual, but didn't pay much attention to it. He found a comfortable angle and was about to lean on it and squint for a while. But the smell of rancid food, like mold, filled the tip of my nose and was nauseating. When he opened his eyes and looked around, he saw the old man stretching his right leg and shaking the loose straw sandal on his right foot. Under the straw sandal, there was some black mud on the sole of his foot. And that sour smell comes from there. Master! Qin Feng looked ugly and hesitated to speak. What's wrong? The old man turned his head, grabbed his toes with his right hand, put it to the tip of his nose and smelled it. Qin Feng felt his stomach churn. He resisted the feeling of vomiting and stood up and said, It's too stuffy in here. I'm going to go outside to get some air. After saying that, he directly opened the curtain, sat next to Heighten too, and took a big breath. Uncle, it's freezing outside. Why don't you stay inside? I'm afraid that if I stay inside, I won't be able to see my wife alive. Qin Feng said resentfully. In the carriage, old man Bailey broke the silence. Isn't it tiring to pretend? Qin Jianan didn't take it seriously. Yes, unlike you. There is no need to pretend when we are outside Fontian City. The two looked at each other and within a moment, both smiled. But the sound in the carriage did not leak out at all. Chapter 228 The True Identity of the Ghost Leader Speeding on the Huarong Road The official road in the southern region. Qin Feng couldn't help but sigh in his heart. The main road is good. When they went from Jinyang City to Qiyuan City, they had to travel overnight to get there. Now, I'm afraid it only takes two hours at most. Peng Qing should have set off for Qiyuan City this morning. With his ability, he can definitely build the Wang Yueja branch. In this way, I can be a hands-off shopkeeper and collect money on time every month. Qin Feng never expected that in his last life. He was still a social beast. But in this life, he was only 19 years old. But he had already achieved wealth and freedom. I have to say, it feels so good to have money. Speaking of which, how is the guy who disguised himself as a man doing now? She also has my 10 altar immortal drunk there and runs the Jubio's Eye auction. So the price of the drinks can at least double. I don't know when the money will be in my hands. Qin Feng was thinking wildly in his mind. And the scenery on both sides changed rapidly as the carriage galloped. It felt like it was just a trance. The waning moon replaced the scorching sun. And night fell. A Tantu found an open place at the foot of the mountain. Wrapped the horse's reins around a thick tree. Turned around and said, It has been running for a day. And this horse needs to rest. Tonight, we will will you spend the night here? Qin Feng glanced around. Huarong Road was not far from here. With rolling mountains behind him, the night wind blew by, making the leaves rustle. That's fine. He responded and got out of the carriage. A campfire was set up and food was cooked. A group of four people sat beside the campfire, chewing slowly. Qin Feng glanced at the other three people and felt that it was more suitable for the current scene to gorge themselves. It would be too boring to be silent while eating. Thinking of this, Qin Feng took the initiative to ask about Haiden Tu's experiences when he was in the army. Xing Xing swallowed the food in his mouth and sighed with emotion as he recalled those war years. The chaotic world of monsters. Ghosts walking at night. Bandits causing chaos. And corpses littering the fields have always been the main theme of this era. The Shihou army went out to fight and saw too many tragedies in the world. Some demons and ghosts can erase mountains with just a few gestures of their hands. Some towns turned into purgatory overnight. For the common people in the world, staying alive is the most important thing. The campfire crackled, and Qin Feng felt quite uncomfortable when he heard it. Dad picked up the wine bowl, raised his head, and drank it all in one gulp. Under the illumination of the fire, the old man's face flickered. I don't know when the human race will usher in a healthy and prosperous age, Qin Feng said with emotion. Hearing this, Haydn too knew that what he had just said was a bit heavy. So he took the initiative to change the topic and mention the famous figures in Dechien, trying to make the atmosphere lighter. Needless to say, the Tianjian Imperial Master of Feng Tian City is a dragon that sees its head but not its tail. He sits high on the sky tower and overlooks the world. It was once rumored that if it weren't for the heavenly supervisor who controlled the world, 
Today's Dakian would only be in dire straits. Hearing this, Qin Feng deeply agreed and nodded in agreement. The father on the side raised his eyebrows and chewed the food in his mouth. The old man looked as usual, drinking wine and eating meat, feeling very comfortable. After talking about Tianjin Imperial Master, Haydn too mentioned another big shot in Feng Tian City, the rumored number one in martial arts, the supreme commander of the Demon Slaying Division. Suppressing God see you. He once killed a monstrous beast with eight levels of calamity power with one blow. His strength is unfathomable. And no one knows yet what level he has reached. Qin Feng looked thoughtful. He had naturally heard of the title of the highest position in the Demon Slaying Division, the God Suppressing Siyu. But the strange thing is that even though there are records about the God Suppressing Siyu in the books that I have read, his name is not mentioned. And this is also true for the Tianjian Imperial Master. It was as if there was something that deliberately erased their names. Haydn too took a sip of wine, moistened his throat, and spoke again. However, Xinchen Siyu hasn't personally taken action for a long time. So most people's impression of him remains in the legend but his two apprentices are still talked about. Two apprentices? Qin Feng raised his head. The father on the side paused slightly while drinking, but quickly returned to normal. Uncle, you must have heard the names of those two people. Not only have you heard of them, you have even seen one of them with your own eyes in Jinong City. Qin Feng seemed to have thought of something and said in surprise. The two people you were talking about, couldn't they be Nan Tianlong and Bei Guisho? Haydn nodded. Yes, it's them. Unexpectedly, the two most famous commanders in Dakian throughout the ages are actually the apprentices of the God-suppressing commander. If the head of the Lu family hadn't told the story after leading the army to fight and drinking too much, I wouldn't have known this secret. Qin Feng lowered his head and pondered. His interaction with Southern Territory Commander Nan Tianlong only ended with that appointment letter. But he is very familiar with Bei Guisho. When Qi Yuan Cheng invaded the city, Bei Guisho took action to turn the tide and rescued them on their way to Qi Yuan Cheng. On the night of the Hundred Ghosts Night Walk, he single-handedly killed powerful and strange-looking demons. Jinong City suffered a disaster. People from all sides gathered together, and the enemy's strongest fighting force appeared. It was also the Northern Ghost leader who stepped forward to force the powerful enemy back. I have to say that he still has a good impression of Bei Guisho, Haydn too said. Actually, if it weren't for the day when Jinong City invaded the city, the knife-wielding man, wearing a black robe, and a ghost face would have revealed the identity of Master Bei Guisho. I also thought Bei Guisho was dead. Eighteen years ago, Lord Ghost Leader went out to fight against powerful demons and ghosts. But there was no news after that. It was bad news for the entire Dakian. Qin Feng nodded slightly and said, But until now, I don't understand. Since Lord Ghost Leader was not dead, why didn't he show up again that year? And even gave up his position as commander of the North Territory? You must know that the commander of a domain is equivalent to a first-class military attaché. In the Dakian, he is a person who is respected by thousands of people and has great power. I'm afraid only he knows the reason why Lord Ghost Head did this. Heightened just shook his head and sighed. He also admired Lord Ghost Head quite a bit. If the Dakian Northern Territory is still controlled by the Ghost Leader, the world will surely feel more at ease. At this time, the old man who had been silent suddenly said, Everyone has something they have to protect and that guy must be the same. Qin Feng thought of something and asked, By the way, Master, the man who called himself Sword Ghost said that Lord Ghost Head was living in seclusion in Jinong City. You are such a powerful old man. But do you know the true identity of Master Guisho? You want to know? The old man turned his head and looked half-smiling. Disciple naturally wants to know. Who would think that he knows too many big guys? Qin Feng added in his mind. Actually, that person. The old man was about to say. Qin Feng and Haydn too also pricked up their ears and listened attentively. But at this moment, there was a violent coughing sound from the side. Dad, are you okay? The father waved his hand, pointed to his mouth and said, I ate too quickly just now. And I choked. Qin Feng showed a look of disdain. There is no one to compete with you. Why are you in such a hurry? Master, please continue. The old man picked up the wine bowl, glanced at it, and spoke again. How can an old man like me know the identity of Master Guisho? After saying this, he raised his head and drank the wine in the bowl. I don't know what you are trying to do. Qin Feng's expression froze, and he spat in his heart. Chapter 229 Entering the Valley of Flowers Nothing happened all night. It can't be said to be nothing. In the mountains and forests late at night, there were sounds of beasts roaring and ghosts howling. 
which made Sheen phone quite uneasy. But not long after, screams were heard, and finally the forest returned to silence. Hey Tantu explained that the monsters and ghosts in the mountains all have their own sense of territory. There must be monsters and ghosts competing for the territory, and the winner will be determined. But Sheen Fong always felt that things were not that simple. In addition, my father's frequency of nocturia is too high. Could it be that he has kidney deficiency? In the early morning of the next day, Sheen Fong and his party set off again and continued to move northwest along Huarong Road. The sound of horse hooves is rapid, and the cold wind is like a knife. The black tantu who was driving the horse was a martial artist of the sixth level of Shenwu. The severe cold was nothing to him, but Qin Feng was different. He was just a scholar, and his body was not that strong. He kept his head curled up and his clothes tightly wrapped along the way. Fortunately, he has entered the seventh grade righteousness realm and can protect his body with righteousness and resist the severe cold. Otherwise, with his body, he may not be able to bear it. Hei Tantu caught a glimpse of his trembling appearance and asked curiously, Uncle, why don't you get into the carriage? I want to live a little longer, Qin Feng said, and a breath of cold wind rushed into his mouth. It chilled his heart, and he immediately closed his mouth tightly. In fact, in the morning, he wanted to get into the carriage, but as soon as he opened the curtain, the sour smell hit his face, making him retreat instantly. He was very curious about how his father could hold back that stench. In the carriage, Qin Jianan looked at the old man lying on his side on the carriage chair and frowned. Can't you just close those stinky feet of yours? Old man Bailey plucked his ears and said indifferently. Why? Do you feel sorry for your son? Hey, he has just entered the seventh level righteousness realm. And the righteousness has not yet solidified. The cold wind blowing outside to guide the righteousness to protect the body can just exercise his control over the righteousness. Qin Jianan's complexion improved slightly. But the next words of the other party made the veins on his forehead jump. Of course, I was just making up nonsense. There is only so much room in the carriage. If he also sits in, there will be no room for me to lie down, the old man said with a proud smile, crossing his legs and shaking his stinky feet. So uncomfortable. The group of four people, except for a brief pause at noon to have lunch, continued galloping all the way. By the time it got dark, they had arrived in front of a valley. It was obviously the twelfth lunar month of winter, but outside the valley, the trees were lush and green and the birds were singing and the flowers were fragrant. Flowers that should only bloom in spring. Summer and autumn are still blooming here, and this is also the only way for them to go to Wanjin sect. The Baiwa Valley, which is like spring all year round and is colorful. Uncle, let's rest in this valley tonight. We'll be on our way early tomorrow morning. We'll arrive at Wanjin sect in no time. Qin Feng nodded. The coldness he felt when he was on the road was all dissipated when he arrived at this valley. Hey Tantu slowly drove the carriage along the road and into the valley. He looked at the people walking slowly in front of him inside. I didn't expect that there are so many people at this time. Qin Feng replied. The crowd flow in Baiwa Valley is comparable to that of most celestial cities. Uncle, why is this? Hey Tantu was puzzled. Qin Feng opened his mouth and explained. I also read the records from the book. For three reasons. First, Baiwa Valley extends in all directions. And most people going to the eastern region. Wanjin sect, and Fotian City have to pass through this place. Secondly, due to the characteristics of Baiwa Valley, it is warm as spring all year round, suitable for flowers to bloom. In addition, it is rich in tea. So many businessmen come here to buy goods. Thirdly, there are famous Dickey and Rouge gouache and exquisite camellias, which often attracts the female relatives of the rich and powerful. After going back and forth like this, the flow of people in Baiwa Valley is naturally large. Haydn nodded and suddenly realized. No wonder I heard people say that the imperial concubines and princesses in the imperial city sometimes come here to play. The two were talking when the father opened the curtain and looked ahead with excitement. This is the Baiwa Valley. When I buy some tea and resell it back to Jinyang City, I will definitely make a fortune. Qin Feng heard this and refused to comment. Baiwa Valley's tea is famous in Dakian, and there are naturally countless merchants who come here to buy it. But tea here is too expensive. Generally speaking, only rich nobles and relatives of the emperor can afford to drink it. As for Jinong City, it has just touched the threshold of some heavenly cities. Most of the people living in it are ordinary people who can afford this tea. The most important thing is, with dad's net worth, does he have that much money to purchase goods? When he was thinking like this, he saw his father stretching out his palm and spreading it in front of him. 
Qin Feng raised his eyebrows and felt something bad in his heart. What do you mean? Purchasing tea is a big expense. You can lend me some of your money first. After I resell the tea and earn money, I will return it to you with interest. The father said plausibly. I knew it would be like this. Qin Feng stroked his forehead. How much do you want to borrow? Dad pondered for a moment and stretched out a finger. Ten thousand tails? Qin Feng looked thoughtful. This little money was not too much for him. Moreover, Baiwa Valley's tea is famous far and wide. So even if it can't make a huge profit, this cheating father probably won't lose money on it. To put it simply, it is more value preserving. After weighing the balance, Qin Feng nodded and planned to take out the money from the Sumer ring. But his father hesitated and said, Is a thousand tails too much? Or five hundred tails? It turned out to be a thousand tails. Qin Feng's expression froze. Years of losses and poverty have limited my father's imagination. How can I buy the tea in Baiwa Valley with this little money? Forget it. As my son, I can't let my father lose face in Baiwa Valley. Qin Feng thought like this, sighed, and then handed over 600 tails of silver. Dad immediately accepted it with a smile. In the carriage, the old man looked strange when he saw this scene. But he didn't say much. Hei Tantu drove the carriage to follow the crowd into Baiwa Valley. After walking for several miles, his eyes suddenly opened up. The flowers in the valley are so beautiful that they are far more attractive than the scenery outside the valley. Exquisite pavilions and pavilions rise from the ground, shrouded in colorful gauze. Like a fairyland, not far away, there stood a door with carved pillars, and on both sides of the door, there were two pretty girls with graceful figures and colorful clothes. They smiled and asked passersby, and then either let them go or asked for something. Qin Feng inadvertently glanced at the swollen breasts of the two girls, saw the camellia pattern embroidered on them, and immediately understood their identities female disciples of the Baiwa sect. There is Baiwa sect in Baiwa Valley, which can also be regarded as the manager of this place. More than 80% of his disciples are girls, and they are beautiful girls. If you want to enter Baiwa Valley, you must follow their rules. If one uses this place to pass through, then a female disciple will take him out of the valley, and he will not be allowed to stay too long. If you want to stay in the valley, then you have to weigh each person's head and leave two coins for each person. In addition, there is another way, which is to write a poem, and the people in Baiwa Valley will choose it to be included in the elegant courtyard for people to appreciate. It is worth mentioning that people who stay in Baiwa Valley through the second method can enter and leave Baiwa Valley at will for life, which is equivalent to a distinguished super VIP. However, since Baiwa became famous, the number of poems that have been selected for Yuting has not exceeded 10, which shows how difficult it is. Chapter 230 Yuting A group of four people soon arrived at the gate with carved pillars. The two pretty girls guarding the door couldn't help but light up when they saw Qin Feng, who had a handsome face and was dressed as a scholar. There are all kinds of people coming and going to Baiwa Valley every day. They have been guarding the gate for so many years. When have they ever seen such a handsome and handsome young man? He immediately smiled and stepped forward. Do you and your group want to use the land to travel? Or do you want to stay in Baiwa Valley? The girl on the left chuckled and glanced at Qin Feng unconsciously. There are four of us and we want to stay here for one night. Black Tantu tightened his horse's reins and replied. When the girl guarding the door heard this, she nodded and said softly, Do you know the rules here? If you want to stay in Baiwa Valley, each person needs to leave two coins. If there are four of you, that is eight coins. Okay. After hearing this, Qin Feng planned to take out some money from the Sumer ring. But at this time, another girl said again, But there is another rule here. If you can write poems and be selected into the elegant court, you can pay nothing. And from now on, Baiwa Valley can come and go at will. I see that the young master is dressed like a scholar. Would you be interested in giving it a try? While speaking, the girl looked at Qin Feng, her eyes moving. Sia Languzi, I am asking, what can you say? The girl on the left raised her eyebrows slightly and added, Not only that, if the poems are selected into the elegant courtyard, they will also be available for others to appreciate. You know, Baiwa Valley has a lot of people coming and going every day, which is a great honor for a literati. Among other things, there were several young masters from the Howing Courtyard in Fontian City who left poems in the elegant courtyard, which are still talked about today. After she finished speaking, she pointed to a flower garden not far away. Outside the flower court, a group of people gathered around, pointing to the volumes of poems framed outside the court and praising them. At the top of the flower garden, 
A pair of poems framed in gold is particularly eye-catching. That flower garden is what the girl calls the elegant garden. Hearing this, Qin Feng pondered for a moment, then shook his head. No need. As he said this, he took out eight pieces of silver from his arms. The two girls looked at each other with a trace of disappointment in their eyes. After paying the money, Haydn too drove the carriage past the gate of Baiwa Valley and asked curiously, Uncle, why don't you give it a try? With your talent, it's just a poem. It's nothing to worry about. Right. It's only eight coins. Why bother with that effort? What's more, the art of poetry comes from feelings. How can it be inspired by this yellow and white thing? Qin Feng didn't care. Just at this moment, there was a burst of exclamation from the elegant courtyard. Look! Look at the flowers in this flower garden. It's true that as long as good poems are published, the elegant garden will bloom. This budding flower has already bloomed 60% and is still growing. It's incredible. It's incredible. Could it be that this poem is going to become a new poetry crown? At the gate of the carved beams and jade pillars, the two guard girls heard the movement and looked for attention. Then, they opened their mouths slightly and their beautiful eyes widened. The girl standing on the left exclaimed in surprise. The flowers have bloomed 70%. Hurry up. Go and report to the sect master. Another famous poem has been selected for Yuting. Okay. I'll go right away. The plump girl ran towards the valley, her chest making waves. Uncle. Look. Haydn too looked at Yuting with curiosity on his face. The flower garden, which was originally full of flower buds, is now blooming with all kinds of flowers colorful and gorgeous, and the refreshing fragrance of flowers is assaulting your nostrils. Qin Feng looked thoughtful when he saw it, and couldn't help but recall the old man's den when stove. That thing will also exhale white smoke according to the quality of the poem. The higher the white smoke, the better the poem. Come to think of it, this Yuting is also a treasure similar to the din when furnace, except that the white smoke is replaced by budding flowers. The father and the old man in the carriage also heard the commotion, opened the curtain and looked at Yuting. The latter glanced at the scroll of poems, expressionless, and lay back on the carriage again. After seeing the reason for the commotion, Dad muttered, I thought we were trying to grab good tea. After saying that, he closed the curtain again. Uncle, do you want to go and have a look? Xingsheng asked, tilting his head. Qin Feng's eyes flashed with golden light, and he glanced at the poems outside the elegant courtyard. They were all about romance, snow, moon and beauty. I think so. Places like Baiwa Valley are naturally elegance-oriented. Some of the poems above are not bad, but some of them are just packed with rhetoric and a bit average. However, the poems framed in gold do have a noble style, and they should be the poem crowns that someone mentioned before. Looking at the flower garden again, 80% of the flowers have bloomed, and the remaining flowers have stopped blooming. Everyone sighed with regret, because the original poem crown caused 80% of the flowers in the elegant courtyard to bloom. But today's poem still failed to surpass it. But even so, it does not prevent everyone from admiring the person who wrote the poem. After all, a scene like this hasn't happened for an unknown amount of time. The girl guarding the door walked up to a young man in green and said something with a smile on her face. The young man in green must be the one who composed the poem. Qin Feng glanced at the man's back and shook his head. Let's go. I plan to go and see other places. So don't waste time here. We found a restaurant. Booked a room and dispersed. The old man was too lazy to move. So he walked directly to the guest room and ordered a table of good wine and food. Dad asked the waiter where he could buy tea, and then left happily. Qin Feng and the other two were wandering around the Baiwa Valley where people were coming and going, and the fragrance of flowers was overflowing. Although he was just wandering around, Qin Feng also had a purpose. In addition to the rouge and gouache that are loved by women in Baiwa Valley, there are also exquisite and beautiful jewelry that attract many women. He just wanted to choose a good piece of jewelry for his beautiful wife. Of course, if you have enough time, it is not impossible to choose one for Ning Shuang and Song Girl. According to the previous instructions of the waiter in the restaurant, Qin Feng and the two quickly arrived in front of an exquisite attic. On the attic, a plaque is particularly eye-catching, with three big characters written on it. Bao Yexuan. This is also the best store selling jewelry in Baiwa Valley. As soon as he entered the attic, a pretty girl came forward to greet him warmly. After learning the purpose of Qin Feng's trip, she took the lead in introducing the most popular jewelry styles in the store. During this period, Qin Feng also asked Haydn too for his opinion. But the answer he got was the young lady has studied martial arts and swordsmanship since she was a child. 
and has no interest in these women's things. In desperation, Qin Feng could only choose the jewelry for Lan Ningxuang and Song Filin. Uncle, I don't care about this. Just buy two pieces and that's enough. Xing Sheng persuaded him when he saw his uncle still browsing Baodai Pavilion. The jewelry here is not cheap. A piece costs at least several hundred tails of silver. And the two pieces that my uncle picked out earlier cost a thousand tails of silver. No, you misunderstood. I haven't chosen the jewelry for your lady yet. Qin Feng said without blushing. Isn't it always right to buy a few more pieces when you come to buy Wa Valley? The pretty girl heard this and said with a smile. Young master is right. Apart from Yuxiafang and the imperial capital, Baiwa Valley's jewelry is the most famous. I don't know which girl is so lucky to marry the young master. If I told you it was Lu Jianli, I'm afraid you would think the other way around. Qin Feng didn't answer, but asked, Besides these, are there any other jewelry? I see you have three floors. Can you take me up there to have a look? The designs of the jewelry downstairs were too complicated, and he always felt that they did not match Lu Jianli very well. The girl nodded slightly, but said something incomprehensible before going upstairs. Master, I have agreed with you in advance that the jewelry on the third floor cannot be bought with money. It depends on fate. Fate? Qin Feng and Qin Feng were curious and both expressed surprise. You two and I will go up and take a look. Chapter 231 Beauty Poem Following the girl who led the way to the third floor, there were a lot less jewelry. But each piece of jewelry was protected in a transparent glass cup, which clearly shows how precious it is. These jewelry are not like those with clear price tags on the second floor downstairs. The transparent glass cups only have some incomprehensible words written on them. For example, rain, frost, autumn, moon, etc., to name a few. The girl saw the confusion in Qin Feng's eyes and explained with a smile. Young master, have you seen the words on the glass cup? If you want to take away your favorite jewelry on this floor, you can pay nothing. But you must write a poem with that word as the title. If the poem written can cause the glass lamp to open, the young master can take away the jewelry inside. Qin Feng had a strange expression on his face. Is poetry so respected in Baiwa Valley? The same is true for Yuting. And the same is true for Baodai Pavilion. He strolled through the third floor and glanced at the jewelry in the glass cup. Most of them were extraordinary. Some of them are not even considered jewelry, but treasures. Qin Feng pointed at a treasure and said in surprise, This thing also follows the same rules? The girl smiled and nodded. As long as it can trigger the glass lamp to open, no matter what is inside, the young master can take it away, and we won't charge a penny. But if the glass lamp cannot be opened, even if the young master is willing to spend thousands or ten thousand gold, we will not sell it. These are the rules on the third floor of Baodai Pavilion. Qin Feng understood, and then walked towards the depths of the third floor. Soon, he was attracted by a white hosta. This hosta is completely snow white with faint blue water-like patterns on it. The overall shape is like a sword without too many complicated decorations. Although simple, people will be deeply attracted by it at first glance. And with just one glance, Qin Feng decided that this was the best gift for his wife. He even seemed to have seen the lady wearing this hosta on her head, flipping her hair around her ears and smiling slightly. That's it, Qin Feng said excitedly, then looked down at the glass lamp, and there were two words written on it beauty. Sure, Xian. I'm so sorry. For my wife's sake, I'll lend you a poem. Qin Feng thought about it and wanted to write. However, the pretty girl on the side warned. Sir, wait a minute. What? Are you going to regret it? Black Carbon Head asked with a frown. Qin Feng also tilted his head, showing curious eyes. Whatever this lord said, the rules have been set, and there is no reason to go back on it. I just want to remind the young master of something. In fact, this piece of jewelry has been admired by many people before. But those people, without exception, all failed in the end. Xing Sheng didn't take it seriously and said confidently, They are not talented enough to write poems to trigger the glass lamp to open. Naturally, it can only be like this. But my uncle is not comparable to them. The girl responded with a smile. My lord is saying that your young master is not an ordinary person at first sight. But what I want to say is actually another thing. When you two enter by Wa Valley, you will definitely pass by Yuting. Have you seen the gold frame poem? Are you talking about the poetry crown? Qin Feng asked. It seems that the young master has seen it before. To be honest, the young man who wrote the poem also took a fancy to this hosta. There was an implicit meaning in the girl's words. Heighten 2's expression changed slightly. 
although he wielded swords and guns all day long and didn't know a word of poetry. Someone who could write the best poems must have good literary talent. But even such a person could not take away this hosta, which shows how difficult it is. Turning his head and looking to one side, he saw his uncle's brows slightly raised. The girl shook her head slightly. She didn't know how many times she had encountered this situation. So she got to the point directly. When the young man wrote the poem, he failed to cause the glass lamp to open. And he was quite unconvinced. We felt that our bailed Yekshuan store was cheating customers. So in desperation, we found the shopkeeper. However, our shopkeeper has a somewhat strong temper. At this point, the girl seemed to have thought of something. Couldn't help but sigh. And then explain the reason. It turned out that the young man who wrote the poem was righteous and said that he could induce 80% of the flowers in Yuting to bloom. So how could he not be able to open a mere glass lamp? When the shopkeeper of Bao Yekshuan heard this, he bluntly said that the young man's poetry skills were not good enough and were just superficial. So what if the flowers in Yuting are 80% in bloom? If you want to open the glazed cup of the hosta, you must at least induce 90% of the flowers in Yuting to bloom. Or even 100%. The young man was so angry that he could not speak. Who in the past and present could write such a poem? The incident got bigger and bigger, and finally attracted the leader of Baiwa sect. Seeing that neither party was willing to give in, the sect leader thought of a way. Yu Ting was originally a treasure of the Baiwa sect. So the sect leader established a connection between the color glaze cup of the hosta and Yu Ting. He also threatened that in the future, writing poems for the hosta's glaze lamp would be equivalent to writing poems for Yu Ting. If a poem that can cause the glass lamp to open can indeed cause more than 80% of the flowers in the elegant courtyard to bloom. It means that young people are not yet good at poetry. As soon as this method was mentioned, the shopkeeper of Baodexuan immediately agreed. But the young man was still unconvinced. If no one could open the glass cup, wouldn't it be impossible to prove this statement? But in the end, the young man still gave the Baiwa sect leader a face and stopped worrying about the matter. After hearing these words, Qin Feng raised his eyebrows. In other words, if I write a poem for this glass lamp, will it also be revealed in Yuting? Yes, sir. The girl nodded slightly. She actually gave this reminder because she had a good impression of Qin Feng. After all, except for the young man who had some poetic talent, most of the others who came to the third floor had half a bucket of water hanging there. And the poems they wrote could be said to be unsightly. It would be fine just to be embarrassed here. But to be embarrassed in public would be too embarrassing. Qin Feng saw the girl's thoughts and said with a smile, Thanks for the reminder. Young master, you don't need to say thank you. The girl breathed a sigh of relief, thinking that the other party had given up on the difficulty. But she was surprised to find that the handsome young master in black had picked up his pen again. Sir, you? Sorry, I am very happy with this hosta. So I still want to try it. The girl sighed after hearing this. In that case, sir, please do as you please. She only hoped that the poems written by the young man in front of her could be as good as his appearance. In that case, at least in terms of face, we can still get by. Qin Feng picked up the pen, exhaled a breath, and then wrote freely under the white scroll beside the glass cup. I saw. The clouds think of clothes. The flowers think of face. The spring breeze blows on the threshold, and the dew is thick. If we hadn't seen him at the top of Chuanyu Mountain, he would have met at Yao Hai under the moon. The girl kept staring at the tip of Qin Feng's pen, her expression constantly changing. At first, she was a little surprised. Then her eyes were full of astonishment and anticipation. Until the moment she wrote the last line of the poem. She felt shocked inside, and her scalp was numb. There is such a beautiful poem in the world. The black charcoal head on the side also widened his eyes, and had goosebumps all over his body. He is a martial artist with little education, and cannot say any decent words of praise. I just want to say something in my heart damn. My uncle is awesome. Chapter 232 Of course she is my wife. In an attic surrounded by white mist and flowers. Incense curls up. At a glance. The floor is paved with white jade. And the beams are made of expensive fragrant wood. Even the screens and scrolls on them are all painted by famous figures in the imperial capital. At this moment. Two beauties were sitting opposite each other in the attic. Sipping scented tea. The one on the left is a woman wearing pink clothes. Her hair is tied with black hair on top of her head and fixed with golden steps in the shape of a phoenix. She had narrow eyes, a high nose bridge, and plump lips. The colorful clothes that covered her figure actually looked a little tight on her body. This is a well-established beauty, with a different kind of charm in her every move and gesture, which is fascinating. And she is the leader of Baiwa sect, Jiang Yeshin. 
On the other side, there is a woman wearing a black skirt, with black hair falling down like a waterfall, covering her plump buttocks sitting cross-legged. Her face was covered by a black scarf, so her face couldn't be seen clearly, but from her prominent silhouette, it could still be seen that she was a complete beauty, especially those eyes, with a light blue light like ice, which is amazing. Her name is Song Mu, and she is the shopkeeper behind many jewelry shops and rouge and wash shops in Maiwa Valley. And Bao Dai Xian is also one of her assets. Jiang Yeshin picked up the teacup, took a sip, and spoke softly, with a soft voice. Wan Jin sect has not been peaceful recently. It has closed its doors to thank guests. And outsiders are not allowed to enter at will. Song Mu stretched out lazily, revealing her plump figure. She didn't take it seriously and replied calmly. It's just that Lu Jinli went back and wanted to open the seal of the hegemony of heaven and earth. So that's it. The night before. The thunder on the top of Xingyue Peak was also because of this? Song Mu didn't reply and stared at Jiang Yeshin, making the latter feel quite uncomfortable. Why do you look at me like this? Jiang Yeshin couldn't bear it and asked curiously. That thunder is because the purple lightning divine gun, the sword of the sword ancestor of the 10,000 sword sect, was born. They will use it as the base to build the 10,000 sword sword formation to help Lu Jinli survive the catastrophe. Also, Yi Xian, if you want to ask about Yu Xuan, just be direct and don't beat around the bush like this. I don't want to be like this when facing my knees. And I still don't want to be like this when facing you. Why are you asking about Yu Xuan when you have nothing to do? Jiang Yeshin's expression remained unchanged, and she took another sip of tea. Xing Yue Peak is that guy's sword peak. You heard people say that there is a thunderous thunder there. So you came here to ask me specifically because you were worried that something was wrong with him. You look just like my niece. You are obviously asking about things related to your sweetheart. But you have to pretend as if nothing has happened. Do you really think that everyone else is a fool? Song Mu covered his mouth and yawned. Although her thoughts were revealed, Jiang Yeshin remained calm and composed, and directly changed the subject. I heard you mention before that your niece settled in a remote town by the family's orders. How did you meet her? The matter there is over, and her family members are urging her to go back quickly. But non Easy is probably unwilling to leave because she has a sweetheart there. I was ordered by my family to contact her and ask her to go back and visit the old man to avoid anything happening. Song Mu shook the teacup, then raised his right hand, covered his face with his sleeve, and drank all the scented tea. Jian Yeshi nodded. No wonder you weren't here a few days ago. Then again, the rule in your family is that before a woman leaves the court, her true appearance can only be seen by her future husband. But I'm just a woman. In front of me, you can just lift up your face and be casual. Why go to all the trouble of drinking tea? Song Mu put down the teacup and said leisurely. I was born too beautiful. I'm afraid that when you see my true face, you will fall in love with me and forget about the lover in Wan Jin sect. In this case, I will feel guilty. Jiang Yeshin's eyelids twitched. And after a moment, she exhaled and spat. Not long after, I heard hurried footsteps coming from the stairs. The girl who was guarding the door came running out of breath and said excitedly, Sec Master, there is another poem in Yating that caused 80% of the flowers to bloom. Huh? Jiang Yeshin was stunned for a moment, then tapped the void with her finger, and the picture in Yuting immediately appeared. This can also be regarded as the function of Yuting's treasure, which can be projected from a distance. In the picture, a poem scroll floated up, and within a moment, it was as high as the previous poem crown. She read it carefully and couldn't help but admire it. I didn't expect that after so many years. I saw a masterpiece again. Looking at the beauty in black dress in front of her, she saw her lying lazily on the table with no intention of raising her head. Jiang Yeshin couldn't help but asked curiously, Don't you usually like these things involving culture the most? There is a great work published today. But why do you think you are not interested at all? Come on! Your Baiwa sex elegant court must not have any appreciation ability. The poems that can be selected are just things that can barely be read at best. Jiang Yeshin understood that the other party was referring to this. The young man who wrote the poem could not even activate the glass lamp in the Baodai Pavilion. I know you have high vision, but you don't want to think about it. Dakian poetry has been weak for a long time. It is really not easy to produce such a masterpiece. You must know that even among those who came from Howing Court in the Imperial Capital, only a few people could leave their own poems in the elegant courtyard. Huh. Song Mu disapproved and sneered. As far as she was concerned, the scholars in Howen Academy were just a group of mediocre people. They couldn't write poetry. But at this moment, in the void projection, 
the people around Yuting suddenly became commotion. And they heard an exclamation. Oh my god. This. These flowers are all blooming. Hearing this movement, the two beauties looked at each other. I saw a riot of colors and colors. And the stamens of each flower were glowing with color. Which was dazzling. It's really all opened. Who is this person? He has such ability? Jiang Yeshin looked surprised. But when she saw the young master and Sing Yi with the same shocked expression in the void projection, she understood instantly. The person who caused 10% of the flowers in Yuting to bloom was not this young master at all. Suddenly, in the Baiwa Valley, there were golden words like shooting stars, streaking across the night sky, falling into the elegant courtyard, and then forming poems in the void. Everyone looked at the hanging golden poem. Their eyes widened, and they took a breath. They had never seen such poems before and they only felt their heartbeats speeding up and their breathing stagnating. Even if they exhausted all the words of praise in their minds, they could not describe the beauty of this poem. Who is it? Who wrote this poem? This is the answer that everyone here wants to know. Jiang Yeshin thought about the direction where the golden words jumped out, and the beauty in the black dress, who was listless before stood up and disappeared into the attic. Sick master. The girl who came to report was a little at a loss. Let's go to Baodai Pavilion. Qin Fong glanced at the poem that jumped out of the window and didn't pay much attention to it. Because in front of him, the glazed lamp holding the hosta had been slowly opened and a burst of white mist dispersed, which clearly showed how extraordinary this hosta was. The girl leading the way was still immersed in the previous poem and couldn't extricate herself. It wasn't until Qin Fong spoke that she came back to her senses. The glass cup has been opened. Can I take the hosta? Ah? Well? The girl nodded blankly. He had just written a masterpiece, but his expression didn't change, and he only cared about the hosta. Hearing this, Qin Fong quickly reached out to pick up the hosta. He felt a coolness where he started, which made people feel quite comfortable. He originally wanted to incorporate the hosta into the summer ring, but found that it couldn't be accommodated. It can be seen that this hosta is a treasure of high quality. Qin Fong was secretly happy in his heart, but he quietly put the hosta into his arms, and said calmly to Hei Tantu beside him. Now that we have the hosta, let's go. Ah, uh, Oh. Okay. Uncle. Hey, Tantu was also a little dazed. The two of them were about to leave. When the girl saw this, she reacted and said hurriedly, Master, are you leaving now? What? Do you want to regret it? Qin Fong frowned. Of course, that's not what you meant. It's just that you just made such a poem. Don't you want to stay here and wait for the people from Baiwa Sect to find it and let everyone know that the poem was written by you? for a scholar. This is a great honor. Qin Fong raised his eyebrows and waved his hand. No need. I have always been indifferent to fame and wealth. And I don't care about these false reputations. Of course. The most important thing is to get this treasure. He doesn't want too many people to know about it. And he is also afraid that the shopkeeper of Beodexuan will regret it after he comes over. When the girl heard this, she was extremely shocked. This young man was completely different from the scholar she had met before. No wonder he could write such a shocking work. Seeing that the two were about to leave, the girl summoned up her courage and asked, Can you tell me, sir, who is the person written in this poem? Qin Fong paused and replied with a smile. Of course she is my wife. After saying that, he left without looking back. The girl was left alone, stunned in place. Chapter 233 Beauty Garden As soon as Qin Fong and the two left Bao Dai Pavilion, the figure of the beauty in black dress appeared out of thin air in the attic on the third floor. She looked at the location of the hosta. The glass cup had been opened and the contents inside were missing. In front of the glass lamp, there was a girl in the shop who was in a daze. Her face slightly red, and she was muttering something. Is there really such a beauty in this world? Tsang Mu asked. Xiao Nizi, what are you doing here? Where did the person who wrote the poem just now go? The girl heard the commotion and called out. Hey! Shopkeeper, why are you here? The young man who wrote the poem just left. As soon as she finished speaking, Song Mu's figure suddenly appeared at the door of Baodai Pavilion. She looked around and saw a crowd of people. With so many people, how could she know who the poet was just now? Returning to the attic, the beauty in black dress frowned slightly and said in a dissatisfied tone, Why don't you keep him? That young man wants to leave on his own. And even if I tell him with the temptation of fame, he doesn't care. The young master also said that he was used to being indifferent and clear-minded, and he didn't like these false reputations. At this point, the girl covered her cheeks and blushed, saying, 
Only such a handsome young man can write such beautiful poems. I really envy his wife. If this poem spreads, his wife will be famous throughout history. Song Mu asked in surprise. Did that person write this poem for his wife? The girl nodded. Yes. The young master admitted it himself. Song Mu understood and walked to the empty glass lamp, thinking to herself, it's fine if she hasn't seen that person. At least, she still has a pair of original treasures of literary principles left behind. She picked up the white scroll next to the glass lamp, and then widened her eyes, only to see that it was empty. At this time, she just remembered that Jiang Yexing connected the glass lamp to Yu Ting. So the poems written on the white scroll would be drawn to Yu Ting. Jiang Yexin! Song Mu clenched the white scroll into a ball and gritted his teeth angrily. Did you call me? The mature beauty in pink clothes climbed up to the attic. She glanced around and saw no other people. She asked curiously, Where did the poet go? Song Mu didn't respond. Just stared at her closely. His eyes filled with resentment. Why are you looking at me like this? Jiang Yeshin said uncomfortably. After a while, Song Mu said leisurely, Give me back that poem. Golden poems cut through the night sky. And the news that Yating's flowers were in full bloom spread throughout the Baiwa Valley in a matter of seconds. Everyone was talking about it. Hey! Have you heard that a famous poem was published? And all the buds outside the elegant courtyard bloomed. If you want to say this, I have the most say. I was standing outside the court at that time. At that time, a young man in Tsingyi wrote a poem, which caused 80% of the flowers in the elegant courtyard to bloom. And everyone was praising him. But after a while, the flowers in the elegant courtyard suddenly bloomed, and golden words fell from the night sky and emerged as poems on the elegant courtyard. What about the poem? I don't know how to describe it. Just looking at it makes me feel goosebumps all over my body and my scalp is numb. Hey, is that poem really as good as you say? Come and read it with us. The man then read out the poem, and the others were stunned on the spot after hearing it. Most of them were businessmen with little education. After thinking over and over the words in their minds for a long time, they finally just came up with one sentence, hack. While everyone in the Baiwa Valley was shocked by the unparalleled poem, Qin Feng took heightened too and wandered around the valley again. He bought some rouge and gouache and planned to take it back and give it to his second mother. I also bought some fine tea leaves. It is worth mentioning that while buying tea, he also caught a glimpse of a familiar figure, with his head lowered and away from the crowd. How does that figure look? How does it look like my father? Uncle, do you want to buy something else? Qin Feng shook his head and said, I have almost bought everything, but when I come to Baiwa Valley, I have to see the amazing beauty garden. Heading towards the depths of Baiwa Valley, Qin Feng and the others soon arrived outside a manor, which was Baiwa Valley's famous beauty garden. There are naturally beauties in the beauty garden, but the word beauty in this beauty garden does not refer to real beauties, but to those fresh and tender camellias of different colors. The beauty of flowers shows how beautiful the flowers in this garden are. Outside the manor, many girls in colorful clothes were greeting the flow of people and maintaining order, and looking at the patterns on their chests. It can be seen that these are disciples of the Hundred Flowers sect. It is worth mentioning that the owner of this beauty garden is the head of Baiwa sect. After passing through the gate, you will see flowers blooming everywhere, which is so beautiful. Even heightened too. A vulgar warrior couldn't help but be stunned by the sight in front of him. Uncle, this is the first time I have seen such a camellia. It is really beautiful. This is just the periphery. The really valuable and beautiful camellias in the beauty garden are all there. Qing Feng responded with a smile and pointed to one place with his finger. Xing Sheng then looked around and saw that there was a place in the manor surrounded by continuous trees and flowers. And outside, many people gathered. Heighten Tu asked curiously, Why do those people just stay and don't go in? Qing Feng explained, The camellia varieties there are extremely difficult to cultivate. They are very delicate and will be damaged if you are not careful. In order to prevent the camellias that had been cultivated with so much painstaking efforts from being damaged, the leader of the Baiwa sect established a rule. If you want to see camellias there, you must pass the test of flower appreciation. After all, only those who truly understand flowers will not inadvertently destroy those precious camellias. I see. He came to the outskirts of the crowd and looked up eagerly. I saw several girls blocking the way in front of me, each of them holding a pot of camellia in their hands. There are thousands of colors. So beautiful. From time to time, someone will come forward, point to the flower in the girl's hand, and tell the name of the camellia. If you can answer three or more questions correctly, you can pass the flower appreciation test and enter. But a long time passed. But no one succeeded. 
Aiden too asked in confusion. Uncle, are those flowers rare? Why are there so many people coming forward? But so few of them answered correctly. Chin Fong replied. There are many types of flowers in the world. And the camellias here are rare things cultivated through the Baiwa sect's special techniques. It is naturally not easy to name them. Uncle, can you recognize these flowers? Chin Fong raised the corner of his mouth slightly. You won't know until you step forward and try it. After many people failed to identify flowers, they returned to the crowd dejectedly. As time went by, the others also lost confidence and only dared to watch from the sidelines, not daring to step forward. There was a wealthy businessman who might have had a bad temper. He pointed at a camellia that he had just admitted was wrong and said angrily, You clearly don't want us to go in. This camellia is obviously walking in the snow in search of plum blossoms. What did I say wrong? The girl holding the flower looked displeased. People like this with no eyesight and bad temper were the last thing they wanted to see. In the past, they might have explained, but after so many years, they understood that no explanation would be useful to such a person. So they didn't bother to respond at all. Seeing this, the wealthy businessman just thought that he was right and immediately shouted even louder. For a while, the scene was a little ugly. The rest of the people were also pointing at the white camellia with pink in it. Some felt that the wealthy businessman was right, while others were undecided and just pondered over it. Call your sect master. You must give me an explanation today. The wealthy businessman shouted loudly with the support of some people. The scene got a little out of control. At this moment, two voices in the noisy crowd said in unison, This camellia is not walking in the snow in search of plum blossoms. But its name is Yolangio. Chapter 234 Identifying Flowers That's right. This camellia is Yolangio which two gentlemen were speaking just now. Please come forward. The girl holding Yolangio said crisply. Everyone looked around blankly and suddenly got out of the way. After a while, two young and handsome men stepped out of the crowd and stood at the front. Needless to say, one of them was Chin Fong, who was wearing black clothes, and the other one was actually the young man in green who wrote about Yuting and Yuting not long ago, which caused 80% of the flowers in Yuting to bloom. The young man in green looked at Chin Fong smiled and clasped his fists. I'm Lu Yu. Haven't you asked me for advice? Chin Fong. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The two were polite and handsome, making the onlookers feel good about them. It turns out that this camellia is called Yolangio. It's really a good name. But didn't that person just now say his name was Tosh Sun Mei? I think it's quite similar. What's the use of it? Didn't you hear that the girls from Baiwa sect admitted that Yolangio is the real name of this camellia? When the wealthy businessman heard this, his face flushed. He was shouting just now, but in the blink of an eye, he was slapped in the face. In fact, he had no idea about the real name of the camellia. But because of his face, he still said adamantly, You said this camellia is called Yolangio, but you are just speaking one side. Who knows? Might you have colluded in advance to deceive me? This time, no one responded to the wealthy businessman, and everyone just thought he looked a little ugly. It's easy to prove whether this camellia is walking in the snow in search of plum blossoms or relying on the beautiful flowers. Chin Fong suddenly said. Do you have any idea? The wealthy businessman said with an unnatural look on his face. Chin Fong did not answer him, but asked the girl holding the flower. Can I get closer? The girl blushed slightly, nodded and said. Young master, please do. At this moment, the young master in green, Lu Yu, smiled and said. Brother Chin. Continue. When Chin Fong heard this, he looked sideways and saw a folding fan being thrown towards him. He immediately caught it firmly and said, Thank you very much. He could just use this thing. Walking to the camellia, Chin Fong opened the folding fan and saw four big characters written on the fan the young master is like Jade. I can't help but sigh in my heart. People are just like their names. Then, he moved towards the camellia and gently fanned it. The onlookers didn't understand what he meant at first but the next scene made their eyes widen. The white and pink camellia actually closed its petals when blown by the breeze. Not only that, the pink on the petals was still spreading, occupying most of the flower in the blink of an eye. What's going on? The wealthy businessman looked shocked. Chin Fong explained. The beauty climbed up to the high building and leaned on the railing to look at it. However, the wind was blowing high in the building, so she could only wrap up her clothes tightly. It's just that the thoughts in my heart are moved by the wind and my plain face turns red when I miss my lover. This is also the origin of the name Yolangio. That's it. As soon as this explanation came out, everyone around him suddenly understood 
and couldn't help but clap their hands and applauded. When the girls from Baiwa sect heard this, they also cast their eyes in surprise and admiration. Yolangio has exactly this meaning, but no one has ever said it was as poetic and picturesque as the young master in front of me. Luo Yu nodded slightly and clapped his hands in praise. When the wealthy businessman saw this, he knew that the matter had been concluded. He immediately ignored the sophistry and got into the crowd dejectedly and disappeared. Thank you. Jean Fong thanked him again and sent the folding fan back. After Luo Yu accepted it, he smiled and said, Brother Qin is really talented in writing, and he can express the meaning of Yilanju in such a fresh and refined way. With your talent, you must be very proficient in poetry. Right. I only know a little bit. Not proficient. Qin Feng replied with a smile. Then did you know that a poem was published in Baiwa Valley not long ago, with the theme of beauty, which is quite extraordinary, and it can actually cause the flowers in Yuting to bloom. But now, no one knows who the poet was. I also admired that person very much and wanted to get to know him. Liu Yu's smile remains as warm as the spring breeze. Qin Feng said without changing his expression. I also read that poem. And it was really shocking. The person who wrote the poem must be a person of amazing talent and beauty. It's a pity that I didn't have the chance to meet him. Otherwise, I could have consulted him for advice. Hey Tantu on the side had a strange look on his face when he saw this. The poem was clearly written by his uncle. Along the way, the two of them had already heard what happened in Yuting. Luo Yu stared at it for a moment, then sighed and said, It's really a pity. At this time, a girl from the Baiwa sect stepped forward and asked, You two gentlemen, you have already correctly answered the name of a camellia. Are you interested in continuing to answer? As long as you answer three questions correctly in a row, you can enter and watch the camellias carefully cultivated by Baiwa sect. Jean Fong replied, Since I have come to the beauty garden, I naturally want to go in, and have a look. Luo Yu also said, Yes, it would be great if we could see the rumored seven immortals in. The girl asked again, Which of the two gentlemen will answer first? Qin Feng and Qin Feng made a gesture of invitation at the same time. Seeing the two of them being humble to each other, the girl holding the flower smiled and said, In that case, why don't you two take turns to answer? With your knowledge, I think this won't be a problem for you either. That's fine. In the colorful garden, Song Mu crossed her arms across her chest, squeezing them into an astonishing arc. Her beautiful brows were always furrowed and unable to stretch. And she would occasionally let out a cold snort under her black square scarf. Jian Yeshin on the side shook her head helplessly. It's not that I don't want to return the poem to you. It's just that the poem is engraved on Yuting and can't go back. Song Mu didn't respond and snorted again. That's all. That's all. Even if I'm afraid of you. Haven't you always wanted that seven immortals in plant? How about I give it to you as compensation for you? After hearing this, the beauty in black dress slowly relaxed her brows. That's pretty much it. Just at this moment, they saw the female disciples who were taking care of the camellias in the garden. After whispering to each other, they ran towards the entrance. Jian Yeshin was curious and called a disciple to ask, What are you going to do in such a hurry? The female disciple replied, The sect master is unaware that two young masters came outside the garden tonight. Not only are they handsome, but they are also knowledgeable. One of them even wrote a poem about flowers blooming 80% in the elegant courtyard. At the moment, the two of them are identifying camellias at the entrance. Now, they have collectively said the real names of dozens of camellias, and they have not made any mistakes yet. So the sisters all want to go and see it. A trace of surprise flashed in Jian Yashin's eyes. The camellias carefully cultivated in the yard were all rare things that were difficult to find on the market. It is extremely difficult to identify three plants. How can someone identify dozens of them? And more than one person? One of them can write 80% of the poems about flowers blooming in Yating. With such a vision, it makes sense. Who could the other person be? Suddenly, she thought of Bao Yishuan's masterpieces. And an idea came to her mind. Looking to the side again, Song Mu seemed to sense something. His light blue eyes widened. And then he walked quickly towards the entrance of the garden. Chapter 235 Did you write that poem? A white flower is like the bright moon, and the black spots on it are like cinnamon branches in the moon. This camellia should be called the moon, Luo Yu said with a smile. Her voice was not loud, but she was extremely confident. The beautiful eyes of the girl holding the flower were filled with sparkles. Congratulations. Sir, you got the answer right again. When everyone on the side heard this, they all took a breath. It's incredible. It's incredible. This is already the 23rd one he answered correctly. 
The young man in white with his luggage on his back listened to the admiration of the people around him. With a proud and proud expression on his face. Huh? This thing is just sparse and ordinary for my young master. He is Xiao Bai. Lu Yu's book boy. He was stuck in the crowd before and finally squeezed out. When someone praises my young master, he, a little fanboy, naturally wants to stand up and make his presence felt. While speaking, he turned his head and looked at the dark man who looked like a guard not far away, with a hint of provocation in his eyes. Xing Sheng frowned and felt a little anxious. He just hoped that his uncle would quickly answer the name of the camellia and not be compared to others. Just as he was thinking this, another girl brought out a pot of camellia, which still had big white petals with black spots on them. Everyone looked puzzled when they saw it, except that the black spots on this pot of flowers were larger than the previous one. There was no difference at all. Why did the people of the Hundred Flowers sect ask two identical test questions? When the young scholar saw this, he said loudly, This is unfair. My young master clearly mentioned this camellia name just now. Shout by. Don't speak nonsense. Luo Yu turned around to scold him, and the young man immediately suppressed his voice. The girl holding the bouquet explained, This flower is indeed very similar to the moonlit flower, but it is not the moonlit flower. Mr. Chin, it is not easy to identify this potted flower. I wonder if you can answer it. When Haiden too heard this, his heart trembled, and he looked at his uncle with some worry. Chin Feng lowered his head and pondered for a moment, then smiled and said, The gray is as white as a beautiful woman's jade face and the two slender black spots are like a beautiful woman's eyes. If I am not mistaken, this camellia should be a beauty shy. The girl holding the flower pot opened her beautiful eyes wide when she heard this, and the rest of the hundred flower sect were also a little in disbelief. The shy beauty is very similar to Yuxia Feng. Even they would admit their mistakes sometimes. But this Mr. Chin can recognize him at a glance? Seriously? Seeing the expressions of the girls from the Baiwa sect, everyone in the audience knew that the flower name was correct but some people were confused. Then why is this flower not called beauty face? But shameful beauty? Yes, according to this gentleman's explanation. I think beautiful faces are more suitable. Chin Feng glanced around the crowd and said with a smile, May I ask this girl if I can get started? After the girl holding the flower hesitated for a moment, she nodded and agreed. Logically speaking, it is against the rules to let outsiders touch the flowers. After all, these camellias are very delicate. But with the knowledge of the young master in front of me, I guess there won't be any problem. Everyone held their breaths and watched as the young man in black touched the shy beauty with his right index finger and then withdrew his hand. Just when everyone was puzzled, the white flower that was originally in full bloom lowered its branches, and two faint pink lines appeared on both sides of the white petals. Just like that shy beauty. With such a change, no wonder this flower is called shy beauty. I've seen a lot today. It's really a worthwhile trip. Hearing everyone's admiration for his uncle, Hei Tan Tu straightened his back, glanced at the young man, and said calmly, Well, for my uncle, it is normal for him to have such knowledge. When the young scholar heard this, he opened his mouth and felt a little embarrassed. These words were clearly what he had just said. At this time, only crisp applause could be heard in the garden, accompanied by a soft female voice. This young master is really amazing. In fact, the shy beauty is a variant of Uxia thing. That's why they are so similar. Ordinary people simply cannot tell the difference between the two. Even those of us who deal with flowers all day long will admit our mistakes sometimes. Since the young master can see the strangeness of this flower, can you tell me how to cultivate it for a shameless beauty? Everyone went out in search of fame and were dumbfounded. The speaker was a beauty, dressed in pink clothes, with a plump figure, and the slight movement of her lotus step showed the charm of a mature woman. Beside her, there was a woman with black hair, a black scarf, and a long black skirt. Only half of his face is exposed, which makes people think a lot. Especially those light blue eyes are fascinating to look at. Qin Feng was amazed at the mature charm of the beauty in pink, but his eyes quickly locked on the woman in black skirt beside him. There is no other reason than the same black scarf as Miss Song, and the same enchanting eyes of different colors as Miss Song. To say that there is no relationship between the two, he categorically does not believe it. Who is this person? And why does it make me feel so similar to Miss Song? Sect Master. Everyone in Baiwa's sect bowed and saluted. After learning the identity of the beauty in pink, everyone suddenly realized. The rumored beauty in the world. The leader of Baiwa's sect, Jiang Yeshin. Qin Feng came to his senses after hearing this. And immediately clasped his fists and said. It turns out to be sect leader Jiang. 
Jian Yeshi nodded slightly. How about it? Can you tell me how to cultivate it? If you can tell me, I will give this pot of shameful beauty to you. Everyone took a breath of cold air. Although they didn't know the specific value of this pot of flowers, they must not be low. But they also know that there is a huge difference between the difficulty of telling the cultivation method and the difficulty of telling the flower's name. Can this young man in black do it? Xiaobai snorted disdainfully. He didn't believe that this person, who had repeatedly competed with his own master for the limelight, was really capable of this. Lu, you looked at Qin Feng expectantly. Under the gaze of everyone, Qin Feng let out a breath and spoke slowly. The Shy Beauty and Yuexia Feng are quite similar in their early cultivation methods. The key difference is how often you water each day, and how long you get sunlight. Then Qin Feng explained the cultivation method according to the content in the book he had read before. Everyone in Baiwa Sect fell silent immediately. After a while, Jian Yeshin said, Young master is a great talent. Seeing this reaction, everyone instantly understood that the young master in black was right. It's already amazing enough to name so many flowers. But he can even tell you how to cultivate them? Who is this person? He is so knowledgeable. Could it be that he is a scholar from the Haowen Academy in Feng Tian City? Seeing that so many people were praising Qin Feng, Xiaobai felt quite uncomfortable. So he murmured softly, What's so great about identifying flowers? If you have the ability like our young master, you can write a song that can make the flowers bloom in the elegant courtyard. 80% poetry. At this moment, Tsang Mu, who had been silent next to Jiang Yeshin, came to Qin Feng. His light blue eyes scrutinized the latter, as if trying to discern some clues. Qin Feng felt quite uncomfortable being stared at. So he asked, What's the matter? Song Mu narrowed his eyes slightly and said directly, Did you write that poem about Yun Xiang clothes and flower Xiang Rong? As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked. Everyone looked at it in unison. Chapter 236 The Stunningly Talented Brother Qin What? That masterpiece of poetry was also written by this young master? Someone couldn't help but exclaimed. Qin Feng felt the attention of everyone and his expression froze. Just now, in front of Luo Yu and these people. He said that he did not know the poet. He even sold melons to Wang Pu and boasted about himself. Boasting that the person who wrote the poem was a talented and beautiful person. If he admitted it now, wouldn't he die on the spot? No. I can't admit it even to death. But why does this person think that I am the one who composed the poem? Is there something he can rely on? No. It's impossible. When I wrote the poem, only the girl and Haydn were present. It should be my profound knowledge that made this person guess that she was deceiving me. After thinking about it, Qin Feng's expression remained unchanged, and he replied with a smile. I'm sorry. I didn't write that poem. I told Brother Luo before that I also admire the person who wrote the poem. And if I had the chance, I would also like to have a drink with him. Hearing this, the young master in green clothes not far away nodded and said, Yes, I can testify to this. The scholar Xiao I also said, how can such a poem be written by him? Even my young master may not be able to write it. The others remembered the previous conversation between the two young masters and nodded. Only the black man on the side looked a little unnatural. Really? Song Mu raised her eyebrows slightly, with a hint of teasing in her eyes. She walked around Qin Feng and said slowly, This poem was written in my Baodai Pavilion. The person who wrote the poem also took away the best treasure in my shop, Lu. Yun Hairpin. When Qin Feng heard this, his pupils opened slightly, and a trace of uneasiness emerged in his heart. He would never have thought that the beauty in black dress in front of him, who looked very similar to Miss Song, was actually the boss behind Bao Dai Xian. Really? Jean Feng still didn't let go, but his smile was a little forced. Song Mu blinked and spoke again. The Luyun hairpin is not an ordinary item. It cannot be contained in a space treasure. So it can only be carried with you. And after getting close to you, I seem to feel the familiar aura of Lu Yun Hairpin. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw the woman in black skirt, and she hooked her right index finger. Unfortunately, Qin Feng's eyes widened, and he hurriedly tried to cover his clothes. But he was still a step too late. But in the blink of an eye, the hosta flew out of his arms, and into the hands of the woman in black skirt. Ah! This hosta is so beautiful! Song Mu covered her mouth under the black scarf, pretending to be surprised. Bao Dexuan has set the rules yourself. Are you going to regret it now and take this hosta back? Qin Feng asked anxiously. You admitted it? Oops. In desperation, he made a mistake. Qin Feng glanced at the people around him who had complex expressions and suddenly realized it. 
and then glanced at the young man and Sing Yi whose warm smile gradually faded, looking a little embarrassed. Song Mu's jade-like slender fingers gently turned the Lu Yun hairpin, then pressed it on Qin Feng's chest and said, The rules of Baodai Pavilion are set by me, and I will naturally not break my promise. Return this Lu Yun hairpin to you. Just, can you please do me a favor? What are you busy with? Qin Feng put the Lu Yun hairpin into his arms and looked alert. After what happened just now, he already understood that the woman in front of him was not a fuel-efficient lamp. Due to some people's reasons, the poem you wrote did not remain in my Bao Yexuan. I hope you can write a new copy for me. Song Mu glanced at Jian Yexin behind him and took it back sight. Qin Feng felt the burning eyes of everyone and his scalp was numb. Death once is not enough. Do you want me to die a second time? He wanted to refuse. But he heard the other party speak again. This headband on your head is really interesting. Could it be that the person who gave it to you is my niece Phylon? When Qin Feng heard this, his eyes widened immediately. The woman in front of him really knew Miss Song. Not only did she know her, she was also Miss Song's aunt. How about this? You help me write down the poem. And I will tell you a little secret about Phylon. How about it? Song Mu whispered close to him. His warm breath came through the black scarf, carrying the woman's fragrance. Miss Song's little secret. This secret is serious. After struggling for a while, Qin Feng nodded and agreed. At this time, Jiang Yexin said, In that case, why not move inside, where I have the best four treasures of the study? Okay. Qin Feng had already been stared at by everyone behind him, and he wished he could leave earlier. Of course, Luo Yu, the young master in green, was also invited in. After all, he answered more than three camellia flower names correctly, so he was qualified to go in and enjoy the flowers. The group of people followed Sec Master Jiang into the garden. Qin Feng found an opportunity, approached Luo Yu and apologized. Brother Luo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hide it from you before. It's just that I'm used to being indifferent and don't like to be too pushy. Luo Yu responded with a gentle smile. I understand. Brother Qin, if a tree is as beautiful as the forest wind, it will be destroyed by the wind. After all, you are also a talented person. It is reasonable to keep a low profile for fear of being jealous. The four words, Jin Kai Yin Yin, are pronounced by the young man in Singy with a strong accent. Uh, Qin Feng's expression froze. There is a pavilion in the garden, where the four treasures of the study mentioned by Jiang Yeshin are. After several people walked for a while, Qin Feng clasped his fists and said, Brother Luo, I'll go first. If I have a chance next time, I'll treat you to a drink. I won't apologize. Luo Yu responded respectfully. Easy to talk about. That amazing and talented brother Qin. We will see you later. It's endless. Right? After entering the pavilion, sect leader Jiang ordered people to lay out the white scrolls and grind the ink. Qin Feng raised his pen, and his vigorous and powerful words spread out on the white scroll, turning into beautiful poems. The beautiful eyes of the people in Baiwa sect turned around, and they admired it quietly. But before they could take a few more glances, they saw the woman in black skirt wave her right hand, and she put away the white scroll with poems written on it. Jiang Yeshin said helplessly, Why are you so anxious? I won't compete with you. Song Mu pretended not to hear and stretched his waist. The charm was really charming to the extreme. Qin Feng was slightly startled and looked away without any trace. Okay, since you wrote the poem to me, I will tell you Phylon's little secret. Song Mu hooked his fingers and motioned for the other party to come closer. Qin Feng did as he was told, still guessing in his mind what Miss Song's little secret was. If you have the chance, take the initiative to lift up the girl's hijab. Her secrets are all underneath. You know? After Song Mu said this, he said no more. No. That's it? Qin Feng opened his mouth slightly, with a puzzled look on his face. Senior, is there nothing else? No. That's all. Song Mu leaned on the bench lazily and yawned. Qin Feng felt that he had been deceived, or deceived in a way that insulted his IQ. If you lift Song Girl's veil, you can know her secret. If you dare, do you still need to say it? A few people chatted in the pavilion for a while, and then Qin Feng left in the name of enjoying the flowers. When he came out of this trip, he was going to Wanjian Sect to find his wife, and he was in the same room with two beauties like this. If you stay for too long, your thinking will decline. Chapter 237 The things you borrowed were never returned. Not long after Qin Feng left, Jiang Yexin pushed away the other hundred flower sect disciples and asked curiously, How can you ask him to take the initiative to lift your niece's black hijab? Can't that thing not be taken off at will? 
My niece is a little too arrogant. She is very happy for some things, but she is unwilling to compete with others. She feels very distressed when she sees my aunt. In this case, if you can help some, please help some. Song Mu sighed leisurely. Jiang Yeshin seemed to understand something and said in surprise. That person is your niece's sweetheart in a remote town? How did you know? Wait. It's that headband. Yes. For that girl. Taking the initiative to give a man a gift is an unprecedented first time. I'm afraid she didn't even realize it. But isn't the young master named Qin already married? He just said that the poem was written for his wife. Although it is common for men to have three wives and four concubines in Dakian. Jiang Yeshin understands that the women in the family of this extraordinary best friend are very proud and cannot have the same husband with other women. Moreover, the elders in their family are also very stubborn about this. Hearing this, Song Mu stroked his forehead and said, How can an ordinary woman be qualified to snatch a man from us? Even if she is married? For those foxy people who don't open their eyes, we always have a way to make them retreat in spite of difficulties. But his wife is not ordinary, and it is probably unrealistic to send her away. This sounds a bit arrogant and unreasonable. But Jiang Yeshin thinks there is no problem, and even agrees with it. She also does not want anyone to share her husband with her in the future. However, the focus of what the other party said just now was obviously not here. Jiang Yeshin knew the strength of this lazy bestie's family. So she was surprised. You even said that. Who is his wife? You must know that person. She just returned to Wanjian sect not long ago. Song Yu said. Jiang Yeshin was stunned at first. Then opened her red lips with a shocked expression. The person you are talking about is Lu Jianli. Right. Who else could it be besides her? Alas. My niece has a good eye for men. She will become a great person in the future. It's just a pity that I was really unlucky and picked such a strong opponent. If Lu Jianli successfully passes the confirmation of hegemony of heaven and earth this time, he will be the youngest third level sword god in history. As soon as she finished speaking, she seemed to sense something and stood up. What are you going to do? Jiang Yeshin asked curiously. Go meet an old guy. In a restaurant guest room, old man Bailey sat alone at the wine table, pouring himself a glass of wine. The flowers outside the window are beautiful. The breeze is clear. The scenery is prosperous and charming. And the scenery is so beautiful that you can drink with it. Suddenly a gust of night wind blew by. And the firelight in the house swayed. After the wind calmed down, a beautiful figure in black dress appeared beside the wine table. It was Song Mu. She was not polite. Snatched the wine bottle from the old man's hand. Poured herself a glass. Then raised her right hand. Covered her face with her black sleeve. And drank all the wine. Old guy. If you don't stay well in Jinong City. Why do you come to my Baiwa Valley? I have something to go to Wanjin sect. I stopped by to borrow something from you. The old man put down his wine glass and said. Borrow? Son Mu sneered. You have never returned the things you borrowed from us. The old man's expression remained unchanged. He pretended not to hear, took a mouthful of vegetables, and put it into his mouth. Song Mu was not used to the other party's shameless appearance. So he asked, What is it? Lu Yun hairpin. Song Mu raised her eyebrows slightly, as if she had guessed something. Are you doing it for Lu Jianli? Do you want to help her get through the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth? But why? With her qualifications, and the 10,000 sword sword formation based on Zidian Shinjun. This catastrophe is not difficult for her. And there is no need to add another layer of protection. Unless there are variables. The old man didn't answer. But the slightly raised wrinkles on his face already acquiesced to this statement. Song Mu understood and spoke again. Sorry. I can't give it to you. To be honest. This thing has been taken away and is not in my hands. Old man Bailey raised his head. Looked at the other party. Raised his eyebrows and said. They said they borrowed it. And I will pay it back. If you say this, do you believe it? Moreover, you don't have to look at me like this. I didn't lie to you. Old guy, are you the best at divination? You might as well do the math and see whose hand the Luyan hairpin is at this moment. Song Mu raised her eyebrows slightly. Old man Bailey did as he was told. And not long after, he showed a strange expression. Song Mu supported his chin with one hand and said, It seems that you have already calculated it. The old guy in Fontian City used to predict fortunes for the Lu family and the Qin family. It is said that in the future, if the two families happen to have one man and one woman, they will be a match made in heaven. And they should be married in heaven. Now it seems that it really corresponds to that hexagram. After a pause, Song Mu said again, Hey, old guy, 
You might as well do some calculations for my niece. Where will her marriage go? Old man Bailey filled a glass of wine for himself, took a sip and said, For things like marriage, you can't just rely on God's will. You have to fight for it yourself. Huh? Sighing Moose snorted, not taking it seriously. After drinking for three rounds, Song Mu was about to get up and leave. The old man said in a deep voice, When the magic fire destroyed King Garuda's heart, Nan Tian Long went to Zhuling Pass to guard the pass just in case. And King Garuda has woken up. Song Mu's light blue pupils widened slightly, then exhaled and said, I understand. I will tell the old man. The next day, at dawn, Qin Feng and his party of four walked out of the restaurant. Haydn too went to the stable to fetch the carriage. His father, who failed to buy tea last night, looked a little confused. Qin Feng asked knowingly, Dad, did you go well with the tea purchase last night? The father shook his head, but did not answer. At this moment, he just wanted to be quiet what happened to the world. Why is tea so expensive? With a neighing sound, Hei Tantu drove a carriage to the door of the restaurant. After his father and master entered the carriage, Qin Feng stretched out his hand to pull the curtain, then thought of something, took his hand back, and sat next to Xing Sheng again. That's all. It's only a few hours away anyway. Just bear with it a little longer. He would rather be cold than smell the sour smell. Hei Tantu raised the reins of the horse in his hand. The horse's hooves moved, and the four of them set out on the road again. On the second floor of the restaurant where Qin Feng and others stayed last night, a young man in green was sitting by the window drinking tea, his eyes looking at them through the gap until the carriage disappeared from the end of the field of vision. The young bookboy stood aside and reported something. Most of what he said was about Qin Feng. He is Lu Jianli's husband? Lu, you looked at the contents of the paper in his hand with a surprised expression. Then he thought of the poem Qin Feng wrote last night and praised. The woman in the poem is Lu Jianli. But it doesn't insult this poem. Chapter 238 Men You can't say you can't do it. The sound of horse hooves sounded urgent. And after two and a half hours of driving, Qin Feng and his party finally saw the misty peaks where Wan Jian sect was located. At a glance, you can see the continuous peaks and shrouded clouds and mist, which is quite similar to the Xian Xia sect and Qin Feng's impression. Hei Tan Tu drove the carriage to the foot of the mountain. He had only glanced at it from a distance before, and had only a vague idea of the height of Jianfeng. But looking up now, I only feel that Jianfeng is steep, and a mountain road spreads up until it disappears into the clouds. It seems that if you go up this road, you can reach the sky. The entrance of Wan Jian sect is at the end of this mountain road. Uncle, we have to walk the rest of the way by ourselves. The carriage cannot go up, Haydn Tu said. Qin Feng nodded when he heard this, then opened the curtain and said, Dad, there are many villages nearby. Why don't you find a place to stay and wait for us to come out from Wanjin sect? Dad was puzzled. Why? Can I go up with you? Qin Feng explained. I am doing this for your own good. If you want to join the 10,000 sword sect, you have to climb the sword peak. But the mountain road is high and steep, and I have no cultivation experience. I'm afraid you won't be able to bear it. As soon as he said this, the old man in the carriage glanced at him with an intriguing look. It seems to make sense. Dad rubbed his chin, suddenly thought of something, pointed at the old man and asked, What about him? Stay down there with me too? Master, he naturally wants to go up with us. Just kidding. The old man is crucial to whether the lady can successfully overcome the disaster, but he cannot be allowed to paddle. Qin Feng added in his heart. When Qin Jian heard this, he immediately became unhappy. He can climb up, but your father and I can't climb up? You don't need to say more. I want to go to Wan Jin sect with you. After hearing this, Qin Feng tried to persuade him a few more times, but his father waved them away. In desperation, he could only get off the carriage and walk to Hei Tantu and said, If my father can't bear it anymore, please help him. Xing Sheng nodded. I understand. Uncle. After finding a nearby village and placing the carriage, Qin Feng and the others returned to the foot of Sword Peak and climbed up. It must be said, that the steepness of the sword's edge was far beyond Qin Feng's imagination. And it was quite difficult to climb it. If he hadn't entered the seventh grade righteousness realm and his body had been tempered by righteousness, he might not have been able to endure it. Along the way, I looked at the surrounding scenery, with lush trees and the gurgling sound of mountain springs. Climbing to a high place, you can even hear the roar of waterfalls flowing down. As the position of Jian Feng got higher and higher, the humidity increased and clouds and fog surrounded it beginning to obscure the view. 
Qin Feng's breathing also became rapid. As he struggled to climb, he also looked worriedly in the direction of his father. The father and the old man walked side by side behind, following slowly, stopping from time to time to take a break, wipe the sweat from their foreheads, and take a few deep breaths. It seemed that dad couldn't bear it anymore. Seeing this, Xing Feng gave some instructions to heighten to on the side. Hearing this, Xing Sheng walked to his father and asked a few questions, but quickly came back, then shook his head and said, Master Qin, he doesn't need my help. Qin Feng's face was ugly. He could hardly bear it. Can his father's body be strong enough to hold on? It's so hard to save face and suffer. Forget it. Let's wait until he can't walk anymore. After walking two-thirds of the sword peak, Qin Feng's body had reached its limit. He only felt that his feet were as heavy as a thousand pounds. Fortunately, with the support of Haydn too, he could barely continue to move forward. Let me take a break. He put his hands on his knees, took a few breaths, and then wanted to look back and see how his father was doing. But the moment he turned sideways, he only saw two figures passing by. The father gasped and patted his shoulder and said, Bomber, you just study all day and don't know how to exercise properly. So your body is so weak? Say no more. Your master and I will go up first. You can rest for a while and then follow. Guard, guard, Xing. My son is entrusted to you. Don't worry. Master Qin. Qin Feng opened his mouth, watching the two figures gradually disappearing into the clouds and mist, feeling a little doubtful about life. The words he had previously persuaded his father under the sword peak echoed in his mind, and he only felt his cheeks burning. No, if we don't fight for steamed buns, I have to fight for myself. Qin Feng stood up straight with difficulty and said firmly, No need to help me. I will walk the rest of the way by myself. Haydn too said uncertainly, Uncle, can you do it? Min, never say you can't do it. After climbing ten more stairs, Qin Feng was defeated. Hurry up and help me. I can't breathe. On the other side, deep in the clouds and mist, Qin Jianan and the old man Bailey climbed the sword peak, as if strolling in a garden, pretending to be pretty similar. Like you, practice makes perfect, Qin Jianan replied. In his appearance at this moment, how could he still see the previous difficulty? You left Jinan City and came here. Could it be that when you start to confirm the hegemony of heaven and earth, what changes will happen? Qin Jianan said solemnly. Old man Bailey thought of the red thunder in Qin Feng's dream, and his face was solemn. I don't know either, so I came here to take a look. I hope I'm just overthinking. By the way, why did you come? My daughter-in-law is going through a catastrophe. How could I not care? It makes sense. Uncle, we are here. Qin Feng did not reply, but was breathing heavily. The air above this peak was already thin, and he needed to take a good breather. After finding a stone pillar to lean on, he felt as if his legs were not his own. He just wanted to curse now. Why did the founder of Wanjian sect have to build a sect at such a high place? Is there something serious wrong with him? After a long time, he finally regained his breath and began to look around. At the end of the mountain road was a stone platform. Because the clouds and fog obscured his vision, he couldn't see beyond ten feet. So he didn't know how big the stone platform was. Where are my father and master? Xing Sheng searched around and suddenly saw a huge black shadow that looked like a door. He pointed in that direction and said, Maybe. There? Qin Feng and the two walked towards the huge black shadow. And after walking nearly twenty feet away, the scenery in front of them suddenly became clear. What comes into view is an imposing gate, with sword-shaped stone pillars standing on both sides. On the top of the gate, the three characters Wan Jian Zong are carved with sword energy, which is magnificent. Looking back, the clouds and mist seem to be blocked by something, unable to extend in at all. At this moment, in front of the gate, Qin Jianan and the old man were being blocked by two disciples wearing blue sword uniforms. Qin Feng and the two approached and only one person said, I'm sorry, the Wanjin sect has closed its doors recently to thank guests, and no one else is allowed to enter. Chapter 239 The Strange Gatekeeper Disciple Cannot enter? Qin Feng's eyes widened. If he couldn't enter the sect, how could he find his wife? Anxiously, he immediately stepped forward. You too, please be accommodating. There is someone I know in the sect. We are here to find relatives. Looking for a relative? The fat male disciple on the right looked over. Then tell me, who did you find your bride with? To be honest with you too, I am looking for my wife, Lu Jianli. As soon as these words came out, there was a sudden silence at the gate. 
with only the sound of the mountain breeze blowing. After a moment, the tall and thin man on the left exhaled and said, Senior brother, I seem to be hallucinating just now. This guy actually said that senior sister Jin Lee is her wife. The fat disciple replied, Junior brother, you heard it right. I heard him say that too. Ah, ah. Two sneers sounded at the same time, and the tall and thin man's face darkened. You brat, do you know how important senior sister Jin Lee is to our Wanjin sect? How dare you speak nonsense and disrespect her here? The fat disciple picked up the scabbard in his hand, stroked the lines on it, and said lightly, Get out of here quickly before I completely lose control. Otherwise, you will have to leave something behind. These two people didn't believe what I said. Qin Feng's expression froze, and he turned his head to look at Hei Tan too. Xing Sheng took a step forward and said, I am the vanguard leader of the Shenhou army, and I am also the guard of the Lu family. I can prove that he is indeed the husband of my young lady. I would also like to ask you two to enter the sect and let me know. I would be very grateful. The Shenhou army? Lu family guard? The two gatekeeper disciples looked at each other and made a sound of surprise. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief when he saw this, thinking that the other party believed them. But who knew? The fat disciple spat and said, Bah! You thought you could have a relationship with senior sister Jianli by recruiting a few more people to come over to act? You said you are a guard of the Lu family. Are you senior sister Jianli's father? Qin Jianan saw the fat man looking at him, scratched his cheek and said, In a sense, it can indeed be said that. The fat disciple was stunned, then laughed angrily, looked at the old man and said, Okay, okay, then you are senior sister Jianli and grandpa? Seeing that the two of them still didn't believe it, Qin Feng was about to continue explaining, but was directly interrupted by the fat disciple. Stop talking. I feel ashamed for you. In order to achieve his goal, he was so desperate that he found someone to play the role of senior sister Jin Li's family members. This old man is already so old. Wouldn't your conscience hurt if you let him climb Jianfeng Peak? When old man Bailey heard this, he raised his eyebrows. This old man is probably tougher than you. Qin Feng sighed and said, My dear fellow, it's pointless for you to argue with us about the truth and lies here. Why don't you find your senior sister Jinli? At that time, the truth will be revealed. The fat disciple spat and said, Junior brother, and I have been guarding the sect for three years. We have encountered many dandies, like you who would do whatever it takes to see senior sister Jinli. Before I completely lose control, disappear in front of my eyes immediately, or the sword in my hand will see blood. Not bad. The tall and thin junior brother responded, and with a clang he drew out the sword on his waist. A golden light flashed in Qin Feng's eyes, and he glanced at the two disciples guarding the door. Judging from the concentration of energy in their bodies, they were at best two seventh-level divine warriors, but they dared to say such cruel words. That's true. How can he be a disciple of a sect with such a high level of cultivation? Hearing this, Haydn too frowned. Uncle, these two people don't understand human language. Do you need me to teach them a lesson? Teach us a lesson? The fat man's eyes widened. Only you? Junior brother Sho snorted. No, we are guests. We still need to know how to follow etiquette. Qin Feng shook his head and said again. My wife and her sword attendant are here together. A girl in blue named Ning Chuang. Since you doubt me, you might as well call Ning Chuang over and she will explain it to me. When the fat disciple heard this, his eyes widened. Okay, the wolfish ambition has been exposed. It turns out that you knew that senior sister Jin Li didn't like you. So you settled for the next best thing and wanted to pursue her sword attendant. Senior brother, what do you mean by settling for second best? I think Miss Ning Chuang is pretty good. The tall and thin disciple said with a blush. Are these two people's brains flooded? Qin Feng took a deep breath, suppressed his emotions, and said slowly, So, your sect leader also has a direct disciple named Bai Qiu. She recognizes me and you seek her out the same way. Senior brother, it turns out that he is interested in your senior sister by Chiyo. Junior brother Thin suddenly realized. The fat man pulled out his long sword with a clang. It's too much to bully someone. Qin Feng's right fist was clenched, and veins were pulsing on his forehead. Why would Wan Jin sect find such two weirdos to guard the sect? Black charcoal head. Uncle, I'm here. Strike gently. Good. After a moment and a cry of pain, the two men instantly became honest. Just at this time, another male disciple wearing the sword uniform of the 10,000 sword sect came over. He glanced at Qin Feng and the other four, then looked at the fat and thin duo, frowned and asked, I just left. After a while, 
What happened here? Brother, how dare they really take action? The fat and thin disciple said with a cry. After hearing the whole story, the new disciple clasped his fists and said, My two junior brothers are so ignorant that they make everyone laugh. You said you are senior sister Jinli's husband. What is your name? Finally, a normal person came. Qin Feng took a breath and announced his name. Okay, please wait here for a while. I will go and report. When the fat disciple saw this, he said excitedly, Yes, senior brother. Find some more helpers. Shut up. The male disciple's eyelids twitched in anger. Wan Jin Sek's face was completely humiliated by these two people. He had always hoped that the sect would send these two men elsewhere. But these two people had unusual identities. And they preferred to guard the sect because they felt majestic. Sorry. The male disciple bowed to Qin Feng and his group again. And then walked away. Humph. Senior brother has sent someone. Just wait. The fat and thin duo, who had just been taught a lesson shouted again. With the IQs of these two people. How could they be responsible for guarding the sect and still guard it for three years? Qin Feng thought of a possibility and asked. Do you have any relatives who hold important positions in the sect? When the fat and thin disciples heard this, they immediately showed a proud expression and said in unison, My father is the master of the 10,000 sword sect. It turns out that Qin Feng clasped his fists. He was really two cheaters. After about a stick of incense, the male disciple who left came back again, accompanied by a girl in blue. Could it be Lan Ning Shuang? The moment the latter saw Qin Feng, his joy was beyond words. Uncle, it's really you. As soon as these words came out, the fat and thin disciples were stunned on the spot. Chapter 243 People Become Tigers And people's words are formidable. Both of them knew Lan Ning Shuang's identity. Senior Sister Jin Li's personal swordsman. And the person she can call uncle is Senior Sister Jin Li's husband. Isn't it? Thinking of this, they all looked at Qin Feng their eyes full of surprise and shock. What this guy said was true. After not seeing each other for just a few days, Lan Ning Shuang missed her a lot and seemed to have endless things to say in her heart. I really answered that sentence. And not seeing him for a day was like three autumns. After a few people chatted for a while, the male disciple said, Everyone, please come in with me first. That's fine. Qin Feng nodded. Before leaving, the male disciple seemed to have thought of something and solemnly warn the fat and thin people. If anyone comes to visit the sect, ask them to wait for a while. I will be back soon. You know? I understand. Senior brother? The two responded, watching the group of people leaving. The fat man was puzzled. How could that guy marry senior sister Jinli? At first glance, he looks like a scholar who has no power to tie a chicken. Junior brother? Tell me, how can that guy compare to me? Junior brother Slim said without hesitation. Perhaps it's because he looks better than you? Superficial. What's the use of a good-looking skin for a man? The key is what's on the inside. When the thin junior brother heard this, he glanced at the fat on his belly and felt that his inner body seemed a little too full. Let's go! The fat man waved his hand. Huh? Where to go? Of course he has entered the sect. Senior sister Jin Li's husband has come to visit the sect. Naturally. Other people must know such big news. But don't we still have to guard the sect? Will senior brother be unhappy if we leave without permission? It makes sense. The fat man rubbed his chin, thought for a while, and then his eyes lit up. Yes. After a while, the male disciple who had left earlier returned, but the two men were nowhere to be seen. He searched carefully and only saw two more huge stones beside the entrance of the sect. One with idler, engraved on it, and the other with stop, engraved on it. The male disciple took a deep breath but the anger in his heart was still not suppressed. And he immediately said angrily, Jiang Wang, Sun Kai, you two wait for me. After actually entering the Wanjin sect, under the leadership of Lan Ning Shuang, Qin Feng and the others quickly arrived at the place where the sect accommodated its guests. The house was very clean, and incense was lit inside. As soon as you stepped in, the fragrance hit your nostrils. Qin Feng looked around, but did not see the figure of the lady he was thinking about. So he asked, Where is Jin Li? Where has she gone? Lan Ning Shuang made tea for several people, pushed it to the table, and said, Miss, she is on Xing Yu a peak at the moment. The Wan Jin sect was already there, setting up the Wan Jin sword formation with the Zidian Shin Jun as the base. But if you want to guide the sword formation to fight against the calamity, you need to integrate it with the sword energy around the sword formation. Therefore, 
The young lady must stay in the 10,000 sword sword formation until the disaster comes. I see. Ching Feng picked up the tea and suddenly thought of the scene in his dream. In the dream, Lu Jinli was standing on the highest sword peak, surrounded by swords. Is Xing Yue peak the highest sword peak among the 10,000 sword sect? Ching Feng asked uneasily. Lan Ningxuang nodded. Ching Yue peak is the sword peak controlled by successive heads of the Wan Jin sect, and it is much higher than the other sword peaks. How did my uncle know? After hearing this, Qin Feng's expression changed, and he turned his head to look at the old man's position. The latter took a sip of tea and frowned slightly. Then her preparations went smoothly? How sure are she of surviving the catastrophe this time? Qin Feng asked with a solemn look on his face. With the young lady's current strength, coupled with the assistance of Zidian Shin Jun, the master of Wan Jian Sek said that it would be a piece of cake to pass the confirmation of hegemony of heaven and earth. Think about it. There won't be any problem. Right. What's the matter? Uncle? Judging from your face? Something doesn't seem right. It's nothing. It's just that I was tired when I climbed the mountain earlier and haven't fully recovered yet. Qin Feng joked. After all, his uneasiness came from the dream and had no basis. There was no need to say it out and let Ning Shuang worry with him. So that's it. Lan Ning Shuang nodded and then asked, By the way, Uncle, why are you here suddenly? Hearing this question, Qin Feng couldn't help but think of the tenderness that night. He thought that after Lu Jinli slept with him, he left in a hurry without giving him a chance to prove himself again. He complained a little. You have the nerve to ask? When you left without saying goodbye, I was naturally very worried. If Haydn too hadn't told me the truth, I might still have been kept in the dark. How could I, as her husband, not be present for such a big event as your lady's passing through the heavenly tribulation? Lan Ning Shuang knew she was in the wrong and said apologetically. This is all what the young lady ordered. She was also afraid that you would be worried. Uncle. Of course. As Lu Jinli's sword attendant. She understood that what the young lady was most worried about was that she would fail to overcome the catastrophe and be separated from her uncle. But she would not say these words. Then can I go to Xing Yu Peak to see her now? Qin Feng asked uncertainly. Xing Yu Peak is Jian Feng, the sect leader of Wan Jin sect. If you want to enter, you must get the sect leader's permission. I'll go find by Chiu and let her ask. It can only be the... Just as they were reminiscing about old times, a piece of news quietly spread within the Wanjin sect. Hey, do you know? I heard that fat man Jiang Guang say that senior sister Jinli's husband has come to Wanjin sect. What? Is there such a thing? I'm not lying to you. Sun Kai was also present at the time. It is said that that man brought all the relatives of senior sister Jinli with him. His. When several people heard this, they immediately took a breath of cold air. Hey, I've only told a few of you about this. Don't talk nonsense. Otherwise it will affect senior sister Jinli's state of mind when she goes through the tribulation. Look at what you said. Don't you know how strict our mouth is? That's true. After a few people asked for some more details, they dispersed because they had something to do. The news that senior sister Jinli's husband had come to Wan Jin sect quickly caused a stir in the sect. Since Lu Jinli was the object of admiration and admiration among most of the disciples in Wan Jin sect, they subjectively had no favorable impressions of this mysterious husband who took away senior sister Jinli. This also leads to a problem. When everyone transmits news, they will more or less add some of their own emotions and add some modifications to the original basis. After going back and forth, Qin Feng's image gradually collapsed. To put it mildly, say that he is a man who uses sweet words to deceive his senior sister to be harsher. Say that he is a dishonest and dishonest person who started in chaos but finally gave up. Not only did she follow her around fireworks and Willow Lane all year round, but she also made love to other women in front of her senior sister. There are even rumors that senior sister returned to Wan Jin's sect after getting married because she couldn't stand the heartless man. In the end, the truth of the matter no longer mattered, but a spontaneously formed team continued to expand, and the crusade against the heartless man became more and more intense. They want to drive this man out of Wan Jin's sect. And they must not let their beloved senior sister be sad for a second time. Which will affect her state of mind during the tribulation. Chapter 241 The Leader of Wan Jin's Sect, Yu Hushuan. Sneeze! Sneeze! Qin Feng rubbed his nose and felt confused in his heart. The temperature in Jianfeng was not as cold as outside. So why did he keep sneezing? Moreover, what is the reason for this inexplicable panic? Is it because of the lady? Puzzled. He picked up the hot tea on the table and took a sip. At this moment, 
He and Hei Tantu were the only two people in the room. Everyone else had something to do and left. Dad said that this was his first time coming to the rumored Wanjian sect, and he wanted to take a stroll nearby. When the chief master left, he only left a sentence to meet an acquaintance. As for who the acquaintance he mentioned was, he didn't say much. Lan Ningxuan, on the other hand, went to look for Bai Chiu. After all, if you want to climb Xingyu a peak, you must obtain the consent of the leader of the Ten Thousand Sword sect. And not everyone can see the leader of a sect. After waiting in the house for a long time, Ning Shuang did not come back. Xin Feng, who had been feeling inexplicably panicked, thought of going out to relax. Hei Tan Tu and Hei Tan Tu climbed up along the winding mountain path of Jianfeng. After an unknown amount of time, they came to a huge rock. It is about five feet wide. And when you look up, it is nearly ten feet wide. There are many people's names engraved on the surface of the boulder. And there is a line of clear air hovering above each person's name. Qin Feng stared carefully for a moment, and then understood that it was sword energy. The names of these people were all carved with sword energy. Uncle, what is this boulder? Qin Feng shook his head. I don't know either. At this moment, a rich voice sounded from the other side of the boulder. This is not a boulder, but a stone tablet. The two were curious, so they walked towards the sound and walked around the side of the boulder. They saw a middle-aged man wearing a blue and black cloak, holding a small wine bottle and staring at the name on the stone tablet. As if what to remember, the middle-aged man took a sip of wine and said calmly, The names engraved on it are all the people of the sect who have gone out to fight against monsters and ghosts since ancient times and failed to return. Wan Jin Zong's ability to become one of the three recognized masters of swordsmanship in Dakian is of course not just because of its strength. After the members of the sect complete their studies, they must travel around the world, fight against demons and ghosts, and contribute their meager strength to protect the people of the world. Over time, the reputation of Wan Jian sect naturally increased in Dakian. But when you go out to fight against monsters and ghosts, who can guarantee that you will come back alive? There are so many powerful and terrifying monsters in the world. They often walk by the river, and there is no one who doesn't get his shoes wet. The more times we go on crusade, the less often we return to our sect. Until the end, there is no coming back. Qin Feng and Qin Feng were shocked when they heard this. They looked up at the stone tablet again. The densely packed names on it seemed quite unpleasant at the moment. The middle-aged man turned his head and saw their expressions and laughed. Hey, why are you looking like this? The original intention of the sword ancestor when he founded the 10,000 sword sect was to hope that his disciples would protect the world and slay demons. Get rid of demons. For the people of Wan Jin sect, it is a great honor to be on this stone tablet. It's a pity, because I am too strong. So far I have not met a demon who can send me to this stone monument. Most of the sad emotions of Qin Feng and Qin Feng disappeared under this boast. How thick skin can a person be to say such things in front of others? Golden light flashed in his eyes, and Qin Feng looked at the middle-aged man, wanting to see how strong the other party was before he dared to speak so wildly. But in just a blink of an eye, where can I still see the middle-aged figure just now? Where are the others? Qin Feng asked in shock. Uncle, I don't, I don't know. I was obviously keeping an eye on him. But I didn't notice when he disappeared. Xing Xing swallowed. The two looked at each other. The shock in their eyes unable to be hidden. Not long after, two more beautiful figures walked along the mountain road towards the stone monument. Bai Chiu said crisply, Sister Ning Shuang, Master is usually either in the Sec Master's Hall at Xing Yue Peak or staying here. I just went to the sec master's hall and failed to find him. So there is a high probability that he is here. Also, did the second young master of the Qin family really not come with him? I'm just asking out of curiosity. I don't have any other ideas. Lan Ningxuan shook her head. She just wanted to find the master of Wan Jian sect quickly and let her uncle and young lady meet. After boarding the stone platform, a huge stone monument came into view. Beside the stone tablet, there were two familiar figures. Lan Ningxuang said in surprise. Uncle, Xing Shenling, why are you here? I have been staying in the house with nothing to do. So I went out for a walk, and I happened to arrive here. Qin Feng looked for a voice. And after seeing the person clearly, he replied. Bai Chiu snorted when she saw Qin Feng. Naturally, she couldn't have a good look on the guy who took away senior sister Jin Li. She looked around and saw no one else. So she said softly, Hey, was there anyone else here besides you just now? There is also a middle-aged senior wearing a blue and black cloak. Haiden too responded. Hearing this, Bai Chiu turned around and chuckled. 
Sister Ning Chuang, let me just say that the master is here. Master? Qin Feng and Qin Feng stared in surprise. That person just now turned out to be Bai Chiu's master. The master of Wan Jin sect. The rumored Yu Hushuan. Why are you making such a fuss? Where is my master? If you want to climb Xing Yue Peak, you have to ask for his permission. Bai Chiu looked around again, but still couldn't see his master. He suddenly disappeared just now. Qin Feng opened his mouth and said, Ah? Bai Chiu's pink face suddenly fell. Xing Yue Peak? The sect master's hall? In a mountain pavilion, Yu Hushuan's figure suddenly appeared. He walked to the stone table. Then with a move of his right hand, a jar of wine buried in the mountain spring instantly slipped into his hand. He took out three more wine glasses from the Sumer ring. Yu Hushuan filled them one by one and said at the same time, You are already here. What are you hiding? The words just fell. A gray sleeve appeared, and a wrinkled palm stretched out to take the wine glass. It was Old Man Bailey. On the other side of the stone table, a strong wind hit, and a man wearing black clothes and a faceless white mask appeared out of thin air. The faceless man and the old man looked at each other. The old man's eyes were a little strange, but he didn't say anything more and just drank all the wine in the glass. You too. If you don't stay well in the small town, why would you come to my place when you have time? Do you want to catch up with me and reminisce about old times? Or is it for the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth that my good disciple is about to face? Why ask even though you already know? The old man said in a deep voice. When Yu Hushuan heard this, his expression became solemn. Old man, you clearly said at the beginning that she would become the youngest sword god in history. Is there really something going on here this time? As for Lu Jinli's hexagram being obscured by heaven, I couldn't predict it. But a little guy sounded the alarm for me and made me think of some questions. Don't you think that the timing of Zidian Shinjuan's birth is too coincidental? As soon as these words came out, Yu Hushuan frowned. He stood up and walked around the pavilion. Finally, he made up his mind and said, Come with me. The place they were going to was the sword tomb of the Wanjin sect. Chapter 242 The Heartless Man Who Is Angry With Both Humans and Gods With the strength of Yu Hushuan and the others. In just the blink of an eye, their figures appeared in another place. This is the deepest part of the Misty Peaks. A waterfall hangs on the top of the mountain and flows down. Yu Hushuan waved his right hand and the huge waterfall separated to the left and right sides, revealing a dark hole. Behind the water curtain, there is a different world. Go in. The three people flashed and stepped into the cave. The place here is huge, much more open than it looks from the outside. At a glance, the ground was covered with swords, tied with black chains, and connected one after another. The gurgling sword sounds lingered, and the sound even covered the sound of the roaring waterfall at the entrance to the cave. And here is the sword tomb of the Wanjin sect. Follow Yu Hushuan all the way to the depths of the sword tomb. Not long after, the surroundings and feet were no longer stone walls and soil, but huge white skeletons left by unknown monsters and monsters. Even though this skeleton has been weathered for many years, the aura remaining on it made even Yu Hushuan and the others feel a little palpitated. At the deepest point, at the end of the skeleton, what caught the eye was a white skull that looked like some kind of beast. Between the eyebrows of the skull, a black hole the size of a thumb was particularly eye-catching, with traces of lightning arc surging above it. According to the historical records of the Wan Jin sect, the sword ancestor disappeared after killing the monster, leaving only the sword inserted in the forehead of the monster. Later generations of sect leaders tried to pull out the purple lightning gun, but all failed. Some people speculate that the monster is too powerful, and the sword master is afraid that the magical power revealed after his death will cause harm to others. So he carries a sword with him and sets up a band to suppress the remaining soul of the monster. Of course, this is just speculation. And the truth of the matter has long been unknown. Yu Hushuan sighed with emotion. After a pause, he talked about the night when the purple lightning god Jun appeared. A strange change occurred in the sword tomb. Thousands of swords trembled. And sword energy soared into the sky. He and the other twelve peak masters gathered outside the sword tomb and saw a bolt of lightning flashing out of the entrance of the waterfall and rushing into the sky. That electric light is the purple lightning god. The purple lightning god Jun, which had been dormant for a long time in the sword tomb, suddenly appeared, and we were very suspicious. However, after checking the inside and outside of the sword tomb, no abnormalities were found. Some peak master said that perhaps the remaining souls of the monster beasts were suppressed for such a long time and were completely destroyed. Zidian Shinju no longer needed to maintain the restriction. 
So he plundered the sword tomb and reappeared in the world. Yu Hushuan said in a deep voice. The faceless man spread his energy and carefully sensed his surroundings, but found nothing suspicious. The old man Bailey pondered for a moment, stretched out his right hand and tapped the void with his index finger. The space suddenly rippled like water and a picture was revealed in it. Immortal magic, mirror flowers and water moon. Yu Hushuan said in surprise. In the picture, the purple lightning divine gun was still inserted into the forehead of the huge beast-headed bones. But suddenly, a black flame passed by. As if being stimulated, the divine sword began to tremble continuously, and lightning emerged. The black flames came and went as quickly as they came, flying away from the sword tomb in just a moment. The purple lightning divine gun also fell off from the head and followed the black flames away. What is the black flame? Yu Hushuan frowned. Old man Bailey shook his head with deep eyes. The group of people walked along the mountain path and left the stone monument. Bai Chio complained a little. It's true. Master, his whereabouts are always erratic. Qin Feng, who was anxious to go to Xingyue Peak to see his wife, asked, Will he return to the sect master's hall? Can you go there and look for him again? When Bai Chio heard this, he was just about to say something out of habit, when he suddenly saw a group of Wanjian sect disciples approaching menacingly in front of the mountain road going down. Are you Qin Feng? When he heard someone calling his name, Qin Feng nodded and replied, Yes, I am you. He looked at everyone in confusion, not quite understanding the situation. I don't owe you any money. Why do you all look like this? As expected, it's you, the bastard who used your sweet talk to deceive senior sister Jianli. Someone in the crowd said angrily. Ah? Qin Feng was confused. He looks like a human being, but he is a sanctimonious and heartless man who always gives up. A female disciple spat, biting her silver teeth. Who? Me? Qin Feng was completely dumbfounded. Miss Ning Xuan, senior sister Bai Chiu, you two come here quickly. Don't be deceived by his appearance. What this guy has done is outrageous to both humans and gods. A group of male disciples shouted. Lan Ning Xuan was frightened by this battle. She asked in a low voice. Uncle, what on earth have you done? Why do these people talk about you like this? I don't know either. Qing Feng recalled it carefully. After coming to Wanjin sect, he had not been to any other place. Why was he treated like this? You still want to make excuses now? It seems like you won't admit it unless you tell me all your evil deeds. Then, everyone in the Wanjin sect combined the rumors they had heard and processed through multiple processes. After Qing Feng heard this, he was completely stunned. Among these people, he seemed to be a heinous scumbag, even worse than Shinshimi not to mention wandering around the land of fireworks. He also made love to other women in front of his wife, and even spent time with other women on the wedding night. Um, wait, the last point seems to be correct. Qin Feng glanced at Ning Shuang beside him. He still remembers the dazzling bright moon on the night of their wedding. Your evil deeds are simply too numerous to describe. And yet, you dare to come to our Wan Jin sect to look for senior sister Jin Li. That must be your evil slave. He hurt the disciples of our sect. He is indeed disgusting. Why? Your face is so dark. Who are you trying to show it to? A male disciple shouted. Xing Sheng. After hearing so much, Qin Feng finally understood that there must be someone in the sect spreading rumors and saying bad things about him. The purpose behind it is not difficult to guess. He married Lu Jianli. So he would naturally be envied, jealous, and hated by others. After their group came to Wan Jin's sect, Haydn too only took action against the two cheaters guarding the gate. In this case, there is no need to guess who the source of the rumor is. In the crowd, Jiang Guang shrank his head and looked to one side. Junior brother, did you spread this news? Sun Kai also looked puzzled. No, I told some people in the sect that senior sister Jin Li's husband came and brought his family with him. Then we complained about the blackface guard taking action against us. That's strange. Apart from you, I just said a few words casually. Most handsome men are playboys and not worthy of trust. The two looked at each other and swallowed a mouthful of saliva. The other disciples were already excited and shouted, A person like you is not worthy of meeting senior sister Jin Li. If I hadn't been a member of the Wanjin sect, I would have killed every one of you who was a heartless person like you. A group of female disciples scolded in a delicate voice. Yes, get out of the outer sword sect before we take action. Yes, you ungrateful man. Get out of Wanjin sect. The sound of the crusade was deafening. Chapter 243 Sword Duel? Why don't you fight with me? When Bai Chiu heard these words, 
He looked at Qin Feng and immediately showed a look of disgust. I didn't expect you to be such a person. I'm not. I didn't. Don't talk nonsense. Qin Feng waved his hand immediately. Slander. These are naked slanders. Lan Ningxuang frowned and immediately shouted to everyone. That's nonsense. How could my uncle be such a person? He has never been to the land of fireworks and willow lanes. Lan Ningxuang firmly believed in this. Because most of the time, she was responsible for guarding her uncle. How could she give her uncle such a chance? Lan Ningxuang was Lu Jianli's sword attendant. And most people in the Wanjian sect knew her. Some of the male disciples even had admiration for her. Seeing Lan Ningxuang defend that heartless man like this made her feel heartbroken. Some people couldn't bear it anymore. So they stood up and drew their swords and shouted. Heartless man. Besides talking sweet words and hiding behind women. What else can you do? Jean Feng said helplessly. It's all a misunderstanding. These news are fabricated out of thin air. Is the source of the information the two disciples who guard the sect. One fat and one thin. If you come looking for them, I can confront them face to face. When Jiang Guang and Sun Kai in the crowd heard this, they immediately shrank their necks and lowered their heads. The man with the sword drew shouted, No need to quibble anymore. They told you about your evil deeds. And you called them over. Is it because you want the evil slaves to do it again? As expected, it was the rumor spread by those two cheaters. Qin Feng was so angry that he felt that Hei Tanta's attack was too gentle. He opened his mouth and said, Everyone, you have been fellow disciples with those two for so long. Haven't you noticed that their heads are not very easy to use? I can't believe what they said. As soon as these words came out, everyone who was originally noisy suddenly became quiet at the same time, showing expressions of thinking. Someone asked in a low voice, Is this news really coming from Jiang Guang and Sun Kai? I heard it from another junior brother. But his source of information seems to be those two people. Well, when Qin Feng saw this, he raised his eyebrows. All his explanations were useless. But as soon as he mentioned those two people, the rumors began to disintegrate from within. It can be seen that the unreliability of those two guys has been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. The first ones to defect were a group of female disciples. Someone said softly, Actually, I don't think the young master looks like someone who started in chaos and then gave up. Perhaps we really misunderstood? Where are Jiang Guang and Sun Kai? Find them too and confront them face to face. Our Wanjin sect is not unreasonable. Even if we really want to drive him out of the Wanjin sect, we must have solid evidence. Some male disciples felt quite uncomfortable when they heard this. This rumor is getting stronger and stronger. And it is also closely related to them. Who is senior sister Jinli? She has unparalleled swordsmanship and heavenly beauty. Although they know that it is impossible for them to become a divine couple with their senior sister, they do not want her to marry someone else. Besides, the man in front of me looks like a weak scholar who is not skilled in martial arts. How can he marry senior sister Jinli? Coupled with being so handsome. It really makes people envious and jealous. As a result, a group of male disciples spoke out again, calling for the heartless man to be driven out of Wan Jin's sect. And the initiators of all this, Jiang Guang and Sun Kai, had taken advantage of the chaos and sneaked to the outside of the crowd. In front of the melanating crowd, the male disciples and the female disciples had different opinions and argued. After a while, someone said, Well, since there are differences of opinion, we will use the most commonly used method of Wan Jin sect sword battle. Sword Ju? Qin Feng didn't know why. Bai Chiu on the side explained. In the Wan Jin sect, everything is based on strength. The winner advances and the loser retreats. The so-called sword duel, simply put, is a competition between two parties. And the winner can have the right to speak. I see. Qin Feng nodded slightly. Then, he saw the male disciple who proposed the sword duel pulled out the long sword and pointed it at him, and said, I apply for a sword duel with you. If I win, you will leave my Wanjin sect and don't even think about looking for a sword again. Senior Sister Li. Qin Feng's expression suddenly froze. This shameless guy is bullying my defenseless old comrade? Sword competition is not a competition between inferiors. How can he compete as a scholar of the literati? In his eyes, golden light flashed. And judging from the strength of the opponent's body, he was actually a 6th grade divine martial artist. If we really fight, wouldn't we definitely lose? Qin Feng sneered. I am a literate sage, and you are a divine warrior. Wouldn't it be a bit bullying to fight with me in sword fighting? Why don't you fight with me? The male disciple's expression froze. At this time, another young man who looked to be no more than 13 or 14 years old was heard saying, 
When you come to my Wanjin sect, you will naturally follow the rules of my Wanjin sect. If you are afraid, get out of my sect. As soon as this was said, many people responded. Qin Feng looked at the opponent and glanced at the energy in his body. He was just an 8th level divine martial artist. I don't have much ability, but my tone is quite good. I'm not sure how to deal with your 6th grade senior brother, and I can't cure you. A brat whose hair may not even grow all the way back? Thinking of this, Qin Feng pointed at the young man and said, What you said makes sense. Do as the Romans do when you are in the country, and when you come to Wanjin sect, you will naturally follow the rules of your Wanjin sect. I apply for a sword duel with you. If I lose, I will get out of Wanjin sect myself. But if I win, you have to apologize to me. Aw? Huh? The young man pointed at himself with a confused look on his face. He just said a few words of excitement. Why was he the target of the sword duel? The others also looked blank. Shameless. He is just a junior fellow apprentice who has only joined the sect a few years ago. How dare you have the nerve to fight with him in a sword duel? Someone came back to his senses and scolded. Hearing this, Qin Feng snorted softly. You have the nerve to compete with me in a sword duel with a literary saint. But you don't allow me to choose my opponent? Who is shameless? But I am not an unreasonable person. If he is afraid, just apologize to me and I can pretend that nothing happened. After all, the young man was immature. After a provocation, he was immediately attacked and stood up. Okay, I agree to a sword duel with you. Junior brother, don't be impulsive. The senior brothers on the side advised. It doesn't matter. Senior brother, he is just a weak scholar with no strength. I am sure of it, the young man said loudly, as if to cheer himself up. There is an unwritten tradition of vulgar martial arts. For scholars, people like to describe them as weak and weak scholars. Firstly, it's because they really look down on scholars. Secondly, it is because their vocabulary is limited and there are only so many insulting words that they can think of. Everyone got out of the way, leaving enough space for Qin Feng and the two of them. Lan Ningxuang said with concern. Uncle, be careful. Qin Feng waved his hand, drew a circle on the ground, and said to the young man, I won't bully you. I only defend but not attack. If you can knock me out of this circle, I will take the initiative to admit defeat and leave Wan Wan. Sword sect. Naturally, he had his reasons for doing so. When the Wichung Taoist is at a low level, he is good at defending against weak attacks. Just like himself, the only attack method he can display is the formation method by Lei. However, the power of Bai Lei is too great. If it hurts the little brother on the opposite side, it will not end well. In this case, only defense without offense is the best way. But when these words fell into the young man's ears, they turned into naked contempt. He suppressed his blush and gritted his teeth and said, It's too much to bully someone. Then, he pulled out the sword from his waist and slashed straight at him. Chapter 244 No Need to Hold Back I can still hold on. The young man is an 8th grade martial artist with a level 1 sword sharp sword spirit. Although he cannot wield his sword spirit, he can still exert considerable power when combined with the swordsmanship moves of 10,000 sword sex. I saw him holding the hilt of the sword tightly with his right hand, thrusting forward, and a bit of cold light came through the wind, which sounded like a spear coming out like a dragon. Uncle, be careful. Lan Ningxuang and Haydn too warned at the same time. Bai Chiu watched with interest on the side, hoping that this little junior brother could give him a lesson. That nasty guy who took away his senior sister. The young man took three steps and two steps at a time. Within a moment, the tip of the sword was less than ten feet away from Qin Feng, but the latter stood there without any movement. Just when the young man thought he had a chance to win and could perform well in front of his brothers and sisters, a white light suddenly lit up in front of his eyes. That was Qin Feng's literary skill that inspired his righteousness, Haotian Mirror. The tip of the sword touched the Haotian Mirror, and a white halo rippled from the mirror. Then there was a sound like the collision of jade, and the young man was directly knocked back by the reaction force. And he almost even dropped the sword in his hand. The sudden scene shocked everyone present, and they looked at Qin Feng in disbelief. This weak scholar actually has such means? Sure enough, when literary energy is tempered into righteousness, the literary skills displayed will be even more powerful. Before, even though Hao Tian Mirror could easily defend against the opponent's sword moves, it was impossible to repel them. Qin Feng looked at the young man who staggered back. Thoughtfully, I don't know how many levels of martial arts my Hao Tian Mirror could resist at most. This young man is still a little weak after all. If you want to use it for testing, 
He is completely unqualified. I have to think of a way to find a 7th grade martial artist to try my hand at it. Thinking of this, Jean Fong looked at the young man and said, What? Do you want to admit defeat? Never admit defeat. The young man clenched his trembling hands and gritted his teeth. Seeing this, Jean Fong sighed. Then do it. After he finished speaking, he held the Halkin mirror in his right hand and held his left hand behind his back. Looking like a master, he even had the urge to shout, Holding the moon and picking the stars, There is no one like me in the world, to show off to others. But this idea was dismissed by him. These words were too pretentious. If he said such words in Wanjin sect, where there were many masters, he would really be beaten to death. The young man came again with his sword in hand. This time, he was smarter and did not use the thrusting movement of the sword. Instead, he swung the sword horizontally, intending to tear open the white light barrier. However, the idea is beautiful, but the reality is cruel. The crisp sound sounded again, and he was knocked away again. The sword flew away from his hand, and he sat on the ground. The boy's eyes were a little dazed. His hands were holding his trouser legs tightly, and he was biting his lips, obviously trying to restrain himself. He reached out to grab the sword that fell to the ground not far away, trying to maintain his last stubbornness. But at this time, Jean Fong said with inappropriate concern, Hey, are you okay? The simple words completely shattered the young man's psychological defense. He couldn't control it anymore and burst into tears. Then he stood up, pushed through the crowd, and ran down the mountain. Jean Feng's expression froze. And he was crying? The psychological endurance is too poor. Right? Does Wan Jian sect only cultivate the strength of its disciples and does not pay attention to psychological construction? This young man should learn from him. In his last life, when his class teacher dug out a two-dimensional publication in his school bag in front of the whole class, even though he was awkwardly picking at his feet, his expression remained unchanged and he firmly claimed that it belonged to his deskmate. Oh, that deskmate was sick and didn't come to school. It wasn't until the young man ran away in tears that all the male disciples realized what he was doing and began to scold him. That's unreasonable. The big one bullies the small ones. And yet, he is so ruthless. Ching Fong frowned slightly and immediately retorted. You can eat randomly, but you can't talk nonsense. Which of your eyes saw me taking action? From beginning to end, I stood here and let him attack. The voices of the male disciples suddenly stopped, because there was nothing wrong with what they said. But the more they did it, the more aggrieved they became. The sixth grade male disciple who initially proposed the sword duel said, Junior brother, he is not very good at studying. He can't break through your defense. And he can't blame others. In this case, it's up to me, my senior brother. Before he finished speaking, Chin Fong hurriedly interrupted. I know you are not convinced. Although I did not take action. But bullying the small with a big one is indeed a victory without force. Let's do this. I'll choose another person to fight with. The sixth grade male disciple was about to speak, but a golden light flashed in Qin Feng's eyes, and he instantly locked onto a man older than him, but with only a seventh grade cultivation level. The decision is made by you. Ah, The male disciple who was pointed at was a little unresponsive. He had just been verbally criticizing this person with others. But why was he targeted in the blink of an eye? Is it because his voice was too loud? The most important thing is that he really has no confidence that he can break through the strange white light barrier. So he feels very scared. Chin Fong glanced at the sixth grade male disciple, who looked aggrieved, as if he had eaten a fly. I know you are in a hurry, but don't be in a hurry. I'll practice with this seventh grade disciple first. It depends on the situation, whether I should give you a chance to take action. Chin Fong thought to himself. The seventh grade disciple was hesitant and hesitated to speak. Chin Fong repeated his old trick. If you are afraid, you could admit defeat and apologize for those false remarks that slandered me before. A sword duel with you wouldn't be considered bullying a small one. Right? It's a joke. I'm just afraid that I'll hit you too hard and hurt you. Since you can't find happiness yourself, you can't blame me. The thin-faced male disciple felt weak in his heart, but his mouth was very tough. He pulled out his sword and said loudly, Brothers, please step aside. The sword has no eyes. Wait for me to take action. Defeat this weak scholar and let him get out of Wanjin's sect. Okay. I, a member of the Wanjin sect, should have such courage. That's right. A weak scholar with no power to tie a chicken dares to show off in Wanjin sect. He simply doesn't know how to live or die. Senior brother, junior brother, I'm optimistic about you. 
The thin male disciple was greatly encouraged when he heard these words. He didn't have much talent. In this sect with many geniuses, he thought that his membership would be unknown all his life. And then he would die on the road to conquer demons and ghosts at some point in the future. Who would have thought that one day I would receive the attention of so many fellow disciples? Leave it to me. Boy, look at the sword. Hearing a loud shout, the man raised the sword in his hand and swung out a sword energy. Very powerful. However, with just a clang sound, the moment the sword energy touched the Halkian mirror, it could no longer move forward until it collapsed. The seventh grade disciple's pupil suddenly enlarged. He had used seven or eight percent of his strength in the blow just now, but it had no effect at all. Jean Fong, on the other hand, was secretly happy. Now that I am using the Halkian mirror, it can be said to be effortless against the attack of a seventh grade martial artist. Do you want to try another level six person? No. It's also possible that this guy hasn't used his full strength yet. So that's why. Let him take a few more shots and see how it goes. Thinking of this, Chin Fong put on Yuan's attitude and said, Senior brother, haven't you had enough to eat? Don't hold back. I can still hold on. Everyone. Chapter 245 Crazy Disciple. In Xingyu Peak, in the 10,000 sword sword formation, a beautiful figure in white is sitting cross-legged with eyes closed next to a hanging purple sword. It is Lu Jianli. At this moment, her white clothes fluttered and her black hair fluttered. Countless transparent qi machines all over its body are connected to the sword blades in all directions. The sword sounds gurgling and the sword body shakes. This is her attempt to control the 10,000 sword sword formation. However, whenever the surrounding swords tremble most violently, the guidance between the transparent qi machine and the sword blades will be interrupted, causing the previous efforts to fall short. Lu Jianli slowly opened his eyes, looking a little dazed. She naturally knew why the traction sword formation failed. Because of her, I was confused. She left without saying goodbye and came to Wang Jin's sect, just not wanting the man to worry. But at this moment, her mind was filled with that person's figure, the tenderness that night seemed to have happened last night. Her hand seemed to still have the warmth from the other person's chest. She wants to see him. She really wants to. At this moment, a strange black sword energy rushed into the sky. Lu Jinli then looked around. Where was the mountain peak where the Wang Jin sect stone tablet was located? The powerful energy was released. And she wanted to find out what happened. Why is there such a disgusting and frightening sword energy in the 10,000 sword sect? Suddenly, her beautiful eyes widened. And there was a trace of confusion and surprise in them. Until finally, they turned into a touch of joy. She stood up, tapped her toes on the ground, and swept towards the place where the black sword energy appeared. Death, I want you to die. The sixth grade man, holding a long sword in his hand, shouted in a low voice with red eyes. The black sword energy before was exerted by him. Qing Feng looked at the dark crack on the surface of the Halkian mirror and swallowed with fear. After the seventh grade disciple tried his best but was unable to break through the defense, the sixth grade senior brother finally had a chance to take action. But with his sixth grade strength, he still had no way to deal with the Halkian mirror. Qing Feng wanted to test his current defense more. So as before, he said a few words of joy and deliberately induced the opponent to take action. As a result, the opponent seemed to be stimulated by something. His whole body trembled. His eyes turned red. And then he waved an extremely powerful black sword energy. Could this be some unique move of Wan Jin sect? Qin Feng opened his golden eyes and looked at the opponent. I saw that the energy in his body was actually entangled with a black aura that was like a flame. This look does not look like he has used any sword moves but more like he is possessed by a maniac. Everyone around him also noticed something was wrong and advised. Brother, just teach him a lesson. You can't really kill him. Yes. Someone was closer and planned to reach out to stop the sixth grade senior brother. But a burst of black energy dispersed from his body, shocking everyone around him. Death, I want you to die. The sixth grade senior brother roared angrily and took a step forward, causing cracks on the mountain path to spread to both sides. There's something wrong with him. Lan Ningxuang and Xing Sheng frowned. Bai Chiu was also displeased and said, Sword skills are very particular. What do you mean? Stop it quickly, or I will tell the master. Although she really hoped that someone could take action and teach Qin Feng, the hateful guy who took away her senior sister, a lesson. She couldn't really see Qin Feng get hurt, but the sixth grade disciple ignored it, swung his long sword, and slashed out another black sword energy, causing the earth to shake and the mountains to shake. This power? 
Bai Chiu couldn't believe it. Even with her strength, she might not be able to slash with such sword energy. Qin Feng's eyes widened, and he mobilized the righteous energy in his body to flow into the Haotian mirror, and then heard a loud noise. He only felt his body trembling, and his bones seemed to be falling apart under this powerful shock. And with a continuous clicking sound, the previously invincible Haotian mirror shattered into pieces and disappeared into white light. But fortunately, the powerful black sword energy also collapsed at the same time. However, just when Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief, he saw the tip of a sword getting bigger and bigger in his pupils. Mixed with a cold light, the moment the sixth grade senior brother slashed out the black sword energy, his figure also followed suit. He really wanted to kill Qin Feng. Not good! The sword came so suddenly that no one expected it. By the time Bai Chiu and the others reacted, it was already too late to stop them. The tip of the sword was already less than an inch away from Qin Feng's forehead, and it only took a moment to penetrate the latter's head. But just this inch of distance is like a gutter. Two slender jade fingers clamped the blade of the sword. No matter how hysterical the sixth grade senior brother was, and how hard he tried, he couldn't move any further. Qin Feng felt his heart beating wildly. He was just an inch away from death. He looked around tremblingly, wanting to see who had saved him. What caught his eye was the figure who was thinking about it day and night. Her black hair is like a waterfall, and her delicate profile is breathtaking. Madam, Qin Feng called. Lu Jinli did not respond. His face was expressionless, and his eyes were as cold as a pool of cold water. Everyone present couldn't help but shudder. The aura exuding from her body was terrifying. Someone in the Wan Jin sect wanted to kill her husband. How could she not be angry? Senior sister Jinli. Everyone came back to their senses and looked at the male disciple, who was still going crazy. Quickly! Restrain him! A senior brother shouted. And upon hearing this, the other male disciples, with good strength, stepped forward and pinned the crazed man to the ground. The male disciple was still struggling, roaring like a wild beast. The force of this person's twisting even made everyone suspect that what they were holding down was not a human being, but a violent, ferocious beast. What happened here? High in the sky, a middle-aged man in gray robe looked at the scene on the mountain road and asked. The black sword energy seemed so out of place in the Wan Jin sect. Naturally, other people besides Lu Jinli noticed it. And this gray-robed middle-aged man is one of the peak masters of the sword peaks of the Ten Thousand Sword sect, Fu Jia, and is also the main force responsible for guarding the Ten Thousand Sword sect. He glanced at everyone present and saw two unfamiliar faces. In addition, there was Lu Jianli, who was supposed to be leading the Ten Thousand Sword sword formation at Xingyue Peak. Master Fu! All the disciples saluted. Yeah! Fu Jia drifted down, glanced at the strange man standing side by side with Lu Jianli then looked at the disciple who was pinned to the ground and struggling desperately by several people, and frowned. What's wrong with him? All the disciples looked at each other, and then told the truth about what had just happened. Master Fu! What happened to senior brother? A junior brother, who usually had a good relationship with him, asked worriedly. Fu Jia frowned when he heard this. It wasn't that he didn't want to answer, but he had never seen this situation before. When Qin Feng saw this, he said, Why don't you let me take a look? Fu Jiaxuan said that he knew Qin Feng's identity from his disciples' words. I am a doctor. If Master Fu can trust you, you can let me try. Qin Feng added. Doctor. Fu Jian murmured to himself, suddenly thought of something, and asked tentatively, Could it be you who cured Jianli's meridians that were damaged? Good. As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked. Chapter 246 Disappearing and Breaking the Black Energy When senior sister Jianli failed to survive the tribulation, her meridians were damaged, and her lower body was paralyzed. She returned to Fontian City, the imperial capital, and sought treatment from the imperial doctor to no avail. Everyone in the sect thought that it would be impossible for her to return to the sect and aspire to be the master of swordsmanship. Because of this, they were shocked when they saw senior sister Jianli standing with a sword again. Many people are speculating on who it is that has such incredible medical skills and can cure diseases that even the imperial doctors are unable to cure but they didn't expect that this mysterious doctor turned out to be the heartless man they originally planned to expel from the sect. Fu Jia's expression changed several times. And then he said, Then please. Qin Feng nodded slightly and came to the crazy disciple. Also approaching with him was Lu Jianli, who was dressed in white. Such a dangerous thing happened just now. So the latter naturally wanted to protect him by his side to prevent accidents. When Qin Feng saw this, he didn't say much. He just felt warm in his heart. 
With a wife like this, what could a husband ask for? He knelt down and looked at the frantic disciple. His eyes were still red, and he kept roaring in his mouth. Who will help me fix his head? Qin Feng asked. As soon as he finished speaking, a force of energy swept past him like a sudden wind. The frantic disciple raised his head, widened his eyes, and remained motionless. It was Lu Jianli who took action. Qin Feng felt relieved and stretched out his right hand to explore the other person's neck. When I started, my body temperature was unusually high, and my pulse was beating too fast, at least twice as fast as that of ordinary people. Golden light flashed in his pupils, and Qin Feng looked into the opponent's body again. The black gas, which was like a flame clinging to the energy, began to tremble as if it had a consciousness of its own. There was no record of such a weird symptom in the medical books he had read before, and Qin Feng couldn't help but frown. The junior brother on the side saw this and looked worried. What's wrong? Senior brother? Can he return to normal? Fu Jia also asked. Did you see anything? Qin Feng exhaled and said, I don't know what this disease is exactly. When I checked his physical condition just now, I felt a strange aura clinging to the energy in his body. Come to think of it, that weird aura was the culprit that caused him to look like this. Weird aura. Fu Jia lowered his head and muttered thoughtfully. I'll see if I can force that aura out of the body. Qin Feng said this then stretched out his palm and pressed it on the head of the mad disciple, and then guided the righteous energy into his body. Righteous energy has the effect of being invulnerable to all poisons. If this strange flame-like black energy is as poisonous as by Fong's fire, then righteousness should be its nemesis. But unfortunately, when Qin Feng guided his righteous energy into contact with the black energy, he only heard the sound of melting. The two sides were in a stalemate, and neither could do anything to the other. It was useless. Qin Feng's heart sank. Although we know the source of the disease, if we can't expel it from the body, it's all in vain. Is there no other way? Qin Feng frowned and fell into thinking. Suddenly, an idea flashed in his mind, and he reached out and touched his arms. In addition to the Luyun hairpin, there was also a cool jade pendant. It was the Qimen Bugwa jade. This jade pendant has the ability to change shape. Previously, due to my limited cultivation, the distance it could move was only two inches. However, with my current strength, this distance should be much wider. I wonder, can I use this jade pendant to transfer the strange black energy from his body to the outside? Give it a try. Qin Feng took a deep breath and channeled his righteousness into the Qimen Bagua jade in his arms. Within a moment, as a white light lit up, an eight-formation diagram with a radius of one foot appeared at his feet. What is this? The sudden scene made everyone unable to help but shout. They are all divine warriors. Although the warriors can conquer mountains and rivers and have great power in every gesture, they lack magical means. To put it simply, there is no magic. That's why they looked surprised when they saw this strange scene. Qin Feng did not answer, but instead activated his spiritual thoughts and began to use the Qimen Bagua Jade to change his body. I saw him open his right hand, palms spread out, and the eight formation diagrams under his feet also emitted bright and dazzling white light at this moment. The black energy in the mad disciple's body began to surge. Feeling the pressure of resistance, Qin Feng immediately gritted his teeth and poured all the righteousness in his body into the Qimen Bagua Jade. At the same time, the dazzling white light on the eight formation diagram became even brighter. The crazed disciple's body began to shake violently, and he let out heartrending screams of pain. A strong aura surged out of his body like a sea wave, and in just one breath, it shook away the people holding him down. After breaking free, his right hand turned into a claw and clawed hard at Qin Feng's throat, as if he wanted to kill the latter with one blow. But with Lu Jianli standing by her side, how could he let him succeed? The jade finger lightly tapped on the frantic disciple's head. The man immediately stiffened and was unable to move. Qin Feng took this opportunity to increase his strength, and finally transferred the black energy out of the mad disciple's body through the method of transformation. The black energy left the body and turned into black flames exuding a chilling aura. Qin Feng didn't know what this strange black energy was. So he hurriedly said, Madam, control this black flame. It was too late. But soon, black flame shot up into the sky. Lu Jianli saw this and stretched out his right hand to restrain him by using his strength. But at this moment, several rays of sword energy came from the direction of the Wan Jian sect sword tomb, turning into a cage, imprisoning the black flames, and then turned back into a white light. What is that? Qin Feng asked in shock. That's Master's Dragon Locking Sword Formation. Lu Jianli's red lips parted lightly. 
It was the leader of Wan Jin's sect who took action. So the Black Flame should not be a concern. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief. And then felt his legs go weak. Fortunately, Lu Jianli held him in time. The Qimen Bagua Jade was aroused. But the consumption was still too much. Qin Feng thought that this situation would get better after he entered the seventh level. But he didn't expect that he would be evacuated as soon as he fired. T. When will I be able to last? Qin Feng sent out a soul torture in his heart. On the other side, the frantic disciple finally regained his consciousness after the black energy was stripped out of his body. He looked around and said in a weak tone, What just happened? Why do I have no memory at all? With Lu Jianli's support, Qin Feng barely stood up and sighed in his heart. The lady's body is still so weak. Seeing that the other party regained consciousness, he told him what had just happened and the strange black energy, and then asked, Where have you been recently, and what have you done? This strange black energy cannot appear for no reason. It must have its source. That's why Qin Feng asked the other party, trying to find some clues. When the male disciple heard what he had just done, he was confused and frightened. And then he recounted what he had experienced recently. Chapter 247 Beauties join hands and travel through the sky. Even if the life of a disciple of Wan Jian's sect cannot be described as monotonous, it is not far from the same. On weekdays, apart from taking on sect missions and going out to fight against demons and ghosts, they stayed in the sect and concentrated on practicing and rarely encountered anything else. Qin Feng originally thought that this person was infected with the black flame and his mind changed drastically. It was most likely because something happened while he was out. However, he learned from the other party that he had not left the sect for nearly a month. Some time ago, I went out to defeat demons and ghosts and accumulated enough merits. The purpose was to practice in the sword tomb this month to improve my sword power to a higher level. If I have encountered anything strange, it is that 15 days ago, when I was practicing outside the sword tomb, I heard some strange sounds. The male disciple recalled carefully. What's the sound? Qin Feng asked curiously. I can't describe the specific sound. It sounded like a blazing flame at one moment. And then sounded like a baby crying over there. Just when I stood up to find the source of the sound, it stopped suddenly. However, I am certain that the sound came from deep within the sword tomb. The male disciple replied like this. Qin Feng was thoughtful and asked again. Have you ever heard that sound again? The man shook his head. I have never been to the sword tomb since then. Later, the purple lightning god Jun was born. And the sword tomb was closed. Fu Jia on the side said. Yes. The sword ancestor sword appeared inexplicably. As a precaution, the sect leader temporarily closed the sword tomb and no one is allowed to enter at will. I see. Qin Feng nodded and said. That weird black energy is probably related to the sword tomb. Master Fu. I suggest that we gather all the disciples who have been in and out of the sword tomb during that time. First, to prevent others from being corroded by the black energy, losing their minds, and accidentally injuring fellow disciples. Secondly, you can also ask them from their mouths whether any changes occurred in the sword tomb during that time. Fu Jia nodded when he heard the words. It makes sense. I will propose it to the sect leader. If you weren't here today, this disciple would probably be in bad luck. On behalf of Wan Jin sect, I would like to express my gratitude here. As soon as these words came out, the rest of the people also clasped their fists and saluted. Their attitude towards Qin Feng at this moment could be said to be completely different from when they came. Then, Qin Feng chatted with Peak Master Fu for some more, and then used his double pupil powers to examine all the disciples present. Fortunately, the remaining people did not have that weird black flame clinging to their bodies. After a long time, Master Fu ordered people to gather together the disciples who had been to the sword sect some time ago, and then said to Qin Feng, Just now, the sect master has imprisoned the black flame, but there are still many strange things about this matter. The time when the problem occurred in the sword tomb happened to be shortly before the birth of Zidian Shinjun. Having said this, he turned his head and looked at Lu Jianli. Just in case, I have to discuss this matter with the sect leader and the other peak masters. Master Fu, please excuse me, Qin Feng said cupping his fists. Fu Jia nodded, then disappeared in a flash. After Master Fu left, the other disciples of Wan Jin's sect looked at each other in disbelief. And then, they all stepped forward and apologized for the previous rumors. Qin Feng not only won their recognition with his strength, but also saved and cured a fellow disciple, earning their gratitude. The most important thing is, looking at the way senior sister Jin Li is getting along with her at this moment. 
How does it look like she has been heartbroken by a heartless man like the rumors say? They have never seen senior sister Jinli with such an expression. She is no longer as far away as the fairy in the sky, but has a hint of fireworks. There was a touch of tenderness in those eyes. Just like the frozen snow mountains melting and spring flowers blooming. Qin Feng waved his hand, not taking it seriously. Now that he has seen his wife, everything else is not important to him. Turning his head to look at Lu Jinli, he said with a smile, It's rare for you to come to Wan Jin's sect and take me for a walk. Okay. Lu Jinli opened her red lips slightly, then took Qin Feng's hand, and then with the tip of her toes, she took the ladder away through the air. When all the disciples saw this scene, their mouths opened wide. This dog food spread caught them off guard. Some male disciples who joined the denunciation army because they admired senior sister Jinli looked at the backs of the two people ascending to the sky and seemed to hear the sound of their own hearts breaking. A female disciple blushed slightly and said with envy, I have always hoped that a man could hold my hand and take me up into the sky to see all the blooming mountain flowers. But I found that I was wrong. In fact, my cultivation level was high. It seemed good to lead a handsome young man to see the misty sea of clouds. Hearing this, the other female disciples nodded solemnly, and an eager idea to improve their cultivation sprouted in their hearts. Hearing this, a male disciple coughed dryly and said, If you don't mind, I can hold your hand at any time. The female disciple who spoke looked for the voice and frowned slightly. Didn't you hear the point of what I just said? Huh? I heard it. The male disciple said curiously, Isn't the point of improving your cultivation and flying into the sky together? He is a handsome young master. All the female disciples retorted in unison. The male disciple was stunned on the spot. When Mai Chiu heard this, he pouted and said, How good looking is that damn guy? If you want to say that he is good looking, the second young master of the Qin family is better. At this point, she suddenly remembered that there was someone beside her and hurriedly turned her head and explained, Sister Ningxuang, I didn't mean that. I just, Huh? Sister Ningxuang? La Ningxuang didn't hear her words at all. She just looked in the direction of the young lady and her uncle with an envious expression. She secretly vowed in her heart that she would work hard to improve her cultivation so that one day she could be like this. On the other side, Qin Feng was a little confused. He had seen scenes of a man and a woman flying hand in hand in many movies, TV series and novels. But among them, which one is not a man flying with a woman? The scene of him being held by a woman and flying into the sky, if not unique, is definitely rare in the world. The worst thing is that this scene just now was seen by many people in Wan Jin sect. My lifelong reputation has been ruined. Qin Feng sighed with emotion. At this moment, he and Lu Jinli seemed to be swimming in the sea of clouds. The sword peaks that seemed very high and far away at first seemed to be within reach. The beauty in white clothes was right next to him, and her black hair was like the wind, scratching his cheek, which was a little itchy. Along with it comes the intoxicating fragrance of women. Flying across the sky with the woman you love. The vast earth becomes small in your eyes. Qin Feng felt his heart surge. And a surge of pride arose from his heart. He couldn't help shouting from the bottom of his heart. The clouds are growing in my chest. And the birds are returning from my canvas. I will be at the top of the mountain. And I can see all the small mountains. Righteous energy gathered into his chest. And his words seemed to carry some kind of power. Penetrating the sky and exploding above Wan Jin's sect. The disciples who heard this poem all stopped what they were doing and looked up at the sky with surprised expressions. Chapter 248 I promise you. The sentence. We will reach the top and see all the mountains and small mountains at a glance. Only made their blood boil. And a sense of heroism arose spontaneously. Who is it? Who is reading poetry? Everyone has this question in their mind. That voice seems to be that of senior sister Jinli's husband. One person murmured. My sword and tent realm seems to have loosened up. I feel that given time, I can enter the sword and tent third level heart clear realm. I have made a breakthrough. I have entered the second level of sword and tent. A male disciple danced excitedly. Me too. And situations like this happened in more than one place in Wan Jin sect. Many disciples have devoted themselves to practicing swordsmanship for a long time, but have never improved. The moment they heard Qin Feng's poems, they suddenly became enlightened. That's my uncle's voice. That's my uncle's poetry. La Ningxuang said excitedly. As soon as she finished speaking, her clothes were automatically changed without wind. And she had a sword on her waist. And a clear sword sound sounded. Bai Chiyo and Haiden too felt something strange and looked at her in surprise. Sister Ningxuang, have you broken through the realm of sword intention? 
Lan Ning Shuang's beautiful eyes widened. And then she nodded in surprise. Yes! Although her talent is not weak, she still lacks the ability to comprehend the realm of the third level of sword intention. But she didn't expect that today, she would step into the threshold she had dreamed of in advance. But, for no reason, why did I suddenly realize the third level of sword intention? While excited, Lan Ning Shuang also murmured to herself in confusion. Could it be? The three of them seemed to have thought of something and said in unison. It's that poem! At the sword tomb, Yu Hushuan and the others were still frowning and observing the black flames in the sword prison. Suddenly I heard the sound of poetry. This poem! Yu Hushuan opened his mouth, feeling proud in his heart. He suddenly had the illusion that this poem was tailor-made for him. Yes! The content of this poem is exactly the same as mine! Yu Hushuan said shamelessly. Upon hearing this, the old man Bailey and the faceless man turned their heads and looked at him with contempt in their eyes. This guy is still as confused as ever. That boy! Old man Bailey savored the poem carefully and said with a smile. You Wan Jin Sek got a big advantage. Yu Hushuan didn't know why. What do you mean by this? You might as well release your chi and get a feel for the 10,000 sword sect. Yu Hushuan did as he was told. And then his eyes widened. Under his perception, many disciples in the sect had improved their understanding of the sword's intention. If this is the case, then I really owe that boy a favor. Yu Hushuan naturally knew who the poet was. The entire Wanjian sect was full of martial arts cultivators. Apart from the boy in black who just came today. Who would have the ability to write such a poem? But I'm happy. There are other more important things to do now. How? Can you tell what this black flame is? Yu Hushuan asked. Old man Bailey already had a guess in his mind about this strange black flame that could cling to the human body. Greatly increasing his strength, but losing his mind. He said with a solemn expression. This black flame comes from Yen Gu. When Yu Hushuan heard this, he looked stunned. Above the clouds, Lu Jinli turned her head and looked at Qin Feng. The scene of the latter reciting poems boldly in the sky was deeply reflected in her mind. Originally, I was afraid to face the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth because of worry and fear of loss. The moment I heard the poem, I suddenly calmed down. Her glazed sword heart became clear again, becoming even more pure and powerful than before. And all of this is because of the presence of people around me. And because of the saying, Being at the top of the mountain, you can see all the mountains and small mountains at a glance. This world is huge. How easy is it to reach the top? But in order to protect the people around her, she wanted to try. After swimming through the sea of clouds, the two landed on the cliff of a mountain peak. This is Zuidi Peak, known as the most beautiful peak of Wanjin sect. The clouds fall into the peak like a funnel. In the mountain forest, Birds are singing, flowers are fragrant, and colorful butterflies are flying. The mountain spring flows and makes a clear sound. The scenery is beautiful, but it is still inferior to the people around him. Qin Feng thought this way. Why are you here? Lu Jinli asked softly. I was worried about you, so I wanted to come and take a look. Qin Feng answered truthfully. Lu Jinli snorted softly, and her cheeks turned bright red under the sunlight that filtered through the clouds. She held Qin Feng tightly with one hand and lifted the hair beside her ear with the other. The two of them stopped talking and looked at the horizon, where the clouds were rolling and relaxing, and they just felt that the years were quiet and peaceful, tender as water, always speechless. After a long time, Qin Feng suddenly thought of something, took out the Lu Yun hairpin from his arms and said, This is for you. Lu Jinli looked down and saw that it was a jade hairpin shaped like a small sword, with white light flowing all over it, which was really beautiful. Qin Feng scratched his cheek and added, On the way to Wan Jin sect, I passed by Baiwa Valley. There is a jewelry shop there with a lot of jewelry. But after searching for a long time, I still think this hosta is the most suitable for you. It's called Li Yun Hairpin. It's a treasure. Can I wear it for you? Okay. Lu Jinli nodded slightly, then leaned closer. Warm breath hit his face. Qin Feng pretended to be calm and put on a hosta for the beauty. How? Lu Jinli asked softly. It's very beautiful. Qin Feng was stunned and said truthfully. He thought well. This Lu Yun hairpin seemed to be tailor-made for Lu Jinli. Thank you. Lu Jinli put his head forward. And the tips of his ears were pink. After a moment, Qin Feng's eyes widened as soft lips pressed on his mouth. Just like that night. Time seems to be frozen at this moment. It's time to go. Lu Jinli spoke softly. With some reluctance in his words. The sun is set over the mountains and darkness is rising. She didn't want to leave. But she had to leave. 
The confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth is just around the corner, and preparations must be made in advance. Previously, my mind was confused due to longing, and I was unable to pull the 10,000 sword sword formation. But today I met the person I cared about, and this concern finally found a place to rest. Okay. Qin Feng nodded. Under the leadership of Lu Jianli, the two walked through the night and landed outside the house where Wan Jian's sect accommodated their guests. The firelight flickered in the room, and a few black shadows swayed. It seemed that Dad and his party had returned. When will you activate the confirmation of hegemony of heaven and earth? Qin Feng asked with concern. Based on the current situation, it will take at most three days. Lu Jianli answered truthfully. After three days, no matter what, the catastrophe will definitely come to this world. How sure are you of overcoming the disaster? Qin Feng asked again. The two looked at each other. And Lu Jianli did not answer the question. She is not good at lying. Not wanting the people in front of her to worry too much. She responded with silence. But she didn't know that this silent silence had already explained a lot. When they parted, Qin Feng took a deep breath and said, Promise me that you will survive the catastrophe safely. You will become the youngest third grade sword god in the history of Dakian. You will reach the top of the sword. You will go back to Jinyan City with me. Lu Jianli was stunned for a moment, with waves of light flowing in her eyes. And she softly replied, I promise you. After the words fell, the figure in white floated away. Qin Feng looked at the night sky, and the lady's back stood quietly for a long time in the direction where she disappeared. Chapter 249 Night of Divine Food When he returned to the house, Qin Feng was in a daze. He thought of the dreams of those two days, and the crazy disciple he encountered in Wan Jin's sect today. Feelings of uneasiness welled up in my heart. In the room, Lan Ningchuan and the other four were all present. The dishes had been placed on the table. But no one moved their chopsticks. They are all waiting. Uncle, let's eat. Lan Ningchuan said with concern. Qin Feng hummed, sat down, and picked up the bowls and chopsticks. His thoughts were still wandering to other places. And he murmured to himself. The weird black flame can greatly increase a person's strength. And it can also charm the mind. The sound was like a burning fire. And like a baby crying. Books about demons and ghosts he had read in the past flashed through his mind. Suddenly, he widened his eyes and found relevant records. In a miscellany of legends. There is such a monster. The whole body was covered in blazing black flames. And the cry in his mouth was like the cry of a baby. Which was terrifying. It can captivate the mind inspire the deepest desires in the human body, amplify them, and then grant greater power. Yen Gu! The source of the black inflammation is the rumored Yen Gu! Qin Feng shouted loudly. Lan Ningxuang and Haitin too were both startled by this sudden scene. Black Flame! Are you talking about the strange black energy that made that disciple go crazy today? But what is that Yen Gu? Why have I never heard of it? Lan Ningxuang asked curiously. Xing Shun on the side also shook his head even though he went out to fight in all directions and saw many strange ghost things. He had never heard of the demon named Yangu. Moreover, there is not even a single word related to Yan Guin. The picture of De Qian Hundred Demons. Qin Feng explained, I once read in a miscellany of legends that in ancient times, gods and demons came to the world, and they could destroy the heaven and the earth with just a single move. One of the gods and demons is particularly powerful. When it opens its eyes, it becomes day. And when it closes, it becomes night. When it exhales, it freezes for thousands of miles. And when it inhales, it becomes scorched gold and flowing stone. Lan Ningxuan covered her mouth and said in surprise, If it really has such power, who in the world can be its rival? Could it be that the Yen Gu mentioned by my uncle is this god and demon? Qin Feng shook his head and continued, Even though this god and demon is terrifying, according to legend, he still died at the hands of a saint who had the ability to reach the sky. The corpses of gods and demons fell to the earth, eaten away by demons and ghosts who sensed their power. One of the monsters is this Yingu. It gnawed at the hair and beards of gods and demons, and was covered with inextinguishable black flames. Its body was as big as a mountain, and every step it took was like the sky collapsing and the earth shaking. The remaining demons and ghosts that have eaten away at the corpses of gods and demons have also gained unparalleled power and are causing harm to the world. In that miscellaneous book, that night was also called the night of God's food. Lan Ningxuang and Lan Ningxuang looked shocked while listening. The old man and father on the side silently picked up their wine glasses, their expressions as usual, but there was still an imperceptible solemnity in his eyes. 
seeing the expressions of Lan Ningxuang and the other two. Qin Feng smiled to himself. However, ancient legends are mostly things that people spread rumors. And in the ears of future generations, they are far from the original truth. There may really be Yenku in this world, but its strength is definitely not as exaggerated as recorded in the book. As for the gods and demons, hey, it must be impossible to exist. Otherwise, how could the human race survive in the world? You think so, master? Qin Feng turned his head and looked at the old man, who also looked at him without saying a word and looking strange. That look seemed to say, boy, you know nothing about this world. Seeing his appearance, the smile on Qin Feng's face froze. He swallowed his saliva and said, Master, you know a lot. So the night of God's food mentioned in the gossip didn't really exist. Right. How can an old man like me know the truth about something that happened so long ago? Old man Bailey took a sip of wine and said calmly. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this. But the next words made his nerves tense again. However, the famous Lord Begisha at that time had a battle with one of the demons that was rumored to have eaten away at gods and demons. After that battle, the remaining land is still dilapidated and lifeless. Is it the battle 18 years ago when Begisha disappeared? Qin Feng said in shock. Qin Jian paused while holding the wine glass and looked at the old man. Not bad. The old man looked calm, poured himself another glass of wine, and picked up a bite of vegetables. Qin Feng never expected that the existence of Lord Ghost Head, who fought in that year was actually the demon ghost, who was rumored to have participated in the Night of Divine Food. While he was shocked, he also said with doubts. In the legends, although there are no specific descriptions of those monsters and ghosts, it is certain that every monster and ghost has the power to reach the heavens and the earth. But even so, their strength is still inferior to that of gods and demons. If the legend of the Night of God's food is true, how could the human race continue to this day from the hands of gods and demons? Old Man Bailey didn't take it seriously. Oh, even if the legendary gods and demons are powerful, they will eventually die in the hands of the saints. Don't underestimate the people of the world. Moreover, don't think that in the battle in Jinyang City, the gods and ghosts showed their full strength. There are too many things they need to worry about every time they take action. If they use their full strength, the small Jinyang City will not be enough for them. After taking a sip of wine, the old man asked again, Do you know why you were promoted to the third rank? Also called the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth. Qin Feng shook his head. What this confirms is the moment when they transcended themselves and touched the extraordinary. Qin Feng was shocked when he heard this. From Master Chief's words, he learned two things. First of all, the night of God's food really happened. In ancient times, gods and demons came to the world. But they were destroyed by the legendary saint. And then, their bodies were cannibalized by other demons. Secondly, the realms above the third level are more powerful than he originally thought. His understanding of those existences is just a glimpse of the world. Only the superficial knowledge. But no matter what, these things are still too far away from him. What he is most concerned about at the moment is whether his wife's supremacy in the world can be confirmed and whether she can survive smoothly. Master, if the rumor again Gu Black Flame appears in Wan Jin's sect, will it have an impact on my wife's promotion to the third rank? Qin Feng looked uneasy. Hearing this, Lan Ningxuang and Haiden too also looked at each other with worried expressions. The purple lightning divine gun is forged from the nine heavens divine thunder and is particularly sensitive to the evil atmosphere. It was born because it sensed the breath of Yen Gu. Yen Gu is a demon that is beyond the recognition of the world. It has eaten the hair and beards of gods and demons and is not tolerated by heaven and earth. The red thunder you saw in your dream did not come towards Lu Jianli, but most likely because of Yen Gu. It's just that the red thunder faced too many restrictions when it wanted to come to the world. And Lu Jianli's confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth just gave it the opportunity to appear. Old Man Bailey said calmly, Chapter 250 Life Destroying Thunder Master, what exactly is the Red Thunder? Old Man Bailey pondered for a moment and finally told the story of the Red Thunder. Qin Feng's face turned extremely ugly when he heard this. The life-destroying thunder that disappeared in ancient times is still as powerful as the Nine Heavens Divine Thunder. This damn Yen Gu never appears sooner or later. Why does it appear just when my wife is about to go through a catastrophe? If the life-destroying thunder really comes to this world, what should my wife do? Wait, that's not right. Jean Fong thought of something, and his eyes suddenly widened. Uncle, what's wrong? Lan Ningxuang asked curiously. Jean Fong seemed to have caught something in his mind, and paced back and forth in the room. 
Why did your young lady rush back to Wanjin sect to overcome the tribulation? Lan Ningxuang thought for a moment and replied. Of course, it was because the young lady received a letter from the leader of the Wanjin sect and learned that the purple lightning god Jun was suddenly born. She wanted to use the power of the divine sword to deal with the catastrophe with a 10,000 sword sword formation. Then why was the purple lightning god Jun born? Lan Ningxuang and Hei Tantu looked at each other. Then replied, didn't Senior Bailey just say that it was because the Divine Sword sensed the breath of Yen Gu? The two of them haven't discovered the point yet. Qin Feng exhaled. Don't you think this is all a coincidence? If the breath of Yen Gu did not appear, the Divine Sword would not be born. And if the Divine Sword had not been born, Lu Jianli would not have returned to Wan Jin's sect at this moment to prepare for the catastrophe. And if she didn't activate the seal of hegemony of heaven and earth, there would be no life-destroying thunder that would take the opportunity to come to the world. At first, the two of them thought that their young lady was just unlucky and happened to encounter Yen Gu's aura appearing in Wan Jin's sect. But after Qin Feng mentioned it, they found out that all of this was too much of a coincidence. Uncle, you mean? Someone is planning all this behind the scenes. But why did that person do this? Could it be that he wanted to kill the young lady when she opened the seal of hegemony of heaven and earth? Lan Ningxuan was worried. Qin Feng lowered his head and pondered, then looked at the old man beside him. The latter raised his eyebrows slightly, as if waiting for him to continue his analysis. What Ning Xuan you said is one of the possibilities, and the other possibility is that the person's purpose is to destroy the life-destroying thunder. The old man put down his wine glass and said, S-O-S-O. -S -O. Hearing this, Qin Feng knew that he had guessed correctly. But master, you just said that the life-destroying thunder has terrifying power and can destroy everything in the world. Why did they work so hard to bring the life-destroying thunder to the world? Do you know spiritual energy? The old man asked. Qin Feng nodded. It was a rare thing born between heaven and earth. Other than blood energy, literary energy, and in energy, it can help people practice and achieve great results. When Sister Mo took the little beast to stay in the black mist forest, it was because there would be thin spiritual energy born there. But he didn't understand what the master was doing to raise spiritual energy at this time. Confirming the hegemony of heaven and earth is a difficulty. Throughout the ages, I don't know how many people have fallen before the third level, but it is also an opportunity. The old man paused and spoke again. When the heavenly tribulation falls, it will bring spiritual energy. The greater the difficulty of the heavenly tribulation, the richer the spiritual energy it attracts. After surviving it, absorbing the spiritual energy will allow you to reach new heights. Qin Feng was surprised. He had never seen this knowledge in a book before. So, that person brought the life-destroying thunder to the world in order to obtain a large amount of spiritual energy. Not quite. The chief master made riddles, which made Qin Feng quite uncomfortable. Fortunately, the old man still said, that person really wanted to use the destruction thunder to attract something. But it was not spiritual energy. The existence destroying thunder existed in ancient times. It was created by heaven to prevent the emergence of the most powerful existence in the world. Therefore, the destruction of life Lei Shang was also contaminated with the atmosphere of that era. If I guess correctly, the purpose of the person behind the scenes is this ancient aura. Ancient aura? Qin Feng didn't understand what it meant. And he wanted to continue asking. But the old man ended the topic at this moment. Those things are still too far away for you now. The night is nice today. So you should take this opportunity to observe the sky. The most important thing is to find your destiny star as soon as possible. But my wife, Qin Feng said worriedly. You don't have to worry about that. I have my own sense of discretion. The old man interrupted him bluntly. Okay then. Qin Feng sighed helplessly. With his strength, there really wasn't much he could do. After several people finished their dinner, they left the house and returned to their bedrooms. Suddenly, only the old man and the father were left in the hall. Why don't you tell Fomer that the ancient breath is called the ancient divine breath? Qin Jianan said calmly. Your son's talent is so high that he can see heavenly secrets in his dreams without even reaching the sixth level of hexagram. If he knows too much, he will see more in his dreams. This is a good thing, but also a bad thing. Qin Jianan thought about something, silently picked up the wine glass, raised his head and drank it all. When you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. Divination has always been accompanied by danger. The old man was afraid that the person behind the plot would sense Fomer's existence. At the same time, I am also afraid that Fomer will be counterattacked by Tianji. What do you need me to do? Qin Jianan asked. The enemy is in the dark. And we are in the light. If you and I take action at will, even if we can deal with this situation, 
we will still be able to alert the enemy. But it's impossible to do nothing. Even if I were to encounter a light-destroying thunder, it would be a narrow escape from death. Qin Jianon frowned. He was very satisfied with his daughter-in-law. But he didn't want anything to happen to her. Old man Bailey swung the wine cup in his hand and chuckled. I didn't say nothing. But it's just not us who do it. That girl Jianli has already got the brat's Leon hairpin. Which is an extra layer of protection. But it's not enough. If you want to be foolproof, you have to find a way to reduce the power of the thunder that destroys life. Don't play riddles with me. If you and I don't take action, how can we let Yu Hushuan take action? How could the people behind the scenes not pay attention to his movements? The black flames of Yen Ku appeared in the sword tomb of Wan Jin's sect. If it weren't for someone in the sect, it would have been impossible to do it. Qin Jin said in a deep voice. Of course I know this better than you. So naturally the person who wants to take action is not Yu Hushuan. But that brat, the old man raised his eyebrows. Fomer? Are you kidding me? As a father, he knew what his children were capable of. To describe it as being powerless with hands is no exaggeration. And even a bit flattering to that kid. Don't underestimate that guy. His attainments and formations are comparable to Lu Jinli's swordsmanship. Could it be? Qin Jianon vaguely guessed something. Then I saw the old man pouring the wine cup shaking in his hand into the hall. The wine turned into mist and floated towards the guest room where Qin Feng was. Sweet boy, have a sweet dream. The faint words disappeared in the flickering firelight. Chapter 251 Arrangement The next morning, the sun rose in the east. Qin Feng leisurely opened his eyes on the bed. Last night, the strange dream appeared again, but it was somewhat different from what he had seen before. Lu Jinli was still fighting against the heavenly tribulation in the Ten Thousand Swords sword formation. After nine thunderbolts struck down, the red life-destroying thunder arrived as expected. But this time, the beautiful figure in white was not drowned by the red thunder. At the most critical moment, the Luyan hairpin on her head actually emitted a bright white light, resisting part of the power of the life-destroying thunder. But even so, the beauty in white was still defeated by the red thunder and was severely injured. After this scene, the dream changed again. The formation books I had read in Tinjiakshuan in the past flashed through my mind one by one. Not only that, the mountain topography of the Wanjin sect and the distribution of streams and waterfalls were presented to the eyes, like a slide. The Wanjin sect is located in the mountains, close to the mountains and rivers, and the direction of the east, west, north and south is very consistent with a large formation. Qin Feng murmured to himself, his eyes gradually brightening. An idea became more and more intense in his mind. If this method was successful, he was confident that he could delay the lady for a moment while she dealt with the life-destroying thunder, and with the lady's strength, this moment of effort can definitely help her avert danger. But if we want to set up a big formation, there are still three problems to be solved. First, whether the terrain distribution of Wan Jin's sect in my dream is exactly the same as in reality. Second, if you want to set up this formation, you need to visit all the major sword peaks of the Wan Jin sect. But I am just an outsider. Will the masters of the sword peaks allow me to enter? Third, the person behind the scenes who planned everything must be secretly observing the movements of the Wan Jin sect. When I set up the formation, it cannot be too obvious. Xin Feng's thinking is very clear. So the first thing he needs to confirm now is the terrain distribution of Wan Jin sect. He came outside the guest room, picked up a branch, and then sketched the distribution of the mountains and rivers he saw in his dream on the ground. On the mountain road, two figures, one fat and one thin, we're heading towards the place where Wan Jin sect received guests. Sun Kai said anxiously. Senior brother, do we really want to go? Jiang Guang showed a bitter look on his face. Of course we are going. If we don't apologize to that guy, other sect members will beat us to death. Qin Feng's performance yesterday made his reputation within the Wan Jin sect soar. Not only could he easily resist everyone's attacks with a white light barrier, but he also repaid evil with kindness and cured his crazy fellow disciple. And after some people's exploration, they also discovered that the unparalleled poem that helped the disciples of Wan Jian sect understand the artistic conception of swordsmanship was also written by Qin Feng. Within the sect, there was an endless stream of praise for Qin Feng. And many people even openly stated that he and senior sister Jin Li were a perfect match. After all, they are both civilized and military. Handsome men and beautiful women. But as he continued to boast, the conversation turned to the rumors about the heartless man. Who is it that slanders Mr. Qin without conscience? Has his conscience been eaten by dogs? If I catch someone, I will definitely teach him a lesson. Hey, 
I heard that the source of the rumor seems to be Jiang Guang and Sun Kai. It turns out it's them. In this way, there was a scene where Jiang and Guang came to Qin Feng to apologize. When we reach the end of the mountain road, we have a panoramic view of rows of houses. At this moment, a man in black is carving something on the ground outside the house. It is Qin Feng. Jiang Guang took a deep breath and said, Junior brother, you have to say whatever you want. I will be responsible for spreading rumors. Senior brother, the two of us spread the rumor together. How can we let you bear the responsibility alone? Sun Kai looked touched when he heard this. Oh, who made me your senior brother? As the last stroke fell, the landscape distribution of Wan Jian's sect that he had seen in his dream appeared before his eyes intact. Qin Feng rubbed his chin and murmured to himself. The painting is done. Now I have to find someone from the Wan Jin sect to see if this distribution map is exactly the same as the real Wan Jin sect. But who should I turn to? Just as he was thinking this, the sound of footsteps approached. When he looked up, he saw two shy figures. They were actually those two weirdos. Qin Feng was immediately furious. Yesterday's rumors were spread by these two people. How dare they appear in front of him now? I didn't go to settle the score with you. But you came here on your own initiative? Qin Feng smiled half-heartedly, turning his wrist slightly. It looked like he was about to take action. Just as Jiang Guang was about to speak, his fat figure trembled, and he swallowed back all the words he originally wanted to say. He still vividly remembers the image of the other party facing his fellow disciples one after another, with a white light barrier in his hand that remained motionless yesterday. How could such an awesome person not have any offensive means? He doesn't want to get hurt. Junior brother, I'm sorry. Jiang Guang thought like this and then said with a smile, Actually, we came here today just because of yesterday's rumors. Oh! Qin Feng raised his eyebrows and waited for the next step. Then the fat man bowed and apologized. The reason for yesterday's rumors was all because of my poor discipline. When I learned that my junior brother had spread the rumor, it was too late to stop it. Therefore, I specially brought my junior brother to your door today just to apologize to you. Huh? Sun Kai's eyes widened and he looked confused. This was different from what he had just said. Brother, don't talk nonsense. You are clearly responsible for spreading this rumor. Jiang Guang immediately made a distressed look. Junior brother, won't your conscience hurt if you say such lies? What nonsense. Senior brother, it's obviously you. Next, there is a doggy -dog, dog show between the two. It's really a plastic brotherhood. Qin Feng only regrets that he doesn't have melon seeds at hand. Suddenly, he thought of something. Wait. If I remember correctly, the fathers of these two guys are the masters of Jianfeng Peak. With their status, they should be able to enter and exit most places in Wan Jin sect at will. So, can I make good use of it? And with these two idiots as cover, I can be even more invisible when I set up my formation. Thinking of this, Qin Feng said, Stop arguing. Since the matter is over, I don't want to mention it again. The two idiots looked at each other after hearing this. Their eyes narrowed slightly and the corners of their mouths raised slightly. Naturally, they didn't really blame each other. In the past, when they made their fellow disciples unhappy, they would always use this method to avoid trouble. Practice makes perfect. Come here and take a look at this picture. Qin Feng waved. Jiang and Guang immediately stepped forward, looked at the ground, and saw a lifelike landscape painting, and immediately began to flatter him desperately. Qin Feng pinched his eyebrows and shouted, Don't talk nonsense! Is this landscape distribution map exactly the same as that of your Wanjin sect? Huh? Wanjin sect? Jiang and Guan came back to their senses, looked at them again, and then widened their eyes. Senior brother, when he said this, I realized that no wonder this landscape painting is so familiar. You see, this is Zuidi Peak. Last time we were hiding behind this cliff and peeking at the junior sisters in the mountain spring. Before Sun Kai finished speaking, Jiang Guang hurriedly covered his words with his hands, turning his head and seeing Qin Feng's strange expression. Jiang Guang looked embarrassed and changed the topic. I just took a closer look and this is indeed the Wan Jin sect. Chapter 252 Everything is Ready Qin Feng nodded. Since there is no problem with the distribution of mountains and rivers in Wan Jin sect, the next thing will be simple. There are still at most three days before the lady can deal with the confirmation of the supremacy of heaven and earth. Without further ado, I'd better go around Wan Jin's sect and lay down the formation today. After thinking about it, Qin Feng said, My wife is about to face a catastrophe, and I also want to do something for her. In my hometown, there is a way of worshipping the gods from all directions, 
and praying for blessings for people. I hope you can take me to the major sword peaks of Wanjian sect to pray for her. All the sword peaks? Jiang and Guan looked shocked. Wanjian sect is not a small one. It will definitely take a lot of time and very hard work to climb all the mountains. Even if the two of them are divine warriors, they don't want to suffer this crime. Jiang Guangwei said, Of course, I am very happy to be able to help you and senior sister Jianli. However, we, the two senior brothers, are also responsible for guarding the sect. So we really can't get away from it. That's right. Sun Kai responded immediately. You really can't get away? Jean Fong glanced at the two of them and said calmly, It is indeed difficult. The two said in unison, smiling apologetically. Jean Fong paced in front of the two of them and said intentionally or unintentionally, As for Zuidi Feng, I wonder if anyone will believe me if I tell you about the sex junior sister. When Jiang and Guang heard this, their expressions froze, and then the conversation changed. I thought about it carefully just now. Senior sister Jinli represents the future of the sect. Small things like guarding the sect are not important at all compared with senior sister's tribulation. Mr. Chin, you don't need to say more. Don't you want to pray for senior sister? Without further ado, let's leave now. Under the leadership of Jiang and Guang, it can be said that there was no obstruction along the way. Firstly, it was because of the identity of Jiang and Guang's father, the master of Jianfeng. Secondly, it was because of Qin Feng's reputation within the Wanjin sect. In fact, Qin Feng was also curious as to why the Wanjin sect disciples looked respectful when they saw him, and some even bowed to him as disciples. It wasn't until Jiang and Guang explained the function of yesterday's poem that he suddenly realized it. I didn't expect that the poetry of the ancients could have such an effect. The three of them set foot on the first sword peak, and the mountain road was rugged and winding. During this period, Qin Feng secretly set up the formation in order to hide his identity from others, while also pretending to perform worship rituals from all directions. After confirming that the formation diagram was correct, he and Jiang Guang went down the mountain together and climbed towards the second sword peak. Time passed quietly in a hurry, and before you knew it, night fell, and the formation diagram drawn by Qin Feng finally reached the last sword peak. After a day's journey, even Jiang Guang and Sun Kai, two powerful warriors, were panting and sweating profusely. What's more, Qin Feng, a literary saint? You know, while he is climbing the mountain, he also has to draw the formation diagram. It is not only the body that is tired, but also the mind. There were many times during which he almost fainted, but fortunately with the support of righteousness, he gritted his teeth and persevered. In order for his wife to be more confident when facing the life-destroying thunder, he must persevere. After walking through the winding mountain road, flowing along the mountain spring, and finally reaching the top of the mountain, Jean Fong, while no one was paying attention, concentrated his fingertips and carved patterns on the rocks. Then he took out the formation materials from the Sumer ring and secretly buried them in the grass and mud on the top of the mountain while pretending to be worshipping gods from all directions. After doing all this, a vague energy swept through his divine sea. Qin Feng understood that the arrangement of this large formation had been completed. As long as Lu Jinli sets his formation center on Xingyue Peak on the day of his tribulation, he can activate the great formation. Everything was ready. Qin Feng raised the corner of his mouth slightly and finally breathed a sigh of relief. The tight strings in my mind loosened, followed by a flood of fatigue. He couldn't hold on any longer. His eyes darkened, and he passed out. Master Qin, Jiang and Guang shouted anxiously and hurriedly stepped forward to support him. In the guest room, Qin Feng was lying on the couch. Sleeping soundly, Lan Ningxuang carefully took off his shoes and his eyes were covered in blood and flesh. She covered her mouth in surprise, feeling heartbroken and tears welling up in her eyes. What did my uncle do today? Xing Sheng frowned and asked in a deep voice. Jiang Guang, who had sent Qin Feng back, heard this and told everything about today's events. After hearing this, Xing Sheng looked moved and opened his mouth not knowing what to say. He felt that his uncle was stupid. So what was the use of worshipping the gods from all over the world? If there really are gods in the world, why are all the people in the world still in dire straits? But he thought from the bottom of his heart that it was great that the young lady's husband was my uncle. Lan Ningxuang was silent. She wiped the tears from her eyes with her sleeves, then took a basin of hot water and gently wiped the wounds on Qin Feng's feet with a towel. Outside the guest room, old man Bailey looked up. In his eyes, the entire Wan Jian sect seemed to be in full view. 
He felt it carefully and immediately showed a pleased expression. It's not bad. As soon as he finished speaking, he turned his head and looked around. Qin Jianan's figure suddenly appeared in a place that was supposed to be deserted. His face was expressionless and his eyes were deep. The surrounding vegetation was crushed to the ground by the inexplicable pressure. It doesn't have to be like this. There will always be a time when you take action. Qin Jianan let out a breath and returned to his previous appearance. Old man Bailey raised his eyebrows and said with a smile. Hey, they went through all the troubles to bring the thunder of destruction into the world in order to obtain the ancient divine breath. And this thing is just for giving your daughter-in-law a blessing. It can also be regarded as laying a foundation to help her enter a higher realm in the future. Yeah. Qin Jianan responded lightly. Suddenly, they both felt something and looked towards the north. Old man Bailey sneered. There are always too many rats in the dark to get rid of. The moonlight is dim tonight. And the darkness is like a barrier. Blocking the vision. Wan Jian Zone was heading north. 30 miles away. In the dark mountain forest. A figure in black robe was like a ghost. Moving forward cautiously. After a while. He came to a cliff and looked around. But in the blink of an eye. A figure appeared in front of him. Wearing a black and white robe. With a ghost face. And a pattern of the number 4 tattooed on his chest. The man breathed a sigh of relief and said, I have fulfilled your request. The black flame that clings to the disciple has been imprisoned by the sect leader. There are still at most three days before Lu Jinli opens the seal of hegemony of heaven and earth. But I don't understand why you want to expose your whereabouts now. Also, what exactly is the black flame? And why can it activate the purple lightning gun? As long as you do your part. Don't ask about the rest. The ghost-faced man replied coldly. The man in black robe paused and gritted his teeth and said, Okay, but don't forget your promise to help me enter the third level realm and help me become the master of Wan Jin's sect. As soon as he finished speaking, the ground beneath the man's feet suddenly trembled, and black flames emerged from all directions. It didn't take long for these black flames to condense into one place, making a sound like a baby crying. What? What is this? The man asked in shock. Aren't you going to step into the third level realm? Today it will be as you wish. Uh-huh. The monster formed by the condensed black flames wrapped the black-robed man in just an instant and dragged him into the air, along with a heartbreaking scream. Countless black flames poured into the man's body. After a while, the scream suddenly stopped, and the man landed on the ground again, lowering his head and looking at his body. Chapter 253 10,000 Sword Sword Formation The human body is really weak. A strange tone came from under the black robe. Sometimes it is as hoarse as a dying old man sometimes as sharp as a newborn baby. After the man in black robe examined himself, he suddenly became angry. He stretched out his right hand and directly strangled the ghost-faced man by the throat. There was clearly a distance of two feet between the two before, but the space in front of him was useless. You actually killed my last heir. Who gave you the courage? The ghost-faced man replied calmly. Your soul has been sealed by the purple lightning gun for countless years. If it weren't for the heads of your descendants, it would be impossible to extract it. What's more, you, who dares to devour the bodies of gods and demons, still care about this? After a brief silence, there was crazy laughter, and the black robe let go of the ghost's face. A huge tongue with black flames protruded from under the cloak, drooling. It seemed to be intoxicated by the taste of flesh and blood filled with powerful power on the night of the divine food. It is Yan Gu, and before the night of the divine food, it was still ferocious. Tell me why you release my soul and recast my body. The ghost-faced man replied, Because we want to invite you to destroy the Wanjian sect together. It was just dawn. And Qin Feng, who had been sleeping for a long time, opened his eyes. Yesterday, I spent a whole day running around in Wanjian sect. Even now, my head is still groggy and my body is very tired. Feeling dry, he wanted to get up and pour a glass of water but found that the quilt beside his legs and feet was pressed down by something heavy. Then he looked around and saw that the beauty in blue was lying beside the bed. Sleeping quietly, it was Lan Ningxuan. Her eyelashes were very long and trembled slightly with her even breathing. Faint tear stains can still be seen in the corners of the eyes. Qin Feng couldn't bear to wake her up, so he carefully took out his legs and feet from the quilt. The gauze that has been wrapped around both feet is obviously the work of the sleeping beauty next to her. Qin Feng stood up, looked at Lan Ningxuang's sleeping face, brushed the hair in front of her forehead, and gently covered her with a coat. The teacup in the guest room was empty. In desperation, Qin Feng could only leave the room and go to the lobby, 
He originally thought that the wounds on his feet had not healed and would be accompanied by pain when he walked. But what surprised him was that, apart from the slight strangeness caused by the gauze, there was no pain at all. When I came to the lobby, my father and the chief master were nowhere to be seen. A Tantu stood up and asked with concern, Uncle, how do you feel now? After a night's sleep, it's nothing serious. Glancing to the other side, an unexpected figure appeared in the lobby. Why are you here? Chin Fong asked in surprise. Hearing this, Bai Chiu rolled his eyes and said angrily, If Sister Ning Shuang hadn't been looking for me, I wouldn't have come here. Sister Ning Shuang, it's true. You just have a little skin on your feet. But you still beg me for my white plum ointment. It would be a waste to use that thing on you. Chin Fong suddenly realized that no wonder the wound on his foot healed so quickly. It turned out to be because of the application of white plum ointment. Thinking of the beauty and blue lying beside the bed, he felt warm in his heart. By the way, does the wound on your foot still hurt? Oh, this is the leftover white plum ointment you used yesterday. I don't want the stuff you used because it's dirty. Bai Chiu said this and threw away a white bottle. Come over. Chin Fong stretched out his hand to take it and felt that the ointment in the medicine bottle was full. The white plum ointment had been used. So it was obviously new. This little girl has a rough mouth. But she has a pretty good heart. Thank you. Chin Fong put away the white plum paste. Although he didn't need it now. Such a good thing should not be wasted. Who needs your thanks? Bai Chiu snorted, turned his head away, and silently added in his heart. If you hadn't been injured while praying for senior sister Jin Li, I wouldn't have given you by me ointment. It is worth mentioning that last night, after Jiang and Guang returned home, they publicized the story of Qin Feng who fainted while praying for senior sister Jin Li. For a time, the whole sect was boiling. Countless female disciples have even said that if their husbands can be one-tenth as good as Mr. Qin in the future, they will have no regrets in this life. The two chatted casually for a few more words. Suddenly, outside the lobby, the clear sound of swords echoed through the sky. When Qin Feng heard the noise, he hurried out of the lobby in search of fame. I saw countless swords rising into the air and standing in the air. That was the 10,000 sword sword formation. In the center of the sword array, the purple lightning gun glowing with thunder arcs is particularly eye-catching. Could it be that this lady is about to activate the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth? Qin Feng asked nervously. Bai Chiu looked at the sky and saw no movement. So he shook his head and said, It shouldn't be time yet. The last time senior sister Jin Li passed through the heavenly tribulation, the dark clouds looked like the sky was falling. If I guess correctly, this movement should be caused by senior sister Jin Li taking complete control of the 10,000 sword sword formation. That's it. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief. However, Bai Chiu looked worried and said again, Since senior sister Jin Li has taken control of the 10,000 sword sword formation, it will probably be within the next two days that the confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth will be opened. When Qin Feng heard this, his expression was solemn. He thought of the large formation that had been set up. But the core of the formation that finally activated the formation had not yet been in place. So he asked, When she is going through the tribulation, Can I go to Xingyua Peak? Bai Chiu exclaimed in shock. Are you crazy? Do you know how terrifying the power of that tribulation is? The last time senior sister Jin Li went through the heavenly tribulation, the power of the thunder was enough to destroy two sword peaks of Wan Jian sect. With your strength, just the residual power of the catastrophe. If you don't do it right, it can kill you. I know. Qin Feng's tone was calm. How could he not know the power of the catastrophe confirmed by the hegemony of heaven and earth? Then you still want to go. Why? Bai Chiu was confused. Qin Feng did not answer. But his eyes were firm. He must go to Xingyue Peak. Because that is where the formation center is placed. Only when the center of the formation is successfully placed can he activate the formation and delay the destroying thunder for a moment for Lu Jinli. The 10,000 sword sword array caused a lot of commotion. And naturally Qin Feng was not the only one to notice it. All the disciples in the sect looked in the direction of Xingyue Peak with shocked expressions on their faces. In the Xingyue Peak sect master's hall, Yu Hushuan and the 12 peak masters also raised their heads and looked at the sword array in the sky, feeling quite emotional. Throughout the ages, there has never been a disciple in the 10,000 sword sect who could trigger the 10,000 sword sword formation by one person and create such a huge momentum. Yes, since Lu Jinli has successfully led the 10,000 sword sword formation, I believe that with her talent, she will be able to survive this disaster safely. All the peak masters were looking forward to it, but Yu Hushuan looked as usual, 
he asked. Peak Master Fu, have you found the source of the strange black flames? Fu Jia shook his head and replied. No trace has been found yet. Jianli's confirmation of the hegemony of heaven and earth should be in the next two days. Please don't let down your vigilance and let the young people take advantage of it. Yu Hushuan said solemnly. Understood. All the peak masters responded in unison. Then clasped their fists and retreated. Yu Hushuan, on the other hand, looked at the direction Fu Jia left. Frowning, he spread out his palms, and on a note were written the words, Just wait and see what happens. After taking a deep breath, he gently held his hand, and the note turned into powder and dispersed in the wind. Chapter 254 The Life-Destroying Thunder Comes to the World Qing Feng stood for a long time looking at the 10,000 sword sword formation suspended on Qing Yue Peak. There was a feeling in his heart that was extremely strong. It seemed to be a connection between him and his wife. Heavenly catastrophe will come today. We can't wait any longer. I have to get in position in advance. Qing Feng clenched his fists and made up his mind. As noon approached, lunch was already ready in the lobby. Lan Ningxuan put down the bowl and chopsticks, looked around and asked curiously, Where is my uncle? Is he still in the guest room? Bai Chiyo, don't use your chopsticks yet. Wait until your uncle arrives, and then we can eat together. There was clearly rich food on the table. Bai Chiyo's mouth watered when she saw it, but she couldn't swallow it, which made her extremely uncomfortable. This damn guy, why are you running around during meal time? Hey Tantu stood up and said, I'll go to the guest room and ask my uncle to come over. Okay. Lan Ningxuang nodded slightly. But after a while, he was the only one seen returning. Where is my uncle? Lan Ningxuang asked curiously. Black Tantu shook his head. Where will he go at this time? His feet are obviously still injured. Lan Ningxuang looked worried. Sister Ningxuang, let's leave him alone and eat first. Anyway, there won't be any danger in Wan Jin sect. Unless, when she said this, Bai Chiu whose little face froze because she thought about what happened in the morning. The guy said that he would stay at Xing Yue Peak when senior sister Jin Li went through the catastrophe. No. No. A trace of uneasiness flashed across Bai Chiu Yong's shining eyes. Why not? Lan Ningxuang looked at her. At this moment, several people in the lobby felt palpitations. There seemed to be a huge boulder pressing on my heart. Outside the lobby, it was still daytime, but in the blink of an eye, the sky darkened instantly, as if night had fallen. Bai Chiyo and others guessed something, hurriedly ran out of the lobby and looked up. The sky at this moment is like Bai Xian being completely soaked in ink. The endless dark cloud surged, completely covering the entire Wanjin sect, especially in the sky above Xingyue Peak. The low dark cloud seemed like the sky was falling. The catastrophe is coming. Everyone in Wan Jin sect stopped what they were doing and looked at the sky with solemn expressions. They can clearly feel that the power of this disaster is even greater than the last time. Some disciples with lower strength even experienced difficulty breathing, unable to straighten their bodies, and seem to be stuck in a quagmire. A majestic voice sounded. All disciples of Wan Jin sect obey the order and stay away from Xing Yue Peak. After the words fell, in the sect master's hall, Yu Hushuan, wearing a blue and black cloak, jumped into the air looking at the dark clouds. His brows furrowed. In addition, the other twelve peak masters were also floating in the air, fully alert. Boom! A thunder dragon roared, and the sky and the earth suddenly lit up. Over the Xingyue peak, Lu Jianli stepped in the air, his white clothes flying, and his black hair fluttering. She let out a breath and glanced at Jianfeng, where the guest room of Wan Jian sect was located. The figure in black appeared in his mind. The four questions from the night before yesterday were still echoing in her ears. Lu Jianli made a move with her right hand, and the sword box below opened. A wave of water passed through the void and flew into her hand. It was the cold water sword. I promise you. The red lips opened slightly, and the four words floated in the air. It represents her determination at this moment. Boom! There was another roar of thunder. The thunder dragon cut through the dark clouds, revealing its fangs, and then suddenly slashed down making the world tremble. All the disciples in Wan Jian sect were shocked, even if they have already experienced it once. They are mentally prepared. But the power of this disaster was far beyond their imagination. Facing the thunder, Lu Jianli remained calm, holding the sword in his right hand and slashing towards the sky. The sword energy is like rushing into the sea, intersecting with the thunder dragon. Just one face-to-face -face meeting, and the thunder disappeared instantly. The power of a sword is eclipsed by the calamity. Seeing this scene, all the disciples of Wan Jian sect breathed a sigh of relief. However, 
before they could relax for long. The second thunder followed. Then, there is the third and fourth path. The thunder was powerful. Each one was faster than the other, and each one was more terrifying than the other. But even so, the beautiful figure in white clothes in the midair of Xingyue Peak remained unmoved. Lu Jinli held the Han Tui sword in his hand, and the strong energy swept around him like a wave. In the sky, thousands of swords trembled, and the clear sword cry even overshadowed the roaring thunder dragon. The nine heavenly thunder tribulation is nothing to be afraid of in front of her cold water sword and ten thousand sword sword formation. After the ninth thunderbolt was wiped out by the ten thousand sword sword formation, all the disciples who were originally too afraid to do so suddenly cheered. To them, at this moment, senior sister Jinli's figure was as powerful as a god. Bai Chiu danced excitedly. The nine thunderbolts have passed, and senior sister Jinli can finally step into the third level realm. It was obviously something to be happy about. But Londing Shuang and Haiden too on the side still looked solemn. Because they thought of the red thunder that senior Bailey and his uncle talked about. Because the dark clouds in the sky did not disperse. But became thicker and thicker like an abyss. Bai Chiu obviously noticed something strange. She looked at the sky above Xing Yue Peak with a look of disbelief on her face. How could this happen? In Wanjian sect. All the disciples are also puzzled. The ninth heavenly thunder tribulation has passed. Why haven't the dark clouds dispersed yet? Have you noticed that the dark clouds seem to be getting lower? My heart is beating so fast. I always feel like something terrible is coming. Look. What is that? Threads of red lightning arc surged in the dark clouds. There was no deafening roar like before. Replaced by deathly silence. Everyone seemed to have their throats strangled. And they wanted to say something but couldn't. They only felt that there was an invisible hand holding their hearts and controlling their life and death. They could no longer hear the noise around them. I could only hear the beating of my heartbeat inside my body. As weak as before dying. Here he comes. In the Xing Yue Peak Sect Master's Hall, the old man Bailey and the man in black robe wearing a faceless mask looked at the sky quietly. On the other side, Fu Jiao was hanging in the air, his eyes glowing with black flames and his face distorted. Life destroying thunder. There was both excitement and fear in its tone. Lu Jinli frowned slightly as she looked at the surging red lightning arcs. Her expression was no longer as calm as before. She could feel the terrifying power hidden in the dark clouds. That kind of divine power that human beings cannot resist. Click. Like the sound of the sky breaking. The dark clouds were lifted. After a long time, the light-destroying thunder finally reappeared in front of the world. Ominous red. It's like the judgment of heaven. Reaching out like a palm. Silence carries the power of destruction. Just one glance made most people in the sect feel hopeless and powerless in their hearts. In front of it. The only outcome that can be ushered in is death. Chapter 255 Borrowing Wanjin Sect's Landscape for Use The purple lightning god Jun restrained the lightning arc of the sword body. And Wanjin, which was suspended in the air, fell to the ground. Lu Jianli looked at the red thunder. His pupils widened. And his right hand holding the Han's Wee sword trembled unconsciously. Rather than fearing death, she was more afraid of losing. She wanted to fulfill her agreement with that person. But it seems that it is difficult to do. Before the power of the life-destroying thunder, a deep feeling of powerlessness surged into my heart. In the sect master's hall, old man Bailey asked, How long has it been since you faced the fear of death? A hoarse voice came from under the faceless mask. And the answer was wrong. Only by experiencing the near-desperate fear of death can one become stronger. But if you have someone you want to protect in your heart, you will be fearless. That's a good point. Old man Bailey chuckled, as if he was remembering something on his weathered face. The world seemed to be still at this moment. Everyone in Wan Jian's sect stared blankly, not daring to make any move before this terrifying power of heaven. They could only pray in their hearts that Lu Jianli could survive, even if there is little hope. However, one person moved in Xing Yue Peak. It was Qin Feng. Even in front of this life-destroying thunder, he was extremely frightened. The power of God was overwhelming. His heart almost stopped beating, and his legs seemed to be filled with cement. He gritted his teeth and pumped his fists. His nails dug into his palms and blood slipped from between his fingers. He shouted desperately in his heart. Run! Run! Even if his body is broken into pieces. Even if death is waiting for him ahead. He is more afraid of loss than death. Thunderous righteousness surged in the divine sea and enveloped his whole body. From the direction of the sect master's hall, a stream of fresh air rushed over and gave him a gentle push. He finally regained control of his body. And then, with Yang and Guan looking in disbelief, 
He ran towards the bottom of the Ten Thousand Swords formation without hesitation. His right hand reached into his arms and took out a light blue bead from the Sumer ring. That is the Jiamu bead obtained from Tu Muqian. It is also the most critical center of the formation that is needed by the formation. The red thunder fell. And the dark cloud shattered like a mirror. Death comes silently. Qin foamed through the dragon eye in his hand high into the sky. He seemed to be trying to get rid of the shock of the life-destroying thunder. And also seemed to be trying to tell the white figure in the sky of his existence. Almost using all his strength. He shouted heartbreakingly. Borrow me from Wan Jian Sek Shan Jue. The roar broke the dead silence. Everyone raised their heads in horror and looked around blankly, completely unaware of what was happening, until the entire Wan Jian sect suddenly trembled. In the continuous sword peaks, mountain streams, rivers, waterfalls, all water flows are guided by some kind of guidance. They turn into water pillars and merged into one place, gathering more and more, becoming denser and denser. When the water flow reached Xingyue Peak, it had turned into a thousand-foot-tall water dragon with teeth and claws. Facing the red thunder. This is the formation Mizusawa Tianlong. Lu Jianli heard a familiar voice and hurriedly looked down. The figure she was thinking about was looking up at her, shouting something loudly with her mouth open. But the Shu Eyes Tianlong formation has collided with the life destroying thunder. The surging power silenced all sounds. But Lu Jianli heard it. No. More accurately, she felt it. I know. You are always here. The corners of his mouth raised slightly. His eyes became extremely firm and he clenched the Hans Wee sword in his hand again. How can the terrifying light-destroying thunder be blocked by just one formation? Three breaths of time is already the limit that Shu Ai's Tian Long can stop the light-destroying thunder. But this is enough for Lu Jianli. The water dragon fell apart, and the water foam exploded in the sky. But it was not scattered. Because they all transformed again, and became the water sword hanging in the sky. The fifth level of sword intention is in the myriad god realm, which can turn everything in the world into a sword and Lu Jianli wanted to use this sky-filled water sword to crush the life-destroying thunder. Red lightning arcs splashed out like poisonous snakes. The flowing cloud hairpin on Lu Jianli's head emitted a bright white light, protecting her within it. The swords in the cold water are rising, and thousands of swords are ringing together. The red lips opened slightly, and the word John was uttered out. Water swords filled the sky, one after another, slashing towards the life-destroying thunder. The void trembled, and the heaven and earth were turbulent. After the water sword was broken, it took shape again in an instant. The lightning arc of the life-destroying thunder was submerged by the water sword, and its momentum and power were far less than at the beginning. Lu Jinli's face turned pale, and his eyes became firmer. The sword energy flowed around his body like water, and finally converged on the cold water sword in his right hand. Within a moment, a hundred-foot-long water sword took shape. This is her final blow. Victory or defeat depends on it. Everyone in Wan Jin's sect was watching this scene attentively. Without blinking, Qin Feng looked up at the sky nervously, praying constantly in his heart. The huge water sword slashed up into the sky, and the sword energy like the Milky Way penetrated the life-destroying thunder and disappeared into the dark clouds. Just hearing the sound of clicking, the daunting life-destroying thunder, under the surprised and excited eyes of everyone, shattered inch by inch until it turned into nothingness. The dark clouds dispersed, and the sky became clear again. Suddenly there was golden light falling. Lu Jianli was bathed in the golden light. With her eyes closed, her beautiful posture was really like that of a goddess. At this moment, she wanted to absorb the spiritual energy and ancient divine energy brought by the heavenly tribulation and break the barrier of the third level. And after absorbing the ancient divine aura, she will become the best among the third grade. After a brief silence, everyone's excited shouts resounded over the Wan Jin sect. Yu Hushuan breathed a sigh of relief. Although he was relieved, he did not relax his vigilance. He knew that the matter was far from over. Fu Jia stood in the void, trembling with excitement. A strange tone came from the mouth. The breath of the ancient gods. The breath of the ancient gods. If I can absorb all these ancient divine breaths, I will return to the top. At the same time, the void trembled, and several figures in black stepped out, led by the ghost-faced man with the number four tattooed on his chest. Everyone in Wan Jian sect obviously saw the scene, and they all looked shocked. Who are they, and why did they come to my Wan Jian sect? Qin Feng's eyes widened in Xingyue Peak. Although he didn't know who these people were, he recognized the ghostly face of the leader and the black and white robe. They are the same group as those who attacked Yuan City and Jinong City. The planners behind this are actually these people. Qin Feng's face was extremely ugly, 
because he has been in contact with them several times. He knows how powerful this group of people is. Where's the lady? Qin Feng hurriedly looked up at the sky. Lu Jinli was still absorbing the golden light in the sky. Standing motionless in the void, thinking about it, it will take some time before she can fully enter the third level. Qin Feng forcibly comforted himself and said, It's okay. This is Wan Jin's sect. There are many masters. The sect leader Yu Hushuan will definitely be able to stop these people. And my master is here too. And he has great skills. It's fine. Before the words were spoken, another change occurred. Fu Jiao walked through the void in the direction of Lu Jianli. Every time he took a step, its appearance was changing. Clothes crumbled. Skin cracked. From its original size. In just a few moments, it transformed into a monstrous beast the size of a mountain. The whole body is covered in black flames. With a single horn on its head. A huge head like a leopard. Five long tails dancing wantonly. And the terrifying aura exuding from the whole body is not far from the previous life-destroying thunder. Even if it is not as good as before. It's Yen Gu. Qin Feng's face turned pale. How could he not be shocked when he saw the rumored ferocious beast that had experienced the night of God's food? After the shock, there was deep worry. What should the lady do? In the sect master's hall, the old man Bailey turned his head and asked, The real master has appeared. You going up or me? Asking knowingly. The faceless man snorted coldly and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Chapter 256 Realm It's Master Fu. How could he become such a monster? Bai Chiu covered his mouth with a shocked expression. That's the ferocious beast Yen Gu that my uncle said. It went to the lady. Lan Ningxuan looked anxious. Yu Hushuan has always been keeping a close eye on Fu Jia's movements. After all, as the leader of a sect, how could he be such a stupid person? There is something unusual happening in the sword tomb. And the peak master Fu Jia, who is responsible for protecting Wan Jin's sect, is naturally the most suspicious. With a little investigation, it's not difficult to spot the anomaly. But he didn't expect that Fu Jia would be taken over by Yan Gu. Seeing that Yan Gu was about to approach Lu Jinli and compete for the ancient divine breath, Yu Hushuan was about to take action to stop it. But at this moment, a golden arrow streaked across the sky, forcing him back. Looking in the direction where the golden arrow came from, it was a group of people in black clothes stepping out of the void. Sect Master! The other peak masters came over one after another and stood beside Yu Hushuan. Who are you? And why did you break into my Wanjin sect? Yu Hushuan said in a deep voice. I will tell you after you die. The leader of the ghost-faced man responded coldly. When Yu Hushuan heard this, he let out a breath. And a strong wind suddenly rose. This pressure, the ghost-faced man said solemnly. The pressure of the other party alone was already comparable to the twelve generals of Dagon Demon Slayer Division. Is it because I haven't made a move for too long? That's why you guys think that anyone can step on my head? Yu Hushuan said lightly. As soon as he finished speaking, the ghost-faced man turned sideways hurriedly. The companion beside him did not react in time and was cut in half by the invisible wind sword, with blood splattering everywhere. Sect Master! Lu Jianli sighed. A peak master said worriedly. Yu Hushuan glanced in the direction of Yan Gu and said inexplicably, It doesn't matter. There are people there who will take care of it. Next, he looked at the group of people in black and said word by word, Everyone, the name of Wan Jian sect is witnessed by the blood of these enemies. On the other side, Yan Gu stretched out his huge claws, tried to crush Lu Jianli, who was still absorbing the ancient divine energy. Qin Feng was anxious. Master, he is an old man. Why don't you take action? He doesn't want anything to happen to his wife. At this moment, a black light flashed through, like a barrier, wrapping the sky and imprisoning the giant beast Yang Gu. This black barrier is like another world, and everything inside is invisible to the outside world. What is this? Jean Feng's eyes widened. When senior Jean Ong City Sword Maniac took action against the dragon corpse, he also used a similar white barrier. Within the black barrier of the domain, Yang Gu opened his mouth his voice as sharp as a baby's cry. After the words fell, on the other side of the void, a faceless figure in black robes slowly stepped out. It was the ghost head. Yen Gu said, when humans enter the third level, they can use their own chi to expand the realm, isolate the world and the world, and exert superpower. But don't you think that even this kind of method can deal with me? With a roar, Yen Gu's body also emitted terrifying energy, and the black flames burned blazingly and actually turned into a barrier and spread out to the surroundings. It wants to rely on its own powerful strength to directly open the realm of the ghost leader. 
However, when the black flames burned to the edge of the black barrier, it was as if it was extinguished by water. And of course, it disappeared in an instant. This scene shocked Yen Gu. Impossible. The black flame evolved from the hair and beard of the gods and demons is the eternal flame in the world. How could it disappear? What on earth have you done? Kueisho did not answer his question, but stretched out two fingers. You made two mistakes. Yen Gu was shocked and confused. The man in front of him actually made him feel a trace of fear from the depths of his soul. This feeling was just like when it faced the sword ancestor of the 10,000 sword sect and was killed by the purple lightning god Jun. First, nothing in this world is immortal. Second, I expanded the realm not to deal with you. But because I was worried that with all my strength, I would destroy this world of Wanjin sect. Gui Shou said coldly, This is ridiculous. Do you really think you are the sword ancestor alive? Yen Gu roared. Even with its strength, it cannot have the power to shatter the world. How can the human in front of it do it? Whether it is true or not, use your own life to verify it. Click. Click. And Xing Yu Pete. Qin Feng looked at the black barrier nervously and then saw that the surface of the barrier was broken like a mirror. The terrifying power leaked from the cracks actually caused the space to distort. Accompanied by this was a terrifying roar of pain. Qin Feng swallowed his saliva, wondering what happened inside. In a short time, the cracks on the surface of the black barrier became more and more dense. In the sect master's hall, the old man Bailey raised his eyebrows. You are still so ignorant in your actions. Do you want these mountains to turn into a lifeless ruins? While speaking, the old man pointed his right hand towards the sky. The broken crack stabilized again. Looking inside the black barrier, Yen Gu's body had been mostly broken into pieces, and black blood was soaked in the bottom of the strange space. Who are you? Yen Gu roared angrily. The soul has been sleeping for a long time, and it thought it would wake up again and rule the world. But I didn't expect that it would be such a result. Moreover, during the fight with the faceless man, it also felt a familiar aura, which was the aura of a demon and ghost that had eaten the flesh and blood of gods and demons with it, but whose strength was far superior to it. Of course, Guisho would not answer, and his body disappeared into thin air. The terrifying power fell, and Yen Gu's remaining huge body turned into nothingness in an instant. But it did not die. Its soul was wrapped in black hair and beards of gods and demons, and it escaped from the realm of ghost heads. It wants a human body to invade and replace it. Looking down, a black figure stood out in Xingyue Peak. It was him who had deployed a large formation before. Delaying the destruction of life lay for a moment. The formation method is the method of the Wenshung Taoist, which shows that this person's soul is not weak. If he can devour his soul, it will also be of great benefit to the recovery of his injuries. Uh-huh. The hair and beard of the god and demon drew a black line in the sky, speeding towards Qin Feng. In just a few moments, Yen Gu's soul can invade the latter's body. Damn it. What is this? Qin Feng's eyes widened and his heart beat wildly. The perception of danger made him want to escape quickly. But the speed of this black line is too fast. How can he, a literary saint, avoid it? The leader of ghosts in the realm, the old man Bailey in the sect master's palace, was about to come to rescue. But a beautiful figure in white was faster than them. The graceful back figure came into view and the black hair fell slowly. Yin Gu's soul was only an arm's length away from Qin Feng, but it was completely blocked by a barrier formed by light blue water vapor. That was the realm. Madam, Qin Feng murmured. Wait for me for a moment. Lu Jinli looked back and smiled, and the world turned pale. Chapter 257 The Sword God Smiles Qin Feng nodded blankly, looking at the lady, who was still glowing with a faint golden light. He had a strong feeling that the lady was stronger at the moment the kind that is unimaginably strong. Lu Jianli still held the Han's Wei sword in her right hand, and then made a move with her left hand. In the 10,000 sword sword formation, the purple lightning divine gun, as the base of the formation flew into his hands, thunder arc surged around the divine sword again, even more intense than before. It was excited. The sound of the sword was like the roar of thunder. No, it's impossible. The Yen Gu soul in the hair and beard of the god and demon made a sharp voice and his tone was extremely shocking. It seemed as if it had seen the sword ancestor from back then and came in person again. It wanted to turn around and escape, but the water vapor around it turned into a prison in an instant. Sealing it inside, Lu Jianli turned her head and looked at Yen Gu Divine Soul. Her smile faded, and her eyes were as calm as a pool of autumn water. She raised her left hand and gently waved the purple lightning magic gun. 
there is no exaggerated sword energy. And the movements are as natural as a graceful dance. But in this calmness, there is terrifying power hidden. The space where Yin Gu's soul resides is like a piece of white paper cut in half by scissors, split into two, accompanied by a shrill scream. This monstrous beast that participated in the night of God's food finally ended up with both its soul and spirit destroyed. However, the black hair and whiskers of gods and demons were not annihilated by Lu Jinli's sword moves, but instead fell in the wind. On the other side, the ghost-faced man who fought against Yuishuan saw Yin Gu being killed, and saw the hair and demon being without a master again, and no longer wanted to fight. With just one move, he appeared in front of the hair and beard of the god and demon, and then held it tightly in his right hand. You dare to be distracted when fighting with me, Yuishuan said coldly. The surrounding wind suddenly rose and the invisible wind sword turned into the strongest murderous intention and attacked the ghost's face. However, in the void, a bloody mouth appeared out of thin air, swallowing the ghost face man in one gulp, and no trace of him could be found again. The method of the void! Yu Hushuan looked ugly. Without the ghost face man, the remaining men in black are nothing more than a mob. With just a stick of incense, they were all subdued by the peak masters of Wanjin sect. Yu Hushuan's original plan was to keep him alive, and find out the real mastermind behind the scenes. But he didn't expect that the moment the men in black were subdued, their bodies would expand, and then explode into a mist of blood. The soul of Yen Gu was destroyed. Lu Jianli activated the sword box to open it again, and the Han's Wei sword was put into it. She originally wanted to return the Zidian Shinjun to Wanjin sect, but she found that the Zidian Shinjun had slipped into the sword box by itself, and even squeezed the Han's Wei sword out of the way. The clear sound of the sword sounded, as if Hans, we sword was expressing dissatisfaction. But soon, the sound of gurgling water was drowned out by the sound of surging lightning arcs. Lu Jianli shook his head, not paying attention to this trivial matter. She turned around again and looked at Qin Feng. Her eyebrows were picturesque. Her red lips parted lightly. I did what I promised you. After hearing this, the original nervousness and anxiety disappeared. Qin Feng smiled and didn't say anything more. He just stepped forward and hugged the other party tightly. A trace of panic flashed in Lu Jinli's eyes. The battle had just ended, and there must be many people still looking at this place. The blush on Xiaofei's cheeks reached the tip of her ears. She was powerful enough to kill the Yan Gu soul. But at this moment, she was like a noble lady who was at a loss. Just come back, Qin Feng said softly. Lu Jinli's beautiful eyes widened slightly, and her smile appeared. She buried her head in Qin Feng's arms and hummed softly. Everything else was unimportant to her. At this moment, she just wanted to enjoy this time quietly. The black realm dissipated, and the ghost head inside had long disappeared. In the sect master's hall, the old man Bailey suddenly turned his head and looked around. Qin Jianon stood with his hands behind his hands, looking in the direction of the ten thousand sword sword array, rubbing his chin and smiling. This boy is good at seizing opportunities. With so many people watching, I didn't feel ashamed. When you were with her, you were much stinker than this. Old man Bailey didn't take it seriously. When Qin Jianan heard this, he was suddenly startled. He seemed to be thinking of someone. And there was sadness and reminiscence in his eyes. Unconsciously, 18 years have passed. If she saw Fomer marrying such an outstanding wife, she would definitely be very happy. As he spoke, he looked moved and sighed softly. It would have been better if I had not left her side back then. Knowing that he had said the wrong thing, old man Bailey raised his eyebrows and turned his head away. Uh-huh. Just at this moment, a sound of breaking wind sounded. Yu Hushuan returned to the sec master's hall, frowned and said, There are no survivors left. Old man Bailey looked up into the sky and said calmly, It doesn't matter. I can probably guess what they are going to do. In a restaurant room, a man wearing a ghost mask was sitting by the window, pouring himself a drink. After a moment, a figure appeared out of thin air. It was the ghost-faced man with the number four tattooed on his chest. Gong Du, what's wrong? The drinking man asked. The man named Gong Du respectfully handed over a black box and placed it on the table. The drinking man opened it, and what was placed in the black box was the hair and whiskers of the gods and demons. Not bad. Although this was somewhat different from his original plan to use the power of the life-destroying thunder and the 10,000 sword sect to eliminate the killing Yin Gu, at least half of it was completed. It's just a pity that Lu Jianli absorbed all the ancient divine breath. Otherwise, if he could snatch the ancient divine breath, things would be much easier later on. It's my fault. Gongdu bowed. It has nothing to do with you. 
with that old guy and the ghost head here, I can bring back the devil hair and beard safely. I am already very satisfied. After a pause, the drinking man spoke again, absorbed the ancient divine aura, and became the youngest third grade sword god in history. Huh? Lu Jinli is really a strange woman in the world. As for her husband, he is quite interesting. He unexpectedly thought of setting up the Shuizhu Tianlong formation to gain Lu Jinli the most precious three breath kung fu. At this point, he picked up a roll of white paper beside the table and read the poem on it. The clouds think of clothes and flowers think of face. And the spring breeze blows on the threshold and the dew is rich. If we hadn't seen each other on the top of the Jade Mountain, we would have met under the moon on Yao Tai. What do you think of this poem? Gong Du shook his head. I don't understand this. The man sighed. Oh, you really don't know how to be funny. Just because this poem exists in heaven. How many times can it be heard in the human world? Tonight, the flowers are full and the mood is full. On a boulder on a mountain peak of Wan Jin sect, two figures were holding hands and leaning on each other. Bai Chiyo, who was standing by the guest room window, saw the scene and his face was bulging with anger. This hateful guy is occupying senior sister Jinli again. I have a lot of things to say to senior sister. Lan Ningxuan glanced out the window and looked pleased. Okay. Bai Chiyo. Hurry up and eat. Don't disturb the young lady and uncle. Oh. After hearing about eating, Bai Chiyo's expression improved slightly. On the boulder, Lu Jinli gently leaned his head on Qin Feng's shoulder. With a slight smile on his face, Qin Feng turned his head and looked up, feeling emotional. He remembered the snowman he had built in the Qin mansion in order to preserve the smile of the beauty in his heart. He carved that look with a snowman. But looking at it now, compared with a real person, it is really a world of difference. Lu Jinli's smile could even outshine the beauty of the moonlight. And he wanted to protect this smile. I want to witness the passage of time with my wife and walk through the vicissitudes of life together. Where are you going to sleep tonight? Lu Jinli suddenly asked. Her voice as low as a mosquito's fly. Under the moonlight, her face was flushed with shame, which was really pretty. Where are you sleeping? Of course you are a guest. Halfway through his words, Qin Feng suddenly understood something, and his heartbeat suddenly accelerated. He hurriedly changed his words. The bed in the Wan Jian sex guest room was too hard. I had insomnia for several days. I wonder if the bed in your disciple's room would be softer. I want to try it. Okay. Lu Jianli lowered his head, not daring to look directly at Qin Feng. But Qin Feng was cheering for himself in his heart. Tonight, he would avenge his shame and break the half-hour record. Should. Can it? Chapter 258 The Battle of Asking the Sword As the night passed, Qin Feng opened his eyes and felt a sore waist and back. It's not that I'm too weak. It's that the bed the martial artist sleeps on is too hard. He tried his best last night. And hard work always pays off. And he gained one minute more than last time. Although it is only a small minute. This minute is extremely precious. This is not self-deception on his part but is based on fact. On the road of human history, how many milestones of scientific progress are measured in milliseconds? This minute is so critical. I'm sorry. I have embarrassed the time traveler again. Qin Feng still hasn't passed the hurdle in his heart and can't go on. Turning his head to look around him, he saw that unlike last time, the beauty did not leave without saying goodbye. A black hair fell on the head of the bed, and her flawless body was hidden under the quilt. Lu Jinli had already woken up, with her eyes open, looking at Qin Feng quietly. There was still a hint of blush on her face that was as white as jade. When I wake up every morning, my beloved woman is lying next to me. This is what many men dream of. Qin Feng thought like this and felt that the years were quiet and peaceful. On the other side, in the sect master's hall, Yu Hushuan listened to the reports of the peak masters and felt that one was as big as the other. Obviously this time, the natural disaster did not destroy the sword peak in the sect and the crisis was passed safely. However, all the major sword peaks were damaged to varying degrees. And the culprit of all this was Qin Feng. He borrowed the mountains and rivers within the Wanjian sect, and used the water and heavenly dragon formation. This directly caused the streams and waterfalls all over the mountain to almost dry up. That's all. He did all this to help Lu Jinli successfully overcome the disaster. What's more, one of his poems helped many disciples in the sect understand the meaning of the sword further. You don't need to say any more. Upon hearing this, all the peak masters nodded helplessly. Is there anything else you want to say? Yu Hushuan asked, pinching his brows. A peak leader immediately stepped forward, holding a letter in his hand. What is this? 
Yu Hushuan asked curiously. Sec Master, have you forgotten? The time for the annual sword asking battle is coming soon. This time, the sword asking battle will take place in our Wanjin sect. Anyone who wants to come to Binwu Lijia and Sword Emperor City is already on their way. So we should make preparations in advance. Huh? Yu Hushuan was stunned for a moment. And then he came to his senses. The battle of swordsmanship is a competition between the three masters of swordsmanship in order to improve their swordsmanship. It happens basically every year. However, in previous years, one family would go to another house to compete. And the sword competitions were also conducted in pairs. Three families gathered together at the same time to ask swordsmen. This year is also the first time. And this time, there is another difference. That is Li Luo from Bin Wu Lijia and Bai Wu Shuang from Sword Emperor City. Both of whom will come to ask about the sword. You know, Li Luo from Bin Wu Lijia is the only genius who can use the ghost weapon sword box in a hundred years. As for Bai Wu Shuang of Sword Emperor City, although she stays in Sword Emperor City all the year round and remains invisible, people who have seen her will put her and Lu Jinli together and call her one sword and two masters. The three geniuses gather together to question swordsmanship. I think this time Bin Wu Lijia and Sword Emperor City not only want to distinguish the strength of the sword, but also want to determine who is the current genius in the sword. Peak Master, you said? Huh? If we put it in the past, Bin Wu Lijia would definitely not have the confidence to do so. Not to mention Sword Emperor City. Unless they have forgotten the scene where their own genius was knocked away by Lu Jinli of our sect with one finger. Presumably they didn't know that Lu Jinli's damaged meridians had been repaired. So they wanted to take the opportunity to come here to avenge their shame. A peak leader said bluntly. That's not necessarily the case. I heard that the boy from Bin Wu Lijia followed Lord Nantian Long and traveled through the southern territory, fighting against all kinds of monsters and ghosts. And his strength increased by leaps and bounds. This time, he comes to ask about the sword again. It must be different from the past. And we can't be careless. As for Bai Wu Shuang and Sword Emperor City, when she was mentioned, all the peak masters fell silent. It was hard to live up to her reputation. How could a woman who could be on par with Lu Jinli be so weak? At this moment, Yu Hushuan spoke. Did you all forget that Jinli has already entered the third level? As soon as these words came out, everyone's eyes lit up. That's right. Lu Jinli has entered the third level, comprehended the fifth level of sword intent, and became the youngest sword god in the history of Dakian. One person said excitedly, slapping his forehead. And the outside world doesn't know this news yet. You quickly send your disciples to arrange the Wanjin sect. And be sure to show the momentum of our sect's master. Also, spread the news that the Battle of Wenjian is about to start as far as possible. Even if it doesn't reach everyone's knowledge, it should still be close to the news. The most important thing is that Jianli has become a sword god. We must suppress it and not let the outside world know. Do you understand? Understood! Yu Hushuan and the other peak masters looked at each other with cunning and cunning expressions on their faces. On the other side, Qin Feng and his party were enjoying breakfast in the lobby and discussing when to return to Jin Yang City. He turned his head and asked the beauty in white beside him, Do you have anything else to deal with in the sect? Lu Jinli shook his head. If you want to go back, I just have to tell Master. In that case, let's pack up and set off today. After all, after being out for so many days, their family members must be worried about them. Oh? So fast. The meat buns in Bai Chiu's hands suddenly lost their aroma. She still wanted to stay with her senior sister for a while longer. Qin Feng thought of his second brother, raised his eyebrows, and said immediately, If you are reluctant, you can go back with us and have some fun before returning to the sect. Anyway, I think there's nothing wrong with you staying here. When Bai Chiu heard this, he was a little moved. The Qin mansion had delicious hot pot, and there was also a good-looking second son of the Qin family but there was still a look of hesitation on her round and pretty face. No, I have to improve my cultivation here as soon as possible. How can I run around everywhere? The kidnapping failed. Qin Feng smacked his lips. And the second brother's lifelong event could only be planned slowly. Qin Jianan on the side showed a strange look when he saw this. When he was dining in the lobby of the Qin family, he heard Fengr mention this girl. So he could probably guess what she was thinking. Why is this boy more concerned about a nurse marriage than his father? Could it be that he wants to compete for the position of the head of the family? Not long after, the group finished their breakfast and were ready to pack up and hit the road. At this moment, a Wanjian sect disciple hurried over and said breathlessly, Senior Sister Jianli, you? You can't leave just yet. Huh? 
Qin Feng narrowed his eyes and suddenly felt that something was wrong. Chapter 259 by Wu Shuang's sister. Sec master, he asked you to stay. The disciple took a breath and added, It's still a step too late. Qin Feng's face darkened. He was anxious to take Lu Jianli away for two reasons. Firstly, he was really worried that his family would be worried. So he wanted to go back early. As for the second point, it was because he was afraid that Wang Jin sect would not let him go. After all, my wife has unparalleled talent. At the age of 19, she has entered the realm of sword god that most martial arts warriors would never dare to dream of. With such qualifications, it may not be impossible to have a fight with the most powerful person in the imperial capital. The god suppressing see you. In the future, in the novels, movies, and TV dramas he had watched in his previous life. Under such circumstances, it was impossible for most sects to let go of such a peerless talent. Now that he heard the other party's words, his suspicions were strengthened. Qin Feng took a deep breath, stood next to Lu Jianli, and then reached out to protect her behind him. I will take her away, and no one can stop her. There is no doubt in his tone. Anyway, with the support of his master and his wife, he is not afraid of Wan Jian's sect at all. Lu Jianli blinked. In the lobby, the rest of the people looked at Qin Feng in confusion, wondering why he suddenly said such words. The disciple who came to report scratched his head and begged, Master Qin, I know you really want to take senior sister Jianli back, but the battle of Wenjian is about to begin. At this time, the sect really needs her. Please stay a few more days. Huh? This time, Qin Feng was confused. The plot was different from what he thought. The other party's attitude was so humble that it made him seem like a villain. And the battle of swords. What is that? The disciple noticed Qin Feng's confusion and told the whole story of the matter. After hearing this, Qin Feng's cheeks felt a little hot. He coughed dryly and tried to cover up his embarrassment. So, this time, Bin Wu Li Jia and the strongest genius in Sword Emperor City will come to Wan Jin sect to inquire about swords. You are afraid that no one can deal with it. So you hope that Jianli will stay and take charge of Wan Jin's sect? Yes. The last time the genius from Bin Wu Li Jia came to ask for swords. When the ghost sword box came out, no one in the younger generation could match him. If senior sister Jianli hadn't taken action, our sect would have lost all face. The disciple sighed with emotion. Qin Feng knew about this. His wife told him when she was in Jinong City. It was the young man who was poked away by a finger and then cried. The male disciple looked worried and spoke again. Bai Wu Shuang from Sword Emperor City is probably still stronger than Bin Wu Li Jia. At this time, if senior sister Jin Li leaves, who else in the sect is the opponent of those two? Qin Feng nodded slightly, glanced at Lu Jin Li, who had a normal expression, and asked, do you want to stay and participate in the Battle of Wenjian? Lu Jianli spoke softly. It's all up to you. The male disciples looked surprised. Senior sister Jianli had obviously become a swordsman. Looking at the entire Dakian, she had already entered the top ranks. Even compared to the sect leader, it's not too far behind. But such a senior sister would actually obey a man's words? Master Qin, you are so powerful. The male disciple thought from the bottom of his heart. Qin Feng pondered for a moment. The three kendo masters gathered together to question swordsmen. It was definitely a rare event in Dakian, and he naturally did not want to miss it. And, more importantly, he also wanted the world to know that his wife was the well-deserved number one among the younger generation when it came to swordsmanship. Thinking of this, Qin Feng asked, When will the battle of asking swords begin? In five days. The disciple answered truthfully. Qin Feng understood and said to the beauty beside him, In this case, it doesn't matter if we stay a little longer. Okay. Lu Jinli responded softly. The male disciple breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this. But Bai Chiu in the lobby looked panicked. She stood up and said, I have something else to do. So why don't you leave first? Then, he left in a hurry. Qin Feng asked strangely. Why do you need to be so panicked? The male disciple said casually. Maybe it's because senior sister Bai Chiu's sister is coming. Who is her sister? By Wu Shuang from Sword Emperor City, the male disciple said in a casual tone. I see. Qin Feng reached out to grab the teacup on the table, but suddenly stopped. Who did you say her sister was? By Wu Shuang. By Bai Chiu is her sister. The daughter of the Sword Emperor? Qin Feng said in shock. Of course, he had heard of Bai Wu Shuang, who was as famous as his wife. Dagon, a swordsman and a double master. So he was so shocked. Yeah. The male disciple nodded heavily. 
still curious as to why Mr. Qin asked so many times. Was it because his speech was not standard? Qin Feng seemed to have heard some big joke. He turned his head and looked at Lu Jianli and others, trying to see the same shocked look on their faces. But everyone looked normal. Are you surprised that the Sword Emperor's daughter came to Wan Jian sect to learn swordsmanship? Qin Feng said in surprise. La Ningxuan tilted her head. Bai Qiu's surname is Bai. I thought my uncle had already guessed her identity. Qin Feng was speechless. He had indeed doubted Bai Qiu's identity. Firstly because of his surname. And secondly because of Bai Mei Gao. But the absurdity of this kind of thing is as outrageous as the service staff at the Golden Arch is clocking in to work in a KFC store. Is this reasonable? Is there any royal law? Does the leader of Wanjian sect also know Bai Qiu's true identity? Qin Feng asked. The male disciple nodded slightly. This is natural. How can a person who can wear the divine sword Luing as a sword be an ordinary person? When senior sister Bai Chiu first came to Wanjin sect, everyone guessed her identity. Only she herself was kept in the dark, thinking she had deceived everyone, knowing that she is the daughter of the sword emperor. Why did your sect leader accept her as his successor? Qin Feng looked in disbelief. The male disciple shook his head. I don't know about this either. Anyway, the sect master told us not to care about senior sister Bai Chiu's identity and just treat her as normal. At this time, Lu Jinli on the side explained softly. The sword emperor has two daughters. One is by Wu Shuang, and the other is by Qiu. The master felt that if Bai Qiu was taught by him, he could surpass by Wu Shuang in the way of swordsmanship. He can then win the title of sword emperor from the sword emperor. This is also the reason why he accepted Bai Qiu as his personal successor and spared no effort to guide him. Just for a mere name. Qin Feng was confused. He thought this reason was too trivial. Even a little ridiculous. Why are the three sword masters competing with each other? The master of Wan Jian sect is not afraid that his unique skills will be expelled by the sword emperor city? However, the male disciple on the side showed an expression of sudden realization. It turns out that this is the case. It is in line with the sect master's temperament. No. Why did you accept it readily? This is the image of the leader of Wan Jian sect in your heart? Qin Feng had a strange look in his eyes. He felt that with such a sect leader sitting in charge. The future of Wan Jin sect was worrying. Chapter 260 This is what he should bear at his age. With the help of Wan Jin sect. The news that the Battle of Wan Jin was about to begin spread rapidly throughout Dakian as if it had wings. For a time, there was a commotion. The three Kendo masters gathered together to compete in Kendo. Which may not happen once in a hundred years. Naturally, countless people flocked to it and want to witness this unprecedented event with their own eyes. Two days later, the villages and towns near the Misty Peaks were overcrowded. Most of them are warriors who come here because of their fame. Of course, there are also some powerful people who join in the fun. In a tea house, there were many people and noisy noises. And what everyone is talking about is nothing more than the sword-asking battle that will start in three days. Hey, do you know? I heard that this time the three Kendo Masters gathered together. Not only to compete to find out who is the real number one Kendo Master. It is also to determine who is the number one genius in Kendo today. If not for this, I wouldn't have been able to come here all the way. It has long been rumored by the outside world that the young man who left his home in Binwu has taken control of the ghost weapon sword box that has been lost for hundreds of years. And has superb swordsmanship. This time, I am very optimistic about him. The one from Binwu Lijia is indeed not bad. But in my opinion, he is still a little worse than Bai Wu Shuang from Sword Emperor City. After all, the latter can be said to be a master of swordsmanship along with Lu Jianli. When the topic mentioned Lu Jianli, most of the people present sighed and looked regretful. If Lu Jianli hadn't failed to advance to the third level, the so-called top talent in swordsmanship would have been undisputed. But God is jealous of talents. When Lu Jianli failed to escape the tribulation and return to Feng Tian City, all the doctors were helpless. Last I heard, she married to a remote town in order to fulfill her ancestral engagement. Nine times out of ten things go wrong in life. Just like you and I are still talking here today. Maybe by this time next year. We will already be lying in a coffin. But I am very curious. Without Lu Jianli, who can compete with the two geniuses from Bin Wu Lijia and Sword Emperor City without Lu Jianli? Everyone looked at each other and shook their heads. I think the Wan Jin sect is going to make a fool of themselves this time. In the corner, a handsome young man in black and a black-faced guard were drinking tea. Uncle, the world still doesn't know that the young lady has recovered from her injuries and has even entered the realm of the sword god. Yeah. Qin Feng nodded slightly, grabbed a piece of tea cake and put it in his mouth. 
He originally just had nothing to do and wanted to hang out at the foot of the mountain. But he didn't expect that the Battle of Wenjian had already become known to everyone. Wait with me to buy some local special animal meat. And then return to Wanjin sect. Okay. Uncle. As soon as the two left the tea house, the crowd suddenly became noisy, and everyone looked in a certain direction. Qin Feng then looked around and saw a group of people wearing uniform blue and white clothes. Everyone carries a huge sword box on their back. It turned out to be someone who left home in Bin Wu, said Heighten to on the side. They're just soldiers leaving home? Qin Feng asked curiously. Yes. Have you seen the sword box behind them? According to legend, Bin Wu Li's swordsmanship is in that sword box. Once the sword box is opened, it will be difficult to deal with gods and ghosts. So those who leave home in military service always keep the sword box with them. That's it. Qin Feng nodded and suddenly raised his brows. And he thought of someone. Back when he was in the Qi Yuan Chung Tavern, there was a young man with red lips and white teeth carrying a sword box on his back. But that sword box was much more delicate and spacious than the ones he saw now. Could it be that the little brother is also a member of Bin Wuli family? Qin Feng had such a guess. The group of people dressed in green and white clothing felt like wind was blowing under their feet. And everyone could clearly feel a faint pressure wherever they passed. They walked very fast and disappeared from everyone's sight in a moment. And the direction they left was obviously towards Wan Jin sect. I don't know. Among the group of people just now, which one is the genius who left home in Bin Wu? Qin Feng thought thoughtfully. He originally wanted to observe the enemy's situation in advance for his wife. That's all. After all, he is still a young man who was poked away by his wife. After such a long time, even if he has made some progress, it will only be a matter of two fingers at most. On the other side, Wan Jin sect was 2,000 miles away to the south, deep in the mountains. A young man who was resting next to a boulder suddenly sneezed. He rubbed his nose and looked around, seeing everything in ruins. The corpses of demons and ghosts were piled up together, and blood flowed into rivers. Are you sure of this battle of 10,000 swords? A voice came from above. The young man looked up and saw a lean middle-aged man wearing a gray robe and with black and white short hair looking at him. This lean middle-aged man is naturally Nan Tian Long Yin Shou. And the young man left home and Luo in military force. They were killing demons and ghosts while heading south. Just to participate in the battle of 10,000 swords three days later, Li Luo raised his head and said confidently, Of course there is. Before he finished speaking, he heard Yin Zhou add, In this battle of 10,000 swords, Bai Wu Shuang and Lu Jianli will also participate. The words in the young man's mouth seemed to be stuck. He couldn't spit them out and couldn't swallow them back. Needless to say, Lu Jianli's strength was not enough. As for Bai Wu Shuang, he was not sure. After all, she is the daughter of the Sword Emperor, who is known as the Master of Swordsmanship along with Lu Jinli. The Sword Emperor's swordsmanship was once considered by countless people to be the best in the world. It's just that the world hasn't seen the Sword Emperor take action for too long. So these rumors have gradually faded away. His expression changed. And Li Luo gritted his teeth and said, So much time has passed. And I am no longer the same person as before. This time, I must avenge my shame. Prove to the world that Bing Wu Li Jia is the well-deserved number one among the three Kindo masters. Although this sounds a bit arrogant, he does have the capital to be arrogant. At such a young age, he has already comprehended the fourth level hidden weapon realm of sword intent, and even recently entered the fourth level divine martial arts of draw indestructible realm. In fact, Li Luo has surpassed Lu Jinli back then, and became the youngest fourth grade martial artist in the history of Dakian. And this is also the source of his confidence. Yin Zhou raised his eyebrows when he saw this, raised the corners of his mouth slightly, but said nothing. It's human nature to be young and energetic. Who hasn't had such a past? He would only be more proud than Li Luo now. However, there are people outside the world, and there is a sky outside the world. If you cannot fully understand yourself, you will only get lost. This battle of 10,000 swords is a good trial for Li Luo. Therefore, he deliberately did not tell the young man that Lu Jianli had entered the third level of Shenwu not long ago and became the youngest sword god in Dakian history. As for Bai Wushuang, when he left the Sword Emperor's city, he also realized the Sword Emperor's most powerful sword skill, the wheel-turning swordsmanship. The three gods are one. Looking at the young man beside the boulder, he clenched his fists and kept cheering himself up to gain confidence. Yin Zhou showed a hint of sympathy in his eyes. As a master, am I too cruel? That's all. This is what he should bear at his age. Chapter 261 Bunny is so cute. 
there are countless rare birds and animals among the misty peaks and mountains. Although the restaurant's business has been completely handed over to shopkeeper Peng, Chin Feng, as the real boss behind the scenes, cannot really do nothing. He came to buy animal meat this time because he wanted to add some types of hot pot dishes. Due to the proximity to Wang Jian's sect and the upcoming battle of Wang Jian, the market in the town can be described as a sea of people at a glance. Qin Feng kept moving forward with a flow of people. When he saw novel ingredients on the way, he would go up and ask the price to buy some. In this way, it can be regarded as a fruitful harvest. Suddenly, a stall filled with excitement attracted the attention of Qin Feng and the others. There are also stalls selling animal meat. But the animal meat they sell is unusual. Qin Feng looked over. And then his face lit up. It's actually a thunder rabbit? There is a record of it in. She of Dakian Hundred Demons. It is white in color and as fast as thunder. It is famous in Dakian for its delicious meat. Because the thunder rabbit is rare in number and extremely difficult to catch. It is a rare delicacy even among the imperial family. Qin Feng didn't expect to encounter such rare ingredients here today. Listening to the excited chatter of everyone around him, Heighton too asked curiously, Uncle, is this rabbit really as delicious as they say? Qin Feng replied, I haven't eaten it either. But there were rumors in Feng Tian City that the current queen suffered from anorexia because she was used to eating delicacies from the mountains and seas. Everything she ate tasted tasteless. And she was losing weight day by day. Emperor Ming ordered people to cook a lot of delicious food. But it didn't work. Until one day, an imperial chef served soup with Ben Lay Rabbit as the main food. The queen just took a sip and then drank the entire bowl of soup regardless of image. It was also from that time that Ben Lay Rabbit became a unique dish for royal family members to entertain distinguished guests. Xing Sheng nodded clearly, listening to everyone asking the stall owner about the price. Qin Feng also looked at the white rabbit in the cage. It has bright lavender eyes and strong muscles on its two hind legs, showing its amazing explosive power. It is recorded in the Hundred Demons Chronicles that the reason why the Thunder Rabbit is astonishingly fast is because it has a trace of Thunder Spirit power in its body, which can be injected into its hind legs to burst out with terrifying speed. It is said that if the Ben Lay Rabbit reaches the third level of Calamity Power, even a martial artist at the fifth level of Divine Movement will be unable to touch it within ten breaths. It is rare, hard to catch, and tastes delicious. It is also a special delicacy of the royal family. The price of the Thunder Rabbit is naturally not low. After the stall owner quoted a minimum price, as the bidding intensified, the price naturally increased. Within a moment, someone had already called the price of 5,000 tails. Qin Feng also felt a little moved in his heart. After all, he also wanted to taste what the food of the emperor's relatives tasted like. And with his current net worth, it was barely acceptable within 10,000 tails. Just as he raised his hand to bid, a soft female voice came from beside him. 6,000 tails. Turning his head, he saw a woman wearing a black dress. Her hair was simply tied behind her back, with a strand of hair hanging from her ears. Her profile was as delicate as jade and porcelain. Her eyebrows were just right, and her skin had a soft glow under the sunlight. Her figure is outlined by a black skirt, and she is graceful and undulating, like a continuous landscape. So beautiful. This was the first time Chin Feng saw a woman who could compete with his wife in appearance. At this moment, the beauty in black dress was looking at the rabbit in the cage without blinking, her eyes flickering, and she didn't know what she was thinking. Qin Feng guessed in his mind that perhaps this woman was moved by compassion and wanted to save Ben Lay Rabbit to prevent it from falling into the belly of others. After all, a woman like this would always say things like, Rabbits are so cute. Why should they eat rabbits? In their previous life? But he suddenly discovered a detail. When the woman looked at the thunder rabbit, her throat, which was like a swan's neck, was clearly swallowing saliva. Moreover, an old man in plain clothes beside her, who was simply dressed and carrying a sword box across his body, said to her, Miss, we didn't bring too much silver when we came out. So why don't we spend all this unnecessary money? The woman frowned slightly and said dissatisfiedly, How can it be unnecessary? You may not be able to eat such a delicious thing as Ben Lay Rabbit once in your life. Since I saw it today, I naturally can't miss it. While speaking, she frowned, sucked her fingers, and said with a smile, Uncle Wu, after buying this rabbit, do you think we should bake it or cook it? The old man known as Uncle Wu stroked his forehead and shook his head. It's up to you, Mississippi. He was too lazy to reply. It's delicious when grilled. But the rabbit is so small that it's gone in just a few bites. 
How about making some soup, so you can have a few more sips? The beauty in black dress tilted her head slightly, and said to herself, It turned out to be something to eat. Sheen Feng's pupils were whitened and his expression was a bit astonished. No. Can you really bear to bite such a cute rabbit? Why have you been staring at me? The beauty in the black dress looked sideways, with a hint of curiosity in her clear eyes, accompanied by a hint of coercion. Chin Feng's heart skipped a beat. Oops. The peeping was discovered by the real owner. Fortunately, he is a scholar and has a quick mind. So he immediately thought of a countermeasure. I just think there was something wrong with the way the girl cooked before. What's wrong? The beauty's interest was aroused. High-end ingredients often require only the simplest cooking methods to retain their original flavor. The way you cook it will cause the fat in the rabbit's body to overflow, causing its own aroma to dissipate, which will greatly affect the deliciousness of the ingredients. So if I were you, I would grill or fry the meat, then cook the meat until it is medium rare, and then sprinkle on some of the simplest seasonings to taste the taste of the ingredients themselves. Imagine the crispy skin and the overflowing meaty aroma. When you bite it, it melts in your mouth, and the juices flow freely. At this time, if paired with a glass of wine, it feels like unparalleled. Chin Fong spoke passionately, and the others looked at him one after another, swallowing a mouthful of saliva and showing longing expressions. The beauty in the black dress opened her eyes wide. Then she patted Chin Fong on the shoulder and said excitedly, Hmm, it will definitely be delicious if made this way. You know so much. You must be a famous chef somewhere. Right? Where? Where? I'm just a small shop owner who runs a few restaurants. I only know a little bit about cooking. Chin Fong emphasized the emphasis on the word. A few. Seeing this, Uncle Wu hurriedly stopped him and said, Miss, how could you pat a strange man on the shoulder like this? It's disrespectful. It's okay. I don't mind. Chin Fong waved his hand and said, The old man showed a look of astonishment. Six thousand tails is already a high price. Even if the rest of the people are itchy after being told by Chin Fong, it would be a bit unfair to pay a higher price just for a satisfying meal. Seeing this, the stall owner shouted loudly, If no one raises the price, this girl will buy this thunder rabbit. Yeah. The beauty in the black dress nodded heavily, as if she had already seen the fragrant roast rabbit waving at her. Seven thousand tails. Chin Fong said inappropriately, and the beauty was stunned on the spot. Chapter 262 Sword Emperor City by Wu Shuang you? The beauty in black dress pointed at Chin Fong. Her red lips slightly opened, but she hesitated to speak. Sorry. I also want to have a taste of such a rare delicacy as the Thunder Rabbit. Chin Fong said with his fists in hand. The stall owner looked excited. This young man has bid 7,000 tails. Does anyone want to increase the price? While speaking, the middle-aged stall owner looked specifically in the direction of the beauty. He could tell that he was the only one among the onlookers, who had the financial resources to continue to increase the price. The beauty gritted her silver teeth, glared at Chin Fong, then raised her hand and said, I'll pay 8,000. Before he finished speaking, he was hurriedly stopped by the old man on the side. Miss, you can't do it. Have you forgotten that when we came out, we only brought 10,000 tails of silver with us. Since there are 10,000 tails, there is no harm in taking out 8,000 tails. The beauty in the black dress frowned slightly. She was bound to get this rabbit. But, miss, you have eaten all the way here. And you have already spent more than 3,000 tails of silver. Where is the 8,000 tails left? Uncle Wu sighed helplessly. The eldest lady is good at everything. But she just can't control her mouth. Ah! Upon hearing this, the beauty suddenly showed a frustrated look. The stall owner also figured it out. And the other party couldn't continue to add money. So he immediately finalized the deal. Chin Fong raised his brows and said with a smile, Thank you very much, girl, for cutting me off, paying the money with one hand and delivering the goods with the other. Chin Fong walked towards the Wan Jin sect with a rabbit cage in hand. The beauty in black dress stared at Chin Fang's leaving figures with burning eyes. Oh, to be more precise, he should be staring at the thunder rabbit in the cage. Uncle Wu, what's wrong? Miss, how about we cover our faces? Find a deserted place and snatch the rabbit? The beauty's bright eyes narrowed slightly, revealing a slightly dangerous look. This is impossible. Young lady, do you want to be imprisoned by the master? The beauty in the black dress trembled, thinking of the quiet and empty sword pass. Being in solitary confinement is a trivial matter. The key is that if you stay there, you won't be able to eat delicious food. She struggled in her heart, pursed her lips and said, 
Dad should still be in Sword Emperor City now. Let's be smarter and run away after grabbing the rabbit. Presumably no one will find out. Are you sure? Miss, he is everywhere. Uncle Wu reminded in a low voice. The beauty's eyes suddenly widened. And she hurriedly looked around at the crowds of people. She thought about her father's unpredictable whereabouts and his bad habit of hiding in corners and watching secretly. And swallowed nervously. No. No. She didn't dare to bet on whether her father had left Sword Emperor City. So she could only sigh and give up helplessly. At this moment, the sound of breaking wind sounded in the sky. Everyone looked up and saw a group of people wearing black and blue clothing, wielding swords and rushing towards the Wanjin sect. It's from Sword Emperor City. Someone exclaimed, There is no conclusion yet on who is the number one among the three great Kindo masters. But if we want to say which one is the most chic, Sword Emperor City is the well-deserved number one. Not to mention anything else. Just the skill of flying with a sword has made many martial artists envious. Uncle Wu just glanced at them and said, Miss, since they are here, let's go to Wanjin sect. The beauty in the black dress nodded slightly and responded. Thinking in her mind, she didn't know how the Wanjin sect's meal tasted. She is the daughter of the sword emperor. By Wu Shuang, the two of them disappeared into the sea of people and headed south. On the second floor of a restaurant, a middle-aged man with a handsome appearance and a clean temperament gently closed the window. Looking inside the room, I saw that the table was full of delicious food. The Thunder Rabbit. The last time I had it was three years ago. I really miss it. On the other side, in the crowd, Hyden too said with a smile, I thought the young master would show mercy and not compete with that woman for the rabbit. If it were ordinary ingredients, I wouldn't fight for them. But this Thunder Rabbit is extremely rare. Now that I've seen it, I naturally don't want to miss it. Moreover, I want your young lady to have a taste of the delicious food in this world. Bai Chiu has been restless for the past two days. Firstly, he is excited to see his family soon. Secondly, he is afraid that his identity as the daughter of the Sword Emperor will be exposed, which will create a gap between him and the Wanjin sect. Thinking back to those days, the reason why she left Sword Emperor City and came to Wanjin sect was just out of sheer motivation. Sister Wu Shuang is too perfect, beautiful and extremely talented in swordsmanship. In comparison, she is like an ugly duckling who can only live in the shadow of her sister. Over time, it is understandable that some inferiority complex will arise in your heart. However, the real reason that made her leave Sword Emperor City was not due to inferiority complex. But that hateful sister would rub her cheeks at every turn and even compete with her for delicious food, especially for the latter. Robbing people of food is simply a heinous crime and a life and death enmity. She warned her repeatedly, but her sister knowingly did it. In a fit of anger, she left Sword Emperor City. But the world is so big and dangerous. Where can she go? At this moment, Master found her in the vast sea of people. Then came the days of training in the Wanjin sect. Five years have passed in the blink of an eye. And even a simple-minded girl like Bai Chiu feels quite sad. She was also thinking about what the scene would be like when she saw her sister again. Has the other party changed? After not seeing each other for a long time, he should let her go and stop competing with her for food. Right. Just when she was thinking wildly, a disciple came here and said, Sister, Mr. Chin asked you to go to him. Him? Bai Chiu frowned and snorted. What does that hateful guy want from me? I'm so upset right now that I don't have time to talk to him. You help me shirk it saying that I want to study the way of swordsmanship and prepare for the next battle of swordsmanship. But, senior sister, Mr. Chin specifically told me that you will regret it if you don't go. The disciple added after hesitation. Regret? Bai Chiu put his hands on his waist. I said I won't go, but I won't go. Just take my words with you. The disciple sighed helplessly. Okay, Mr. Chin has brought back a thunder rabbit and is preparing to cook it. Please come over and eat with me, senior sister. Since senior sister is not willing to go, then I will refuse. Then lay rabbit? Bai Chiu's eyes lit up when he heard this. He immediately stood up and put his hands on the male disciple's shoulders. He said displeasedly, Next time you speak, remember to talk about the important points first. As soon as she finished speaking, she used her magic method and disappeared in the blink of an eye. At night, the sky is filled with stars. Outside the guest room where Wan Jin Zong receives guests. Bai Chiu held a chopstick in each hand and looked at the rabbit meat roasting on the fire not far away. He smelled the aroma of the meat and his saliva fell from the corner of his mouth. Qin Feng, how long do we need to roast rabbit meat? 
Chin Fong twitched the corner of his mouth when he heard this. But in just one stick of incense, the other party asked this question nearly a hundred times. He already regretted a little and asked someone to call by Chio over. Chapter 263, Deep Sisterly Love? Everyone, please come with me. Your resting place is in front of you. A disciple of Wan Jin Sek said respectfully. Following him was a group of people from Sword Emperor City, led by the beauty in black dress and the old man in plain clothes. Alas, Bai Wu Shuang would sigh from time to time as she thought of the thunder rabbit she had missed during the day. That is a rare delicacy in the world. Gugu. A strange voice sounded, and the disciples of Wan Jian Sek turned around and saw the woman in black dress, who was as beautiful as senior sister Jin Li touching her belly, obviously feeling hungry. When will you have dinner here? Bai Wu Shuang asked softly. Miss. Uncle Wu looked embarrassed. The rest of the people in Sword Emperor City also turned their heads away and couldn't bear to look directly. The male disciple laughed dryly. When you get to the resting place, I will make arrangements right away. Yeah. Bai Wu Shuang nodded. At this moment, a faint scent floated into the tip of her nose. Her beautiful eyes widened. What kind of fragrance is this? Just one with makes people want it. Looking for the source of the aroma, I saw a mountain peak not far away, with sporadic firelight shining and white smoke floating away. Someone is making delicious food. Bai Wu Shuang swallowed, pointed to the mountain peak and asked, Can I go there to eat with them? The male disciple was stunned and didn't know how to answer. Miss. Uncle Wu's tone sounded like he hated iron. The rest of the people in Sword Emperor City stroked their foreheads and lowered their heads. When they came, they flew with swords and enjoyed the envious and jealous eyes of everyone. But at this moment, I want to find a hole in the ground to crawl down. I'm joking. Bai Wu Shuang added reluctantly, but still glanced at the mountain peaks emitting white smoke from the corner of his eyes. The male disciple breathed a sigh of relief after hearing this, took everyone in Sword Emperor City to a resting place, and then went to arrange dinner. But when everyone in Sword Emperor City came to their senses, where could they see their eldest lady? Oops. Uncle Wu obviously guessed something. The red-hot pot soup on the table was bubbling and Qin Feng and his party were sitting around. After half an hour of hard work, all the dishes for tonight were finally taken care of. Bai Chiu looked at the roasted rabbit that was as big as a suckling pig. He was already impatient. He hurriedly picked up a piece and put it into his mouth. The juice flows horizontally. The aroma fills the nostrils. And the spicy stimulation brought by the chili peppers fully highlights the delicious taste of the thunder rabbit. After the others tasted it, they were also full of praise. Heightened to side. I have never tasted such delicious food. Londing Shuang covered her cheeks with a happy expression on her face. How does it taste? Qin Feng turned his head and asked Jinning in white. Lu Jinli replied softly. It's delicious. Qin Feng smiled with satisfaction. Then grabbed a piece of rabbit leg before anyone else and put it in her bowl. It's delicious. Just eat more. The leg meat of the thunder rabbit is the firmest. Dad's chopsticks were hanging in the air. He had already set his sights on the rabbit leg, but he didn't expect that someone would get there first. He cursed angrily in his heart. This stinky boy has forgotten his father when he is a wife. Old man Bailey glanced at the crowd and then picked up the rabbit head without any concern for the image. He knew very well that the real delicacy of the thunder rabbit lies here. On the dining table, cups were exchanged and everyone enjoyed the meal. Bai Chiu was about to pick up another piece of rabbit meat, but a pair of chopsticks stretched out from behind her and picked away the rabbit meat she was interested in. Then, there was an extremely satisfied voice of, Hmm. Who is it? Bai Chiu said displeased. Turned around to look. And then his eyes widened. And he was stunned on the spot. Sister. Sister? The other people looked for the voice, and saw a beauty in black dress standing behind Bai Chiu. Qin Feng naturally had an impression of this person. But when he heard the name, Sister, in Bai Chiu's mouth, he was extremely shocked. Isn't Bai Chiu's sister Bai Wu Shuang? the genius of the Sword Emperor City, who is known as the master of swordsmanship along with his wife, turned out to be this person. Sister Chior? Bai Wu Shuang's words were a little unclear. After all, she was still chewing rabbit meat in her mouth, and her red lips were covered with grease. The two sisters looked at each other, and their strong family affection seemed to be fermenting. Bai Chio's eyes were slightly red, and she was a little choked with sobs. Time passed by and they had been separated for five years. When they reunited again, the reasons for leaving Sword Emperor City in the first place and concealing their identity as the Sword Emperor's daughter seemed no longer important. At this moment, she just wanted to hug her sister, rub each other's soft breasts, 
and recall the past days. Sister! Bai Chiu stood up, opened his arms, and stepped forward to greet her. Qin Feng and others were a little moved when they saw this scene. What a touching reunion of the sisters. But the next scene left them stunned. The beauty in the black dress dodged by Chiu's body, and then naturally took the latter's position. Thank you, Chiu. It's really most comfortable to eat sitting down. What is this steaming red soup? It's so fragrant. Bai Wishwang picked up a piece of meat from the hot pot and put it in his mouth. Because the meat slices were too hot, she made a humming sound in her mouth. The delicious food she had never tasted made her face look happy. Sister! Bai Chiu Jiao shouted, looking at Reeved. Five years have passed, and the other party has not changed at all. He still grabs her food as soon as he comes. Bai Wushuang moved his chopsticks very quickly, and the ingredients in the hot pot would soon reach the bottom. Seeing this scene, Bai Chiu could no longer care about the joy and touch of reunion. She knew her sister's appetite. If she slowed down, she wouldn't even be able to drink a mouthful of hot soup. Sister, don't grab it. That piece of rabbit meat is mine. Just like that, because of Bai Wushuang's participation, the originally harmonious dining table became like a battlefield. Qin Feng and others looked at each other with surprised expressions. It seems that they didn't invite this girl to have dinner with them. Right? After the wind and clouds settled, Bai Wushuang leaned on the wooden chair contentedly and stretched out. The exquisite curves can be seen at a glance at this moment. Qin Feng glanced at it and gave this evaluation in his heart. The scale is about the same as the lady, but it is still much worse than Ning Shuang. As a gentleman, he naturally wouldn't look at it too much and quickly withdrew his gaze. Of course, the main reason is that the lady and Ning Shuang are sitting nearby. And Shen Wu Wufu has very keen observation skills. Bai Wu Shuang looked at the quiet figure in white clothes on the other side and said bluntly, Father did not lie to me. The damage to your meridians has been completely repaired. And your strength has also improved to a higher level. I didn't want to participate in this sword-asking battle. The reason why I came is because of you. The topic suddenly became serious. Qin Feng frowned slightly. But Lu Jianli did not respond and waited quietly for the next step. Some time ago, I just learned the ultimate secret of wheel swordsmanship from my father. The three gods. And I have always wanted to find someone to try it. I don't know you. So is it inconvenient? The two beauties looked at each other. Their energy like the wind blowing away the dust on the ground. Qin Feng's face was a bit ugly. How could anyone come over and immediately start taking action after finishing their meal? Falling out faster than flipping through a book? Chapter 264 The Wine is Bad The Wheel Turning Swordsmanship The Three Gods are One Qin Feng recited it silently in his mind, feeling slightly uneasy. The man in Sword Emperor City was called Sword Emperor by the world because of his superb swordsmanship. The golden light flashed in his eyes and he looked at the beauty in black dress. The golden energy in her body was strong and continuous. Although it was not as good as his wife, it was still very amazing. The fourth level of the peak of Shinwu. Qin Feng gave this conclusion. Just when the atmosphere became tense, Bai Chiu called out complainingly, Sister, the battle of Wenjian will begin in three days. Why are you in such a hurry? Bai Wu Shuang immediately calmed down, scratched his head and smiled back. I've just been full and want to move around. Come on. Let your sister rub it, and see if your face is smoother and rounder than before. No. Bai Chiu dodged the clutches. Bai Wu Shuang shook his head regretfully, took a teacup on the table, and said to Lu Jianli, I feel you have changed. When Wan Jian Sek came to Sword Emperor City to ask for swords, I lost by one sword. Gave it to you. At that time, you only saw cultivation and swordsmanship. But looking at it now, there are many other things. Is it because of this man? Who is he to you? Bai Wu Shuang pointed at Qin Feng and asked. He is my husband. Lu Jianli replied with a soft tone. I see. I really envy you. He's so good at cooking. You must eat well every day. Right. Bai Wu Shuang's words were completely inspired and sincere. Not bad. Lu Jianli answered affirmatively. She still remembers the noodles cooked by Qin Feng. Bai Wu Shuang raised the tea cup and took a sip of tea. She was about to say something more but her beautiful eyes suddenly widened and a blush climbed onto her cheeks. This tea tastes a bit strange. Qin Feng took a look and then said, Oh, that's not tea, but wine. There were not enough wine glasses. So I used teacups to pour wine. Wine. Bai Chiu looked shocked. Qin Feng looked at his expression and realized something was wrong. So he asked curiously, What's wrong? Sister, you can't drink. Otherwise the consequences will be serious. Bai Chiu seemed to have thought of something terrible, 
and her body trembled unconsciously. Isn't it just a drink? What serious consequences can there be? Also, your fear is a bit exaggerated. Qin Feng raised his eyebrows and thought. At this moment, Bai Wushuang stood up from the chair, his head lowered, and his black hair hanging down. Are you okay? Shall I make you a bowl of hangover soup? Qin Feng asked worriedly. Don't go there. Lu Jinli stretched out his hand to stop Qin Feng, frowning slightly. The terrifying chi swept out of Bai Wushuang's body, and the strong wind was like a knife, scratching the ground and even cutting off the green grass. Lu Jinli immediately used the method of outwardly exerting his energy and erected a barrier in front of everyone, blocking all the violent energy. What happened to your sister? Qin Feng asked uneasily. Bai Chiu responded in a trembling voice. My sister's wine quality is very poor. When she was young, she once drank the wine in her father's glass by mistake for sugar water. As a result, one third of the Lord's Mansion of Sword Emperor City was almost destroyed by her sister. If Dad hadn't come back in time, I'm afraid someone else would have died. Aw? Huh? Everyone looked surprised. What's wrong with her now? Why isn't she moving? Qin Feng hid his body behind his wife without leaving any trace. Staring at the figure in black skirt, whose face was covered by blue silk stockings. If a fourth grade martial artist goes crazy with alcohol, his life may be killed in an instant. Have to treat it with caution. Haydn Tu and Lan Ningxuang also tensed their muscles and were on full alert. Bai Wushuang burped. Her delicate body trembled. She raised her head. Her cheeks were flushed. And her eyes were a little blurry. Dangerous eyes looked at everyone. And then locked on Lu Jianli. A deep voice sounded from his red lips. Binging! On the other side, everyone in Sword Emperor City was having a meal. And one person asked, Uncle Wu, where is the eldest lady? Uncle Wu took a sip of wine and said, when I went there, I saw the second lady. I couldn't bear to disturb their reunion. So I came back by myself. Uncle Wu, if you don't look at the eldest lady, aren't you afraid that something will happen? Someone asked worriedly. This is Wan Jin sect. And the second young lady and the eldest young lady are together. What could happen? That's right. Everyone felt relieved. As soon as he finished speaking, the sound of swords was heard. Everyone looked for the sound and saw the sword box on Uncle Wu's right hand trembling. Shocking cold air spurted out, causing a layer of frost to form on the surface of the wine. This is... The eldest lady is activating the eye shadow sword? Uncle Wu was stunned. Click! The sword box was opened, and a long sword that looked like ice was revealed, and then turned into a blue light, and swept out of the lobby. Not good! Uncle Wu stood up in a hurry. The eye shadow sword crossed the sky and fell into Bai Wu's hands. Old man Bailey raised his eyebrows and said, The Eye Shadow Sword ranks fifth on the Dakian Divine Sword list. The sword body is made of unmelted ice. It is so cold that it can turn into ice by dripping water. When I saw it today, it certainly lived up to its reputation. Master, is now the time to say these words? Qin Feng's expression froze. The moment Bai Wushuang got the ice sword, the cold air swept around like a tide. But in the blink of an eye, at a glance, the surface of the mountain peak was covered with a layer of frost. Then the opponent raised his right hand and slashed down with the ice shadow sword. The cold air seemed to divide the space. Lu Jinli stepped out and faced the ice sword energy in just a moment. She turned her fingers into swords and pointed them at the sword energy. That astonishingly powerful sword energy actually shattered on the spot. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief when he saw this. But the drunken by Wu Shuang's offensive was obviously not over. After her body swayed left and right, she disappeared out of thin air. Lu Jianli tiptoed and flew high into the sky, followed by the sound of breaking wind. The beautiful figure in white danced in the air with her fingers like swords. Due to the speed, Qin Feng and others could only see some blurry afterimages. Terrible pressure. One after another. Boom! With an explosion. The entire mountain trembled. A figure in black staggered back and stood still in the air. It was by Wu Shuang. At this moment, her face was flushed almost sickly, and her chest was rising and falling. She held the eye shadow sword in front of her chest, the sword exuding a faint golden light, like twinkling stars. She seemed to be preparing some kind of powerful sword move. The sword at Lan Ningxuang's waist began to tremble uncontrollably, as if it was about to fly out of the scabbard. But luckily she held it down in time. What kind of sword move is this? A Tantu asked in shock. Bai Chou had obviously thought of something, and his face was extremely ugly. It seems to be dad's wheel turning swordsmanship. The old man Bailey stroked his beard and said quietly. 
It's been a long time since I last saw the three gods with one sword, and one sword that broke the stars. I wonder how much power this girl can exert with this sword. Damn, old man. No one will think you are mute if you don't speak. Qin Feng spat in his heart, and looked in the direction of his wife hurriedly. Chapter 265 Breaking the Situation With Lu Jianli's strength, he can naturally sense the power of the opponent's sword. It will undoubtedly be difficult to deal with it with a finger sword. The wrist of his right hand rotates slightly and the lines on the surface of the sword box leaning against the table flow. She originally wanted to attract the cold water sword in the sword box. But unexpectedly, a bolt of lightning shot out first. It is the sword of the sword ancestor, the purple lightning god June. In the sword box, the cold water sword trembled slightly and made a gurgling sound like running water. As if it was complaining, the two stood high in the sky, looking at each other. It's clear that he hasn't made a move yet. But when a master strikes, his intention is already moving before the sword is drawn out. The chi machines of the two sides collided, and the pressure set off a strong wind, which caused the hair of the people below to fly, and their clothes to snap. There was too much movement here, and many people in Wan Jian sect looked over with confused expressions. Where Bing Wu left home to rest, everyone carrying the sword box felt the strong pressure, and they all looked solemn. In the ancient pavilion of the sect master's hall, a handsome middle-aged man in white put down his wine glass and stood up. I didn't even look at it for a moment before I dug out such a big basket. Wait a moment. Everyone. I'll be back as soon as I can. The middle-aged man clasped his fists. And his body disappeared instantly. At the table, Yu Hushuan and another middle-aged man carrying a sword box raised their glasses to each other. Master, if the commotion continues like this, won't the commotion get too loud? Why don't you stop it? Qin Feng asked worriedly. Old man Bailey glanced at him and said, with my old arms and legs. How can I stop this kind of fighting? You don't have to look at me like this. There will always be someone to clean up the situation. Before he finished speaking, Father Qin looked in the direction of Xing Yue Peak. A streak of white clothes was like a shooting star, and instantly appeared behind Bai Wushuang, who was drunk and crazy. Bai Wushuang sensed something strange behind him. He clenched the eye's shadow sword tightly in his hand and swung it backwards, but was easily blocked by a finger. Qin Feng was shocked when he saw this scene. Who is this person? He actually has such great strength. Until Bai Chiu's excited and surprised voice came to his ears. Dad! Sword Emperor Bai Yan? Qin Feng and others exclaimed in shock. The middle-aged man in white looked at his blushing daughter and sighed. She drank again. You really don't let me worry. While speaking, his fingers traced an afterimage and touched the back of Bai Wushuang's neck. The pupils in the other party's beautiful eyes widened. And then he closed his eyes lowered his head, and passed out. Bai Yin held by Wushuang, looked at Lu Jinli not far away, and smiled apologetically. Then he flew to the ground again, and came to Bai Chiu. When the latter saw this, his eyes were red, and he choked with sobs. Dad. Bai Yin touched Bai Chiu's head and said softly, Do you resent me after seeing you for such a long time? Bai Chiu shook his head when he heard this. This is her own choice. And her father once told her and her sister that everyone needs to be responsible for their own choices. So although she had some complaints in her heart, there was no resentment. Bai Yin showed a look of relief. In fact, every spring, summer, autumn and winter, he would secretly come to Wan Jin sect to stay for a while, silently paying attention to Bai Chiu's growth. Moreover, the world is so big. How could the leader of Wan Jin sect meet Bai Chiu, who had run away from home? It was just that he was looking for Yu Hishuan. Turning his head and looking to one side, Bai Yin asked, Are you Qin Feng? Lu Jianli's husband, the one who cured the damage to her meridians? Qin Feng clasped his fists and said respectfully, Junior Qin Feng, I have met Senior Bai. Yes, it is true that a hero comes from a young age. Bai Yin smiled, then looked at the old man in gray and Father Qin behind him, and nodded slightly. Long time no see. Dad moved away without leaving a trace. Long time no see? Qin Feng turned around curiously, looked for Bai Yin only to see the old man, and sighed in his heart. Master's identity is really mysterious, and he actually has friendship with the Sword Emperor. But he didn't notice that Sword Emperor Bai Yen glanced at Father Qin with a strange look in his eyes. The old man raised his eyebrows and said, I came to Wan Jin sect for business. Why are you wasting your time here? It makes sense. Bai Yen nodded and handed Bai Wushuang into Bai Chiu's arms. Your sister will be taken care of by you. Okay. Dad. As soon as he finished speaking, Bai Yin stepped into the void and flew toward Xingyue Peak. 
He was really free and easy. Qin Feng looked at the departing figure, glanced at his father again, and sighed helplessly. Without comparison, there is no harm. One is the sword emperor that everyone respects, and the other is a scammer who spreads money around. Sure enough, no matter what era we are in, we will inevitably have to fight for our father. Qin Jian frowned and shouted, You brat! Why are you sighing? Also, why do you look at me like this? He always feels that the other person is thinking of something rude. It's nothing. Dad, you are too sensitive. Qin Feng turned his head, not daring to look directly at the other person. At this moment, Bai Chiu bowed and apologized. I'm sorry. Everyone was puzzled. What's wrong with you? Bai Chiu hugged Bai Wushuang, her figure a little twitchy. Everyone should have noticed that I am actually the Sword Emperor's daughter. I have been hiding this from everyone for so long. I am really sorry. Everyone suddenly realized. Lan Ningxuang comforted. Chiu, it's okay. Everyone already knows your identity. Ah? Uh? Bai Chiu looked blank. Uh-huh. Bai Yin returned to the ancient pavilion and apologized. Sorry for keeping you two waiting for so long. The middle-aged man wearing purple clothes and carrying a sword case put down his wine glass and said, The wheel-turning swordsmanship. One of the three gods. Can arouse such great power before the sword is even drawn. It really amazes me. It seems that your title of sword emperor has a successor. She's still far away. Bai Yin chuckled and shook his head. Yu Hishuan looked at the middle-aged man in purple and asked, Speaking of which, where is your precious son? Could it be that he is still training with Master Siming from the southern region? Li Luo is already on his way here. It must only take two days to come to Wan Jin sect. The middle-aged man in purple replied calmly. He is Li Luo's father, the current head of the Bin Wu Li family. Li Xiaoju. That's it. Yu Hishuan nodded clearly, picked up the wine glass and took a sip. The three fell into silence for a while, until Li Xiaoju spoke again. Why don't you say anything? It's rare for the three of us to get together in one place. Moreover, the fact that the three Kendo Masters can be brought together this time is probably the result of the two of you behind the scenes. Let me guess your purpose. Maybe it is about recruiting people from all over the world and teaching martial arts to the three great Kendo Masters? Yu Hushuan and Bai Yan looked at each other, but there was no surprise in their eyes that their thoughts had been guessed. Bai Yan specially sent his beloved daughter to the Wanjian sect to study, and Yu Hushuan happily accepted it. Naturally, there were many sects there. They just want to break the current situation in which major sects and martial arts families cherish their own secrets. Chapter 266 Am I that kind of person? The world is in chaos with monsters and ghosts walking at night. And fear has already penetrated people's hearts. In this situation, Daekian Shinwu is in charge. But even so, there are still too few high-quality martial artists. In the final analysis, it is because most low-level martial artists do not know how to quickly improve their cultivation and understand the true meaning of weapons. If major sects and martial arts families are willing to share their practice methods, this situation may be improved. However, the idea of being self-conscious has long been ingrained in their hearts. How easy is it to change? Only if some sect families stand up and set an example can this deadlock be broken. So let me ask, how many sects and martial arts families in the world can set an example as good as the three Kindo families. Yu Hishuan did not hide anything and directly stated his thoughts, which was not far from Li Xiaoju's guess. Bai Yan on the side didn't say anything, but his answer had already been given when he sent Bai Chiu to the Wan Jian sect to learn swordsmanship. The Wan Jian sect is good at helping its disciples improve their cultivation and can help them understand the meaning of the sword. Sword Emperor City focuses on sword skills, and their sword skills are superb. It is true that the things of your two families can be taught to the world but the secrets of my Bin Wuli family are all in the sword box. And this sword box is the secret of my family that is not passed down. Li Xiaoju spoke calmly, although he did not refuse outright. His meaning was very obvious. At this time, Yu Hushuan added, Brother Xiaoju, although your Bin Wuli family's secret is in the sword box, you are also quite good at raising swords and controlling swords. If only we could combine the two. Zongju Yu, there is no need to say any more. Li Xiaoju interrupted the other party's words directly. He stood up and said bluntly, I respect you too for having such thoughts that have the world in mind. But I carry the teachings of my ancestors. And important matters such as spreading martial arts to other people are not the final say for me alone. Sorry. You too. I have something else to do. So I'll go ahead. After saying that, he drank all the wine in the glass, clasped his fists and left. In the ancient pavilion, only Yu Hishuan and Bai Yan were left. They looked at each other 
and shook their heads helplessly. You can't blame Brother Shouju for this. Bin Wu has been passed down from the family for a long time. And the old guys in his family are very stubborn and traditional. Unlike you and me, we can act much bolder. Bai Yin said. Yu Hushuan sighed. How could I not know his difficulties? But if I want to make changes and set an example for the world, one of the three kingdom masters is indispensable. There are still three days before the battle of Wenjian begins. Maybe there will be some opportunity to change Brother Shouju's mind during this period. Let's wait and see. Bai Yin picked up the wine glass. That's all it can do. Yu Hushuan clinked his wine glasses with him. By the way, this sword asking battle has caused quite a stir. But is the news spread behind your back? Bai Yin suddenly asked. Yu Hushuan nodded. Yes, I thought that if Brother Shouju could agree, I could directly announce the fact that the three Kindo masters teach martial arts to others. So that more people would know. No other reason? Yu Hushuan looked as usual. Other than that, what other reasons could there be? Bai Yin smiled half-heartedly. I thought you wanted to let the world see Lu Jianli's unruly style of overpowering sword emperor city and Bin Wu Li Jia alone. So as to show off the prestige of Wan Jin sect. It seems that I am judging the heart of a gentleman with the heart of a villain. Yu Hushuan laughed dryly and said, Ha ha ha. This misunderstanding is a bit big. Do you think I am that kind of person? You are? Bai Yin finished the glass of wine and replied firmly. Yu Hushuan smile froze. This guy was really good at reading people as always. Jin Feng felt very uncomfortable at the moment. He originally thought that when he was in Jinong City, when he looked at the sky with his spiritual consciousness, he couldn't see the destiny star above the blue. It was because of the problem of the right time and place. He could just change the place and things would turn around. However, even in the 10,000 sword sect, looking at the stars in the sky, white light is still shining. Not even a blue life star. What is the problem? Could it be that I was not born with such luck? Maybe we really need to do as the master said. Get in touch with some dignitaries and inhale the European atmosphere in them? Gene Phone began to doubt himself. Then he used his spiritual consciousness to observe the starry sky for a long time. And after confirming that the destiny star he saw had not changed in any way, he closed the window and lay down on the bed. The long night is long. Alone in an empty room. After enjoying the tenderness last night, Gene Phone was tossing and turning. He missed his wife's soft and fragrant body. However, he knew that Lu Jinli had just entered the third level and needed time to adapt and consolidate his cultivation. He could not always be immersed in the love between his children. Qin Feng raised the corner of his mouth as he recalled the process of meeting Lu Jinli and finally knowing the truth in his mind. He began to dream about the future, when he had a child, and the family would be happy and happy. He even started to think about what to name a boy and what to name a girl. In his wild thoughts, Qin Feng finally fell into a deep sleep. He had a strange dream. He dreamed of a film and television drama he had watched in his previous life. The heroine in it said to the hero calmly, What you left in my body? I have used my internal force to force it out of my body. The next morning, Qin Feng opened his eyes and spat when he thought of yesterday's dream. Weird screenwriter. Harmful to people. It is impossible for my wife to do such a crazy thing. When I came to the lobby, I immediately saw the beautiful figure in white. Qin Feng sat next to her his eyes always looking at her abdomen unconsciously. What's wrong? Lu Jinli noticed something strange and asked softly, tilting his head. It's nothing. Qin Feng coughed dryly and looked away. Several people were enjoying their breakfast. Haiden too took a sip of porridge and suddenly said, When I got up this morning for morning exercises, I happened to meet people from Sword Emperor City and Bin Wu Li Jia competing there. Xing Sheng talked about the sword skills of Sword Emperor City and also mentioned Bin Wu Li Jia's sword box and the sword control skills, and he praised them with his tongue. The old man raised his eyebrows and said, We can be called the three great masters of swordsmanship, so naturally each has its own strengths. Wan Jin Zong is proficient in the method of cultivation, and the sword skills of Sword Emperor City are superb. Bin Wu Li's family is all in the sword box, and he is good at cultivating sword intention and sword control skills. After hearing this, Qin Feng seemed to have thought of something and chuckled. One is good at cultivation. One is proficient in sword skills. And the other knows how to raise and control swords. If these three families join forces to teach martial arts to the people of the world, there will definitely be many more high-quality martial artists in the Khan. Maybe it can also change this world where demons and ghosts are rampant. However, the idea is beautiful. But it is unrealistic. 
Qin Feng himself also understood that his words could only be words. If the situation in which major sects and martial arts families cherish their broomsticks could be broken so easily, the human race would not be able to be so passive. Chapter 267 It's You? When Lan Ning Shuang and Haiden Tu heard this, they both sighed. My uncle's idea is good, but it's a pity that it is too difficult to realize. Yes. Qin Feng took a deep breath. At this time, the old man said four words. It depends on human effort. Qin Feng was immediately stunned. This chief master never made mistakes. And suddenly said this. Is it really possible? He thought of the serious matter that the master and the senior sword emperor had discussed last night. He thought about the fact that the sword emperor sent his daughter by Qiu to the Wanjian sect to learn swordsmanship. A bold idea suddenly took shape in my mind. Could it be that Wanjian sect and sword emperor city have long had the idea of spreading their martial arts to other people? And what was the opportunity for Bai Chiu to come to Wanjian sect to learn swordsmanship? Although his wife had told him before that the master of Wanjian sect accepted Bai Chiu as his successor in order to win the title of sword emperor, Qin Feng always found this statement unconvincing. The figure standing in front of the stone tablet of Wanjian sect still appeared in his mind and could not be dissipated. The original intention of establishing the Wanjian sect and the countless names engraved on the stone tablets also made him unable to let go for a long time. He hoped from the bottom of his heart that the three Kendo families could be integrated into one place and teach martial arts to others. If it can really be realized, other sects and martial arts families cannot remain indifferent. Perhaps one day, most people will be able to reach the high level of divine martial arts. And by then, the human race will no longer have to live in panic under the threat of demons and ghosts. Uncle! Uncle! Lan Ningxuan called. Ah? Oh? What's wrong? Qin Feng came back to his senses. Why are you in a daze? If you don't drink this porridge, it will get cold. Oh, oh. Qin Feng picked up the porridge and took a sip. What the old man said? It all depends on human effort. Became clearer and clearer in his mind. It's a pity that his abilities are limited. Even if he wants to promote such a situation, he is powerless. In the town outside the Misty Peaks, two figures walked through the crowd towards the direction of Wanjian sect. There were obviously people coming and going on the street. But the strange thing was that no one could touch these two people. It was as if there was an invisible barrier surrounding these two people, separating the others, listening to the noisy voices in his ears. Li Luo asked curiously, Who spread the news about the Battle of Wanjian? Why do so many people already know about it? Yin Zhou thought of the somewhat unreliable leader of the Wanjian sect, and did not answer the question. He just glanced at the young man, his eyes full of sympathy. Master, why are you looking at me like this? Li Luo felt the strange gaze and asked in confusion. In this sword asking battle, just try your best. Yin Zhou answered the question. Hearing this, Li Luo crossed his arms across his chest and said confidently, Not only will I attack with all my strength, I also want to let the world know that Bin Wu Li Jia is the number one family among the three Kindo families. Yin Zhou was non-committal and changed the subject. It is said that this time, Lu Jinli's husband also came to Wan Jin's sect. Mr. Lu Jinli? Li Luo asked in shock. Yes, and Lu Jinli's meridian damage was also cured by her husband. As soon as these words came out, Li Luo looked even more shocked. Then I want to see what her husband looks like. Yin Zhou raised his eyebrows slightly, and his memory returned to the restaurant in Qi Yuan Cheng. The figure in black singing an interesting ballad was still vivid in his mind. With his status and ability, he naturally knew the information about Qin Feng a long time ago. Otherwise, the appointment letter would not fall into the hands of the other party. I'm still the same arrogant young man as before. Without any change. Time is just a test. And the faith planted in my heart has not diminished at all. Qin Feng hummed while singing. And on the other side, a stream of water drew a beautiful arc in the sky. He shook himself, tied his belt, and walked back to the hall. Along the way, I saw the frost on the roadside stones that had not completely melted away. And I remembered the figure in black dress holding a divine sword in the sky last night. Bai Wu Shuang's ability and his wife are known as one sword and two swords. Which is indeed extraordinary. If the senior sword emperor hadn't arrived in time, he wouldn't have known how amazingly powerful the sword of the three heavenly gods would have been when unleashed. He originally thought that his wife was sure of victory in this sword asking battle. But things didn't seem to be as simple as he thought. Under the great reputation. Bai Wushuang is indeed very strong. I believe that the proud man who left home in military service will not be any worse in strength. Although the lady could poke him away with one finger at the beginning. She doesn't know how much stronger the opponent has become after so long. I hope this time. 
the lady can poke it away within three fingers. Chin Fong sighed. When he returned, Haydn too was practicing the soldier controlling technique outside the house. A strange voice came from the hall. Obviously a stranger had arrived. Chin Fong asked curiously, Who is coming? Xing Sheng put down the halberd in his hand and replied, It's a young man wearing white clothes. Seeing that he is carrying a large sword box. He should be a man who left home in military service. Ben Wu Lijia? Why did he come to our place for nothing? It seems that he is here to find a young lady. I don't know the details. Haydn shook his head. Qin Feng understood and walked towards the hall. Near the door, he suddenly heard the words, Ghost Weapon Sword Box. In the conversation between several people, Ben Wu Lijia's ghost weapon sword box that has been lost for hundreds of years? Is the young man who came here the genius from Ben Wu Lijia? Qin Feng quickened his pace, eager to take a look at the other party's appearance. As soon as I stepped into the room, I immediately saw the unfamiliar but slightly familiar figure sitting at the table, dressed in white clothes, with a black hair band on his head, and carrying a large sword box. The surface is engraved with exquisite sword patterns. If you look closely, there are seven of them. I always feel like I've seen this sword box somewhere before. Chin Fong raised his eyebrows slightly and began to recall it carefully in his mind. Uncle. Lan Ningxuan greeted. Huh? The young man in white who was talking turned around and looked. And then his eyes widened. It's you? Li Luo naturally remembered this man. When he was at Qi Yuan Chung restaurant, this man was humming arrogant lyrics and even called him little brother. Qin Feng also recognized Li Luo and said in shock, You are the genius of Bin Wu Li Jia who cried when his wife poked her nose with her finger? Ah! Whoops! I accidentally said what was in my heart. Qin Feng's face froze. And he looked at the other party carefully. The young man clenched his fists tightly, and veins were pulsing in his forehead. The others also cast surprised glances. Sorry. I was quick to speak. Chin Fong apologized. The young man didn't respond. He took a few breaths repeatedly, opened his right hand and grasped it. As a burst of energy swept across, and with a heavy sound, the large sword box fell to the ground with a bang, and cracks spread like a spider web. The seven sword patterns on the surface of the sword box lit up in sequence. Qin Feng realized something was wrong, swallowed his saliva and asked, What are you going to do? The young man said word by word, I must teach you a lesson today. Chapter 268 Poor Young Man As the sword pattern shines, a slit opens from the top of the sword box. The sword energy was like a wave, and several clear sword sounds sounded. Looking at this, Li Luo really wanted to take action. However, at this moment, a delicate hand pressed on the sword box. Like water vapor, blue light lit up and enveloped the ghost weapon sword box. And all the movement stopped. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief when he saw this. Children are children. And they become anxious after just saying a few words. Without any fuss, Li Luo's eyes widened, looking at the barrier-like light blue light in disbelief, and said in a trembling voice, Jia Jia Realm, have you stepped into the third level? Lu Jianli nodded slightly. I just stepped in not long ago. The young man opened his mouth and then sat back on the chair as if all his strength had been drained away. He suddenly thought of the strange look on his master's face and what he had said to him. It turns out that the master had known for a long time that Lu Jianli had already entered the third level realm and achieved the realm of sword god. Fortunately, on the way here, he also threatened to prove to the world that Bin Wu Li Jia was the first family to use swords. Now that I recall the confidence I had at that time, the boy's face turned red and white, and his embarrassed toes seemed to be digging into his shoes. Qin Feng didn't pay attention to the young man's expression. Instead, he turned his head and asked, Realm, what is that? Lu Jianli spoke softly. The third level of Shenwu is also called Qi Xian. It can release its own Qi and open up another space. And this space is called the Realm. What did Qin Feng think of? Back in Jinong City, the space where Senior Dao Kuang spread out, and the black world that appeared out of thin air some time ago. Are they all realms? Lu Jianli nodded, and then told some things about the third grade martial arts realm. The realm is a world of its own. If an enemy is trapped in the realm, Yin Qi, Wen Qi, and Jin Qi will all be suppressed, and those who expand the realm can exert unimaginable combat power. Qin Feng took a breath and said, One is ebbing, and the other is ebbing. In other words, among those beings above the third level, Whoever expands the realm first will gain a huge advantage. Hei Tantu and Lan Ningxuan on the side were also listening attentively. The realm above the third level was something they dreamed of. 
but they felt it was very mysterious. Lu Jinli shook his head. The higher the grade, the greater the difference in strength between the same grade. As for the third grade Chi Zan Wufu, the strength of the realms that he can expand is naturally very different. A powerful realm can easily disperse a weak realm. Master once told me that a powerful Qi Xian martial artist can even control his body at will within the realm and reach a godlike state. After hearing this, Qin Feng's eyes widened. The records in the book all said that divine warriors had no supernatural powers. But what about this third grade Qi Xian? Wouldn't it be too awesome to expand the realm and form a world of its own? Especially the sentence about the godlike level of control over the body made him envious. Then how well do you understand this realm now? Qin Feng asked with concern. Lu Jinli did not answer, but opened his right hand. Within a moment, a blue spherical barrier appeared in front of everyone. Judging from its appearance, it can be turned on at will. Seeing this scene, Li Luo looked confused. As the young master of the Bin Wuli family, he naturally knew the things about high-quality martial arts men. Generally speaking, after entering the third level of Qi Xian, it takes a long process to control the realm. But looking at Lu Jinli in front of him, he suddenly felt that this statement was ridiculous. He felt the deep malice that something called talent brought to him. When he thought that two days later, he would have to represent Bin Wu Lijia in a sword fighting battle with Lu Jinli. He felt very frightened. Could it be that the scene where when Jin Wan Jin sect was knocked down from the sword platform by the opponent's finger will appear again? No. No. I have to take advantage of these two days to let the master train me. Thinking of this, Li Luo hurriedly stood up. Huh? Where are you going? It's lunchtime soon. If you don't mind, we can come together. Jean Feng said kindly. I still have something to do. So I'll go ahead and see you at the Battle of Wenjian in two days. Even though he knew that Lu Jinli had entered the realm of the sword god, Li Luo was not timid, and his youthful and energetic characteristics were undoubtedly revealed in him. Seeing that the other party was about to leave, Jean Feng asked aloud, I don't know what your name is yet. Li Luo paused and said proudly, Ask your wife. She should know. Although Lu Jinli was not an enemy of Lu Jinli back then, the young man always regarded Lu Jinli as his biggest opponent. And he probably thought so too. Then, it is natural to remember his name. I don't know. Lu Jinli shook his head and opened his red lips slightly. When the young man heard this, he turned around with a blank expression. After confirming that Lu Jinli did not remember his name, the young man bit his lip. A look of grievance clearly flashed in his eyes and then ran away without looking back. Looking at the young man's lonely and trembling back, Jean Feng sympathized with him. Just like those shouting comics in the previous life, every young protagonist will encounter a strong enemy, then identify him as his opponent and pursue him throughout his life. Until you gain the other party's approval, or even surpass the other party, I guess the girl from my family is the target that the handsome young man is chasing. It's a pity that the lady is so ignorant of the ways of the world that she doesn't even bother to remember other people's names. At this time, Lan Ningxuan on the side said, Miss, how could you not remember that the young man's name is Li Luo? Back then, when he came to the Wan Jin sect to inquire about swordsmanship, he fought against all the disciples of the Wan Jin sect alone. And no one was his opponent. Li Luo. Lu Jian put his jade fingers in front of his red lips, as if he was still reminiscing but it was obvious that he didn't remember that. Lady. Huh? Lu Jinli looked up in confusion. Next time you meet him, remember to call his name. Okay. But why? Because he was too pitiful. Qin Feng kept this in his heart and did not say it out loud. Glancing at the lobby, Master Cheap and his father were nowhere to be seen. Qin Feng asked curiously, Where are my master and my father? Lan Ningxuan replied, The two of them left before Li Luo came, and I don't know where they went. A towering sword peak is shrouded in clouds and mist. On a boulder near the cliff, Yin Zhou was holding a wine pot and overlooking the sea of clouds. At this time, a figure appeared silently beside him. It was the ghost head wearing a faceless mask. You're already here. Why don't you sit down and drink some? Yin Zhou took a sip of wine and said. Guisho didn't respond and still stood upright. We haven't sat together and reminisced about old times for many years. Ever since you left Fontian City, Every time you meet Master, he has missed you very much. Also, there are no outsiders here. Who do you want to show to you when you keep wearing that shabby mask? Yin Zhou said with raised eyebrows. The ghost leader sighed and took off his mask, revealing Qin Jianon's face. Chapter 269 Opportunity When you disappeared in the Northern Territory, everyone thought you died together with the evil spirit of the God of Eater. 
but no one knew that you were because of a woman. Yan Zhou paused and said, Master, he feels very guilty about what happened back then. Qin Jianan shook his head. It has nothing to do with him. After so many years, I have figured it out. At first, I only blamed myself for not being with her. The woman they mentioned was naturally Qin Feng's mother. Eighteen years ago, demons and ghosts rioted in the four regions of Dakian, and the Garuda tribe showed its fangs. For a time, the army was in chaos. Bones were exposed in the wild, and there was no rooster crowing for thousands of miles. At that time, Qin Feng had just been born, and his mother was in need of care. However, a monstrous ferocious beast appeared in the northern territory and devoured all living creatures within a hundred miles in one night. Qin Jianan, as the commander of the northern territory, naturally cannot sit idly by and take orders in the face of danger. A great war turned the world upside down, turning hundreds of miles of land into ruins, with no sign of life. Although he won, it was a miserable victory. How powerful were the demons and ghosts who participated in the night of divine food? And the one that invaded the northern territory is the best among them. He survived by luck, gained a deeper understanding from the battle, and gained further strength. However, when he returned to Fontian City, he was struck by a thunderbolt from the blue, which shocked him to the core. Qin Feng's mother is dead. It's just that demons and ghosts appeared all over the four regions at the same time. But there was actually a demon as powerful as the ancient gods and demons that invaded Fontian City. Although the demon ghost was defeated by the god suppressing Siyu, half of its body was broken and fled Fontian City. Qin Feng's mother slept forever in a temple. She originally wanted to pray for Qin Jianan and hoped that the latter would return safely. But things are unpredictable. Qin Jianan came back alive. But she left. It was also from that moment on that Father Qin gave up his identity as the commander of the Northern Territory and only wanted to protect his family. That demon ghost appeared in the Southern Territory after being repelled by the Master. Yin Zhou said calmly. I know. Qin Jianan replied. He would leave Jinan City from time to time. Apparently to go out on business. But secretly, he was also tracking the whereabouts of that monster who was as powerful as a god and demon. But after so many years of searching, I found nothing. Fortunately, this time because I was worried about my daughter-in-law, I came to Wanjin's sect and found some clues. It's been a long time since the two of them chatted together like this. They recall the days when they learned martial arts together under their master. Reminiscing about the years when the dragons in the south and the ghosts in the north guarded the northern and southern regions. But they all also understand that those days are gone forever. Some things can only be cherished more when they are lost. You won't blame me if I let your son join the Demon Slayer Division. Right. Yin Zhou suddenly said. This is his own choice. Qin Jianan replied calmly. Then again, when will you tell them your true identity? You can't hide it forever. When Qin Jianan heard this, he showed a slightly confused look. He took the wine bottle from Yin Zhou's hand drank it up, and then wiped the wine stains from the corners of his mouth. If your identity is exposed, unnecessary trouble will inevitably follow. Now that Fomer and Inner don't have enough ability to protect themselves, he, as a father, is naturally worried. There will be a day, but not now. Li Xiaoju didn't agree. Yu Hushuan sighed to the old man Bailey in the ancient pavilion. As expected, these inherited families are very old-fashioned and stubborn. It is not easy to make them change. The old man said casually. What should we do? Only we, Wan Jin sect and sword emperor city, claim to teach martial arts to others? This matter has been planned for many years. Now that the Huarong Road in the southern territory has been established and demons and ghosts are riding everywhere, it is the best time to implement it. Yu Hushuan naturally does not want to miss it. Every time he saw the deceased classmates on the stone tablet, he would feel sad. If there were more high-quality warriors in the world, unnecessary sacrifices would inevitably be reduced. This is what he expected to see. If you want to change the minds of the world, one of the three great kendo masters is indispensable. Old man Bailey shook his head. But Li Xiaoju is a stickler. When I went to see him this morning, he even sent the elder of the Li family to send me away and refused to meet with me. It was obvious that he had become determined after eating the weight. Yu Hushuan frowned. The old man shook the wine glass in his hand. Since ancient times, then Wu has paid more attention to raising swords and sword boxes and handling swords than improving his cultivation. Although this makes their sword-wielding skills unparalleled in the world, their lack of strength often causes their disciples to be seriously injured by the sword energy when practicing sword-wielding. Yu Hushuan didn't understand what it meant. 
If you gain something, you must give something up. The shortcomings of Bin Wu Lijiao martial arts are not a secret. Why do you suddenly say this? The old man smiled and said, If I remember correctly, the elder who came with Xiaozhu from Lijia, this time was injured by sword energy when he was young. The meridians of three fingers on the right hand are completely broken. And there is no chance to enter the third level realm in this life. You think, if someone helped him heal his meridian injury, and then used this as an opportunity to talk to Li Xiaozhu again, would the chance be greater? When Yu Hushuan heard this, a golden light appeared in his eyes. The eldest elder of Li Jia is very senior in the family. He is Li Xiaozhu's uncle. And his cultivation has reached the peak of the fourth level of Shenwu. But because the finger meridians are damaged and the energy cannot penetrate the whole body, it is impossible to enter the third level in this life. If someone could cure his injury, it would be a big favor to Li Jia. Just like a few years ago, someone from the royal family wanted to take advantage of Bin Wu Li Jia's line and brought the imperial doctor to Li Jia in an attempt to cure the damaged meridians of the great elder. But they returned in vain. You mean to let that boy? Yu Hushuan obviously wanted to understand something. The old man showed a meaningful smile and did not answer. On the other side, Bing was resting place. The eldest elder of Li Jia, who was wearing a long robe and had white hair on his temples, said, Although he sent Yu Hushuan away, he threatened to come back to look for you again. It seems that he really wants to encourage the three major kendo families to teach their martial arts to outsiders and break the situation where the sex and aristocratic families keep their brooms private. Li Xiaozhu looked out the window and replied calmly, How can the thoughts from ancient times be so easy to change? The great elder nodded slightly. At this time, Li Xiaozhu noticed the bandage wrapped around the great elder's right hand and asked with concern, Does it still hurt when I wield the sword now? The great elder did not deny it. After so many years, I have become accustomed to it. He seemed to have thought of something. And after hesitating for a moment, he still said, Actually, although the training method of Bin Wu Li Jia can exert a combat power that far exceeds that of others at the same level, but it is important to cultivate and control the sword. The method of not recultivation will do too much harm to the young disciples. If you can learn the practice method of one Jin sect, then, great elder, Li Xiaozhu shouted softly, I made a mistake. The great elder sighed, clasped his fists and left. Li Xiaozhu looked at the retreating figure. And after a long time, he also sighed. The situation of the great elder is not an isolated case. In Bin Wu Li Jia, there are countless geniuses who suffered from sword energy backlash when they were young. And the root of the disease fell into place. Since ancient times, many people in the family have tried to change their practice methods. But how easy is it? Chapter 270, I really envy Lu Jianli. As evening approached, Qin Feng set up a hot pot outside the house again. The red soup was steaming. Just as we were having our meal, two beautiful figures emerged from the mountain path. They were the Bai Wu Shuang sisters. Lan Ning Shuang asked, Chiu, I haven't seen you all day today. Where have you been? Bai Chiu complained, Dad was too harsh last night. And my sister slept until just now. Hearing this, Qin Feng looked at Bai Wu Shuang, who was still rubbing the back of his head and it seemed that the energy had not dissipated. It's his biological father. Identification completed. Bai Wu Shuang first apologized for the rude thing he did after being drunk last night, then turned his head to look at the fragrant hot pot, and asked with a movement in his throat, Do you want to have dinner? Qin Feng nodded and said a polite word casually. Would you like to eat something together? Before she finished speaking, the beauty in the black dress had already sat down at the table. She skillfully took out a pair of chopsticks from her arms and smiled brightly. I just slept all day and I'm hungry. I'm just being polite. You're really not polite. And why are you carrying a pair of chopsticks with you? Did you just pinch them? Qin Feng's face froze. The group sat down. Qin Feng picked up the bowls and chopsticks and was about to pick up the food. Suddenly something occurred to him and he said, Today when my father and master were away, the genius from Bin Wu Li's family came. Bai Wu Shuang and Bai Chiu looked at each other, as if looking at a powerful enemy. Without saying a word, they picked up a spoonful of meat slices from the pot and quickly put it into the bowl. Oh! Dad was not very interested. Haiden Tu said in surprise. It turns out that young man is the genius of Bin Wu Li Jia. What is his name? Lu Jianli said lightly, Li. The word stopped abruptly in the middle of the conversation. And Lan Ning Shuang said helplessly, Miss, his name is Li Luo. Yes. It's Li Luo. Lu Jinli responded softly. Qin Feng sympathized with the young man again. 
knowing that the genius had clearly reminded his wife that he would call the young man by his name next time. Bai Wushuang and Bai Chiu did not participate in the conversation. Their chopsticks stirred in the pot, and they took out a bunch of fish fillets and put them into their mouths, making them groan because they were hot. I think the sword box he is carrying on his back is the rumored ghost weapon sword box. It is indeed different from ordinary sword boxes. The ghost weapon sword box is much wider than the ordinary sword box. And the surface of the sword box is engraved with seven sword patterns, each with a different appearance. Qin Feng recalled. The old man took a sip of wine and said, There are seven swords in the ghost soldier sword box. According to legend, they were made from the spine of a powerful demon that Bin Wu had killed at home. Because they come from the same source, there is a sudden reaction between the seven swords. When wielding the sword, it can be ever-changing and powerful. What's more, you can fuse the seven swords into one place to activate the natal magical power of the powerful demon. This is also where the word ghost soldier comes from. Jean Fong nodded thoughtfully and suddenly asked, But even so, it shouldn't be able to break the realm of a third-grade martial artist. Right. Lan Ning Shuang and Haiden too looked over one after another. It was about their own young lady. So they naturally wanted to take it seriously. It depends on how well the boy from Bin Wu Lijia masters the ghost weapon sword box. The old man said lightly, while several people were talking. Bai Wu Shuang and Bai Chiu poured the vegetables into the pot, blanched them for a while, and then took them out skillfully. Qin Feng looked solemn. You don't have to look like this. The gap between great realms cannot be easily erased with the help of foreign objects. The boy from Bin Wu Lijia is still far behind. In the final analysis, this sword asking battle is still a battle between Dagon and his sword skills. The old man put down his wine glass and picked up his chopsticks. Qin Feng immediately looked at the lady beside him. The beautiful figure in white was holding a teacup. Her expression was as usual. He looked at Bai Wushuan again. The beauty in the black dress was holding the rice bowl and sucking the remaining vegetables and soup in the bowl. Her appearance was completely ruined by the way she ate without caring about her appearance. Sensing the attention of several people, Bai Wushuang put down the bowl and chopsticks. The corners of her mouth were full of red soup oil stains. She stretched out her tongue to lick the oil stains from her mouth and smiled brightly. This hot pot is so delicious. But it's a pity that there is there are too few things. Less? Qin Feng frowned and realized something was wrong. He had taken enough food for ten people. At this time, I saw the cheap chef taking out the chopsticks from the pot. But there was nothing on the chopsticks. Only the soup. The old man looked at the Bai sisters with a strange expression. Naturally, he saw the non-stop movements of their chopsticks. But he originally thought that these two people would have some scruples and leave some behind. But judging from the results, he thought too much. Bai Chiu took another dip in the hot pot with chopsticks and complained. Where are the vegetables? I haven't eaten much yet. Come on. Make more. Qin Feng glanced at the other party's mouth full of red soup and oil stains. And made a decision in his heart. He would definitely avoid these two people when eating in the future. Sister, let's have lunch from now on. Bai Chiu said with a satisfied look on his face as he touched his belly. Yeah. Bai Wushuang nodded solemnly. Not to mention the thunder rabbit last night. The roasted aroma and the spices sprinkled on it were something she had never tasted before. And this dish called Hot Pot opened the door to a new world for her. Only now did she know that such delicious food could exist in the world. This time she came to see the Battle of Wenjian. She originally wanted to learn swordsmanship with Lu Jianli in order to go further. But just the food she ate in these two nights made her feel that her trip was worthwhile. But after getting excited, she suddenly thought of something. And the light in her bright eyes quickly dimmed. The reason why she was able to eat these delicacies was because she came to Wan Jin's sect and met Lu Jinli's husband Qin Feng. But when the Battle of Wan Jin ends and she leaves Wan Jin's sect, won't these delicacies also have to be far away from her? Thinking of this, she lost her mind and stood frozen on the spot. Sister, what's wrong with you? Bai Chiu asked curiously. I really envy Lu Jinli for having a husband who is so good at cooking. Bai Wu Shuang sighed with emotion. When Bai Chiu heard this, he nodded. The food cooked by that hateful guy was indeed delicious. At this time, the figure of the second young master of the Qin family appeared in her mind again. And she thought, If I marry the second young master of the Qin family in the future, will I be able to eat these delicious foods every day? As soon as this idea came to her mind, she covered her hot cheeks with her hands and shook her head slightly. Xiao, are you not full? Why do you look like this? Bai Wushuang asked with concern. Oh, it's okay. I'm full. Bai Chiu replied weakly. So you're full. 
Can you give me some to my sister when you eat tomorrow? I haven't eaten enough tonight, Bai Wishuang said, blinking. Don't even think about it. In other families, the elder sister gives way to the younger sister. Why do you keep competing with me for food? Bai Chiu left angrily. It failed. Bai Wushuang shook his head helplessly and murmured to himself. I really envy Lu Jianli. Chapter 271 Healing the Great Elder The next morning, the sun shines into the house through the window, and the light and dust flicker. Madam, Qing Fong murmured to himself with a smile on his lips. The light covered his eyes, and he woke up leisurely. A face appeared in his sight. He thought it was a lady, but when he took a closer look, it turned out to be a weathered face with a raised brow and a joking look on his face. Qing Fong was startled, immediately sat up, and exclaimed, Master, why are you in my room? Seeing the other party's lewd expression, he felt a thump in his heart and hurriedly opened the quilt. Fortunately, he was still wearing his clothes and there was nothing strange about him. He relaxed and breathed a sigh of relief. A loud bang came towards him and the old man shouted, You brat, what are you thinking? I didn't think anything of it. Qing Feng covered his head and felt a burst of pain. The old man didn't bother to care, turned around and put his hands behind his back. Get up. Come with me for a walk. Where to go? Qing Feng asked in confusion. You'll know when you get there. Where is Li Luo? He has obviously arrived at Wan Jin sect. But he has not been seen since he left yesterday. Li Xiuju asked. He went to find Master Si Ming of the Southern Territory to practice. Okay. He should be preparing for the Battle of Wen Jin. After a pause, the Great Elder spoke again. Yu Hushuan is here again. And Sword Emperor Bai Yan is also with him. Li Xiaozhu frowned. Just send him away. The great elder shook his head and then handed over something. Yu Hushuan didn't say he wanted to see you. He just asked me to give you this letter. He also said that after reading the contents of the letter, you would take the initiative to find him. That's nonsense. Li Xiaozhu opened the envelope, took out the white paper inside and browsed it. When he saw the contents of the letter, his pupils widened. And then he looked at the great elder beside him with a complicated expression. Why do you have such an expression? What did you write in the letter? Li Xiaozhu did not answer, but exhaled and said, Where is he? Take me to see him. After a while, a crowd of people gathered in the lobby where Bin Wu left home to rest. Yu Hushuan raised his eyebrows and said, I thought you would keep avoiding me until the battle of Wenjian is over. Li Xiaozhu ignored the other party's strange aura and said seriously, Where is the person you said in your letter who can cure the damage to the great elders' meridians? As soon as these words came out, all the people in the hall who had left home in Bin Wu looked surprised. And the most shocked among them was naturally the great elder himself. After so many years, the latter had already given up on repairing the damaged meridians. But when he heard the hope again, it was inevitable that his heart would be filled with waves. But he also deeply understood that the greater the hope, the greater the disappointment. So after only a moment of shock, his expression returned to normal. Yu Hushuan glanced at everyone, then turned around and shouted, You can come in! Everyone immediately looked outside the lobby, in their inherent thoughts. A doctor with superb medical skills must be an old man in his mid-teens, like the imperial doctors in the imperial capital. No matter how bad he is, he should be a calm middle-aged man. But when people outside the lobby walked in, they were stunned on the spot, somewhat in disbelief. The visitor turned out to be a handsome young man dressed in black. Could it be that this young man can cure damaged meridians? Li Xiaozhu frowned. He felt that he had been tricked by Yu Hushuan. How could such a boy have such superb medical skills? Just as he was about to have an attack, he saw a slovenly old man wearing a gray robe following closely behind him. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief when they saw the old man. They all agreed in their hearts that the old man was the doctor. And the handsome young man in black was probably just an apprentice under him. That person was Li Xiaozhu, the head of the Li family. It was strange that he couldn't see that boy. Qin Feng glanced at him and didn't notice the poor handsome young man. That's all. Business is more important. Who is the great elder of Li Jia? Qin Feng asked. On the way here, he had already heard from Master Jinny that the reason for coming here was to heal the great elder's meridians and then help the three kindo masters teach martial arts to others. He has always hoped that the situation of self-preservation of Dakian was broken and he would naturally try his best. Hearing this, the great elder took a breath and walked out of the crowd. Qin Feng was about to step forward to check on him but found that the other party passed him directly, and then stood in front of Master Jinny and said, Old Senior, I am the Great Elder of Li Jia. The damaged meridian is on my right hand, on three fingers. 
Qin Feng looked confused. It was obviously me who asked. What do you mean by going to the master directly? The old man looked strange and said, Why are you telling me this? The one who wants to heal your damaged Marians is not the old man but me. But that brat. What? Everyone looked at Qin Feng in surprise again. The doctor was really this young man? What are you doing looking like this? Are you looking down on me? It seems that you don't show your hands. So you don't know how powerful I am. Qin Feng felt that he was offended. And a golden light flashed in his pupils. He glanced at the great elder's right hand and then said firmly, The three fingers with damaged meridians are your thumb, index finger, and little finger. Did I say anything wrong? Li Xiuzhu's eyes widened suddenly. And the elder also showed a look of surprise. He didn't even need to use his hands to confirm the injury directly. Even the imperial doctors of those days couldn't do this kind of method. That's right. The great elder said excitedly. Then do you know how to treat it? I know. I know. But Qin Feng glanced at Master Xin Yuan, then looked at Yu Hushuan and Bai Yan, but hesitated to speak. Why don't you say anything? Shouldn't you take advantage of the heat to talk about business? Shouldn't you ask me, a junior, to speak up? What's the problem? The great elder asked anxiously. Li Xiuzhu obviously thought of something and frowned slightly. At this time, the old man said, Treat his injuries first, and we will talk about the rest later. All right. Qin Feng took out the Meridian's restoring liquid from the Sumer ring, then breathed out lightly, and the white inches on his fingertips gathered together. He asked the great elder to sit down, leaned his right hand on the armrest, then activated his pupil powers and looked at the finger with damaged Meridians. Then, just like before, used Baitsuin to align the Meridians, and then applied the medicine to the damaged area. After experiencing the big projects in Yen and his wife, Qin Feng's Meridians were easily damaged. An hour and a half passed, and the medicine was applied to the last damaged meridian. This time the treatment can be considered a success. That's it. Qin Feng wiped the sweat from his forehead and said, during the treatment process, in order not to disturb him, everyone remained silent. When they heard this, they hurriedly asked, Great Elder, how do you feel? The Great Elder didn't reply. He just raised his right hand and stared at it. After a while, two lines of clear tears slid down his cheeks. And he said in a trembling voice, It has been thirty years, but I never thought that there would be a day of healing. Chapter 272 The King with Strong Mouth When Li Xiuzhu heard this, he stood up excitedly. The rest of Bin Wu Li's family also looked at each other with a look of joy in their eyes. Was it really cured? That was the damage to the meridians that even the imperial doctors were helpless to deal with. After concentrating for a long time, it turned out to be too much. Qin Feng found a nearby chair and sat down. When Li Xiaozhu saw this, he immediately ordered someone to pour tea for him. When Qin Feng took a breath, the elder stepped forward, clasped his fists, and bowed to express his gratitude. And Li Xiaozhu also represented the entire Bin Wu Lijia. He stepped forward and said, Your Excellency, Bin Wu Lijia must bear in mind your great kindness. I've worked hard to heal you for so long. And you can just say a word of thanks and that's it? Qin Feng's face darkened. And he did not expect to ask the other party for any reward. After all, the purpose of coming this time was to facilitate the three kindo masters to teach martial arts to others. And he believed that Li Xiuzhu, as the head of the Bin Wuli family, could not fail to see this. The other party's behavior at this moment clearly shows that he still doesn't want to have a good talk with sect leader Yu and others. No, I have to think of a way. Master Bieni once said that the reason why the great elder Li Jia suffered Meridian's damage was because of the shortcomings of Li Jia's training in military martial arts. He focused on sword cultivation and sword control, but did not pay attention to improving his own cultivation. This was putting the cart before the horse. In this case, the same problem will inevitably occur to other young children of the Bin Wu family. Perhaps, I can use this as a breakthrough to make Masterly reconsider. Thinking of this, he opened his eyes and looked at the other people in Bing Wu's home. Although these people did not suffer serious physical injuries, such as broken meridians, they still suffered varying degrees of damage on the premise that his own cultivation level is not enough. He attempts to use the sword control method that far exceeds his own cultivation level. This result is also expected. Qin Feng said, Seniorly, there is something I don't know whether to say or not. Li Xiuzhu said expressionlessly, I don't think there's any need to talk about it. I just pretended to ask out of courtesy as a junior. Why didn't you play according to the routine? Qin Feng's face stiffened. He clasped his fists and said respectfully, Since Seniorly agrees with me, I will speak out. Everyone in Bin Wu Lijiao looked blank. Is there something wrong with our ears? 
Or is there something wrong with this kid's ears? Due to Li Xiaozhu's temperament, his expression was obviously stunned. When the three old men heard this, they looked at Qin Feng with half-smiling faces, waiting for the next step. Actually, the head of the Li family should be well aware of the reason for the damaged meridians of the great elder of the Li family. Even if I heal his injuries, I can't guarantee that there won't be a second or third person like the great elder in Bin Wu Li Jia from now on. It is impossible for the head of the Li family to expect that everyone in the family is like your son, with extraordinary talents, rapid improvement in cultivation, and complete control of the sword. Right, Li Xiaozhu replied calmly. This doesn't bother you anymore. Li Jia is also constantly improving his cultivation methods. For at least five years, there has been no one whose meridians have been damaged due to practicing the art of sword control. Up here, Qin Feng smiled. Although there were no serious injuries such as broken meridians, their bodies still suffered varying degrees of damage. It may not be visible overnight, but over time, the injuries accumulate and the consequences are disastrous. What do you mean? Li Xiaozhu frowned. Qin Feng did not answer directly, but walked up to a man from Binwu Li Jia and put his hand under the man's shoulder blade. Every time the energy circulates here, will there be a tingling feeling? The man's eyes widened when he heard this. How did you know? In the coming days, eat more good food if you can. Don't treat yourself badly. Qin Feng sighed. How? How could it be possible? The man looked shocked. Could it be that he doesn't have much time left? Oh, don't get me wrong. Seeing that you are sallow and thin, and your blood is low, I just remind you to eat more. Man. Then Qin Feng walked up to several other people and pointed out their physical problems one by one. Your injury is on your right arm. If you use your strength to use the sword control technique when you lift it, you will definitely feel cramping. Your Dantian has mixed blood and energy. Do you always feel that it is quite laborious to concentrate your energy? And you? Haven't you noticed that you often can't exert strength at the knee of your left leg? Then it's you. With kidney deficiency. Sorry. Your problem is different from theirs. Let's look at it later. Qin Feng scratched his head and felt very sorry to reveal the other person's private issues in front of so many people. The man with kidney deficiency turned red and white for a while. Then he hid his face and left amid the strange looks on his face. Qin Feng turned his head and looked at Li Xiaozhu. If a worker wants to do his job well, he must first sharpen his weapon. Then Wu Li's sword raising skills and sword control skills are unparalleled in the world. But if there is no support from one's own cultivation, it will forcefully overdraw the body. Even if there is no damage to the meridians, it will cause great harm to the body over time. And these problems they have are caused by this. Actually, Masterly, you yourself know very well that the practice method passed down by your family since ancient times has this shortcoming. Have you never thought about making changes? The martial arts of Wan Jian Sek focuses on laying a solid foundation, which can help martial artists improve their cultivation. The martial arts in Sword Emperor City focus on sword skills and the use of strength. If the head of the Li family can combine their two martial arts and make improvements, then the Bin Wu Li family will definitely reach a higher level. When everyone heard this, they all looked at each other with some emotions. Yu Hushuan and Bai Yan looked at each other, thinking in their hearts, this boy is really good at talking. Master of the family. The elder looked at Li Xiaozhu and hesitated to speak. The expression of the middle-aged man in purple has changed several times. Doesn't he know this? However, the rule set by his ancestors from generation to generation that the family's martial arts should not be passed on to others was like a shackle. Binding him, even if he wanted to break free, it would not be that easy. After all, as the leader of an aristocratic family, he has to consider things that are far more complicated than what outsiders would like. Qin Feng saw that the other party actually wanted to make changes, but he couldn't get rid of the constraints of his inherent thoughts. In situations like this, Provoking the other party may achieve unexpected results. How about a few curse words? Wait, why do I have such thoughts? I dare to scold the head of the family who left the family in military force. Am I impatient with life? Qin Feng looked at Master Bayan, at Sect Leader Yu, and at Sword Emperor. From the beginning to the end, he was the one doing the hard work and talking the talk. Why do these people act like they have nothing to do with the matter? It's as if the troops have already reached the high ground on the opposite side and all teammates are suddenly hanging up. Qin Feng felt very tired. Really? He, a strong-mouthed king, couldn't lead these teammates. At this moment, Yu Hushuan, who had been silent, finally said, Brother Xiaozhu, how about we make a bet? Chapter 273 Bet Yu Hushuan and others left. 
and only the Ben Wulijia people with angry brows were left in the lobby. It's too much to deceive others. You actually said that our young master can only be ranked third in this sword asking battle. Oh, the young master is gifted with the ability to control the ghost weapon sword box. And he has been practicing under Master Siming of the Southern Region for many years. He is no longer what he used to be. Could it be that Wan Jin Zong thought that the young master would be poked away with a finger this time? Hmm. Uh-huh. Several people coughed on purpose to remind them that the head of the family was still there. The male disciple realized that he had said something wrong and hurriedly changed his words. Anyway, they will lose this time. Lu Jianli's meridians are damaged. And there is no one from Wan Jian's sect who can fight. The only thing to pay attention to is by Wushuang and Sword Emperor City. Wait a minute. Someone suddenly thought of something. Just now. Mr. Qin was able to cure the Great Elder's damaged meridians. Could it be that he also cured Lu Jianli's injury? No. It can't be done. Lu Jianli's injury is much more serious than that of the Great Elder. How can it be so easy to treat? Back then, when Bin Wu Lijia asked the Wan Jin sect, no one could match the young master's ghost weapon sword box once he came out of the sword box. As a result, the beautiful figure in white crushed the pride of everyone in Lijia with just one finger. Therefore, deep down in their hearts, they were quite afraid of Lu Jianli. That's right. There are so many meridians involved in hemiplegia. Even if Mr. Qin has superb medical skills, it is impossible to cure it. Several people looked at each other and laughed. Then Wu Lijia didn't know that Lu Jianli had not only recovered from his injuries, but his cultivation had also improved to a higher level. Just at this moment, a young female disciple of Wan Jian's sect came in with a teacup and asked curiously, Are you just talking about senior sister Jianli's husband? Mr. Qin? As soon as these words came out, everyone in the Bin Wu family was stunned. Whose husband did you just say? Mr. Qin? Li Xiaozhu and the Great Elder also looked sideways with surprised expressions. Senior sister Jianli? Mr. Qin is handsome and talented in literature. And he also cured senior sister's damaged meridians. Many people in Wan Jian sect feel that the two of them are a perfect match. The female disciple said with a smile, What? Lu Jianli? Has the injury healed? Everyone was stunned when Bin Wu left home. The great elder smiled bitterly and said, No wonder Zong Zong Yu is betting against us on the outcome of this sword-asking battle. It turns out that we have a good idea. Although Li Luo had entered the fourth level of Shinwu not long ago, and his mastery of the ghost weapon sword box had also improved, he was definitely still inferior to Lu Jianli, who had entered the fourth level a long time ago. I just hope that the young master can defeat Bai Wushuang, the daughter of the sword emperor. The elder said with emotion, Li Xiaozhu thought of the power of the three heavenly gods of Chakrabardin at night, and felt that there was little hope. Li Lu is naturally talented, but given his age, the gap in practice of several years is not so easy to make up for. And if Li Lu fails to get the first or second place in this sword-asking battle, then Bin Wu Li Jiao will agree to Yu Hushuan to teach martial arts to others. Great Elder, among the three Kindo families, Bin Wu Li Jiao has the longest inheritance. But it seems that he has always been outshone by Wan Jin sect and Sword Emperor City. Why do you think it is? Li Xiaozhu said lightly. This. The Great Elder hesitated to speak. In fact, both of them knew the reason why. What Qin Feng said just now had hit the nail on the head. We are stuck in our ways and don't know how to adapt. We always think that what is passed down by our ancestors is the most correct. If things go on like this, it may not be impossible for Bin Wu Li Jia to be removed from the three major swordsmanship schools. Li Xiaozhu sighed. This bet. For for me, Bin Wu Li Jia is not necessarily a Nirvana rebirth. When the Great Elder heard this, his eyes widened. Master, did you accept the bet on purpose? I always want to find a reason to make those stubborn old guys in the family let go. Yu Hushuan made such nonsense in front of me, and agreeing to a bet is reasonable and reasonable. Right? Li Xiaozhu's serious face. The corners of his mouth slightly raised. The Great Elder looked at his repaired right hand. If Bin Wu Li Jia could really break the tradition, and combine the strengths of the three schools of swordsmanship. The future would be bright. But what if the young master defeats Lu Jianli or Bai Wushuang? The elder asked worriedly. At this moment, he did not hope that the young master could win. After all, this bet started with Qin Feng curing his damaged meridians. Even if Bin Wu Li Jiao won the bet, it would just be that the favor was wiped out. Hearing this, Li Xiaozhu said reassuringly, if he wants to win with one sword and two swords, he is still far away. Who in the world understands his son better than his father? But wouldn't this be too cruel to the young master? There will definitely be a lot of people coming to watch the sword tomorrow. If we are defeated by then, 
Luor is too arrogant. After losing to Lu Jinli last time, he worked hard to improve himself and improved rapidly. Otherwise, he would not have been able to reach the fourth level so quickly. Hitting it at the right time was just right for him. I'm afraid Li Luo would never have imagined that even his own family would not want him to win this sword asking battle. Master, even if Lu Jinli has entered the third level realm, I will defeat her in this sword asking battle and avenge my shame. At a misty sword peak, seven rays of sword light streaked across the sky, sweeping across the sky. Entered the ghost weapon sword box. Above the sky, the sea of clouds was divided by sword energy, which was spectacular. Li Luo wiped the sweat from his forehead. In fact, he didn't have the confidence to say this. As the saying goes, once bitten by a snake, you will be afraid of well ropes for ten years. Lu Jinli's finger at that time still left a little shadow in his heart. After a while, he added, even if I can't defeat her, I still have to teach her a profound lesson to make her remember my name. Moreover, in this sword asking battle, with three families gathered together, I will always win one and rectify the name of Bin Wu Lijia in front of the world. Yan Zhou smiled slightly. Just do your best. When Li Luo heard this, his heart skipped a beat. He already knew that his master had concealed Lu Jinli's entry into the realm of the sword god. Could it be that there were also variables on by Wu Shuang's side? Otherwise, why did the master look like this and say the same words as before? Master, could it be that Bai Wu Shuang has also entered the realm of the sword god? Li Luo asked tentatively. Yin Zhou shook his head. Is it so easy to enter the realm of the sword god? Lu Jinli is extremely talented. Just as the man said, she will be the first person to defeat someone with a sword within a thousand years before and after Daqian. Li Luo breathed a sigh of relief. As long as Bai Wu Shuang did not step into the realm of the sword god, with his current strength and control of the ghost weapon sword box, he should be able to fight. Master, that's it for today. He also needs to rest and prepare for tomorrow's sword asking battle. Unexpectedly, at this time, Yin Zhou said calmly, Although Bai Wu Shuang has not stepped into the realm of the sword god, he has understood the sword emperor's unique skill of wheel turning swordsmanship. The three gods are one. Li Luo's body paused. The sword emperor was famous for his powerful swordsmanship? He put the ghost weapon sword box down again and silently drew out the seven swords in it. Aren't you going to rest? Yin Zhou asked with a raised eyebrow. Yeah. Li Luo looked solemn. Chapter 274 by Wu Shuang's Promise. In the evening, the two sisters arrived as scheduled. Bai Wu Shuang asked with a smile, Are you eating? What a coincidence. What a coincidence. When you said this, you could have taken out the chopsticks in your arms later. Qin Feng's face froze. He still underestimated the shamelessness of these two people. Tomorrow is the battle of Wenjian. How are you prepared? At the dinner table, Qin Feng thought of the bed during the day and asked Bai Wu Shuang. He still has great confidence in his wife. And the key to the problem is Bai Wu Shuang. As long as the other party can win Li Jia Li Luo, then the bet will be considered a victory. It can also be confirmed that the three Kindo masters jointly teach martial arts to others. This is what he expected to see. Bai Wu Shuang desperately added vegetables to the bowl until it was filled to the brim. Then she took the time to reply. It's almost ready. Can you win against Li Luo? Qin Feng asked again. Li Luo? Bai Wu Shuang recalled for a while before saying, that little brother from Li's home? I haven't fought against him before. So it's hard to say. Do you know that you must win against him tomorrow? Qin Feng said solemnly. Uncle, why do you say this? Lan Ningxuang didn't know about the bed during the day and looked curious. Except for the old man. Everyone else also cast doubtful glances. Upon seeing this, Qin Feng took a breath and told the whole story. Several people looked surprised. How could they have imagined that the three kendo masters were already discussing to teach martial arts to others and break the situation where everyone cherishes their own broomsticks? Whether this matter can succeed depends on whether Lu Jinli and Bai Wu Shuang can defeat Li Jiao Li Luo. Hei Tantu said excitedly. If this matter can really be finalized, it will be a great good thing for the Shenwu warriors of Daqian. Qin Feng nodded slightly and looked at Bai Wu Shuang again, waiting for the other party's answer. The beauty in the black dress swallowed the food in her mouth before replying. That little brother is not weak. I heard my father talking about him. At a young age, he has already mastered the ghost weapon sword box that Hingwa left home and lost for hundreds of years. Moreover, under the guidance of Master Siming of the Southern Territory, his cultivation improved rapidly, which made up for the lack of emphasis on sword control rather than his own strength. Um, Lord Siming of the Southern Territory? Qin Feng's eyes widened. 
he never expected that the young man was actually Nan Tianlong's apprentice. This is not easy to handle. My wife doesn't speak much harsh words. And she has already stepped into the realm of sword god. Even though the other party studied under Nan Tianlong, he still has enough confidence in his wife. The key is by Wushuang. This foodie. Although he and his wife are both masters of swordsmanship. And the swordsmanship of San San Shen Yi seemed to be very powerful that night. But he just feels that this person is unreliable. No. I have to give her a blood test. We will fight tomorrow and capture that boy no matter what. Jean Feng felt confident and said. Let's do this. If you can defeat Li Luo tomorrow, I'll let you have a full meal tonight. How about that? Are you full? Bai Wu Shuang's beautiful eyes widened. Upon seeing this, Qin Feng took out more than a dozen plates of prepared animal meat from the Sumer ring without saying a word. Bai Wu Shuang swallowed a mouthful of saliva. If you give me all these, I can do my best in the battle tomorrow. When Qin Feng heard this, he raised his eyebrows and took out more than a dozen plates of animal meat and placed them in front of the other party. Bai Wu Shuang's smile spread across his face. His eyebrows crooked like willow leaves. The probability of defeating that little brother should be 70%. Well, only 70%? Qin Feng then took out the animal meat from the Sumer ring. 80%. Take it again. No. 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 90%. Keep taking it. Don't worry. Don't worry. In the battle tomorrow, I will defeat him within three moves. Bai Wu Shuang looked at the pile of meat plates in front of her with a bright smile. She immediately patted her chest and vowed. Remember what you said tonight. If you don't do what you promised me, you can't expect to eat at my place in the future. Qin Feng threatened. Yeah. Bai Wu Shuang nodded. Then put the meat into the pot one by one. And ate happily. Bai Qiu was extremely envious and asked excitedly. Then if I can defeat Li Luo, can you also give me these? Qin Feng raised his head and said. No problem. Can you win? If possible. He wouldn't mind adding an extra layer of protection. Anyway, these animal meats are not worth much to him. When Bai Chiu heard this, he looked happy at first, then thought of something, and his face fell completely. I can't win. The next day, the Wan Jian sect lifted the Bayama sect, and everyone could climb the sword peak to witness the unprecedented event of the three sword masters gathering together to learn swordsmanship. On the steep sword peak, the people climbing up looked like ants, densely packed from a distance. By noon, the area around Wan Jian Zong's sword platform was already crowded with people. Qin Feng looked around and couldn't help but sigh. This is the influence of the three Kindo families in Daekian. If these three families can set an example for the world and break the situation where many sects and aristocratic families are self-respecting, then it is really possible for Daekian to usher in a new pattern. Uncle, I will succeed. Needless to say, the strength of the young lady and Miss Bai can be called a double sword with the young lady. So naturally, she will not be weak. Miss Lan said at the side. I hope so. Suddenly, as a sword energy shot straight into the sky, the sea of clouds covering the sword climbing platform was instantly divided. The sun shines through the cracks, illuminating the entire sword platform. A figure, like strolling in the courtyard, slowly walked through the void and walked high above the sword climbing platform. It was none other than Yuhishuan, the leader of Wan Jin's sect. When Qin Feng saw this, the corner of his mouth twitched. With the strength of sect master Yu, stepping into the sky is obviously a matter of blinking. He walked up so leisurely in front of everyone. Obviously just to show off. Sure enough, there were only sounds of admiration from all around. That person is Yu Hishuan, the leader of Wan Jin's sect. Right. Stepping on the void. It's like walking on flat ground. It's really amazing. I don't know when I will have such a method. The Wan Jin sect has the potential to become the first among the three Kindo families. And sect leader Yu is indispensable. I really envy you. Yu Hushuan was a high quality martial artist. So these sounds naturally fell into his ears. Which was very useful to him. Just when he wanted to hear a few more words of praise from the crowd. The target of the praise in the audience's mouth changed. Look. Those are the people from Sword Emperor City. Looking for the reputation. I saw a group of men and women standing on long swords and rising in the air. They were really cool and unrestrained. Yu Hushuan raised his eyebrows slightly. At this moment, everyone exclaimed again. The people who left home in Bin Wu are also coming out. On the other side of the sword peak, a group of people carrying sword boxes walked out. And the leader was Li Luo, with his limelight stolen. It was pointless for Yu Hushuan to continue to show off. So he loudly attracted everyone's attention and recounted the details of the sword-asking battle. 
Chapter 275 My Wife is Lu Jianli. After the selection of candidates for the three-party questioning sword and the decisive method were explained one by one, the atmosphere immediately became lively, as Yu Hushuan said. The battle of the questioning sword begins. On the side of Sword Emperor City, a man glanced at the number one lottery in his hand, jumped with his sword, and flew into the sword platform. After a while, a man with the same lottery number one jumped up to where Bin Wu was leading his home. After Yu Hushuan retreated, a peak master from Wan Jian Sect came out to take charge of the situation. And the battle started immediately. Needless to say, there is no need to say much about the strength of the three Kindo masters. None of the disciples on the field is a weak hand. Even though the three real geniuses haven't taken action yet. The audience's exclamations continued one after another. In the crowd, a martial artist praised. If you ask me, the leader of the three Kindo families this time should undoubtedly be Bin Wu Lijia. The mysterious method of raising a sword in a sword box. And the skill of controlling a sword. Among his peers, there are few rivals. I don't agree with this. Just now, there was a disciple from Sword Emperor City. With a sword. Fong Song who directly knocked Bin Wu Lijia's people away from the sword platform. And he has yet to display the truly powerful sword moves of the Sword Emperor City. Back then, the Sword Emperor's wheel-turning swordsmanship of the three heavenly gods was considered the best sword in the world. Oh, if the sword skills of the three heavenly gods were so easy to understand, Sword Emperor City would have become the number one master in the art of swordsmanship. Even by Wu Shuang, the daughter of the Sword Emperor, may not be able to fully understand this swordsmanship, let alone others. But one thing I am sure of is that the young master who left home in Bin Wu has been able to control the ghost weapon sword box that has been lost for hundreds of years. Therefore, this time the leader must leave home with military force. There were many people around. As soon as the two people made their remarks, everyone immediately divided into two factions. One supported Sword Emperor City, and the other supported Bin Wu Lijia. But what's interesting is that even though the disciples of Wan Jin sect have won several rounds on the court, few people off the court are optimistic about Wan Jin sect. Jin Feng, who was standing in the crowd watching the battle, asked curiously, Why don't any of you support Wan Jin sect? As soon as these words came out, the noisy voices around him fell silent for a moment. Until the first warrior spoke up again. Isn't this brother's news a bit blocked? What we are talking about is the final winner of this sword asking battle. That is, the battle of geniuses. The ordinary disciples of Wan Jian sect are powerful. But Lu Jianli failed in the previous tribulation. And now, he doesn't know where he is. So, among the younger generation of Wan Jian sect. Who can be the opponent of Bai Wu Shuang and Li Luo? Hei Tan Tu and La Ning Shuang looked at each other in confusion. After the young lady married to Jin Yang City. There was much less news about her in the world. Presumably it was because everyone thought that she had fallen into the mortal world and would no longer be as stunning as before. Qin Feng nodded thoughtfully. On the other side, the two factions quarreled again, and the shouting intensified. One of them couldn't bear it anymore and immediately shouted, Since none of us are convinced by the other, how about we make a handicap? I have 30 tails of silver here. If I put all of it into the Sword Emperor City, Bai Wu Shuang can win the title. Who among you dares to bet with me? Another person immediately responded, Why don't you dare? I will also pay 30 tails. Betting that Bing Wuli Jiali Luo will have the last laugh. As soon as the bet between the two was established, more and more people joined the bet. Although each person's amount of money was limited, in the face of the sheer amount, the bet was getting bigger and bigger. Even Qin Feng was a little excited. That's nearly 100,000 tails of silver. The people around him had already put down some money, and were shouting at each other. At first, Wu Fu noticed Qin Feng and asked, Brother, do you want to put down some money and have some fun? This, Qin Feng deliberately showed a hesitant look. Brother, if you believe in me, you will leave home with force and make sure you make a profit without losing any money. This young master, don't listen to his nonsense. If I were you, I would overwhelm by Wu Shuang and Sword Emperor City. The grace of that sword will definitely not let you down. Another person advised. Jean Feng looked at the people on both sides, and everyone seemed to be waiting for his choice. Is this bet about who will win in the end? Which party is it? Jean Feng asked weakly. Of course, if we want to bet, let's bet on the first place. But what if the winner in the end is Wan Jin sect? Jean Feng expressed his concerns. This group of people looked at each other. Although the possibility is very small, it does not rule out the possibility. If that happens, we can each get our money back. One person gave a solution. 
which was unanimously recognized by others. Jean Fong immediately said, Then this is such a boring bet. What do you think? I pay some money to beat Wan Jin Sek to win? So that this bet will have a final result no matter what. Overwhelming the Wan Jin Sect? Brother, I'm not telling you. Except for you. No one here is optimistic about the Wanjin sect. If the amount of money you bet is less, the betting market will not be equal. After all, if you are lucky and Wanjin Zone really has the last laugh, there is no way that you can win the money of both of us by spending so little money. This is natural. This is natural. Jean Fong smiled and touched his right hand. In the blink of an eye, there was an extra box on the ground. Open the box and take a quick look at it. The white and silver patterns are eye-catching. What is this? Everyone asked, swallowing their saliva. Here are 10,000 tails of silver. I wonder if you can let me participate in this bet. Jean Fong asked with a smile. Hey Tan Tu and La Ning Shuang had strange expressions on their faces. Is this my uncle trying to trick someone? The two factions looked at each other and finally agreed. In their eyes, without Lu Jianli, the probability of Wan Jian Sek's eventual victory was less than one-tenth. In other words, this 10,000 tails of silver is equivalent to a free gift to the final winner of the gambling market. In this case, don't give it up for free. After everyone confirmed that the bet was established, the next focus was on the battle of Wenjian. As time goes by, the competition between the three Kindo families becomes more and more exciting. After all, in the end, it is basically the competition between the genius level disciples of each family. You can imagine how exciting it is. A person close to Qin Feng suddenly asked curiously, Brother, I don't understand. Why do you have to suppress Wan Jin's sect, which everyone dislikes, just to get a certain result from this bet? You have to give away 10,000 tails of silver for free? That's 10,000 tails. Qin Feng replied, Of course it can't be because of this reason. The main reason is that my wife is also in the Wan Jin sect. And I am optimistic about her. Your wife. The person on the other side heard this and asked again, Who is your wife? I'd better not say it. If I say it, you won't believe it either. Qin Feng shook his head. Brother, if you don't believe this, just say it. A man raised his eyebrows and said, You really want me to tell you? You're telling me. Mother-in-law and mother-in-law are like women and are so mysterious. How can your wife be Lu Jianli? One person said impatiently. You guessed it right. Qin Feng gave a thumbs up. Huh? What do you mean? People around him were confused. To tell you the truth, my wife is Lu Jianli. Qin Feng said seriously. Everyone. Chapter 276 The Powerful Li Luo After a while, everyone burst into laughter. Someone even said directly, Brother, this kind of joke is not funny at all. You said your wife is Lu Jianli, but my father is still the head of Wan Jin sect. No wonder I keep hesitating and don't dare to say my wife's name. It turns out I'm bragging. You're just bragging. And if you don't brag to someone more reliable, who is Lu Jianli? Back then, the queue for marriage proposals could be queued from Fontian City all the way here. Even if she falls into the mortal world now, she is not someone you can covet. Boy, I would like to advise you to be a down-to-earth person. You said, you have these 10,000 tails of silver, and you can go to Fontian City to redeem yourself as an Oiren. Why waste the money here just to brag? Even if it's a dream, you have to do it while you're asleep at night. Right. Um, 10,000 tails can be used to redeem an Oiren. Who is driving up prices? Jean Feng's attention is not on the same channel as what these people are laughing at. After all, this result was also within his expectation. Just like in the last life, you told your roommate that your girlfriend was Guli Naza. Who would believe it? You guys! La Ning Shuang and Hei Tan Tu couldn't bear the ridicule. They were about to speak out. But Jean Feng reached out to stop them. He shook his head and said, Watch the competition above carefully. It will be good for your practice. Okay, uncle. The two nodded. As the battle progressed, the weakest disciples, who could continue to stay on the field had reached the sixth level. At this time, it was also the turn of the real genius of the three Kindo families to take action. Look, it's Li Luo from Bin Wu Lijia. Finally it's his turn. Qin Feng looked for his voice and saw only the handsome young man with red lips and white teeth at the front of Bin Wu Li's house. Arms folded across his chest leaping onto the sword platform, on the large sword box behind it. Under the sunlight, the halo of seven sword patterns flowing on its surface is quite astonishing. I wonder if his opponent can force him to use the ghost weapon sword box. Qin Feng raised his eyebrows thoughtfully. As the saying goes, 
If you know yourself and the enemy, you will be victorious in any battle. If you know the power of the ghost weapon sword box in advance, you can do it better. Response. But he also knew that ordinary people were not qualified to let the young man take action seriously. As another figure swept up to the sword platform, Qin Feng's eyes widened. It turned out to be her. Li Luo's opponent is Bai Qiu. Female? The young man on the field frowned slightly. Bai Qiu was a little scared when she faced Li Luo. But when she heard this and saw the other person's expression, she immediately became unhappy. What happened to the woman? When you were poked away by senior sister Jianli with one finger? Why didn't you dislike that senior sister was a woman? Bai Qiu Jiao shouted. Poke it away with one finger? What's the meaning? Everyone in the audience looked at each other, only feeling that there was something to be found. When Bin Wu left home to ask for swordsmanship from the Wanjin sect, it was not as fussy as it is now, so not many outsiders knew about and watched the battle. Naturally, few people know the famous scene where the finger pokes away. When the young man heard everyone's discussions and suspicions, his face turned red and white, his chest heaved with anger, and he actually sacrificed the ghost weapon sword box behind him. Qin Feng shook his head when he saw this. So young people are young people. Not calm at all. In order to defeat the opponent as soon as possible and clear his name, Li Luo closed his palms and opened the ghost weapon sword box that landed on the ground. Following several clear sword sounds, three rays of sword light flashed out instantly. One handle is shaped like a dagger, the other is shaped like a scimitar, and the other is shaped like a bone-piercing steel needle. Without saying a word, Li Luo pointed with his right hand, and the three swords shot through the air like meteors. Bai Chiu did not dare to neglect, and immediately drew out his sword Lu Ying to deal with the three flying swords. On the sword platform, for a moment, golden sounds were heard everywhere. The shapes of those three swords are really strange, Qin Feng couldn't help but say. At this time, a familiar voice sounded from the side. There are seven swords in the ghost soldier sword box. Namely White Dragon, Nong Yu, Broken Bone, Feng Ju, Tian Chuan, Tiger Roar and Divine Spine. And these three handles are the White Dragon among them. The one that makes the moon and the one that breaks the bones. Qin Feng and the others looked around and saw the sloppy old man with his hands behind his back. Master, don't you think the sword-asking battle is boring? Can't you tell me? Old man Bailey replied. Anyway, I am idle. So just come and take a look. Where's my dad? Maybe I'm looking for someone to catch up with. The old man replied casually. Reminiscing about old times? Who could the cheater know here? Qin Feng shook his head and paid no attention to it, but returned his attention to the sword platform. Under the attack of the three flying swords, Bai Chiu tossed and turned, tired of dealing with it. But looking at Li Luo on the other side, he always stood in place and never moved an inch. The strength between the two sides has already been judged. Bai Chiu didn't want to give up. Although she knew she was no match for the opponent, she still hoped to find out more of the opponent's trump cards. So, she seized an opportunity and struck away three flying swords with one strike. Then, in front of everyone's surprised eyes, her body turned into several afterimages and attacked the young man. Seeing this sword move, everyone was shocked. Isn't this sword Emperor City's Jin polluting? Why can't a disciple of Wan Jin sect perform such a sword move? Li Luo, who didn't know Bai Chiu's true identity, had a hint of surprise in his eyes. The speed of this sword is very fast. Each afterimage is holding a firefly. The sky is filled with fluorescence. The sword energy is everywhere. The picture is beautiful, but with terrifying power. Facing such a battle, Li Luo's expression quickly returned to normal. From the ghost weapon sword box, there was another sword cry, and then several sword lights were seen flashing out. In just a moment, these sword lights stopped in front of Bai Chiu's afterimages. They were several silver-white thin swords with exactly the same shape and as long as arms. Feng Ju. It's over. Qin Feng sighed. In the sky, Bai Chiu's afterimage slowly dissipated. She pursed her lips and said reluctantly, I lost. As soon as he said this, Li Luo made a move with two fingers of his right hand, and the four flying swords immediately flew back into the ghost weapon sword box. Exclaims came from the crowd. Have you seen it? That is the power of the ghost weapon sword box. According to legend, there are seven swords in the ghost weapon sword box, each one more powerful than the last. However, facing the genius of the 10,000 sword sect, he only used four swords. Not only that, have you noticed that even when faced with Jian Paluning, the boy who ran away from home did not move even an inch from beginning to end? 
it can be seen from this that he did not exert all his strength at all, and even dealt with it very easily. As soon as Li Luo took action, the voices of those who supported Bing Wu Li's family became louder and louder. Jin Feng frowned slightly. He knew by Chiu's strength. He could beat his second brother without the ability to fight back. The young man who left home just used four swords and easily won. Which shows how strong he is. The key master also said that when the ghost weapon sword box is controlled to the strongest level, seven swords can be turned into one. And the magical power of powerful demons and ghosts can be unleashed. By then, can Bai Wushuang win? Qin Feng felt a little uneasy in his heart. Chapter 277 Lu Jianli appears. Li Luo then took action twice more, using only a flying sword and easily won the victory. This also led to increasing calls for Bing Wu to leave home. On the other side, Yu Hushuan, Bai Yan and Li Xiaozhu had gathered together to watch the Wenjian battle. Yu Hushuan praised, as expected of Bin Wu Li Jia, a genius rarely seen in a hundred years. He is truly amazing. It seems that I will most likely lose this bet. Not bad. Bai Yan smiled. Li Xiaozhu still had that serious face. And he said, Your disciple has leaked the news about Lu Jianli's recovery from his injury. How long do you two want to keep it a secret from me? Yu Hushuan's expression froze. Bai Yan coughed dryly. And his smile slowly faded away. This is a bit embarrassing. Although I'm not sure what the final result will be, I think we can discuss in advance how the three Kendo masters in the future will teach martial arts to outsiders. Li Xiaozhu said lightly. These words obviously exceeded Yu Hushuan and Bai Yan's expectations. Brother Xiaozhu. You? Li Xiaozhu let out a breath. Li Jia has been stuck in its ways for too long. It's time to change. Yu Hushuan and Bai Yan looked at each other, chuckled and said, Actually, the two of us have already made plans, and that is to establish a Kendo alliance. While the three masters of the three Kendo families were discussing important matters, the competition on the sword platform was in full swing. Okay. Those who supported Sword Emperor City clenched their fists and shouted excitedly, while those who supported Bin Wu Li Jia stopped their activities. Just because Bai Wu Shuang took action, he went on stage three times and faced his opponents. Each time he only used one sword and won the victory. That sword move was so swift and violent that it was difficult to deal with it. Many people are guessing what the scene will be like when Bai Wu Shuang and Li Luo fight. Is it the ghost weapon sword box of Bin Wu Li Jia that is more powerful? Or is the extraordinary swordsmanship of Sword Emperor City better? Someone said with emotion. He is indeed a person who can be called a swordsman with Lu Jinli. This swordsmanship and appearance really live up to his name. Unparalleled in the world. I wonder if she and Lu Jinli are standing together. Whose appearance is better? For most people, Lu Jinli and Bai Wushuang only exist in rumors. Regarding their appearance, many people only know that they are beautiful and beautiful. But they have never seen them with their own eyes. Now that they have met Bai Wushuang himself, they are naturally more curious about the rumored Lu Jinli. At this time, one person said in a joking tone, didn't this person say that his wife is Lu Jianli? It would be better if we just asked him directly. As soon as these words came out, everyone looked sideways. Yes, brother, let me tell you, which one of them is more beautiful? Qin Feng rubbed his chin, thought carefully, and replied, If it is when not eating, Bai Wu Shuang and my wife are equally good. A group of people sneered, thinking that Qin Feng was still bragging. But some people asked curiously, Why do you say when you are not eating? Is there any reason? Because that guy doesn't care about his image at all when he eats, and is very slovenly. Qin Feng sighed regretfully. Why does such a beautiful woman have a mouth? You mean, you and Bai Wu Shuang had dinner together? One person said in surprise, and his tone was obviously unbelieving. Strictly speaking, every time we eat, she has to shamelessly come over. Qin Feng said the truth. When the people around him heard this, they fell into silence. One person clasped his fists and said in admiration, Brother, I have never convinced anyone before when I brag. But today I am convinced. It's really rare to see someone who can brag in a serious way like you. And it's all connected. Even if you say that Bai Wu Shuang is also your wife, I won't find it strange. Why is it that no one believes me when I tell the truth? Qin Feng shook his head helplessly. Suddenly, he felt a chill down his spine. Next to her, Lan Ningxuang's gaze is quite intriguing. Brothers, don't tease him. If he likes to brag, let him brag. Anyway, 10,000 tails of silver is real money. As we all know, Lu Jianli failed to cross the tribulation and was half paralyzed. It was impossible for him to participate in this sword-asking battle. 
he actually said that these 10,000 tales were to support his wife, which really made me laugh to death. Hearing this, the others wanted to respond, but several exclamations interrupted their thoughts. Look, look, who is that woman from the Wanjin sect? How amazing is his appearance? Wearing white clothes and captivating the country. How come he looks so similar to the rumored Lu Jianli? Don't be ridiculous. Half of Lu Jianli's meridians are damaged. How can he still stand? But apart from her, how could there be such a woman in the world? She can't be Lu Jianli. Qin Feng looked up at the sword platform and raised the corner of his mouth slightly. Look, my wife is coming on stage. It's Mississippi. Lan Ningxuang and Haiden too said at the same time. At the same time, Lu Jianli on the stage also looked at Qin Feng and nodded slightly, as if to say H, Lo. When everyone saw the scene, their eyes widened. They looked for the beautiful figure in white clothes and turned their heads stiffly to look at Qin Feng, with expressions of disbelief on their faces. Could it be that what the young man in black said before was true? The most shocked ones were undoubtedly Bing Wu Lijia and his party, because they had met Lu Jianli. Although they had heard from the female disciple of Wan Jian's sect that Lu Jianli had recovered from his injury. The shock of witnessing it with their own eyes still caused huge waves in their hearts. Back then, the scene of the other party poking the young master with his finger seemed to be vivid in his mind. What a coincidence. Lu Jianli was fighting against a disciple of Bin Wu Lijia. Unfortunately, this disciple's legs were shaking slightly uncontrollably. There are a lot of people in the audience. If you were to be knocked away with one finger in front of so many people, you would probably want to die. Lu Jianli asked softly. Are you ready? The male disciple took a deep breath and said, Please draw your sword and teach me. He said the word, Draw the sword, with a strong accent, hoping that the other party would give him this face and not defeat him with one finger. Unfortunately, Lu Jinli did not understand the underlying meaning of his words. The green hair is fluttering, and the energy is like waves. The male disciple only felt a trance. His body was floating in the air, and he was knocked out of the sword platform. Upon seeing this, Li Luo grabbed the male disciple with his right hand and took him back to Bin Wu Li's home. The poor male disciple was still confused, thinking three questions in his mind. Who am I? Where am I? And what just happened? What's going on? A fellow disciple asked anxiously. I don't know. When I came back to my senses, he was already flying. His energy must have been released. The male disciple almost cried. When everyone heard this, they took a breath of cold air. This male disciple was not weak in Bin Wu Li's family. He was a fifth grade Shen Wu, with a clear mind and a third level of sword intent. But now Lu Jianli can deal with such a fifth grade master without even using his fingers? They once again recalled the scene of Wen Jin Wan Jianzong back then, and all looked at the handsome young man. Li Lu's face looked a little ugly. He gritted his teeth and said, What do you think I am doing? It's nothing. Everyone quickly looked away. Chapter 278 You Lost Everyone watching the battle in the audience was already stunned. That was the genius of Bin Wu Lijia. He had taken action before. And his sword-wielding skills were outstanding. And he had defeated two people in a row. But facing that beautiful figure in white. She lost so casually. At this point, they already believe that the woman is Lu Jianli. Because except for her, no one in Wan Jian's sect has such terrifying strength. Brother, is Lu Jianli really your wife? Someone asked in a trembling voice. The others looked over one after another. Qin Feng did not respond. Because on the sword platform, the beautiful figure in white, in the astonished eyes of everyone, was like a fairy floating down. Gently came to his side, and stood side by side with him. How about it? After watching by Wu Shuang and Li Luo's moves, do you think you can win? Qin Feng asked with a smile. I can win, Lu Jinli said firmly. Because I promised you. Qin Feng was stunned for a moment and suddenly thought of what he had said to the other party outside the house that night. Lu Jinli was responding to that sentence. You will reach the top of the sword. I believe you. Qin Feng stretched out his hand to hold the other party's catkin, his eyes full of tenderness. Lu Jianli Xia Fei's cheeks softly hummed. When Lan Ningxuang and Haiden Tu saw this, they stood a little further away knowingly. The old man curled his lips and stood somewhere else with his hands behind his hands. The rest of the people around him were so shocked that their jaws almost dropped. Hearing is false. Seeing is believing. The amount of information today is too large. And it exceeds the capacity of their brains. Lu Jianli not only recovered from her injuries, but also came back strong. The rumors of her marriage were true. And from the looks of it, she and her husband were very much in love. After accepting the reality and being shocked, 
everyone became sour. How could this young man in black marry Lu Jianli? The darling girl of heaven? Isn't he just more handsome than me? What's wrong with that gambling board? A group of people had obviously thought of something else. Their expressions were extremely ugly. What could be more unacceptable than being fed dog food in front of someone, and then losing money? I'm afraid there won't be any more. Lu Jianli appeared again later. And whether it was a coincidence or God's will, her opponent was still someone who had left home in the army. But this time, the opponent learned the lesson and gave up and surrendered. Although he received a lot of booze, at least in a sense, he saved his face. As the sky gradually darkened, the sword-asking battle came to an end in front of everyone's eyes. Three figures flew onto the sword platform, about to begin the final battle of geniuses. Needless to say, these three people are Lu Jianli of Wanjin sect, by Wu Shuang of Sword Emperor City, and Bin Wu Li Jiali Luo. Seeing the scene, Qin Feng let out a breath. Finally reaching the last step, he clenched his right fist and stared at the handsome young man on the sword platform. He kept saying in his heart, Lost to me! Lose to me! Huh? Li Luo, as a fourth grade martial artist, naturally has amazing senses. He always felt that someone was looking at him with malicious eyes. Looking along with his senses, he saw the black figure in the crowd at a glance. Upon seeing this, Qin Feng hurriedly looked away and pretended to look elsewhere. When Li Luo turned around, he continued to curse the other person in his heart. The rules of the final battle are simple. Only three of the three sword masters are left, and they compete in pairs to determine the final winner. The first two people to face off were by Wu Shuang and Li Luo. The two looked at each other with solemn expressions. Under the sword platform, a clear voice sounded. Sister, defeat him and avenge me. The person who shouted was none other than Mai Chiu. Li Luo was a little surprised. She is your sister? Why is she in Wanjin sect? You don't need to worry about details like this. Bai Wu Shuang said with a serious expression. Sorry. For some reasons, I have to defeat you. Is it because I defeated her earlier? Li Luo looked curious. No, that's not important. If I don't defeat you, I won't be able to eat delicious food in the future. Qin Feng's threat last night still echoed in his ears. For Bai Wu Shuang, this is the top priority. When Li Luo heard this, he didn't know why. Bai Wu Shuang made a move with his right hand, and the eye shadow sword, which exuded astonishing coldness like ice, flew into his hand. The young man did not dare to neglect. He stretched out his left hand, and the ghost weapon sword box slid down smoothly, with seven sword patterns flowing on the surface. But in the blink of an eye, he directly launched seven flying swords. Facing Bai Wu Shuang in Sword Emperor City, he must go all out. The beauty in the black dress pointed her toes and her sword energy was like a white dragon, attacking Li Luo with overwhelming force. The old man said casually, The sword energy is as invincible as a dragon. Who in the world is worthy of wearing white clothes? Back then, the sword emperor's soaring dragon moves scared away countless geniuses in the world. Upon hearing this, Qin Feng looked at the leaping figure in black skirt, as if he had seen the scene of the sword emperor, who was proud of the world with his sword. When Li Luo saw it, his expression became solemn and his seven flying swords turned into streams of light, attacking by Wu Shuang with a force of encirclement. The dragon-like sword energy easily shook away the first few flying swords, but when it encountered the fierce roar of the broad sword, there was only an ear-splitting roar, and the white dragon sword energy collapsed instantly. Then a long sword as white as jade bone swept out and struck by Wu Shuang. It was the last sword in the ghost weapon sword box divine spine. The feeling this sword gives me is as good as binging's, Qin Feng exclaimed in shock. Oh, if it weren't for the sword in the ghost sword box not being included in the list of divine swords, this divine spine would at least be among the top five, the old man said leisurely. It's too late to say it. But it's soon. The divine spine sword, like a stream of light, hit the tip of the eye shadow sword. The strong remaining power made by Wu Shuang's body visibly tremble. No way. Is Bai Wu Shuang going to lose? Qin Feng looked ugly. This foodie is really unreliable. You brat. You just have to watch what you look like in a panic. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw Bai Wishwang stepping on the void. His body turned up and down, and his long black skirt floated up. It's a pity that the sword platform is too far away, and I can't see the infinite scenery under the skirt. On the sword platform, the sword screamed like a phoenix, directly knocking over the divine back sword. And the sword energy was like a phoenix. Slashing Li Luo. The clouds are rising, and the mist hides murderous intent. A sword and a phoenix cry for tens of thousands of miles. Unexpectedly, 
You even taught her this phoenix cry move. However, is it appropriate for a girl wearing a skirt to perform such sword moves? Yu Hushuan said with a strange expression. Bai Yin stroked his forehead and said helplessly, I didn't teach her this move. I think she learned it secretly when I was teaching it to other disciples. Facing this sword attack, Li Luo quickly retracted his seven swords and turned them into a barrier in front of him. Jian Qi and Fei Jian were in a stalemate with each other. And then Li Luo found an opportunity to break it with one strike of the sky piercer sword. But as soon as he breathed a sigh of relief, the powerful power made his heart palpitate. Looking up hurriedly, Bai Wu Shuang did not pause after using Feng Cry. Instead, he was preparing a powerful sword move again. In the Wan Jin sect, the swords of most people began to tremble. The sound of sword gurgling. Looking around by Wu Shuang, the sword energy shines like stars. The first sword of the three gods. Broken star. Li Xiuju sighed, as if he had seen his son's end. The figure in black dress disappeared from Li Luo's sight at a speed that exceeded his understanding. Uh-huh. The young man's hair fell from his ears. He turned his head and looked blankly. A sword was only three inches away from his head. You lost, Bai Wushuang said softly. As the words fell, there was a roar in the sky. The broken star sword chi burst out high in the sky, washing away the clouds and erupting with dazzling light. It's like the stars are shattered. Chapter 279 The Final Battle The boy bit his lip and clenched his fists. I lost. Of course, he still had his trump card yet to be used. But in front of that amazing speed, he had no chance to use his trick. How could that happen? Everyone at Bin Wu Lijia had complicated expressions. They were both amazed at the superb swordsmanship, and also felt sorry for the young master's defeat. The other onlookers, looking at the dazzling sword energy all over the sky, could not say a word for a long time. The sword emperor's swordsmanship was once said to be the best in the world. And it was not for nothing. This broken star is just the first sword of the three heavenly gods. What kind of grace will the subsequent swords have? After Bai Wu Shuang defeated Li Luo, she breathed a sigh of relief. Then she found a certain direction and raised three fingers happily. Just when a group of people didn't understand what this action meant, Xin Feng twitched the corner of his mouth. This was Bai Wu Shuang showing him that according to the agreement last night, he defeated Li Luo in only three moves. This foodie is really amazing. Let's give her a meal tonight. Xin Feng smiled helplessly. As long as Bai Wu Shuang can defeat Li Luo, then the bet is already a certainty. After all, he has absolute confidence in his wife. The onlookers were still reminiscing about the battle between Bai Wu Shuang and Li Luo. After burning incense, the peak master of Wan Jian sect announced again that the second battle had begun. And this time the two sides fighting were Lu Jianli and Li Luo. On the sword platform, a beautiful figure in white stands opposite a handsome young man. The latter obviously had not fully recovered from the failure in the previous game, and looked a little depressed. Li Luo, are you ready? Lu Jianli opened her red lips and asked softly. The young man looked stunned for a moment, then raised his head and said in surprise. Were you talking to me just now? Lu Jianli nodded slightly. The frustration in Li Luo's eyes dissipated and was replaced by light. Lu Jianli remembered his name. What does this mean? It means that he has been recognized by the other party. At this moment, the young man felt that his fighting spirit was high. Qin Feng off the court obviously noticed this change. Shook his head and sighed. You are still young. Li Jia Li Lua. Please teach me. The young man said loudly. Good. As soon as he finished speaking, Li Luo launched all seven flying swords. And the black hairband tied on his head began to move automatically without wind. Powerful energy surged out of his body crazily. He was going to use the most powerful sword move in the ghost soldier sword box. Merging the seven swords into one place and stimulating the ghost soldier's natural magical power. Because he clearly understood that facing Lu Jianli, who had already entered the realm of the sword god. Only that move could lead to a surprise victory. Yes, he wants to win. And he wants to respond to the other party's approval. On the other side, Li Xiuju shook his head when he saw the scene and said, If we use the combined attack technique of the ghost weapon sword box, we might be able to fight Lu Jianli in two moves. It's a pity that he didn't have a clear understanding of the strength gap between the two sides. And he tried to use moves he didn't fully master to win by surprise. The result has been decided. I will go back first. Once the Sword Alliance announces the matter, I will leave it to you. Okay. Yu Hushuan nodded, and then saw the middle-aged man in purple fleeing, looking towards the sword platform again. Lu Jianli saw Li Luo gathering strength. His expression was as usual, and he raised his right hand, 
Everyone in Bingwu Lijia and the young man on the field trembled involuntarily when they saw this action. Their memories instantly drifted back to when they first asked the Jian Wanjian sect. This small action caused so much damage. Fortunately, Qing Feng considered the young man's psychological shadow and hurriedly shouted, Madam, use the sword! Lu Jianli turned his head and looked up, showing some doubts. But he still did as he was told. Opening her right hand, the sword box behind Lan Ningxuan trembled. The first thing to surge was the lightning. But this time the Hanzui sword was faster. Flying out of the sword box first, and into the hands of the beauty in white. Seeing this, everyone who had left home in Bin Wu breathed a sigh of relief inexplicably. Lu Jianli slashed out with his sword. His sword energy was as calm as water. But in this calmness, the young man on the field felt an instinctive threat. He was just about to use his strength to resist the opponent's sword energy. And then he felt his whole body fly up. The wind in my ears was very noisy. But the voices of everyone could no longer be heard. Looking down, I saw that the sword platform was shrinking at a speed that could be seen with the naked eye. Li Luo was completely stunned. Until an inexplicable force dragged him back to where Bin Wu left home. Li Xiozhu looked at the lost young man and said, There are people outside the world. And there is a sky outside the world. Today's setback may not be all bad. After returning home, practice well with Lord Siming. The other people who left home in Bin Wu also consoled him. Young master, don't be sad. Think on the bright side. At least this time you will be knocked out by a sword. As soon as these words came out, the young man looked even more lonely. The great elder walked to his side and advised. Young master, a 19-year-old sword god. You did not lose unjustly. You are still young and have plenty of time in the future. Yeah. Li Luo raised his head and glanced at his father. He was afraid that his father would be disappointed in him. But the strange thing is that the usually serious father seems to be quite relaxed at the moment. Uncle, why did my dad seem to be in a good mood when I lost? Li Luo asked uncertainly. Is there any? Young master, you are overthinking. The great elder replied with a smile. Li Luo's expression was dull. He always felt that his father and uncle were incompatible with his mood at the moment. Qin Feng off the court breathed a sigh of relief. Now that the matter is over, the bet has been settled. Then, there is the final battle between my wife and Bai Wu Shuang. Although he has enough confidence in his wife, the grace of the broken star sword cannot be underestimated. You know, that is the first sword of the three heavenly gods of sword emperor swordsmanship. If it is used later, will it pose a threat to the lady? The sun sets in the west, and the dusk dyes the sky and the earth into chrysanthemum red, adding a sense of desolation, which seems to set a solemn tone for the following showdown. On one side is Bai Wu Shuang, who has learned the Sword Emperor's supreme swordsmanship. On one side is Lu Jianli, who has entered the realm of the Sword God. The result of the battle between these two people also determines, to a certain extent, who is the most talented swordsman today. The afterglow of the setting sun shone on the sword climbing platform, illuminating the faces of the two women in white and black skirts. As beautiful as a picture scroll, Li Lu asked, Dad, who can win between these two? The realm of the sword god is a realm that countless martial artists dream of. Unless Bai Wu Shuang can unleash the final sword of the three heavenly gods, he will not be Lu Jianli's opponent. Li Xiaozhu is extremely confident. On the other side, Yu Huishuan asked, How sure do you think your daughter is? Bai Yin rubbed his chin and replied, The winning rate is naturally very small. She only has one chance with one sword. A sword? Yu Huishuan raised his eyebrows, as if he thought of something. Is she already able to use that move? Just do it. Sword Emperor Bai Yang gave an ambiguous answer. Chapter 280 Witness of History On the sword platform, Bai Wu Shuang said with a smile, I am actually not sure about fighting you. After thinking about it, I am afraid there is only one move that can pose a threat to you. It happens to be time for dinner soon. Why don't we decide the outcome with one blow? Okay. Lu Jianli responded. Then you have to be careful because this is my first time using this sword move on someone, so I can't fully control it. Bai Wu Shuang warned solemnly. Lu Jinli did not respond, but the cold water sword with the sound of gurgling water in his hand gave the best response. Seeing this, Bai Wu Shuang took a deep breath, and cold air spurted out from the ice shadow sword. The anger on both sides was overflowing, and someone's sword actually broke into pieces because it couldn't withstand the pressure. Not only that, the entire sword platform was shaking. Qin Feng felt as if a huge mountain was pressing down on his heart, making him unable to breathe. The last time I had this feeling was when Jinong City suffered an invasion. Unknowingly, 
the lady has become as powerful as the twelve divine generals. The eyeshadow sword in Bai Wu's hands began to emit bright white light, and she was channeling all her strength into the sword. At this moment, when someone looked at the sword in her hand, they felt it was dazzling and could not even fully open their eyes. Unexpectedly, at such a young age, she has already understood the final sword of the three heavenly gods. This sword double skill is worthy of its name, the old man said with emotion. The last sword. What is that? Qin Feng asked uneasily. The pure white sword light made him feel frightened. Back then, the sword emperor created the wheel-turning swordsmanship, and the three gods became one. It was famous all over the world, and was called the strongest swordsmanship by the world. There are four swords among them, including the Broken Star, which is famous for its speed. A dragon slayer known for his power. Pajun is known for his dominance. These three swords last for three days. And as for the god one, they combine the strengths of the three swords. Everyone who had seen that sword at that time said that it was unparalleled in the world. That god's sword is unparalleled. Unparalleled sword? Qin Feng swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This reputation was so great that he couldn't help but worry about his wife's safety. He hurriedly looked at the sword platform. But the beautiful figure in white did not move. He asked anxiously, What is she doing? Why doesn't she take the lead to defeat the opponent before the opponent's sword power takes shape? It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. The old man said quietly. Although the sword has not been drawn yet, the sword's power has been achieved. If he attacks rashly, Bai Wu Shuang will only catch the flaw. You guys have to remember that in a battle between real masters, the outcome is often only a split second. Then isn't my wife in danger? Qin Feng asked worriedly. The old man shook his head. If Bai Wu Shuang also steps into the realm of the sword god, this Wu Shuang move will be really difficult to deal with. But after all, she is only a divine martial artist at the peak of the fourth rank. It is still difficult to break through the realm of the third rank. While the two were talking, there were exclamations from everyone around. The blue barrier, which was like water vapor, covered the whole sword platform in the blink of an eye. Realm. She has only entered the realm of the sword god not long ago. But she can control the realm to such an extent? Bai Yin admired from the bottom of his heart. And then sighed. The winner has been decided. Bai Wu Shuang drew his sword. And everyone saw only a little white light. It's not as majestic as Broken Star. Nor does it have terrifying sword energy. It's just a little bit of white light. As if ignoring the distance in space. He appeared directly in front of Lu Jianli. In the silence. There is surging power. Lu Jianli finally moved. Raised his hand. And swung out his sword. The sword seemed to be an ordinary sword. And it just hit the white light. Bai Wu Shuang's figure appeared. With a hint of astonishment on his expression. The eye shadow sword in her hand. Was knocked away. And fell to the other side. At the same time. The blue realm fell apart in an instant and a crack spread rapidly on the surface of the sword platform, taking the impact point of the eye shadow sword as an axis. When Yu Hushuan saw this, his heart trembled. I have a bad feeling. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a loud click. The huge sword climbing platform was actually split into two from the crack. On a sword peak, Yin Zhou looked at the sword climbing platform and said with a smile, After this battle, Lu Jianli's name will be heard throughout Dakian again. She deserves to be the number one genius in swordsmanship. Qin Jianan on the side sighed when he heard this. It should be a blessing for the Qin family to have such an excellent daughter-in-law. But trouble will inevitably follow. When Lu Jianli fell into the mortal world and disappeared from everyone's sight, Fo Tian City paid much less attention to her. Now that Lu Jianli has returned to heaven and transformed into an immortal, there will definitely be people in the imperial capital who have some thoughts again. As for these secret masterminds, his son will definitely not be able to deal with them. And he, as the father, will have to worry about them. The sword climbing platform that had existed in Wan Jin's sect for hundreds of years finally came to the end of its life. Although it was an abnormal death, Yu Hushuan looked at the broken sword climbing platform, and his whole heart was bleeding. He should be the most prodigal sect leader in history. Not to mention that the sword peak was destroyed. Not to mention the mountains and rivers dried up. Now even the sword climbing platform is gone. But people's joys and sorrows are not the same. At this moment, the rest of the spectators were dancing excitedly. After all, they witnessed the contest between the strongest geniuses. They witnessed history. A battle today will probably be talked about in a hundred years. Bai Wu Shuang jumped lightly, jumped over the ravine of the sword platform, and picked up the eye shadow stuck on the ground. There was not too much frustration on her face. She just rubbed her belly, 
Yi Jian Wishuang consumed too much, and she was hungry. Yu Hushuan turned his head and looked at Sword Emperor Bai Yan. The sword platform was destroyed. And it has something to do with your daughter. Shouldn't you make appropriate compensation? Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Bai Yan. The battle of Wenjian is over. And it's time to talk to everyone about the establishment of the Sword Alliance. Don't you want to announce something so public in person? When Yu Hushuan heard this, without saying a word, he flashed his body and appeared above the cracked sword platform. Everyone! The voice was filled with energy, and it easily drowned out the noise of the crowd. Everyone came back from their excitement and looked up to the sky. It's sect leader Yu. What does he want to say? I don't know. Maybe it's for the end of this sword asking battle? Are you going to make an announcement? Li Xiaozhu looked up into the sky and said lightly. On the other side, Qin Feng was also concentrating. He also wanted to know how the three kendo masters would teach martial arts to outsiders. Seeing that everyone's attention was attracted, Yu Hushuan's expression straightened and he finally said, This sword asking battle is a competition between the three sword masters. There is also important news to announce to you. When everyone heard this, they looked at each other. Yu Hushuan paused and announced loudly, From today on, the three kendo masters will establish a kendo alliance, recruit people from all over the world, and teach the three martial arts. As soon as these words came out, it was like a drop of water falling into a frying pan, instantly exploding in everyone's mind. Chapter 281 The Kindle Alliance Still Lacks a Cook The three Kindle families want to merge together and form a Kindle Alliance to teach martial arts to the world. This is undoubtedly great news for the Shimu warriors in Dakian. You must know that since major sects and aristocratic families cherish their own broomsticks, most of the martial arts skills spread in the world are inferior. Therefore, it is difficult for a martial artist from an ordinary family to reach a realm above the sixth level in his entire life. But once the Kendo Alliance is established, as long as they join the Kendo Alliance, ordinary martial artists like them can also learn good martial arts. You can even use this to aspire to a high-level realm that you couldn't even imagine before. Qin Feng listened to the high-altitude sect master use announcement about the details of the Sword Alliance's recruitment of people, and listened to the cheers and excitement of the people around him. Feeling sad? This day is destined to be extraordinary. In the future, the structure of Daiki and Wufu is also likely to change due to the establishment of the Kindo Alliance. But while he was happy, he thought of other things. Master, the pattern of martial arts has been opened up the moment the Sword Alliance was established. So where should scholars go? There are very few literary saints in Dakian, and all the high-quality literary saints are in the Howen Academy of the Imperial Capital. This is an indisputable fact. In a sense, the literati are more introverted than martial artists, and they are more self-conscious, because ordinary scholars can't even find the threshold to get started, not to mention how to enter the next realm. Is it true that for the world, learning martial arts is the only way out? Hearing this, the old man put away his usual cynical look. Do you still remember what you heard from Yuchu and Wai? Qin Feng was stunned for a moment and didn't understand what the master said. As long as you have the world in mind, you can study anywhere. Qin Feng recalled that this sentence was said casually when the old man persuaded him to go to Howen Academy to study. He was unwilling to leave his family. Unexpectedly, Master Jianni always kept it in mind. He sighed. At that time, I had just entered the Wenshang Dao and I didn't understand anything. This sentence was just an expression of emotion. If I hadn't stepped into Tinjiuxuan, if I hadn't met you, Master, I'm afraid I would have only been able to reach the sixth level of literary saint in this life. The way forward for scholars is blocked in Fontian City's Howen Academy. This is a drawback that has been passed down since ancient times. Just like sex and major families are unwilling to teach martial arts to outsiders. But bad habits will eventually be broken. Today's three major kendo families are the best example. Qin Feng asked curiously. Master, how should we open up the situation for scholars? The old man didn't answer. He just patted him on the shoulder and said meaningfully. It depends on man-made efforts. The sword asking battle was finally over, and the crowds on the sword mounting platform dispersed like the tide. And everything that happens here will inevitably spread throughout Dakian at an extremely fast speed, and even cause huge waves in the hearts of the world. Qin Feng and others returned to their residence and began to prepare dinner. Because of Bai Wushuang's performance today, he was ready to take out all the animal meat from the bottom of the box. But the strange thing is that Bai Wushuang, who used to show up whenever he stepped in, was uncharacteristically uncharacteristic today and didn't show up for a long time. Not only her, but also my own wife. Where did the lady go? Qin Feng asked. 
Lan Ningxuang placed the dishes and chopsticks and replied. After sect leader you announced the Sword Dao Alliance. He called the young lady away. The Wu Shuang girl seemed to be with the young lady as well. Qin Feng was stunned. They were both called away at the same time. Could it be related to the establishment of the Kindo Alliance? Then let's wait. Good. After about two sticks of incense, two beautiful figures, one black and one white, came side by side. Of course, with them was that girl Bai Chiu. Bai Wu Shuang's eyes gleamed when she saw a table full of food. In just a moment, she appeared at the dining table and took out the chopsticks from her arms. A set of movements flowed smoothly without any sense of disharmony. The chopsticks stirred in the pot. And within a moment, her bowl was filled with food. After taking a sip, he immediately showed a happy expression. Dad, it's true. I have to talk about something tonight. After a day of competition, I was already starving. According to the agreement, I defeated Li Luo within three moves. Should I have a full meal tonight? No problem. Qin Feng promised. But he sighed in his heart. Why does such a beautiful woman have a mouth? At the dinner table, the scene of sisters fighting for food is naturally inevitable. Because he grabbed it too quickly, Bai Wu Shuang choked on the food and picked up a cup on the table. Several people saw this and hurriedly stopped her because she was holding a wine glass. Fortunately, it was a false alarm. Bai Wu Shuang regained his breath and continued to devour. Qin Feng asked, Why did sect leader you come to you two today? Lu Jinli stopped his movements and seemed to be thinking about his words. The beauty in the black dress swallowed the food in her mouth and said, Hey, it's nothing important at all. It's far less important than eating. For you, what could be more important than eating? Qin Feng was stunned. Didn't we announce the establishment of a Kindo alliance today? The three sword masters all need to prepare some people to join them. Here in Sword Emperor City, my father plans to let me go in to see the world. As for the Wan Jin sect, sect master you sought out Lu Jianli. Bai Wu Shuang said casually, as if he was talking about a trivial matter. Qin Feng was shocked. Could it be that his wife was leaving his side and staying in the Sword Alliance? The others also cast curious glances at Lu Jianli. Master told me that as long as I have a name in the Sword Alliance, I don't need to stay there all the time. Lu Jianli's red lips parted lightly. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this. Presumably, it was Yu Zong who wanted to use his wife's reputation to spread the reputation of the Sword Alliance and recruit more warriors from all over the world. However, the establishment of the Sword Alliance should be the first of its kind in the history of the Qian and it will definitely become a behemoth in the Qian in the future. The earlier you join, the more benefits you will get, if I can also work as an official and a part-time official. Is it equivalent to having the three Kindo Masters as my backers? The more Qin Feng thought about it, the more it made sense, and his eyes gleamed. He coughed dryly and asked, I wonder if I can also have a name in the Sword Alliance. You? Everyone looked surprised when they heard this. The old man raised his eyebrows slightly, and the father looked strange. Bai Chiu immediately snorted. Even Lan Ning Shuang and Haitin too, who had always supported him, were not optimistic. They said tactfully, Uncle, the Sword Alliance was established for the sake of the warriors of the world. As a literate Taoist, even if you join, it won't be of much use. Right? No, you don't understand. I don't want to contribute to the Sword Alliance. I just want to hug my thighs. Qin Feng said silently in his heart. At this time, Bai Wu Shuang said, I think you are very suitable to join the Sword Alliance. Oh! Qin Feng looked happy. Although this person is a foodie, he has a keen eye. Tell me, why am I suitable? Because the Sword Alliance still lacks a cook. I think you are a good fit. Bai Wu Shuang said from the bottom of his heart. She had already thought about it. If Qin Feng really became a cook in the Sword Alliance, she would not return to Sword Emperor City. When Qin Feng heard this, the smile on his face gradually faded. Chapter 282 Hugging the Thighs of the Kindo Alliance Qin Feng kept in mind what Master Bian said. Everything depends on human effort. So the next morning, under the leadership of his wife, he went to the Sec Master's Hall and met Yu Hushuan. You want to name yourself in the Sword Alliance? Yu Hushuan looked surprised. Sword Emperor Bai Yan and Li Xiaoju were also there. After all, the establishment of the Sword Alliance was announced just yesterday. Naturally, the three of them still had many details to discuss together. Upon hearing Qin Feng's words, the two of them also cast curious glances. The Sword Alliance was established to teach martial arts to the world. What does it mean for you? A literary saint. To have your name here? Yu Hushuan asked curiously. Because I want to be a pendant for the big guys. 
Jean Fong said sternly. The Swordsman League has broken the pattern of the Dakian family cherishing their brooms for themselves, which is a far-reaching significance. And I also want to contribute a small amount to it. Although I am just a scholar, I am also a doctor, as a martial artist usually practices or goes out to fight against demons and ghosts. Injuries are inevitable. Some minor injuries can naturally be treated by an ordinary doctor. But what if there is an injury such as a damaged meridian? When he arrived here, he paused and looked at the three bosses. The meaning of the words is already very obvious. Yuhashuan and the other three looked at each other in confusion, feeling that something made sense. For Takeo, it goes without saying how important a doctor with superb medical skills is. Especially for Li Xiuzhu. After all, the disadvantages of Bin Wu Lijia have long been ingrained in the family. Even if the Kendo Alliance is established, it will not be eradicated overnight. He could still remember the great elder's joy after his damaged meridians were repaired the day before yesterday. So, Li Xiuzhu was the first to speak. I think it's okay. Yu Hushuan also agreed. Both of them have already agreed. And Sword Emperor Bai Yin will naturally not say anything to refute. Just like that, Jean Feng's thigh-hugging plan was completed. Of course, he couldn't stay in the Sword Alliance forever. He just made a verbal promise. If the Sword Alliance needs a junior, it is my duty to do so. He was really familiar with this speaking technique. After the matter was finalized, Qin Feng asked again, Since this junior has joined the Sword Alliance, should I be given some certificate? Yu Hushuan raised his eyebrows. The three of us have already agreed. What other proof do you need? If you don't give me the certificate, how can I go out to show my holiness to others? How can people know that I hug the Sword Alliance's thigh? Qin Feng coughed dryly and said, After all, I can't stay in the Sword Alliance forever. If I have a certificate with me, it will be easier to enter and exit the Sword Alliance in the future. Who are you, Hushuan, and the other three? When they heard this, Qin Feng's little thoughts were seen through on the spot. Bai Yin shook his head and smiled. Since you want a certificate, I will give you one. While speaking, he took out a piece of black gold from the Sumer ring. And in Qin Feng's surprised eyes, the extremely hard black gold was suspended in the air and constantly changing forms until it turned into a token. The shape was completed. Bai Yan turned his fingers into a sword and directly carved the words Sword Alliance on the black gold token. Boy, take it. Qin Feng quickly reached out to catch it. Thank you, Senior Sword Emperor. This should be the first token of the Sword Alliance. And it was made by the Sword Emperor himself, which is of great significance. Seeing this, Li Xiaozhu pointed at the black gold token and a sword energy swept into it. He said, you heal the injury of the elder of the Li family. I should also give you some benefits. I have just injected a sword energy into the token, which can be activated in times of crisis and may save your life. Moreover, those who are away from home in Bin Wu can sense the sword energy and know that you are one of their own. Thank you. Senior Li. Qin Feng was happy and looked at Yu Hushuan with burning eyes. That look makes it clear that the two bosses have given me benefits. Shouldn't you express your gratitude as well? Yu Hushuan's eyelids twitched slightly. And then he also injected a sword energy into the token. Qin Feng finally put away the token with satisfaction. When will you leave? Yu Hushuan asked. Qin Feng glanced at Lu Jinli, who was not far away, and replied, I have been out for many days, and my family must be very worried. If there are no accidents, I should leave tomorrow. Yu Hushuan nodded. Okay, I understand. If nothing happens, I'll take my leave first. Qin Feng said, cupping his fists. At this moment, Sword Emperor Bai Yin suddenly said, In the past few days since I came to Wan Jin sect, Wish Wang has gotten a little close to you. As soon as these words came out, everyone present looked shocked. Qin Feng was even more horrified. This was obviously a myth. It was clearly your daughter who came here to enjoy the meal. He turned his head and looked at Lu Jianli. His expression was as usual, and it was hard to tell what he was thinking. But the more he looked like this, the more he felt unsure. Qin Feng just wanted to explain. To prove to a few people that he is the good man. And he is Qin Feng's majestic image. Bai Yin sighed and added, Wu Shuang is a bit greedy. I come to your place to eat every night. So you should be more considerate. However, you have made her naughty these past few nights. And when you go back, she will probably have more troubles. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this. And then said with a smile, Senior Sword Emperor, there is no need to worry. In fact, this junior has always wanted to promote his own restaurant in Dakian. If you are lucky, maybe in the near future, 
Miss Wu Shuang will be able to eat hot pot and other delicacies in Sword Emperor City. I look forward to that day. Bai Yin chuckled. Suddenly, Qin Feng thought of something and asked aloud. But how do you know? Senior, that Miss Wu Shuang comes to my place every night to have a meal. Bai Yan's smile slowly faded. And he changed the subject and said, If nothing happens, you can leave first. The three of us will continue to discuss the Sword Alliance. Qin Feng looked blank. Did I ask something I shouldn't have asked? The news of the Battle of Wenjian spread to Feng Tian City, the imperial capital, as if it had wings. For a time, the whole city was in uproar. The establishment of the Sword Alliance naturally shocked everyone. But what's even more surprising is Lu Jianli. Not only did she repair the damaged meridians, she even entered the realm of the legendary sword god. You know, she was only 19 years old. People in the city are spreading rumors that in the future Lu Jinli may be able to compete with the number one martial artist in Dagon the God Suppressing Siu. As soon as this news came, the Lu family's mansion was also visited by many royal relatives. In the lobby, a middle-aged man with a resolute face and an old man with white hair were drinking tea and sitting in the same row. The two of them naturally knew about the damage to Lu Jinli's meridians from Lan Ningxuang's letter. Originally, they wanted to visit Jinyang City. But when they were in their position, their words and deeds would be stared at. There are always many inconveniences in doing things. They didn't want the news of Lu Jinli's recovery to be known to people in the imperial capital too early. This was not only for Lu Jinli's sake, but also for the good son-in-law. Master Tianjin's divination is really good. Qin Feng is really a good match for Jinli. The middle-aged man looked pleased. But after being happy, he also frowned and said, However, after this news came, some people are afraid that they will have their thoughts again and Qin Feng may be in danger. On the day of their wedding, the two of them naturally knew that Tang Xian, the son of the minister of war, made a big fuss. However, at the beginning, the Lu family's Shenho army was involved in the war and had no skills. When they wanted to settle the score, they learned that Tang Xian was dead. I can only say that they were very happy, but they also understood that the little Tang Xian didn't have the guts to hold the Lu family's wedding, so there must be someone behind it, and his status was not low. Paper cannot contain the fire. We can only try our best to scare some people. The old man took a sip of tea and showed no anger. But there are always some flies that we can't control. The middle-aged man said worriedly. Jianli has entered the realm of the sword god. How many young people are her opponents? What's more, the ancestors of the Qin family are not much different from the Lu family. So how can they be a fuel-efficient lamp? The old man seemed to be smiling but not smiling. In the palace... A man wearing a nine python golden python robe tore a piece of white paper on the table to pieces. What was written on the white paper was the beauty poem Qin Feng wrote for Lu Jinli in the Baiwa Valley. Chapter 283 Do you want Qing'er to help you clean up the guest room? It was just dawn, and in the town at the foot of the misty peaks, two carriages were driving towards the south, smelling the fragrance of women in the carriage and looking at the beautiful lady beside him. Qin Feng couldn't help but recall the sour and smelly feet of the cheap master on the way here. This treatment is really different. He opened the curtain and looked back at the peaks of the 10,000 sword sect. This trip has come to an end. The lady stepped into the realm of the sword god and won the battle of swordsmanship. The three kendo masters also established the kendo alliance, opening up a new situation for the martial arts in the world. Seems like a good thing? But Qin Feng has not forgotten the disaster caused by the Yen Gu and the group of men in black. Although Yen Gu was killed, the true purpose of that group of people is still unknown. However, with the master's ability, he should have seen some clues. But he just didn't tell me. And the young man who ran away from home was defeated by the lady and the Wushuang girl in front of so many people this time. I wonder if he cried when he went back. Li Luo is the disciple of Lord Siming of the Southern Territory. This is the first time I know about this. Then again, why did Si Ming appoint me to join the Demon Slayer Division in the first place? Qin Feng was stunned as he lifted the jade ring around his waist. He suddenly thought of the three people he had met at the Qi Yuan Cheng restaurant. One was Li Luo, and the other was Sima Kong. The Spear Immortal. Could the last remaining man be the rumored Nan Tian Long? Just when he was in a daze, his wife's clear voice came from behind. What are you looking at? Nothing. Qin Feng shook his head, and was about to lower the car curtain. Suddenly, two familiar figures flashed past the mountain road. A handsome young man carrying a sword box and a middle-aged man wearing a gray robe with black and white broken hair hanging over his shoulders. These two people obviously also saw Qin Feng. The middle-aged man nodded and smiled. 
and the young man snorted and turned his head away. The two carriages sped away without stopping. The two figures also disappeared behind the billowing dust. But in front of Chin Fong, the curtain of the carriage where the master and his father were sitting undulated, and a piece of paper floated into the middle-aged hand in the wind. Master, what is this? Li Luo asked curiously. Yin Zhou glanced at the note in his hand, frowned slightly, and then the note was shaken away and fell into dust. He didn't answer the boy's question, but his eyes became deeper and deeper. Wa Jin Zong, the resting place where Qin Feng and his party originally stayed. Bai Wu Shuang leaned on the dining table with her elbows inside. The chef was gone, and she always felt that there was less hope for her future life. Sister, do you want to eat these meat buns? Bai Chiu asked, pointing to the buns in her sister's bowl. Bai Wu Shuang sighed again when he heard this. He was used to eating delicacies from the mountains and seas, and found these ordinary foods tasteless. Seeing that his sister didn't move, Bai Chiu tried to reach out and take the meat bun, but was slapped away. Chiu, are you sad that you didn't see your sister? Bai Wu Shuang asked. I saw it, so I thought my sister might have no appetite for food. I didn't want to waste food, so I thought of helping you solve it. As soon as he finished speaking, Bai Chiu found that one of the meat buns in his bowl was missing. Bai Wu Shuang chewed the meat buns, shook his head and said, No, when you see your sister feeling sad, you should hand over the meat buns to comfort her. You stole my food again. Bai Chiu bared his teeth and claws, trying to snatch the bun back. But how could she be Bai Wu Shuang's opponent? In the lobby, two figures, one black and one white, were flying around, the latter not even catching up with the shadow of the former. But no one noticed that at the crack of the window, the handsome man in white shook his head and sighed. None of these two daughters really made him worry. After a long time, the two people in the lobby stopped. Bai Wu Shuang rubbed his belly and suddenly asked, Xiao, do you think if I also marry Qin Feng, would I have good food to eat every day? Sister, how can you say such things? That guy is senior sister Jinli's husband. Oh, I was just talking casually. After a while, Bai Wu Shuang came up with an idea. How about I also give him the name of a lady? Just like the Sword Alliance? Xiao, do you think it's feasible? Bai Yan, outside the window felt as if he was facing a formidable enemy after hearing this. He already regretted making a token for that kid. Naturally, the journey home didn't have to be as hurried as when it came here. Four days later, Jin Feng and his party returned to Jinyang City. Looking at the familiar city gates and streets, Jin Feng sighed with emotion. Unknowingly, he had been away for nearly 20 days. He didn't know if everything was okay at home. After knocking on the door of Jin Mansion, the concierge saw the master, eldest young master and others returning and immediately called excitedly into the manor. Within a short while, the second mother and second brother rushed over in a hurry, looking at the group of people, their chests filled with longing. Although the second brother looks delicate, he is a real boy after all, and is not so sentimental. But Erin Yang was different. When she saw Qin Fong and others, her eyes turned red. During the 20 days since everyone left, there was not a day when she was not frightened. At this moment, seeing everyone return safely, the hanging heart finally let go. Father Qin sighed when he saw this scene. He felt that the Qin mansion's huge family would not be able to survive without him. He wanted to step forward to comfort his second mother. But the two of them passed by each other. The second mother came to Qin Feng and asked, Feng, did you eat well while you were away? It was a cold winter day. Did you forget to wear the clothes I asked you to bring? After some pleasantries, it was not until Qin Feng repeatedly declared that the trip went well that Ernyang gave up. Hmm. Dad coughed dryly, trying to attract the attention of Erin Yang and others. But Erin Yang ignored her at all, and instead looked at Lu Jianli, who opened her red lips and said, I'm back. The second mother held her daughter-in-law's hands and kept sighing. It will be good to come back. It will be good to come back. You have worked hard on this trip. So take a rest, and let the kitchen prepare some delicious food in the evening to warm you up. Turning around, Erin Yang met her father's eyes, and immediately complained, Master, what are you doing here? Go to the kitchen and tell the servants to cook. Father Qin immediately froze on the spot. He had obviously left the Qin mansion for nearly 20 days. So why was he treated so differently? When everyone entered the Qin mansion, the father had not yet come to his senses. He always felt that his presence as the head of the family was a little low. After a while, a person approached. Qin Jianan turned his head and saw that the person who came was Qin Feng who had left and returned. Dad? My second mother is looking for you. Hearing this, 
Xin Jianan suddenly realized. So that's it. Your mother-in-law doesn't have much face. She couldn't express her longing for me in front of so many people just now. So I asked you to come find me privately. Qin Feng had a strange look on his face when he heard this. Dad, what are you talking about? Erin Yang just asked me if you had gone out to have sex during the days I left. Dad's expression froze. How did you answer? I said I don't know. Qin Feng replied truthfully. I don't know. How come you don't know? Haven't I been with you all the time? Your mother-in-law is suspicious by nature. If you answer like this, aren't you hurting me? Dad, after arriving at Wanjin sect, I often don't see your people. Who knows what you have been doing? I can't deceive my second mother. Qin Feng shrugged. Dad's mouth opened slightly, but he hesitated to speak. He hurriedly wanted to go into the house to explain. But Qin Feng called out. That's right. Dad, what happened again? Would you like Qing'er to help you clean up the guest room? Dad, Chapter 284 I'm probably sick. At night, a crescent moon hangs on the branches. And the moonlight shines on the window paper. Like a layer of water. Qin Feng looked up through the half-open window. Although the moonlight in Jinyang City was not as good as the drunken butterfly peak of Wanjin sect. After all, he was at home. And even the moonlight sky looked particularly friendly. He looked at the sky with his spiritual consciousness. And when he looked up, he saw that there were still densely packed white life stars. And most of his good mood about returning home faded away. Ever since he knew the way to enter the destiny realm of the sixth grade Gua, he would observe the sky every night, looking for his own destiny star. But the pure white light left him at a loss. He also thought that if it didn't work, he would give it up and find a white life star to enter the sixth level realm as soon as possible. In this way, you can also improve your cultivation level as quickly as possible. After all, this world is too dangerous, and he can't always hide behind his wife. But after thinking about it carefully, he still gave up the idea, whether it was Shenwu, Baigui or Wenshang Taoism. Only by laying a solid foundation in the front. Can you be far ahead of others at the same level in the back? Oh, it's nice to show it off for a while. But you still have to make more plans for the future. Qin Feng has made up his mind. He went to Wanjin sect before, but was entangled in too many trivial matters and neglected his practice. So he will not sleep tonight. He has to stay up late to observe the destiny stars trying to find a blue or purple destiny star to draw his energy. Just when his fighting spirit was high, the door of the room was suddenly pushed open, and a beautiful figure in white stepped in lightly, seeing the look on Xiaofei's cheeks. Qin Feng vaguely guessed something. The doors and windows were closed, and the lights in the room were instantly extinguished just like last time. As the beautiful figure in white came closer and closer, Qin Feng's newly born fighting spirit disappeared in an instant. Compared with practicing, he feels that avenging shame is more important. Would you like to rest early? Her breath was like orchid in her ears. And the lady's clear voice was as low as a mosquito. Okay. Qin Feng took a deep breath and clenched his fists hard. Tonight is the time for him to prove himself. The next day, Lu Jinli stood up and dressed. She looked back at Qin Feng, who was still lying on the bed with a dazed expression. She said softly with a blush on her face. I'm leaving first. Today I have to guide Ning Shuang's practice. Okay, Qin Feng replied, and then heard the sound of the door being gently closed. He never expected that not only did the time not lengthen this time, it actually shortened by three minutes. I'm probably sick. Otherwise it wouldn't be like this. Qin Feng murmured to himself. He would not admit that he was incompetent. He only felt that the enemy was too powerful. After Qin Feng had breakfast, he came to the courtyard and heard the sound of gold. With a bang, a figure staggered back and upon closer inspection. It was heightened too. Xing Sheng's hands holding the halberd were trembling a little. And he couldn't help but sigh. We haven't seen each other for so long. And the second master's martial arts have improved further. Now I can't even resist one of your moves. Qin Feng opened his eyes, and looked at his second brother. The energy in the latter's body was much stronger than when he left the Qin mansion. It seemed that during this period, his second brother had not neglected his cultivation. Moreover, the blow that the second brother and Hei Tan Tu just exchanged seemed simple. But there was always something inexplicable in the sword energy. That was the sword intention. Looking up in the air. The sword energy left by Dao Kuangjin Tiani has not dissipated. It seems that the second brother has understood some gods and intentions from the sword energy through long-term observation. Such a damn enviable talent. Brother! Uncle! When the two saw Qin Feng, they greeted him. Qin Feng approached and asked. How is it? 
When do you think you will be able to step into the fifth level divine realm? He has not forgotten that Master Dao Kuang said at the beginning that when his second brother reaches the fifth level, he will take him to explore the southern territory to improve his cultivation and horizons. Chinan thought for a moment and then replied, According to the method that my elder brother told me before, I can control my strength and step on the lake. But if you want to fly into the sky, you still can't figure it out. There is no need to rush this. Haste makes waste. If you take every step steadily, you will be able to go further and further. Okay, brother. By the way, there is one more thing. I don't know why, but I always feel that the blood in my body turns into energy much faster now than before. Before taking the blood chi pill, it often took three days to condense the energy. But since the disaster of Jinong City's invasion of the city, the speed has been increased by half. The second brother didn't know why. So he wanted to find out from Qin Feng. Hei Tan Tu heard this and said, I have the same feeling about this. Qin Feng rubbed his chin. Thoughtfully, Before I entered the seventh rank, my literary energy accumulated much faster than before. This may be related to the manifestation of dragon veins in Jinong City. Mr. Sher once told me that the land of dragon veins, with its outstanding people and spirits, has all kinds of wonderful effects. But I still don't know why. Qin Feng thought of something and turned to look at Xing Sheng. The imperial capital is the place where the most dragon veins gather. Didn't you feel this way when you were in Fontian City? Hei Tan Tu heard this and shook his head. Qin Feng frowned slightly when he saw this. Could it be that he had guessed wrong? The rapid improvement of cultivation has little to do with dragon veins? However, apart from the manifestation of dragon veins, Jinong City has no other changes. Wait, could it be because of the establishment of Warong Dao? Qin Feng was puzzled. He knew too little and could only speculate based on existing clues. Later, asked the master. He is well informed and should know the reason. The few of them chatted for a while. And the second brother seemed to have thought of something. And suddenly said, I almost forgot. Three days ago, shopkeeper Peng returned to Jinyang City and came to the house to find my eldest brother. Seeing that you were not there, I went back again. Shopkeeper Peng? Qin Feng was stunned. He left Jinong City for nearly 20 days, and he must have made arrangements for the Wangyuaja branch in Chihuan City. Okay, I understand. I'll go to Wang Yu residence to find him later. After leaving Qin Mansion, he came to Wang Yu residence. This time, Qin Feng did not bring any guards. After all, Ning Chuang and Madam went out to practice, and Haiden too also had to spar with his second brother. The current Jinong City can be regarded as half a heavenly city and the public security is much better than before. In addition, he has entered the 7th level righteousness realm. As long as he uses the Haokian mirror, ordinary 6th level martial artists cannot hurt him at all. This has been confirmed by the 10,000 sword sect. After going back and forth like this, Qin Feng felt that he was, okay, again, even without a guard. It was more than enough to protect himself. Wang Yi residence was still as crowded as before. When the waiter who greeted guests saw Qin Feng, he immediately stepped forward to greet him warmly. Shopkeeper Pung in the restaurant heard the commotion and hurried over. Young master, I finally got you back. Qin Feng saw his appearance and asked curiously. What's wrong? But the branch opened and Qi Yuan Cheng encountered a problem. The establishment of the branch did encounter twists and turns. But fortunately, there was no danger. Chapter 285 Sister Mo's child is already this old. In the exchange with Shopkeeper Pung, Qin Feng finally understood the ins and outs of the matter. The three land deeds given to him by Governor Li were located in the most prosperous streets of Chihuan City. It can be said that it was a treasure land that most powerful and wealthy businessmen dreamed of. As the saying goes, a man is not guilty of carrying a jade. If such a treasured land is obtained by a person from an outside city, it is natural that some people will become red-eyed and look for quarrels and troubles. Therefore, when the branch was first established, people often came to make trouble. But when shopkeeper Pung was at a loss, a middle-aged man who called himself Jubiozai came to help. The middle-aged man obviously had a high status. After he came forward, all problems were solved. Do you know what the middle-aged man is called? Qin Feng had a vague guess in his mind. I don't know the specific name, but those who cause trouble respectfully call him Master Emo. Master Emo? It is most likely Emo Lintian. Yun's guard Qin Feng raised his eyebrows slightly. That Mr. Emo not only solved those troublesome matters, but also asked me to give this face jade pendant to you, the eldest young master. While speaking, shopkeeper Ping took out a jade pendant from his arms. Qin Feng took the jade pendant 
and scanned it with his spiritual consciousness. There were several cash boxes containing silver, presumably the profits from Immortal Zay's auction. In addition, there is an envelope inside. He opened it and saw that the handwriting on the letter was beautiful and had the style of a famous writer. It should have been written by the guy disguised as a man. After all, the other party had always disliked his ugly handwriting. The content of the letter was quite simple. It just talked about the silver from the auction of Immortal Zui and the handling fee that she had deducted. When Qing Feng saw the high handling fee, his eyelids jumped and he cursed the profiteer in his heart. In addition, the letter also mentioned their cooperation in opening a Wanguaja branch. Originally, Yun wanted to come back in person and have a detailed discussion in person, but she seemed to be very busy and couldn't get away at all. Moreover, after the establishment of Warong Road in the Southern Territory, demons and ghosts appeared frequently in various places in the Southern Territory. Considering her own safety, she did not dare to move around at will. So she sent Emo Lintian to come. Qing Feng put away the letter, but felt a little curious in his heart. Jubio's eye can be found all over Dakian, and there are people from Fontian City backing them. It is normal for powerful businessmen to want to sell Jubio's eye to save face. But Yin is just the young master of Yulin City. So it would be fine if she personally stepped in to deal with those young men in Qi Yuan Cheng. Why can one of her guards have so much energy? He was even respectfully called Master M.O. Qing Feng always felt that he still underestimated the guy who was disguised as a woman. Maybe the other person's identity was far higher than he thought. The branch in Qi Yuan City has been established. And I have sent trustworthy people to take care of it. I think there will be no problems. Then, shopkeeper Peng explained many things. After listening, Qin Feng nodded with satisfaction. Thank you for your hard work. It's an honor for me to share the worries of the eldest young master. It's almost lunchtime. Do you want to arrange a private room for the eldest young master and eat before leaving? Shopkeeper Peng asked respectfully. Qin Feng glanced at the sunshine outside the window and shook his head. There is no need for a private room. I still like to eat in the lobby on the first floor. It is lively. Okay, I'll make arrangements for you right now. Business at Wang Yueju is booming, and the lobby on the first floor is always crowded. The seat arranged by shopkeeper Peng was a window seat. After Qin Feng sat down, his ears were filled with the noise and laughter of everyone. It sounds very friendly. Qin Feng likes to sit in the crowd, eavesdrop, and listen to the anecdotes told by the people. After all, people here come from all walks of life, and when they travel around, what they see and hear is naturally different. Just as Qin Feng was eating and listening with great interest, a charming but familiar voice came into his ears. It was an extremely satisfied sound of, hmm, the woman's voice is full of magnetism, making people want to stop listening to it. Qin Feng was curious and looked for the sound, only to see a beauty in black robe standing sideways. Her hair is tied up on top of her head. Her profile is delicate. Her complexion is as white as snow. And the beauty mark on the right corner of her mouth shows off her charm. She has an excellent figure, with peaks and turbulent waves, and her beautiful back wrapped in black robe can be seen at a glance. Whenever a man passes by her, he will subconsciously arch his body, like a cooked prawn. Qin Feng's eyes widened. This beauty in black robe was none other than Sister Emo, who had left without saying goodbye. He stood up in surprise, and wanted to get closer, and ask the other party where he had been these days. But halfway through, his figure suddenly stopped. His line of sight was blocked just now. So he hadn't seen that she was not the only one at the table where Sister Mo was sitting. On the other side of the table, there was a little girl about about his waist. Her hair is tied into a double bun. And her face is as delicate and delicate as a doll. Although her face has not yet fully grown. It is not difficult to imagine how stunning this girl will be in the future. Especially her big, bright eyes, which seem to be glowing with light. Making people feel happy when they see them. Who is this girl and what is her relationship with Sister Mo? Qin Feng walked closer and heard the little girl calling inarticulately, Mother. He was stunned on the spot. What's the situation? We haven't seen each other for a few days. But Sister Mo's child is already this old. Even if the demon clan is not like humans and pays attention to the 10-month pregnancy period, is the efficiency of giving birth to babies and raising babies too high? Qin Feng had mixed feelings in his heart, including happiness that Sister Mo had become a mother, but also a trace of loss that he didn't know why. Hearing this, the beauty in black robe swallowed the food in her mouth and reminded, My young master, how many times have I told you that you want to call me aunt? Not mother. The pretty little girl tilted her head and said vaguely, Auntie, I want that plate of meat. Well, 
I got it right this time. The black robe beauty was very satisfied, and then scraped the plate of meat into her bowl. When the little girl saw this, she blinked her eyes, feeling aggrieved, and then there was a sound like thunder. What happened? Thunder? Everyone in the hall was startled, as the thunder seemed to explode in their ears. But they turned their heads and looked out the window. There were no clouds in the sky, and the sun was shining brightly. How could there be thunder? Ching Feng was stunned. The titles of mistress and aunt, coupled with a deafening sound. At this point, how could he not understand that this strange little girl was the little beast in the black mist forest? Yes, yes, I identified it back then and found that the little beast was indeed female. Unexpectedly, it turned into a human form? Just when Chin Feng was shocked, the little girl sniffed with her beautiful nose and then looked up. When she saw Chin Feng, an expression of joy suddenly appeared on her face. After hurriedly falling down from the chair, kicking her legs, the little girl jumped up and threw herself into Chin Feng's arms. Dad! The little girl yelled. Everyone in the hall looked for fame, glanced at the black robe beauty, and then at the little girl, all showing envy. Chin Feng looked dull. Chapter 286 The Secret of the Dragon Vein Land This shout of, Dad, caught him off guard. The beauty in black robe looked sideways, saw Chin Feng, and called out with a smile. Brother! Long time no see. Then she stood up, swayed her waist, and moved with lotus steps. After all, Sister Mo's real body is a black snake. This water snake twisted its waist, which made all the men around see it, and they couldn't stand it. The beauty came to her side, took off the little girl who was hugging Chin Feng tightly, and solemnly warned, My little master, I told you, parents can't scream. You can call him, brother. The little girl tilted her head, and put her fingers to her mouth and asked curiously. When Chin Feng heard this, he stumbled and almost lost his balance. Sister Mo laughed so hard that her branches trembled. Little master, I called you brother. You can call him brother. Brother, the little girl said crisply. Yeah. Chin Feng smiled a little reluctantly, mainly because the sights of those around him were so intriguing. Moreover, he also heard someone whispering there. That person seems to be Dr. Chin. No need to pretend. That's Dr. Chin. But who is that beauty in black robe? I remember that it was not her that Dr. Chin married. This relationship is a bit complicated. The little girl calls him daddy, and the woman calls him brother. Could it be that? Chin Feng couldn't listen anymore and sat down on his seat, trying to divert his attention by chatting. Sister Emo, why did you leave without saying goodbye before? I thought something happened to you. Sister Emo picked up a piece of meat, rolled her tongue out, and swallowed it because she was so fast. No one noticed anything strange. As she ate, she recounted what had happened. It turns out that the little beast is about to break through and needs to find a place to transform. And due to the special nature of the little beast, the place where it transforms must be a place with strong winds. In desperation, Sister Mo could only take it and leave without saying goodbye. It was not until the little beast successfully transformed into its shape not long ago that they returned here. Originally, when I left, I wanted to inform you. But when I arrived outside Jinyang City, I didn't feel your breath. So I left directly, Sister Emo said, stroking her cheek. Jin Feng nodded. At that time, he went to Chiyuan City with Master Sher, and the two parties happened to miss it. He then asked some other questions, during which the little girl beside him kept restless and squeezed into his lap. Then he raised his head, blinked his big eyes, and looked at him expectantly. At first, Chin Feng didn't understand what was going on with this little girl. But after a while, he suddenly realized that her eyes were very similar to those of the cat in his previous life. Could it be? Chin Feng had a guess in his mind. And then he put his hand on the little girl's head and rubbed it gently. Within a moment, the little girl showed a happy look on her face, looking like she was enjoying herself very much. Sure enough, my 18 cat stroking movements were still fresh in her memory. And Chin Feng secretly rejoiced. What are you doing to the little master? Sister Mo frowned slightly. The little master has never been so intimate to her. It's nothing. I'll help her take care of her hair. Chin Feng coughed dryly. By the way, what should I call her? Before Sister Mo could answer, the little girl in her arms pointed at herself and said crisply, Shao Bai. Shao Bai. Not a bad name. Chin Feng smiled, knowing that everyone, both senior and junior, were foodies. He greeted the waiter and served loads of food, which made Xiaobai's eyes gleam. Are you still leaving when you come back this time? Chin Feng asked. 
I won't leave for now. The dragon veins are manifesting here. It is an excellent place for practice for me and my little master. Thinking about it now, when my eldest sister wanted us to practice in the Black Mist Forest, she might have known that there were dragon veins hidden here and spiritual energy would be born. Sheen Fong raised his eyebrows. Huh? Will spiritual energy be born in the land of dragon veins? This is nature. The land of Dragon Vein is uniquely endowed with the ability to gather the essence of heaven and earth and turn it into spiritual energy. In addition to the Tianqing occupied by your human race, which is the place where Dragon Veins gather, there are actually many Dragon Vein places occupied by powerful beings. Just like the Loom Master's mother, my eldest sister, occupies the land of three Dragon Veins in the western region of Dakian. Sister Emo said proudly. Three? Chin Fong exclaimed. He suddenly felt that the sound was too loud. He hurriedly covered his mouth and looked around. But there was no reaction from the people around him. Don't worry. Their perceptions have been blocked by me. Sister Emo put the tripe into her mouth and chewed it with a crunching sound. Chin Fong breathed a sigh of relief. But was extremely shocked. If one demon occupies three dragon veins, how incredible is its strength? And the little one in her arms is actually the daughter of that kind of being. It's a thigh. I have to hold it tightly. Chin Fong narrowed his eyes slightly. And then with a smile on his face, he put some meat into the little girl's arms. Xiao Bai, eat more. There is still not enough. Yeah. Xiao Bai nodded. However, Sister Emo, since Xiao Bai's mother occupies three dragon veins in the western region, why don't you practice in the western region and come to remote places like the southern region instead? Qin Fong asked the doubt in his heart. The land of dragon vein will naturally be coveted by many powerful beings. Although the eldest sister is powerful, and has conquered most of the western region. It is rare to encounter an opponent, but she has no skills at all. She was worried about the safety of the little master. So she led us to the southern region and found this place. Thinking about it, she wanted to wait until the day when she was truly invincible in the western region before bringing me and my little master back, Sister Emo said casually. Chin Feng's eyelids twitched. This leg might be thicker than he thought. Sister Emo, you said that spiritual energy would be born in the land of dragon veins. But why have I never felt it? It's just that the speed of cultivation improvement is faster. Chin Fong asked curiously. He has the power of double pupils and can see things that ordinary people cannot see. On weekdays, he would often use his pupil technique and observe his surroundings. Apart from the green yin chi, he had never seen any so-called spiritual energy. The beauty in black robe obviously knew the inside story and replied. The root of all this is the dragon suppressing monument set up by your human race. Dragon suppressing monument? Isn't that a treasured weapon that suppresses dragon vein spirits? Chin Fong said in surprise. That thing can indeed suppress the dragon vein spirit and prevent the breath from leaking out. But it will also contain all the spiritual energy born in the dragon vein land. However, during this process, some aura will still be released. Which is also the reason why your cultivation level will improve faster. Chin Fong opened his mouth wide when he heard this. He could never have guessed this. He only felt that the real purpose behind the construction of the dragon suppressing monument might be far more complicated than what appeared on the surface. By the way, Sister Emo, after the dragon veins were revealed in Jinong City, Sheng Gongfeng came here to build a protective barrier. How did you enter the city? Qin Feng suddenly thought of this. Oh, you mean that thing? It's really a headache. But fortunately, my eldest sister once taught me a way. Just use a shielding weapon to hide the aura. I happen to have something similar on me. That's it. Chin Fong nodded. But after entering the city, there were still a few blind guys who made trouble for me. After I knocked them unconscious, they threw them on the roadside. Sister Emo stirred the red soup with chopsticks, as if she was talking about a trivial matter. But Chin Fong suddenly became nervous. He always had a bad feeling. At this moment, Wang Yu residence was enveloped by a burst of energy, and a familiar voice sounded outside the restaurant. The Demon Slayer Division is slaying demons. And everyone else is waiting to retreat. Chapter 287 Conflict Everyone in Wang Yu residence was still curious about what happened. When a group of people wearing demon slaying uniforms ran in. The two leaders are Yang He and Zhang Tianan. They quickly glanced at the lobby and quickly landed on Qin Feng's table. Yang He said in surprise. Qin Feng, when did you come back? Before Qin Feng could answer, he saw the beauty in black robe and immediately felt like he was facing a formidable enemy. Qin Feng, come here quickly. That woman is in danger. Qin Feng's face twitched. Things had indeed evolved to this point. 
but he had doubts about the ability of the Demon Slayer Division. If Sister Mo is really a vicious demon, wouldn't it mean that everyone in Wang Yu residence would be put to death if Yang He and others came to eliminate the demon like this? Then, Yang He spoke again. Qin Feng, don't be afraid. We have set up a boundary formation outside Wang Yu Jue. So this monster strength must be limited. What are the others doing in a daze? Run away quickly. Before everyone could react. According to the words of the Demon Slayer Division, the beauty in black robe was not a human, but a demon? But where in this world can there be such a beautiful monster? Qin Feng stood up and wanted to explain. But Xiao Bai and his arms couldn't sit still. Not long after she transformed, she was not proficient in human language. So she spoke indistinctly. It's so noisy. After the words fell, her little mouth opened, and then an air cannon was shot out. Just like that little sneeze in the dark foggy forest. But the power cannot be underestimated. Boom! With a loud noise, the door of Wang Yu residence shattered. Yang He, Zhang Tianan and other demon slayers looked confused when they saw this scene. If this move falls on them instead of targeting the door, the consequences will be disastrous. It turns out that little girl is also a demon. Qin Feng, let her go quickly. Yang He said anxiously. The people in the lobby also came to their senses, panicked and wanted to escape. But the next scene not only stunned the people, but also Yang He and others. Qin Feng picked up Xiao Bai and asked, Why did you break the door of the restaurant? Xiao Bai weakly replied, Because they disturbed me while I was eating, and I wanted to scare them. I know you want to scare them, but there are many ways to scare them. Why do you have to break the door? Do you know how much money it will cost to repair the door? Qin Feng looked distressed. The gate of Wang Yu residence is made of one Wally wood, which is expensive. I'm sorry. Xiao Bai blinked his eyes, looking endearing. Qin Feng softened, rubbed the other person's little head, sighed and warned, Don't do this next time. You know? New. Yeah. Good boy. Yan he opened his mouth wide, and Zhang Tian and also had a look of shock on his face. Qin Feng, a little demon with such terrifying methods, was lecturing him as if he were his own child. Qin Feng, you? Do you know them too? Qin Feng put Xiao Bai back on the chair and replied, They too are my friends. I think there should be some misunderstanding between you. Believe me, they will not pose a threat to Jin Yang City. Everyone in the Demon Slayer Division looked at each other, their guarded expression slightly relieved. At this time, a man covering the back of his head said loudly, What is the misunderstanding? Don't be fooled by their appearance. I originally guarded the gate well, but when I saw the two of them entering the city, I just wanted to register them as a routine. Unexpectedly, the woman in black robe knocked me and another colleague out indiscriminately, and then threw them to the roadside. My colleague and I clearly did not provoke her. Hearing this, Qin Feng turned his head and looked at Sister Emo, who was still picking up vegetables quickly. The latter raised her eyebrows slightly and avoided looking, obviously feeling guilty. When Yan He heard these words, for safety reasons, he used the sound transmission method of Baigui and said, Qin Feng, you come here first. Maybe the demon locking formation has sealed their strength. So they did not show a fierce look. We will make a decision after escorting them to the demon slaying division and handing them over to Lord C. Jung Zhou. Don't worry. If these two demons are harmless, Mr. Zhou will not make things difficult for them. Qin Feng looked confused. The beauty in black robe suddenly put down the bowl and chopsticks and said displeasedly, You still have to speak secretly. What's so shameful about it? Demon locking formation? Are you talking about that paper-like thing outside? Sister Emma immediately snapped her fingers. Wang Yueji trembled, and then heard the sound of something breaking. Under Qin Feng's eyes, he could clearly see a faint blue light receding like a tide. Yang He was stunned. The demon locking formation is broken. If this demon locking formation had been used by the new old guy from the demon slaying department, I might have had a headache or two. But if it were you, it would have been a waste of effort. If you have nothing to do, just leave quickly and don't disturb me eating. If there's going to be a fight, and you're not qualified enough, call that old guy over. I haven't done anything for a while, so I can stretch my muscles, Sister Emo said casually. It's so rampant. Yang He was so angry that his whole body trembled. Lord C. Jungjo is the 36th star of the Demon Slaying Division. How could he be summoned by a monster with an old guy on his left and an old guy on his right? Seeing that the atmosphere suddenly became tense, Qin Feng hurriedly smoothed things over and said, Brother Yang, this is Sister Mo's character. You must not take her seriously. 
Sheen Feng. You don't have to say anything. I'm going to find Mr. Zhou and collect this monster. Yang He shouted. As soon as he finished speaking, outside the gate of Wang Yueju, another figure stepped in. The visitor was none other than Zhou Ziming. He first glanced at the Demon Slayer division and then at the black-robed woman. He couldn't help but sigh. A dragon vein appears in Jinong City. How dare you enter the city at will? You are really not afraid of anything. Do you want to kill the monster? Sister Mo held her chin with one hand, stirred the red soup with chopsticks and said, I'll come when I want. What can you do to me? As soon as these words came out, before Sher Ziming could speak, Yang, he couldn't help it anymore. This is too much. Master Sher, please watch her here. I'll go to the Demon Slayer department to find Master Zhou and subdue this monster. When Sher Ziming heard this, he turned his head and looked at Yang He with a strange expression. This young man has no idea how terrifying this black-robed woman is. If Mr. Zhou had the confidence to deal with it, he wouldn't have been able to send him here. Sher Ziming ignored Yang He and said to the black-robed woman again, That's all. As long as you don't do anything extraordinary. You can come to Jinyang City if you like. Although the mission of the Demon Slayer Division is to kill monsters and monsters, they turn a blind eye to those monsters that do not threaten the human race. After all, they don't want to make powerful enemies in vain. Yang he said in surprise. Master Sher, how can a monster be allowed to enter this majestic place with dragon veins? No matter how strong she is, we don't have to be afraid of her. After all, Lord Zhou is here. As soon as he finished speaking, Zhou Kai's voice rang in everyone's ears. 600 miles to the west of Jinyang City, there are mountain ghosts making trouble. Yang he, you set off immediately to kill them. Only after half a month is it confirmed that Wushan Ghost has harmed the people. Can it be returned? The rest of the people should all return to the Demon Slayer Division. When Yang He heard this, he froze on the spot. Chapter 288 Your Father is Not Simple Familiar Recipe Familiar Taste Qin Feng twitched the corner of his mouth and roughly guessed what it was. Mr. Zhou didn't have the confidence to deal with Sister Mo. And he didn't want to make enemies for no reason. So he sent Mr. Sher over to settle the matter. But Yang He obviously didn't understand this and kept saying that he wanted to call Mr. Zhou to come over and deal with Sister Mo. And with Mr. Zhou's urinary nature, he must have been monitoring this place with his soul. So he couldn't bear it anymore and put on Yang He's shoes. If you always ask the leader to do things that the leader cannot accomplish, isn't that just making yourself unhappy? Sher Ziming patted Yang He's shoulder, shook his head inside, and then called everyone back to the Demon Slayer division. But before leaving, he told Qin Feng, Boy, I'll leave these two to you. Don't worry. Master Sher. Qin Feng replied, after everyone from the Demon Slaying Division left, the turmoil was finally settled. However, the noisy atmosphere of everyone eating in the lobby just now is gone. The movement of the people is much quieter, and they will glance at it from time to time. This result was also expected by Qin Feng. Sister Emo and Xiao Bai turned a blind eye to this and continued to eat happily there. After they were satisfied with their meal, Qin Feng asked, Next, do you still want to return to the Black Mist Forest? The beauty in black robe stretched out, and the uneven curves made people's blood rush. Qin Feng coughed dryly and looked away without leaving a trace. Xiao Bai followed suit and stretched, but it was just mediocre. Black Mist Forest? I'm not going back. Since it's known that Dragon Vane is in Jinong City, practicing in the city will naturally get twice the result with half the effort. Qin Feng nodded after hearing this. Although according to Sister Emo, the Dragon Suppressing Monument contains most of the aura bred by the Dragon Veins. The missing aura still has the effect of accelerating cultivation. At this time, he suddenly thought of something and asked again, But, do you have a place to live in the city? As soon as he said this, Qin Feng saw the beauty in black robe looking towards him and winking playfully. The meaning of that look couldn't be more obvious. Qin Feng brought Sister Emo and Xiao Bai back to Qin Mansion. When the concierge saw that his eldest young master had brought back two girls, one older and one younger, his eyes widened and he imagined a series of plots in his mind. After saying a simple H, lo, he hurried to the lobby to report the matter to the head of the house and his wife. Qin Feng said, My father and heir Nyan are reasonable and they will let you live here. When you see them, just say H, lo. Sister Mo looked around casually and Xiao Bai nodded happily. Within a moment, Dad and Air Nyan arrived at the gate. The father looked at the woman in black robe and frowned slightly. Sister Emo also looked at Father Qin with a solemn expression. With her strength, when facing this middle-aged man, 
she actually felt an instinctive fear deep in her heart. But the scene of the two looking at each other had a different interpretation in Ernyang's eyes. She seemed to be smiling but not smiling. Master, what are you looking at? When Father Chin heard this, he quickly looked away. I didn't see anything. Ernyang snorted coldly and looked at the woman in black robe as if facing a formidable enemy. Sister Emo is not the kind of young and beautiful girl, but the kind of mature and beautiful woman. Ernyang knows that this kind of woman is very attracted to men. She looked alert. Boom! Who are these two? Before Qin Feng could speak, Xiaobai said in a crisp voice, Dad! As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked, and Father Qin froze on the spot. The servants on the side also widened their eyes when they heard this. They felt that the melon was a bit too big. Master! What on earth is going on? Tell me quickly. When did you know this person? He is as big as a child. Ernyang shouted. Madam, don't think nonsense. This girl is barking nonsense. I don't know her at all. Dad's defense sounded so weak to everyone. Chin Fong was happy to see his father frustrated and stood aside to watch the show without immediately coming forward to explain. Just when Ernyang was about to question her father, Xiao Bai said crisply again, Mom! The air was quiet at this moment. Everyone was stunned with shock. Could this thing be reversed? What did you call me? Ernyang was stunned and asked uncertainly. Mother! Ernyang couldn't bear the stimulation. She staggered and almost fell down. Fortunately, her father had quick eyesight and quick hands and caught her in time. Boom! What on earth is going on? In the lobby, after listening to Qin Feng's explanation, Dad and Ernyang looked at Sister Emo and Xiao Bai. Ernyang looked surprised. How could she have thought that this black robe beauty and the little girl carved in pink and jade could actually be monsters? Qin Feng solemnly said to Xiao Bai, Mom and Dad are what I call them. If you want to call them, you can call them uncle and aunt. Xiao Bai nodded, and then said crisply to his father and second mother, Uncle, aunt. When Aaron Yang heard this, she looked at Xiao Bai, and her heart melted when she saw her pleasing appearance. This Xiao Bai looked so much like in her when he was a child. Red lips, white teeth, extraordinary beauty. Hey, come here and let Andy give her a hug. Ernyang opened her arms. Xiaobai glanced at Qin Feng, and after seeing the latter nodding, he cautiously stepped forward and was embraced by Ernyang. Feng, since they two have no place to live, let them stay. Let Qing er tidy up the guest room later, Ernyang said with a smile. At her age, what she hopes most is to have a grandson or granddaughter and enjoy family happiness. Unfortunately, Under wasn't married yet, and there wasn't much movement from Fonger. Now that she saw Xiao Bai, she felt like she was seeing her own granddaughter, and she was naturally very happy. Okay, Er Nyang, Qin Feng replied, after asking Qing Er to clean up the guest room. Qin Feng settled down Sister Mo. He was just about to go to the kitchen to tell his servants to prepare more dinner when he heard Sister Mo's charming voice. That man just now was your biological father? Qin Feng raised his eyebrows. Of course, he is my biological father. What do you mean by this? Your father is not simple. He actually makes me feel heart palpitated. The last time I felt this way was my eldest sister. Sister Emo said curiously. Huh? Don't be kidding. My dad is just an ordinary person. Hearing this, the black robe beauty stared at Chin Fong for a long time. She couldn't see anything strange. And then she slowly looked away. Since you don't know, just pretend that I didn't ask. Not knowing why. Qin Feng left the guest room, but his mind kept thinking about what Sister Emo just said. Sister Emo is quite afraid of even the 36-star Master Zhou. If you want to make her heart palpitate, you must at least reach the level of the 12 Divine Generals. But Dad, Qin Feng shook his head and laughed. It was difficult for him to overlap the 12 Divine Generals with that bastard. He just felt that Sister Emo was wrong. But as he was walking, he suddenly stopped. For some reason, the figure of Master Ghost appeared in his mind and his figure gradually overlapped with his father's. Qin Feng knew that this idea was absurd, but it took root in his mind, lingering and even getting stronger. Chapter 289 Dad What are you doing? If it were before, Qin Feng would never be able to associate his father with the famous ghost head. But when Sister Emo said this, he suddenly realized that many things were too coincidental. First of all, Master Guisho lives in seclusion in Jinan City. Secondly, Whenever Jinong City or he and the Qin family are in danger, Lord Ghost Chief can always appear in time. The more Qin Feng thought about it, the more frightened he became. 
the ancestor of the Qin family was a third-class general who controlled the country. Even if the talents are withered and the family is in decline, it still feels too strange to have reached this stage. And every time dad goes out to do business, he always comes back safely. Although he will ask people from the Demon Slayer division to escort him, he has never encountered any danger. It is too unscientific. And the hundred ghosts walk through the night. Dad said he was looking for his lost money bag, but he ended up in a brothel. Just when he disappeared, Master Ghost appeared and killed the demon with his absolute strength. The timing of the appearance of Dad and Lord Ghost is always staggered. Chin Fong was hesitant. But, is Dad's unreliable appearance really the ghost leader? At first, he injured his back due to the Chong Yuan formation in the courtyard. Unless, his usual performance is just pretending. But is this possible? How can a person who is obviously very good behave like ordinary people? Or even worse than ordinary people? For more than 10 years? The most important thing is, if the father is really the Lord Ghost, why not teach the second brother to practice Shinwu Taoism, but let him explore on his own? Qin Feng was puzzled, but this thought made him upset. He wanted to know the truth so much. No, I have to figure this out. Qin Feng muttered to himself as he narrowed his eyes. Hmm, cough, cough. In the lobby, the father who was drinking tea suddenly choked on his tea. The second mother on the side did not care, but said with a half smile, You can choke even if you drink tea. Is it because you are thinking about others? Even though the black-robed woman who came today was transformed into a monster. Even my daughter's family was shocked. Madam, what are you talking about? In my eyes, all women except you are vulgar. Qin Jianan spoke righteously. After all, Er Nyang is a lady and she doesn't have too many concerns. When she heard this, her cheeks turned red, and she let out a sigh, and most of the complaints in her heart disappeared in an instant. The two chatted for a few more words, and the father suddenly stood up. Master, where are you going? I'm going to look for Fonger. I'm still worried about whether those two are monsters. I have to tell him a few more words. It makes sense. Ernyong nodded and said again. By the way, I also want to tell Fonger to keep some distance from the black-robed woman and don't make Jianli think too much. Okay, I understand. After saying that, Father Qin hurriedly left the lobby. On the other side, Qin Feng spit a stick of incense searching through the room where his father usually stayed. But he did not find any suspicious clues. Think about it. If Dad is really the leader of ghosts, how could he not have one or two space treasures on his body? Something that can prove his identity must be carried by him. Maybe I can think of a way to search Dad? Qin Feng rubbed his chin thoughtfully. At this time, he looked at a wooden box on the table. Because the wooden box is extremely conspicuous. How could a normal person place something they want to hide in such a conspicuous position? So he has been ignored. But right now, in the huge study room, only this wooden box has not been opened. Qin Feng raised his eyebrows slightly, opened the wooden box, and a fragrance hit his nostrils. Placed inside, is an exquisite women's sachet with autumn maple tattoos. There are also four small words sewn on the surface of the sachet with golden silk thread. Dan Maple welcomes autumn. For some reason, when Qin Feng saw this sachet, a trace of inexplicable sadness emerged deep in his heart. He felt familiar yet unfamiliar with this sachet. Just when he was in a daze, a voice suddenly came from behind. Feng, what are you doing? Qin Feng was shocked and turned around quickly to see his father with a strange look on his face. It's nothing. I just want to come here to look at Wang Yuage's previous account books and compare them with current operating profits. In desperation, Qin Feng casually found an excuse. When the father heard this, his face froze. When Wang Yu residence was under my management, it was always at a loss, which is incomparable with the current booming business. If you look at the previous accounts, what's the point of comparing them? He made a mistake and forgot that his father was a money-splitting boy. Qin Feng twitched the corner of his mouth glanced at the sachet in the wooden box, and hurriedly changed the subject. By the way, Dad, I accidentally saw it when I was looking through the account book. This thing. Could this sachet belong to my mother? When the father heard this, he also looked at the sachet in the wooden box. A trace of sadness flashed in his eyes, but he quickly disappeared it. Yes, this thing was indeed left behind by your mother during her lifetime. Your mother's favorite thing in her life is the red maples in autumn. At that time, she would ask me to accompany her to the Fire Maple Mountain in Fontian City to see the maple leaves all over the mountain. And that's where your name comes from. Qin Feng fell into silence. According to the memory of the original owner, his father told him 
that his mother died of a stubborn illness shortly after giving birth to him. Dad, what disease did mother suffer from back then? Qin Jianan was stunned for a moment, then sighed. You were still young at that time, so I found a reason to lie to you. However, now that you have grown up, you should know the truth back then. In fact, your mother did not die of illness, but because of the demons that invaded the city. Qin Feng looked shocked, and then heard his father talk about what happened back then. 18 years ago, my father left Feng Tian City for business. As a result, powerful demons dared to invade the imperial capital of Dikian. Although the god-suppressing Siyu took action and severely injured the demons and repelled them, one-fifth of Feng Tian City was still destroyed. Countless families were broken, and there were countless deaths and injuries. And Qin Feng's mother also fell asleep on that day forever. When the father said this, he blamed himself. If I had not left your mother's side at that time, perhaps such consequences would not have occurred. When Qin Feng heard this at first, he thought it was his father who said it out of guilt. After all, there are so many masters in Feng Tian City. The demons and ghosts that dare to invade Feng Tian City and can successfully escape under the hands of Jinchen Siyu must be extraordinary. Even if the father stays with the mother, it will have no effect at all. And they may even die together. But when he connected his father with the identity of Lord Ghost Head, these words became meaningful. Qin Feng took a deep breath. He originally wanted to slowly explore, find his father's flaws, and determine his true identity. But after hearing the truth about his mother's death and seeing his father's guilty look at the moment, he wanted to ask directly, Dad, what are you doing? Before he finished speaking, he heard a burst of exclamations coming from outside the study. The father and son looked at each other and hurriedly ran out of the study. Then, they saw a figure flying through the air not far away. Judging from his appearance, he turned out to be Lord Ghost Head. Chapter 290 Why Don't You Give It To Me? Qin Feng's eyes widened. He glanced at the equally surprised father beside him, and then looked at the ghost leader who was flying into the sky, although he didn't know why Lord Ghost Head suddenly appeared. But after this scene, he also confirmed that his father was not Lord Ghost Head. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief, but also felt a little regretful. Dad is still the same scammer he is familiar with, and there is no chance of him turning around. You are really as heroic as an immortal. Father Qin sincerely praised him. By the way, Feng, what were you asking just now? Qin Feng came back to his senses. His doubts about his father's identity had been dispelled. He thought of the sachet in the wooden box. Dad, what kind of person is mother? When his mother passed away, he was still too young. There were no photos in this world, and her mother did not leave any portraits. Therefore, it can be said that he has no impression of his biological mother at all. When the father heard this, he sighed, and then began to tell. My mother is a beautiful woman with a lively and cheerful personality. Wherever she is, there is always laughter and laughter. Mom likes autumn, likes maple leaves, likes reading, and likes weird things. Your mother is not simple. She has a photographic memory. She can remember almost every storybook she has read. You are so smart. And those who have entered the literary sage path must have inherited your mother's talent. It's a pity that she is just a commoner. Otherwise, if she could enter Haowen Academy and practice Wenchung Taoism, her achievements would not be too low. Qin Feng was shocked when he heard this. The ability to have photographic memory? Aren't they exactly the same as his pupils? Could it be said that his pupil's superpower was inherited from his mother? But there is still a problem. The original owner has been studying for more than 10 years and has never awakened the power of the double pupils. It was not until he traveled through this body that he activated the power. Could it be that what conditions are needed for the awakening of this superpower? And his time travel is the opportunity. Dad, who is mother? Qin Feng asked urgently. The father replied, He is just an ordinary civilian. What kind of identity can he have? It was by chance that I met and fell in love with your mother. Qin Feng nodded. Is your identity concealed? Or is it a coincidence that mom's own power awakened? Nothing is known. Thinking of the reason for his mother's death, Qin Feng asked, can traces of the demons and ghosts that invaded Feng Tian City be found now? To dare to invade Feng Tian City and then escape alive under the command of Jinshin Siyu. His strength must be extraordinary. Such monsters are a disaster no matter where they go. When the father heard this, he raised his eyebrows and said solemnly, Feng, although I don't know the reason why you asked this, I want to make it clear to you. That demon is terrifyingly powerful. You must not think about revenge. The reason why I named your brother Chinan is because I want the family to be safe. If your mother was still alive, she would definitely think so. Dad, 
You misunderstood. I still know myself. I am just asking this question because I am worried that the monster will cause trouble again. Jean Fong said truthfully. That's good. Dad nodded. How can I, an ordinary person, know the whereabouts of the monster? This kind of thing is not something you need to worry about. After all, Dickian still has the Demon Slayer division. And one day, he will kill the demon and ghost. This was obviously a simple statement. But in Qin Feng's ears, it seemed like a promise. The father and son chatted some more about their mother. And before they knew it, the sky became dark. Dad was about to leave when he suddenly thought of something. Although those two are your friends, they are also monsters. You still have to be careful when dealing with them. Also, your mother asked me to tell you to keep some distance from the woman in black robe. And don't let others misunderstand you. Chin Fong twitched the corner of his mouth. Sister Emo was hundreds of years older than him. What misunderstanding could there be if they stayed together? Uncle, who are they? La Ning Shuang looked at the beauty in black robe and the beautiful little girl with a shocked expression. She just went out to practice swordsmanship with the young lady. Why were there two more people in Chin's house when she came back? And looking at my uncle and these two people together, I always feel that their relationship is extraordinary. La Ning Shuang suddenly remembered a storybook she had read before the male protagonist and it was flirting with women everywhere, causing all kinds of romantic debts. When she first read it, she sneered at the male protagonist and firmly believed that her uncle was not such a person. But at this moment, her heart was shaken. Could this woman in black robe be my uncle's outside lover? Then this little girl. Could it be my uncle's daughter with her? She's so old. Lan Ning Chuang was going through a brainstorm. Her expression changed several times, and she turned her head to look at her young lady. Lu Jinli was seen staring at the black-robed woman as usual, not knowing what he was thinking. When Qin Feng saw his appearance, he knew that Lan Ningxuang had misunderstood. He originally wanted to take Sister Emo and Xiaobai to visit the Qin mansion and get familiar with the environment. But who would have thought that a few people would just bump into each other? Listen to my explanation, Qin Feng said. Ningxuang, do you still remember the senior snake in the black mist forest and the little beast I told you? For no reason. Uncle, why did you mention that? La Ningxuang frowned. Now there are obviously more important things that need to be explained in front of her and the lady. This sister M.O. is the transformation of Senior Snake. And Xiao Bai is the transformation of that little beast. Then, Qin Feng told the lady and Ningxuang what happened. Lu Jianli was thoughtful. La Ningxuang covered her mouth with a look of surprise. Not all demons and ghosts in the world can transform. Because transformation is a natal magical power. That is a method that only extremely talented demons and ghosts can possess. And generally demons and ghosts that can transform can definitely reach a high-level realm. Because of this, La Ning Shuang was so shocked when she heard Qin Feng explain their true identities. After explaining, Qin Feng introduced, This is my wife Lu Jianli, and this is Ning Shuang. Sister Mo stared at the beautiful figure in white with great interest. You are Lu Jianli, who is famous in Dakian. Judging from the aura on your body, could it be that you have entered the third level realm? Lu Jianli nodded slightly. When Sister Emo saw this, her eyes became even more interested. She hasn't fought against anyone for a long time. Mainly because she didn't have a suitable opponent. She was already itching and couldn't bear it. When she saw Lu Jianli, she was naturally eager to give it a try. She also wanted to see if the rumored Lu Jianli was really the most talented in the world of swordsmanship. Are you going to compete with me? Sister Emo asked excitedly. Lu Jianli shook his head. No need. Although she likes martial arts and swordsmanship, she is not warlike. After coming to Jinyang City, every time she took action was because of the people she cared about. Sister Mo couldn't hide her disappointment in her eyes. It was rare to find a good opponent, but the opponent had no fighting spirit, and she couldn't force her attack. She just found it boring. Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief. The small Qin mansion could not withstand the torment of these two women. At this moment, Sister Mo had a plan on her mind and glanced at Qin Feng aside. How could she, who had lived for hundreds of years, not know how to make a woman angry? Then, amidst the puzzled looks of several people, she walked up behind Qin Feng, then put her arms around the latter's neck, looked at Lu Jianli, and said with a smile, I like this brother too. Why don't you give it to me? I, as soon as these words came out, Qin Feng was petrified on the spot. Chapter 291 Jealous Lu Jianli Qin Feng ignored the softness coming from the back of his head and the orchid breath in his ears. He just felt like he was about to suffer. Lan Ningxuang's eyes widened, while Lu Jinli watched quietly. 
Xiao Bai on the side was licking his fingers with a curious expression. The atmosphere suddenly became weird. Sister Emo, don't make such a joke. Jean Fong said hurriedly. He wanted to break away from the other party's arms. But how could he do it? Hearing this, the beauty in black robe blinked Kazalin's big eyes, pretending to be aggrieved and said, What's wrong? Brother? Isn't sister attractive? That wasn't the case when you took away my personal belongings that night. Something close to the body? Londing Shuang said in surprise. The illustrations in the storybook instantly appeared in her mind and could not be dissipated. Uncle, I didn't expect you to be such a person. Ning Shuang, don't listen to her nonsense. That personal thing is just the true meaning of life left behind during the tribulation. It's a snake scale. If you don't believe it, you can ask Master Sher and Yang He. Qin Feng tried his best to defend himself. With, Madam, you have to believe me. Qin Feng was about to cry, but had no tears. Fortunately, when Lu Jianli saw this scene, he said calmly, I believe you. When Qin Feng heard this, he let out a breath. It was great to have a woman who trusted him. Sister Emo showed a surprised look. Is there such a generous woman in the world? It's unscientific. I remember when those flirtatious foxes and Tushan seduced the eldest sister's men. The eldest sister almost brought down the entire Tushan. If the nine-tailed demon fox hadn't been so powerful, I'm afraid there would be no more voluptuous foxes like Tushan in this world. Just as she was thinking this, a Qi Jed just brushed past Qin Feng's temples and pointed directly at her. Aunt Emma was startled and hurriedly let go of Qin Feng, then jumped back with her body tiptoeing. Seeing the Qi machine attack approaching, she stretched out her left hand to block it, but was repelled by the Qi machine for more than three feet before she could stop. The sudden scene made everyone freeze on the spot. Miss? Lan Ningxuan looked surprised. Sister Emma was just joking. Madam, don't take it seriously. Qin Feng stepped forward to persuade her. Naturally, he didn't want his wife and Sister Emma to have sex. Firstly, he was worried that one of them would be injured. And secondly, he didn't want the Qin family to be harmed. I know. Lu Jianli nodded slightly. Lips parted slightly. It's just that I suddenly wanted to find someone to practice my skills with. Hearing this, third Aunt Emma raised the corner of her mouth and her eyebrows were like willow leaves. Let me just say, how can any woman in the world remain indifferent when she sees her beloved being held by another sexy fox? No, no, I'm not a fox. At most I'm a snake. You're talking so much. Why don't you fight? Lu Jianli's tone was as usual. But the energy around her body caused her white clothes to fly. But it showed her inner feelings at the moment. She didn't know why she suddenly wanted to fight with him. But when I saw the other party holding Qin Feng so intimately, I felt quite uncomfortable. That feeling was as if someone had taken away my favorite sword when I was a child. No. The current situation was far more uncomfortable for her than that feeling. Fighting. Of course we have to fight. Isn't it inappropriate to just do it here? Sister Emma looked around. After all, this place can be regarded as half of her new home. When Lu Jinli heard this, he didn't reply. He just tiptoed and jumped into the sky. At the same time, a light blue barrier like water vapor instantly enveloped a new world. Realm? It's interesting. The black robe beauty jumped into the sky with high fighting spirit. And then a blue-black barrier emerged. It's also a realm. And it is on par with Lu Jinli's realm. Qin Feng and Lan Ningxuan were shocked when they saw this scene. Within a moment, a silent battle began in the realm. And white light streaked across the night sky. Although the news of the battle did not spread to the entire Jinyang city, the strange scene made the people in the city admire it. On the other side, outside Tinjiuxuan, old man Bailey was drinking with a middle-aged man while watching the battle in the realm. This middle-aged man is none other than Father Qin. Thank you. Thank you. No need. But, how long do you plan to hide it? The old man took a sip of wine and asked lightly. It turns out that the ghost leader who appeared during the day is not actually a real person, but an illusion created by him using the fairy magic mirror. Flowers, water and moon. The purpose of doing this is to help Qin Jianan dispel Qin Feng's suspicion. It's not yet time. At least until they can take charge of their own business. Ha ha. It's really not easy to be a father. The old man half smiled. The news about Wan Jian Sek must have reached Fontian City. Is there any movement over there? Father Qin asked in a deep voice. The old man swung his wine glass. Of course some people can't sit still. But your daughter-in-law's family is not an economical person either. Some unworthy characters have been suppressed by them. In other words, there are still some people who don't open their eyes and want to take action against Fomer. Father Qin's tone was filled with seriousness. 
The death of Qin Fengyang was an eternal pain for him. And he vowed to protect his family from the moment he stepped down as the Beigui leader. If anyone dares to touch his evil scales, the son of the minister of war will be punished. As the two chatted, Father Qin asked again about the demon that invaded Fontian City. The old man shook his head. Half of that monster's body and soul were shattered by Mr. Zhou back then. It would take decades to recover. Although it has shown traces in the southern region, no one can confirm whether it is its true form. When it is powerful to a certain extent, it is easy to perform the clone method. When Father Qin heard this, he fell into silence. At this moment, the realm above the Qin mansion shattered, and a dazzling white light illuminated the night. Ha! Huh. He is indeed the subordinate of that tigress in the western region. He is really powerful. The old man raised his eyebrows. The battle is over. One snake and one man are evenly matched. Looking at Sister Emmo and Lu Jianli falling down again, Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, both parties just clicked. Lu Jianli did not sacrifice the purple lightning divine gun or the Hanzui sword, but only used the sword transforming method of the 5th level 10,000 god realm of sword intent. And Sister Emmo didn't use her natal magical powers. She was just using the power of the realm and the physical body. I haven't had a fight like this for a long time. It's so comfortable. Sister Emmo was satisfied and twisted her neck, making a clicking sound. I remember when I was in the western region with my eldest sister. In order to protect the land of dragon veins, we would do one small dozen every three days and one dozen every five days. But in order to help my eldest sister take care of the children, those days are gone forever. She smiled at Lu Jinli and said, I just made a joke to get you to take action. I just treat him as my younger brother and have no other thoughts. You don't have to worry. Qin Feng's face froze when he heard this. And at the same time his heart dropped. He actually felt a little bit regretful. Hey, man, it is indeed the same everywhere. Eating from the bowl and looking into the pot. I should reflect deeply. Qin Feng fell into self-examination. But he was still very happy. After all, the lady most likely chose to fight Sister Emo because she was jealous. The simple Lu Jinli does not understand the sophistication of people and superficial skills and will only show the truest side of his heart. Qin Feng only felt that such a lady was very cute. Chapter 292 The Opportunity to Enter the Second Level In the past, Qin Feng and Lu Jinli usually did not eat together. But today is different. In the guest room, Sister Emo and Xiao Bai were feasting, while Lu Jinli was sitting next to Qin Feng, eating the meal quietly and elegantly. The fighting power of the two foodies was so strong that within a moment, most of the food on the table was wiped out. This result was also expected by Qin Feng. I'll go to the kitchen to get some more food. Qin Feng stood up. Uncle, I'll go with you. Lan Ningxuang said. Good. The two left. Lu Jianli and three others were the only ones left in the guest room. At this time, Sister Emo suddenly put down her bowl and chopsticks and said with great interest, How did you get to know him? When Lu Jianli heard this, she paused with the chopsticks in her hand. She was not good at words. So she simply told what happened after she married to Jin Yang City. The voice is crisp and full of tenderness. She didn't realize it herself. But when she recalled those bits and pieces, the corners of her mouth would always raise inadvertently. That was the most unique time for her. You can't tell. But that guy knows how to please women. Sister Emma raised her eyebrows slightly. Then you have to watch carefully. What do you mean? Lu gently raised his head in confusion. Although I am not interested in him. There is no guarantee that other women will not fall in love with him. Just like the man my eldest sister once was. It's not uncommon to see flirtatious foxes around me. If I remember correctly, in addition to the Ningxuang just now, there was a woman wearing a black scarf with him in the black mist forest. I can tell that the woman is also interested in my husband. Lu Jianli knew who the woman the other party was talking about was Miss Song from the Demon Slayer Division. Sister Emo said, Although you and he are married. In this world, it is normal for a man to have three wives and four concubines. So you cannot let down your guard. Unless, you are willing to share the person you love with other women. Lu Jianli did not respond to this. She had not considered these issues yet. For her, being able to stay with Qin Feng is enough. Just at this moment, Qin Feng and his wife came back with the dishes prepared in the kitchen. When Aunt Emo saw the piles of food, she immediately forgot about the topic she had just discussed. Xiao Bai also knocked on the table gently with both hands, his eyes shining. Qin Feng sat down and Lu Jianli looked up, his bright eyes shining brightly. What's wrong? Qin Feng asked curiously. Lu Jianli shook his head. 
not knowing what he was thinking. After dinner, Qin Feng and Lu Jianli walked hand in hand in the Qin Mansion and arrived at the Lake Pavilion. He remembered the time when Lu Jianli first came to Qin Mansion. The latter always sat in a wheelchair, stayed in the pavilion, and looked at the sky quietly. At that time, although they were called husband and wife, they seemed to be strangers to each other. But who would have thought that not only are they married now, but they have also experienced many ups and downs. It's really like a dream. Qin Feng and Lu Jianli talked about what they had seen in Baiwa Valley, and then talked proudly about the poem he wrote. Oh, to be precise, it was the song I copied. As soon as this poem was published, there was no longer any controversy as the leader of beauty poems in Dakian. After all, it is a famous poem by the poet Li Bai. When it comes to praising a beautiful woman with poetry, this is the first thing that comes to mind for most people. Qin Feng even thought that if he wrote this poem in a brothel in Fontian City, those courtesans might let him spend his whole life in vain. Lu Jianli smiled lightly and looked at the man in black talking, just watching and listening quietly. After Qin Feng was tired of bragging, he suddenly asked, By the way, you have entered the third level Qi Xian realm, and your next goal is to hit the second level realm. Are you confident? The beauty in white pondered for a moment and replied softly, Since ancient times in Dakian, there have been only a handful of beings who can step onto the second level. Rao is a master who has experienced many years and has stopped at the peak of the third level, unable to take that final step. Qin Feng was thoughtful after hearing this. Needless to say, the strength of the leader of Wanjian sect is well known among the top leaders of Dakian. But even if sect master Yu is so old, he still cannot reach the second level? What is the opportunity to advance from the third level to the second level? Lu Jianli replied. At the third level, the strength in a martial artist's body is basically complete. Master once told me that after the third level, if you want to continue to improve, what each lineage needs to condense is no longer strength, in energy or literary energy, but something else. Qin Feng was stunned and asked tentatively, Does it mean that if you want to step into the second level, you need to absorb spiritual energy? Lu Jianli looked sideways. Her lips parted slightly. Master did mention the word spiritual energy, but he also sighed that spiritual energy is too scarce in the world. This also determines that there will not be too many existences in the world who can step into the second grade realm. Hearing this, Qin Feng was shocked. He suddenly thought of what Sister Mo said, that the dragon-suppressing monuments in major heavenly cities would contain spiritual energy. Originally, he thought that someone wanted to use that spiritual energy to speed up his practice. But looking at it now, could it be that someone wants to use these spiritual energy to enter the second level realm? Wait a minute. If I can attract the spiritual energy born from the dragon veins of Jinong City, let the lady absorb it. Can you help the lady to enter the second level realm? In the formation books I read before, there is a kind of yin gathering formation, which can collect the yin chi between the heaven and the earth. Maybe with a little improvement, I can change the yin gathering formation into the spirit gathering formation? Qin Feng's eyes lit up when he thought of this. But after thinking about it, he felt that this idea was not realistic. The Dragon Suppressing Monument has existed for a long time. And it is also the proud work of Fontian City God Workshop. Trying to snatch spiritual energy from the Dragon Suppressing Monument is probably a bit of a fool's errand. Unless I can know the details of the aura stored in the Dragon Suppression Monument. And then find a flaw to draw part of the aura to the Qin Mansion. Qin Feng rubbed his chin. His brain spinning rapidly. For this, he had to find someone from the Shin Gong Fong and find out some information about the dragon suppressing monument from the other person's mouth. And if he remembered correctly, he had previously asked the master of Shin Gong Fong to brew immortal drunkenness on his behalf. Calculating the time, he should send someone over there in the next two days. If the idea of attracting spiritual energy can be realized, it will not only help the lady to reach the second level, my second brother, and I can also practice at a much faster pace. After all, spiritual energy is the condensed essence of heaven and earth and it is a rare thing for all existences in the world. Just when Qin Feng was still thinking about the feasibility of the plan, on his shoulders, two slender hands pressed him down onto the railing of the lake pavilion. Huh? Madam, what's wrong? Qin Feng was curious and wanted to turn around and look. But as soon as he turned his head halfway, the beauty behind him hugged him like Sister Mo before. The waterfall of hair fell down, making his cheeks itch. Take a gentle sniff and your nose will be filled with the feminine fragrance. That's it. Stay for a while. Lu Jianli's face flew to her cheeks. Her voice as low as a mosquito. She just wanted to cover up the aura of the black-robed woman on Qin Feng. 
The thoughts are innocent. Just like a child. Okay. Qin Feng held the beauty's catkin and enjoyed the quiet time. Chapter 293, I still have a lot to learn from my master. The next day, Qin Feng left Qin Mansion and came to Tinjiuxuan. The old man was still lying on the wicker chair as before, with a jar of wine in his hand. Relaxed and comfortable. You brat! I have slacked off a lot in my practice after going out. As soon as the two met, the old man started to retort. Even after becoming a master and apprentice, the old man's bad habit of having a bad mouth has not changed. After saying a simple H, lo, he stepped into Tinjiuxuan and searched up and down with his eyes. The long-legged figure was not seen. Twenty days after leaving Jinong City, has Miss Son not returned yet? Qin Feng sighed and began to look through the books, looking for information about formations. It is worth mentioning that after he stepped into the seventh grade righteousness realm, the literary chi he absorbed again would be assimilated by the purple righteousness in the divine sea. This actually saves a lot of effort compared to a martial artist condensing his blood into energy. After spending a day in Tinjiuxuan, he read through many books. Although there were many books on formations, none of them provided him with any ideas related to the spirit gathering formation. Seeing that it was already getting late, Qin Feng sighed and could only give up for now. After all, he had to observe the sky at night and look for the destiny star that would advance to the sixth grade hexagram destiny realm. Outside the attic, the old man saw him shaking his head and sighing, and asked, What's wrong, brat? When Qin Feng heard this, he did not hide anything and told him that he wanted to change the Yin Gathering Formation. Changing the Yin Gathering Formation to the Spirit Gathering Formation? Do you want to help that girl Jinli collect spiritual energy and help her step into the second level realm? The old man raised his eyebrows. Qin Feng touched his head. Acquiescing, the old man smiled half-heartedly. You are brave enough to dare to covet the aura of the Dragon Vein Land. It's a good idea. And it's indeed feasible. Really? Master, how should I do it? Qin Feng said excitedly. There is a book called Jie Jie in Ting Yuxian. You should have read it. Qin Feng nodded. The old man said leisurely. A formation. Pays attention to the right time, place, people, and everything. The Yin Gathering Formation uses the positions of the Four Directions Bagua to guide the Yin Qi and gather the Yin Qi. Then the Spirit Gathering Array is nothing more than a different introduction. Qin Feng understood instantly. Master, what you mean is to change the introduction of the Yin Gathering Formation from Yin Qi to Spiritual Qi? Good. However, spiritual energy is too scarce in the world. Where should I look for spiritual energy as a guide? You know, he has never seen what Aura looks like. The old man showed a meaningful smile. Since you have this idea, you know that spiritual energy will be born in the land of dragon veins. The reason why these spiritual energies are not discovered by outsiders is because the dragon suppressing monument absorbs all these spiritual energies. In this case, you can look for opportunities to intercept some of the spiritual energy before the dragon suppressing monument absorbs it. In this way, wouldn't the problem of the introduction be solved? Master said it was easy. But how easy is it? This is a problem you have to solve yourself. The old man crossed his legs and spoke again. However, I can provide you with an idea. Dragon veins are born underground. If the dragon suppressing monument wants to absorb spiritual energy, it must follow the direction of the dragon veins. Therefore, the construction of Zhilong monument is quite particular, and it is not as simple as it seems on the surface. Qin Feng was thoughtful after hearing this. The implication of the old man's words is that the place where the dragon suppressing monument was built was not randomly designated. He suddenly remembered that when the group of scroll kings from Shingonfang were building the dragon suppression tower, there were many people scattered around Jinong City, working on the streets. Originally, he thought those people were expanding Jinong City, or building a protective barrier. But looking at it now, those actions are probably related to the dragon suppressing monument. They want to confirm the direction of the dragon veins, so that the dragon suppressing monument can better absorb spiritual energy. Thinking of this, Jin Feng's eyes lit up. As long as he knew exactly where those scroll kings had worked, he might be able to find a way to intercept the spiritual energy successfully. Moreover, after knowing the direction of the dragon vein, if we can successfully build the spirit gathering array in the future, we will be more confident about bringing the spiritual energy into the Qin mansion. Although he was happy, Qin Feng said with some worry, But master, the Dakian Emperor's Mingxin workshop must have a purpose in building dragon suppressing monuments in various major cities, to absorb spiritual energy. If I really build a spirit gathering array to attract the spiritual energy of this place, 
Will the people in the imperial capital notice it and get into trouble? Are you still worried about getting into trouble? I thought you must be fearless if you dare to have such an idea. The old man said in a strange tone. How about forget it? Jean Fong said weakly. Although he really wanted to help his wife improve her cultivation, he could never ignore the safety of his family. This was his bottom line. The old man waved his hand and said, Dragon vein lands are different. And the amount of spiritual energy they can produce naturally varies. As long as you don't draw away all the spiritual energy from this place. Who can know how much spiritual energy there is here? Jean Fong suddenly realized it. He looked at the old man and said with admiration from the bottom of his heart. Sure enough, I still have a lot to learn from the master. Not to mention the immortal magic that he had been obsessed with before. The old man's cunning alone was enough for him to learn it for a lifetime. By Wa Valley, in the courtyard where birds are singing and flowers are fragrant. Phylon, why did you run away from home again? Things in Jinong City have obviously come to an end. So why do you keep rushing there? Song Mu, who was wearing a black dress, was lying lazily on the bench. Her light blue eyes looking teasingly at the woman not far away, who also covered her face with a black scarf. It is Miss Song whom Chin Fong has not seen for a long time. Hearing this, Song Phylon frowned slightly. When my aunt says this, you might as well think about yourself first. She is the one who gives the old man the biggest headache in the family. And the other one is this aunt. She is obviously not young yet. But she has not yet married. It is not easy for their family to give birth to an heir. So how can they waste time like this? You don't have to worry about aunt's affairs. You should think more about your sweetheart. Song Wu sat up. The eyes revealed in the black scarf seemed to be smiling, but not smiling. I don't understand what you are talking about. Song Filan's light blue eyes flashed with a trace of embarrassment. But she quickly restrained herself. You have exactly the same temperament as your mother. You obviously like her very much in your heart. But you refuse to admit it verbally. When the family reached an agreement with a man from Fontian City and arranged for you to go to Jinyang City, you were extremely reluctant. Now that the matter is over, I can obviously leave. But I still want to go back. Besides caring about the lover in my heart, what other reasons could there be? Song Mu hit the nail on the head. My aunt must have slept too long on weekdays. And her mind was drowsy. So she spoke uncontrollably. Since there is nothing special to explain, I will take my leave first. After Song Filan said this, she wanted to leave, but was stopped again. Before you leave, you might as well take a look at this. Song Mu made a casual move, and a white scroll fell on the table. Song Filan's eyes followed and her beautiful eyes widened. Her eyes glowing. She had never seen such a touching beauty poem. And she immediately wanted to make it her own. However, as soon as this idea came up, Song Mu took back the white scroll. Neezy, I don't know what you are thinking. Stop it. This poem is mine. Tisk. A faint sound came from under the black scarf. Chapter 294 Rules are dead. People are alive. You stopped me specifically just to show off that you have a masterpiece? Song Filan frowned. What? You're not happy? When you showed off your poems in front of me, I was in the same mood as you now. Song Mu replied softly, with a smile in his tone. At that time, Nizi specially showed off the song. Siaku Shing. But she was so envious. Now her great revenge has finally been avenged. Song Filan snorted coldly and made no comment. Don't you think this poem is familiar? Song Mu suddenly asked. Familiar? Song Filan was slightly startled. This was the first time she had seen this poem. So how could she say it was familiar? Wait, that's not right. The literary spirit manifested in this poem. Yes, this poem was written by your sweetheart, his wife. Song Mu said calmly. As soon as these words came out, Song Filan was stunned on the spot. She naturally knew who the sweetheart her aunt was talking about was. As for that person's wife, she also knew it very well. She loves poetry and can naturally understand the emotions in poetry. Under the black scarf, she pursed her lips stubbornly. How could he come to Baiwa Valley when he was staying in Jinong City? Song Mu sighed when he saw this. Lu Jinli returned to Wan Jian sect to open the seal of hegemony of heaven and earth. Naturally, he came to find Lu Jinli. And you may not know that Lu Jinli has successfully overcome the tribulation and entered the third level of Shinwu, becoming the youngest sword god in the history of Dakian. While speaking, the beauty in black dress slowly stood up, came to Song Filan, and gently held her in her arms. This Nizi, who has been stubborn all her life, looks a little distressed at this moment. Silly girl. Many times, happiness has to be fought for by yourself. Don't be like my aunt. 
who has lived for a hundred years and is still alone. Sometimes, if you miss it, you miss it, and regretting it will not help. When Song Mu said this, it seemed that he was not talking to his knees in his arms, but to his past self. But he is already married. Song Filan murmured back. Yes, he is already married. And his wife is Lu Jianli, who is famous for his career. It is probably unrealistic to ask the latter to retreat in spite of the difficulties. The big deal is, you work together with the same husband, and the other party is Lu Jianli. So I won't wrong you. Song Mu chuckled. But it's family rules. You can marry if you want. Why should you bother with those rules? If your family doesn't want to give you a dowry, your aunt can do it for you. Auntie, apart from having a beauty that puts women to shame, I only have some spare money to spend. Although it was spare money, if the assets were really taken out, countless people would be shocked. A trace of longing flashed across Song Filan's light blue eyes, but it was quickly replaced by worry. Song Mu obviously saw something. What? Are you afraid that I am interested in you? But I am ruthless? Don't worry. I have read countless people, and that boy must have you in his heart. What's more, all men in the world are the same. They can't move when they see a beauty. Although you are not as beautiful as my aunt, you are not far behind. If it really doesn't work, at the worst possible outcome, you can just lift the veil and show your true face in front of him. According to the rules of the family, when the time comes, he won't be able to marry you even if he wants to. Song Filan said doubtfully, but you just said that you don't need to worry about those rules. Neezy, rules are dead. People are alive. If they are useful to us, they are rules. If they are not useful to us, they are not rules. Song Mu spoke righteously and spoke the wise words. Early the next morning, someone came to Qin Mansion. Qin Feng was just curious about who was looking for him. When he came to the gate, he saw two familiar faces of King Wan Gong Liang and Hui Yuan. The burly Hui Yuan immediately greeted, Master Qin, I haven't seen you for a long time. How are you? I came here this time to bring you the brood immortal drunk and the profit from selling it. The person who sent the information arrived. Qin Feng narrowed his eyes slightly and replied with a smile. Thank you for your hard work. At noon, the three of them gathered in a wing of Wang Yueju. At the dinner table, after filling the glasses for the two of them, Qin Feng asked curiously, It's enough for one person to send something. Why don't you two come together? According to his idea, the kings of Shingonfang would definitely avoid the thankless task of delivering things to people. But he never expected that two people would come this time. And they were both people with high status in the Shin workshop. Faced with this problem, Gong Liang and Hui Yuan looked at each other, then coughed dryly, and said at the same time, I just happened to come to the southern territory for a trip. However, the fact is that many people in Shingonfang are rushing to deliver things to Qin Feng. After all, it was a rare opportunity to meet Master Qin. Each of them had accumulated a lot of questions and wanted to ask them face to face. After a fierce battle, those scroll kings were naturally no match for Gong Liang and Hui Yuan. So they had no choice but to give up this precious opportunity to give away things. I see. Qin Feng nodded nonchalantly and then took out several jars of the original brew of Immortal Drunk from the Sumer Ring. His purpose was simple. To get the two people in front of him drunk and then ask about the dragon suppressing monument. Unaware of this, Gong Yang and his wife happily raised their glasses, exchanged glasses, picked up vegetables and toasted. And at the same time, they did not forget to throw out the physics problems in their minds one by one. At this point, Qin Feng also saw the purpose of the two of them coming together to deliver things. After three rounds of drinking, Gong Liang and Hui Yuan were not drunk, but became more and more interested. It was obviously a mortal drunk with a very high alcohol content. But for the two of them, it seemed to have no effect at all. Master Qin, when chopsticks are inserted into water, they will break. Is it because of the refraction of light? Master Qin, I still have many questions about mechanics. Please answer them for me. Although Qin Feng had been drinking from the two of them, he had also had a few drinks. When he heard these questions, he felt dizzy. He couldn't help but ask, Aren't you too drunk? Gong Liang and Hui Yuan looked at each other and laughed loudly. We men from Shingon Fong usually drink wine as water. The feeling of being drunk has never happened to me since I can remember. Qin Feng's expression froze when he heard this. If this were the case, wouldn't the plan of getting the two of them drunk to explore the information on the dragon suppressing monument come to nothing? No. I have to think of a way. Qin Feng's plan was on his mind. And his eyes were fierce. You too. 
I'm going out to sober up. And I'll bring you another fine wine by the way. So that you can have an eye opener. After saying this, he bowed and left. In the private room, the two men could still be heard laughing at his poor drinking ability. Chin Fong quickly called the waiter and whispered a few words. When the waiter heard this, his face turned ugly. Young master, are you really going to look for those drinks? If you can't get enough of that kind of thing, it will make you comatose for days and nights. Just go, and I'll take care of you if something happens. Not long after, Chin Fong brought a small pot of wine and filled it for the two of them with a smile. Master Chin, what's the significance of this small pot of wine? Gong Liang and the other two asked curiously. This wine is called a glass of wine. Hearing this, Gong Liang and the two looked at each other and smiled. Both of them didn't take it seriously. They raised their heads and drank the whole drink in one gulp. Just when they were about to laugh a few words, they felt a burst of anger rushing to their foreheads. This wine tastes very bad. It is far less mellow and long-lasting than the immortal drunk I drank before. But it is very strong. After a while, as the wine got stronger, Gong Liang and the two of them struck their foreheads and helped them to the table in a daze. Chin Fong was very satisfied when he saw this. The fake wine was indeed reliable. Chapter 295 Cutting Off Who's Spiritual Energy Brother Gong? Brother Hua? Chin Fong tentatively called twice. The two responded in nasal voices, but it was obvious from their looks that they were drunk with fake wine and their brains were not working properly. Naturally, Chin Fong would not miss this opportunity and immediately asked in a low voice, May I ask you too, where did you work when you were building the Dragon Suppressing Monument? There is also the Zhilong Monument that absorbs spiritual energy. Is there anything special about it? After hearing this, Gong Liang and the other two slowly spoke out the answers to the questions in a daze. Chin Fong was so focused that he was afraid of missing any detail. In about the time it took to burn an incense stick, the two of them fell unconscious and lay on the table. Although there are still some unclear issues, the principle of operation of the Zhenlong Monument is basically understood. Chin Fong murmured to himself, then took out the white scroll and writing brush from the silver ring, and then he drew all the places where work was done when building the Dragon Suppressing Monument according to what the two of them had said before. Within a moment, a street map of Jinyang City that resembled a dragon pattern appeared on the paper, combined with what the two said about the root of the dragon suppressing monument absorbing spiritual energy. Chin Fong already had an idea in his mind on how to intercept whose spiritual energy. There are many people with many eyesight during the day, and there will be a lot of inconvenience in doing things. Wait until midnight before thinking of ways to do it. However, rare things like spiritual energy cannot be stored in specific treasures like in energy. Even if I know the root of spiritual energy circulation, how will I preserve it when the time comes? Chin Fong fell into deep thought. If this problem cannot be solved, the spirit gathering array will not be created. Suddenly, a figure of a beautiful woman in black robe appeared in his mind. By the way, Sister Emma once absorbed spiritual energy for practice. With her ability, she must have a way to preserve the spiritual energy. After I get back, I will talk to her about this, and she will definitely agree. Thinking of this, Chin Fong smiled slightly, turning his head to look at the two people who were still sleeping. Chin Fong called the waiter and placed them in the guest room of Wang Yi residence. At dusk, Gong Liang and his wife woke up leisurely. As soon as they opened their eyes, they saw each other and immediately stood up in shock. The two of them were still feeling a little dizzy and aching. What's wrong with us? On the table in the guest room, there was a piece of white paper with Chin Fong's message on it. The two of them glanced at each other. And Hui Yuan frowned. Are we drunk? No. There's something wrong with the pot of wine Master Qin gave us. Gong Liang asked in confusion. But why did he get both of us drunk? Could it be? Hui Yuan's eyes widened and he asked in a trembling voice. Does your butt hurt? It doesn't hurt. How about you? I don't feel any pain either. After the words fell, the two of them looked at each other and breathed a sigh of relief. Perhaps Master Qin didn't want to answer any more questions about physics for us. So he got the two of us drunk. I can only think of this reason. It's getting late. Let's set off back to Fontian City quickly. Otherwise all the work we received there will be finished by others. That's fine. The two left Jinyang City in a hurry. And swore in their hearts that the next time they came here. They would never drink Master Qin's wine again. It was late at night. And only a few scattered houses on the streets of Jinyang City still had lights on. In the darkness, three figures were sneaking around. No, to be precise, only the leader was sneaking around. 
followed closely by two people, one tall and one short, looking around and strolling around. Xiao Bai's speech was slurred, and he asked in a crisp voice, Brother, why do you have to change into black clothes when you go out at night? Compared to this piece of clothing, she still preferred the black and white skirt from before. Because we came out to do something shameful, we naturally had to dress more discreetly. Qin Feng coughed dryly and did not answer the question. He originally didn't want to bring Xiao Bai over, but after discussing the matter with Sister Mo, he decided to bring her over. Sister Mo told him that only Xiao Bai had that ability to preserve spiritual energy. According to what Bai Rigongliang and his two men said, Qin Feng and his three men came to the southward location outside the five streets of the Demon Slayer Division. The route in which the Jinlong Monument absorbs spiritual energy is similar to a formation. And as he is well versed in formations, he quickly figured out that this is the best place to cut off whose spiritual energy. Qin Feng took a deep breath and took out many objects from the Sumer Ring. This is the key thing used to arrange the Jehu spiritual energy formation. In a short while, a circular formation was drawn in the center of the street. Qin Feng activated his pupil powers and injected righteousness into the formation. Immediately afterwards, he saw that under the earth covered by the circular formation, an aura as thin as a jade finger was flowing in the direction of the Demon Slayer Division. It was undoubtedly spiritual energy. Found it! Qin Feng said excitedly, and then activated the formation diagram. The spiritual energy split into two instantly. One continued to flow towards the Demon Slayer Division, and the other swept out of the ground. Sister Mo's beautiful eyes widened, and with her strength, she could sense the aura the moment it appeared. She never expected that Qin Feng, the younger brother, could actually snatch spiritual energy from under the dragon suppressing monument? Xiao Bai, can you feel it? It's now! Qin Feng called hurriedly. Yes! Xiao Bai responded. Her eyes brightened and two furry little ears grew on her little head. Just like when she was in her little beast form, she opened her mouth and inhaled gently. The strong wind ruffled the air, making it difficult for Qin Feng to open his eyes. And the spiritual energy swept out from the ground was instantly inhaled by Xiao Bai. Xiao Bai touched his belly and burped with satisfaction. The taste of Reiki is very sweet, and it is more filling than ordinary food. Qin Feng opened his eyes again. Everything was calm. The formation diagram on the ground had been blown away by the wind, and the spiritual energy re-entered the ground. He was stunned on the spot. Where is the spiritual energy that I drew out? It's in the little master's belly. Sister Mo's throat moved slightly. This was the first time she had seen so much spiritual energy. Sister Emo, didn't you say that Xiao Bai can preserve spiritual energy? What if he eats it all? Qin Feng was about to cry, but had no tears. This spiritual energy is what he plans to use, as a guide to set up the spirit gathering array. Don't panic, little master. Spit out the spiritual energy, Sister Mo said with a smile. Oh, Xiao Bai reluctantly opened his mouth again when he heard this. In Qin Feng's shocked eyes, the spiritual energy she had swallowed before was spat out again, and even turned into a round jade bead visible to the naked eye. Inside the jade bead is spiritual energy compressed to the extreme. Brother, give it! Qin Feng thought back to the scene that Xiao Bai spit out just now, hesitated for a while, and finally took the jade bead. When you start using it, there is no sticky feeling as expected, but smooth and delicate, Sister Emo said. The little master, like the eldest sister, can absorb spiritual energy into his belly and turn it into spiritual beads. The reason why the eldest sister convinced all the demons in the western region was firstly because of her great strength, and secondly because of this spirit bead. Giving both kindness and power? What a good idea. Qin Feng nodded. It seemed that Xiao Bai's mother was more awesome than he thought. It is a thigh and must be held tightly. However, Qin Feng picked up the spirit bead, looked at it carefully for a while, and said doubtfully, Although a lot of spiritual energy is compressed in it, compared to what I drew out just now, I'm afraid only a third of it is left. What? Where did the rest go? When the strong wind blew earlier, he was forced to close his eyes so he saw nothing. Xiao Bai burped and replied weakly, I don't know. Sister Mo also burped. She turned her head and said casually, Maybe she has returned to heaven and earth again. I believe you are a ghost. Qin Feng's face twitched. Chapter 296 The Spirit Gathering Formation is formed. The next day, before dawn, Qin Feng left the room. For the sake of his wife, and for the sake of greatly speeding up the cultivation of his second brother and others, he can't wait to try to create the Spirit Gathering Array. I really admire myself for waking up so early for my family. At this time, 
Others must still be sleeping. Just when Qin Feng was thinking this, the sound of breaking wind came to his ears. Turning the corner of the corridor and looking towards the yard, there was the figure of the second brother practicing his sword. Second brother? Why are you so troubled? Can you give your elder brother a way to survive? Qin Feng twitched the corner of his mouth. In the last life, the most frustrating thing was that others were richer than you and worked harder than you. In this life, the most frustrating thing is that the second brother is more talented than the eldest brother and works far harder than the eldest brother. Qinan has reached the peak of the sixth level of Shenwu, and his hearing power is far beyond what he could before. When he heard the noise, he asked in search of his voice, Huh? Brother, why did you get up so early today? In order to maintain his image as the elder brother, Qin Feng Tian replied shamelessly, It's not that I got up early. It's just that I practiced all night last night and didn't sleep. The second brother believed it and immediately showed admiration. Brother is really amazing. It seems that I can't slack off anymore. From today on, I will only rest for two hours every night, and the rest of the time will be spent practicing swordsmanship. I'm sorry. Can I take back what I just said? I was just pretending. Qin Feng's face froze. After bidding farewell to his second brother, Qin Feng walked around the entire Qin mansion and then returned to the room. He drew the trend of the dragon veins in Jin Yang City and marked the location of Qin Mansion. Since the spirit gathering array is to be arranged to draw part of the spiritual energy into the home, preparation work is naturally indispensable. Now that the spirit beads that serve as the guide for the spirit gathering array are in place, all that remains is to see how the spirit gathering array should be shaped. According to the ideas in the book, Array Explanation, combined with the four directions of the eight trigrams of the Juin Formation, Qin Feng sketched on the general map of Jinong City. And after about a stick of incense, the prototype of the spirit gathering array appeared on the paper. Then we start setting up the formation in the city. In order to deceive others, Qin Feng arranged formations in his own restaurant when he was wandering around Jinong City. Fortunately, he had bought most of the restaurants in the city before. Otherwise, he really wouldn't have been able to do this. Drawing the spirit gathering array is a big project. After all, it is very difficult to draw part of the spiritual energy from the Dragon Vein land to the Qin Mansion without letting others notice it. Fortunately, after three days, all the preparations were in place. And then it was time to carve the final formation diagram in the Qin Mansion and place the spiritual beads as the center of the formation. In the yard, Qin Feng carved the final touches of the spirit gathering array, took out the spirit beads from the Sumer ring, and placed them in the center of the array. The second brother and Haydn too were watching. Puzzled. Victory or defeat depends on this. Qin Feng breathed out lightly. After all, the spirit gathering formation is just his idealized product. Not the original in gathering formation in the book. Although he changed the formation guide according to the ideas given by Master Bai. And redrawn the formation diagram according to the trend of dragon veins. He was not sure whether it would succeed in the end. The spirit bead fell into the center of the formation. And within a moment, it emitted a strange wave. Qin Feng breathed deeply and looked at the formation nervously. This formation did not require the input of Wen Qi or Righteous Qi, because once it was successfully established, it would operate on its own. Not long after, the spirit bead was floating in the air in Qin Feng's surprised eyes. At the same time, a white light invisible to the naked eye flashed across the spirit gathering formation. The spirit gathering array was successful. The spiritual energy that was supposed to flow into the dragon suppressing monument was split into two in an instant, and the separated part naturally flowed into the Qin Mansion. At this moment, everyone in the Qin Mansion had a strange feeling. It was hard to explain, but it was very comfortable. In the lobby, Erin Yang picked up the teacup in her hand and suddenly paused. Sir, why do I feel that the fragrance of the tea today has the effect of helping people to concentrate? Dad looked away and looked outside the room, took a sip of tea and looked pleased. Madam, it seems that your tea-making skills have improved again. Master, this is not the tea I made. It was made by the maid in the house. What do you mean? The tea I made is not as good as this tea today? Erin Yang frowned. Father Qin immediately stiffened his face and hurriedly defended himself. On the other side, at the lake pavilion, Lu Jinli was looking at La Ningxuan on the lake and controlling her strength. Suddenly, she looked down at the earth. And then with a move of her right hand, jade-colored spiritual energy gathered in her hand. La Ningxuan also sensed the change and fell from the lake to the lake pavilion. Miss, what is this? This is spiritual energy. Aura? Lan Ningxuan exclaimed. As a sword servant of the Lu family, 
she had naturally heard of aura. Rare and rare things in the world can help people of any Taoist practice practice. And they have the effect of getting twice the result with half the effort. But why is spiritual energy born for no reason in the Qin mansion? Lu Jianli did not answer. But she had obviously guessed something. After all, she had just told Qin Feng about the opportunity to enter the second rank not long ago. Thinking of this, the corner of her mouth raised slightly. In the guest room, Xiao Bai said crisply, Auntie, it's spiritual energy. Lots and lots of spiritual energy. Aunt Mo smiled and nodded. Qin Feng in the yard clenched his fists and looked at the spiritual energy that was constantly flowing into the Qin mansion. He was naturally very excited at the moment. The second brother and Hei Tan Tu on the side also felt something. Is this the rumored spiritual energy? Uncle, everything you just did was to trigger this thing. Right. Haiden Tu looked shocked. Qin Feng smiled and replied. Yes. And so far, the effect is not bad. Aura, what is that? The second brother asked doubtfully. He only felt that his whole body was full of strength at this moment. And the energy in his body was also growing at an extremely fast speed. But the key point is that he is not condensing blood energy at all. Qin Feng explained the efficacy of spiritual energy to his second brother. And then said, From now on, you will practice by absorbing this spiritual energy. I believe that given time, you will be able to make a breakthrough. Okay. Thank you, eldest brother. The second brother looked excited, feeling that his eldest brother was really kind to him. You're welcome. You're just here anyway. Qin Feng said truthfully. Qin and stood frozen on the spot for a moment. 3,000 miles away from Jinyang City, to the west is Shuyang City. In the city's magistrate's office, a man hurriedly came outside a house and knocked on the door. Come in. A middle-aged voice came from inside the house. Reporting to the magistrate, the underground seal has been loosened, and the plague of corpses and ghosts in the city has become more and more serious. It is no longer something that the hundred ghosts in the demon slaying department can deal with. Moreover, the corpse poison is spreading, and many people are seriously ill. Although we have rumors behind our backs that the plague is spreading, if it continues like this, we will definitely not be able to hide it. We must ask the nearby Tianqing to send reinforcements. The middle aged man looked as usual when he heard this. However, a loud slap sounded immediately. I will be able to return to Fo Tian City in one month. Are you making trouble now so that I can't go back? But that corpse is a disaster. The man covered his face and hesitated. The cause of such a big commotion is simply that the devil sealed underground is hungry. So he just throws the death row prisoners in the dungeon to him. There are no more prisoners on death row in the dungeon. The man replied in a trembling voice. If there are no death row prisoners, we will throw ordinary prisoners there. If that doesn't work, we will capture some ordinary people and throw them away under the cover of night. In this world, it is common for several people to die inexplicably in one day. Do you need me to teach you about this kind of thing? The calm tone. But what he said was cannibalism. The man didn't dare to say anything anymore. Clasped his fists and bowed to leave. The middle-aged man put his hands behind his back and looked outside the house. He didn't want to stay in this ghost place for a moment. Chapter 297 There is such a good thing. A few days passed. In the guest room, Xiao Bai looked at the table full of food, glanced at Qin Feng who was smiling, and asked doubtfully, Brother, it's not even dinner time yet. Why are you giving me so many delicious foods? During the time when she came to the Qin mansion, Xiao Bai was deeply loved by the maids in the mansion because of her cute appearance. So people often played with her. Over time, she became more and more proficient in human language, and she was no different from ordinary human children. In the process of communicating with the maid in the mansion, she also had a rough idea of the time for three meals a day for humans. Aunt Emma on the side had her arms folded across her chest, squeezing them into an astonishing arc. And she also cast a curious look. Jean Feng smiled and asked, Xiao Bai, what do you think of your brother's treatment of you? Xiao Bai opened his mouth and smiled brightly, and the two tiger teeth in his mouth could be clearly seen. Brother is very good to Xiao Bai. Then, if my brother asks you for help, will you agree? Qin Feng followed suit. Yeah. Xiao Bai nodded heavily. Xiao Bai is so nice. Qin Feng raised the corner of his mouth slightly and rubbed the other person's little head. The latter immediately showed a comfortable expression and burst out laughing. Actually, it's not that difficult. Do you still remember the spirit beads you condensed some night ago? Reiki is of great benefit to my practice. But I often have to go out and cannot stay in the Qin mansion. However, there is no spiritual energy for me to absorb outside the Qin mansion. I just thought, 
It would be great if Xiao Bai could condense a few more spirit beads for me and keep them by my side for practice. While speaking, Qin Feng carefully looked at the black robe beauty beside him, who seemed to be smiling but not smiling. He trembled inwardly and quickly looked away. In fact, at his level of seventh level righteousness, the effect of spiritual energy on him is far less than that of the other divine warriors in the house. He wanted to ask for a few spirit beads, just to prepare for emergencies. After all, if something as rare as spiritual energy could be stored in the form of beads, its value would be absolutely immeasurable. For practitioners, spiritual beads are priceless treasures. Not only can this thing be used to win people's hearts, but it may also be able to be exchanged for things in the future. It is understandable that Qin Feng would be moved. When Xiao Bai heard this, he imitated the human race and patted his chest and agreed. She walked out of the room and came to the courtyard. Just as she was about to open her mouth to swallow the spiritual energy, she thought of something else. Brother, how many beads do you need? Naturally, Han Xian ordered that the more troops the better. Qin Feng's face was filled with joy, and he stretched out a finger, about to report the number of 100. Just at this moment, Aunt Emma, who had been silent until now, said, Ling Zhu and other things are enough, but his cultivation level is too low, and it will be useless to have more around him. My little master, just prepare three for him. When Qin Feng heard this, his expression froze, and he turned his head to look at the beauty in black robe. The latter blinked Kazlan's big eyes and asked, What's the problem? No, no. Qin Feng replied weakly, Three pills are three pills, which is better than nothing. Anyway, these two people will most likely stay in the Qin mansion for a long time, and they are not in a hurry. Qin Feng thought this way. Not long after, the three spirit beads were condensed and completed. Qin Feng put it into the Sumeru ring and suddenly thought of something. He looked at the black robe beauty and said with a smile, Sister Emo, the true meaning of life you gave me before was used by me to save my life. I wonder if you have any left. Hearing this, Sister Emo raised her eyebrows. My good brother, are you so concerned about your sister's personal belongings? Sister Emo, can we talk nicely? Qin Feng's expression froze. Sister Emo laughed so hard that she stopped teasing him. Although I also want to give it to you. It's a pity that the true meaning of life can only be born when you survive the high-grade heavenly tribulation. And I only have that one. However, my sister has something else here. I wonder if my brother wants it. What? Qin Feng asked curiously. The beauty in black robe did not answer immediately, but walked closer to Qin Feng and breathed like orchid close to her body. Although my sister has not yet succeeded in transforming into a dragon, the effect of her saliva is barely comparable to that of ambergris in curing people's injuries. If my brother doesn't mind, do you want me to fill a bottle for you? There is such a good thing. Qin Feng coughed dryly and replied seriously. Isn't this not good? While speaking, he reached his right hand into his arms, intending to take out an empty wine jar from the sumer ring. However, Sister Emo had already stepped away, stroking her cheek and saying, It's really inappropriate. My brother already has a wife. So what does it look like to keep my sister's saliva by his side? Forget it. Just pretend I haven't said that. I don't want to move much these days. If your wife gets jealous of me and starts to fight with me again, I won't be able to bear it. Is it because the snake doesn't want to move because winter has arrived? Does the snake want to hibernate? Qin Feng's expression remained normal. But he felt pity in his heart and took his hand out of his arms without leaving a trace. At the same time, he said aloud, I'm afraid Sister Mo is overthinking. My wife is well-educated, gentle, generous, and considerate. How could she be like you said? Well, in his mind, the lady is perfect. Really? The beauty in black robe half-smiled glancing in the direction of Qin Mansion's Lake Pavilion. At the Lake Pavilion, Lan Ningxuang said excitedly, Miss, this spiritual energy is really amazing. In the past few days of absorbing spiritual energy and practicing, the speed of energy accumulation in the body has improved by leaps and bounds compared to before. I feel that if things continue like this, I am confident that I will be able to reach the fifth level of Shenmue within a year. The words fell, but no one responded. Lan Ningxuang looked at the beautiful figure in white clothes and asked curiously, Mississippi Miss? Huh? Lu Jinli came back to his senses. Miss, why are you looking so red? Could it be that you are sick? It's okay. Lu Jinli responded softly with a hint of pink on the tip of her ear. But he thought in his heart it turns out that in his heart. I am like this. That's all. I won't fight that snake demon today. 
on the other side. Sheen Fong asked. Speaking of which, Sister Emil, how are you different from the original dragons when you turn a snake into a dragon? Is there a difference? Sister Emil thought for a moment and replied. For beings like us, the so-called transformation into a dragon is actually to transform the bloodline. For a monster to reach such heights, natural resources are indispensable. And what is more important than these two is its bloodline. If I don't transform into a dragon, I'm afraid that if I live for another thousand years, I will only be able to reach my current state. But after transforming into a dragon, I can try to break through to a higher realm. After a pause, Sister Emo spoke again. The reason why the Dragon Clan can defeat most monsters is because their bloodline is extremely powerful. It is extremely difficult for children of the Dragon Clan to be born. And because of this, they are born with the ability to reach the second level of Calamity. At the same level, they can defeat countless demon clans just by relying on their physical strength. When Xin Feng heard this, he couldn't help but sigh. I have only seen the Dragon Clan in books. And I don't know what the real Dragon Clan looks like. The beauty in black robe covered her mouth and said with a smile. If my brother wants to see it, wait until my sister transforms into a dragon. And I will let you see it all at once. How embarrassing is this? Chin Fong glanced at Sister Mo's figure and felt that the picture was so beautiful. Chapter 298 The Real Scholar After the spirit gathering array was established, Chin Fang's life returned to normal. Go to the Demon Slayer department to check in every day to make your presence felt in front of the leaders. When you have free time, Go to the entrance of Baoyutang and set up a stall to treat illnesses and save lives. Then I went to listen to Yachuan's Hong and continue reading books. Although the speed of accumulating literary energy and transforming righteousness through reading is not as fast as absorbing spiritual energy, Qin Feng has never given up reading because he firmly believes that knowledge is power. Of course, he also wanted to establish an image of a good apprentice in front of Master Chief. And by the way, he could mention things about immortal magic from time to time walking through familiar streets, listening to the calls of vendors on both sides. Qin Feng's memory suddenly drifted back to the time when he had just traveled through time. The figure with a black scarf on his face and long legs seemed to be still leading the way for him. He couldn't help but sigh in his heart. If it hadn't been for the marriage contract between his ancestors that made Lu Jianli his wife, where would he and Mist Song have gone? Then again, when will Mist Song come back? Just at this moment, Jean Foam heard the sound of someone selling candied haws, looking for fame. I saw the dark-skinned, thin middle-aged man I had met before. Jean Foam walked forward, and the honest doll owner obviously recognized him and greeted him warmly. There are not many big customers who can buy all the candied haws at once. Jean Foam smiled and nodded in greeting, and then saw the young man next to the stall, still writing there as before. But the difference is that this time the young man didn't write on the ground, but copied it on the book. With a smile on his face, the middle-aged stall owner saw Qin Feng's gaze, scratched his head and explained, Taiwar likes these, so I discussed with my mother-in-law and bought him a booklet for calligraphy practice. After a while, the middle-aged man sighed again, I don't have much ability. I want Taiwar to learn martial arts, but I don't have the money. In this case, let him do something he likes, and at least he can learn more words. Qin Feng nodded and chatted with the stall owner for a while. Although the stall owner bought a calligraphy practice book for his child, his idea that reading is useless has not changed. Think about it. There is no imperial examination system in Dakian, and the only way out for scholars is Howen Academy in the imperial capital. However, places like that will only open the door of convenience for the royal family and relatives. How can it be the turn of ordinary people in small places? He thought of the creation of the Kendo Alliance by the three Kendo masters with the intention of opening up the martial arts landscape. So where should the future of scholars go? In fact, he has also thought about spreading the method of entering the Wenshung Dao lineage in Dakian, giving ordinary people another choice. But he also clearly understood that this idea was difficult to realize. After all, according to what Yin said, to step into the realm of the ninth rank of literary saint, one needs to memorize 10,000 volumes of books. But for poor people, where can they find these thousands of books? And where can they have so much time to memorize them? Qin Feng sighed and looked at the young man who was copying the copybook carefully. What he held in his hand was not a brush, but charcoal for the kitchen fire. The words on the copybook had obviously been copied over and over again, and the marks were very deep. Even so, not a single page was broken, which shows how careful the young man was when writing. Qin Feng looked at the young man's serious look and suddenly smiled. You like writing? 
Then do you like reading? Jean Fong asked. The young man raised his head and nodded heavily. Do you know Wenxiang Daoist? I know that those are real scholars. But dad told me that I will never become a scholar in this life. The young man said in a depressed tone. But the light in his eyes did not dissipate. I'll tell you a secret. If you can memorize 10,000 volumes of books, you can become a literary saint. Jean Fong said seriously. Sir, the honest middle-aged man was shocked. For poor people like him, 10,000 volumes of books were simply unimaginable. He didn't want his little boy to have unrealistic ideas. Jean Fong stretched out his hand to interrupt the middle-aged man's words and then took out 10 books from the Sumer ring. I'll lend you these books. When you know these books by heart, you will return them to the Qin mansion. At that time, I will give you 10 new books. Is it really true? The young man looked surprised. He wanted to reach out to pick up the book, but he saw that his hands were covered with black stains of charcoal. He wiped his hands hard on his clothes, but he couldn't wipe them clean. Wiping, wiping, he cried in grievance. It was as if he would remain in the same darkness as these hands for the rest of his life. Tai War, a simple and honest middle-aged man, seemed to have something stuck in his throat, unable to speak or swallow. Seeing this, Qin Feng knelt down, put the book aside, and held the boy's hands. The righteous energy gathered on the palm of his hand, and within a moment, all traces of charcoal on the young man's hand dissipated, leaving him clean and white. He thrust the book into the boy's arms. The young man hugged him tightly, as if he had found a treasure. Brother, can I become a real scholar? For him, only those who are literate and holy are true scholars. But Qin Feng said, You are already a real scholar. While talking, Qin Feng picked up the charcoal and carved something on the ground. The stall owner and the boy looked curiously and saw only two lines of words. Heaven is in good health. And a gentleman strives to constantly strive for self-improvement. The terrain is kun. And a gentleman carries things with kindness. The moment I put pen to paper, a burst of fresh air rushed into the sky. The honest middle-aged man didn't understand this. But he felt his head was buzzing. The young man murmured and repeated these two sentences, his eyes shining. On the other side, Ting Yushuan suddenly started to tremble. The old man lying on the wicker chair pressed down with his right hand, and the attic returned to calm. He looked pleased. A true scholar has some meaning. The honest middle-aged man looked at his Thai baby with mixed emotions. Sir, if you don't mind it, just take all these candied haws. I won't charge you a penny. This was the best way of gratitude he could think of. Qin Feng shook his head, reached out, and pulled out three candied haws. And then he thought of Sister Mo and Xiao Bai, coughed dryly, and pulled out two more. That's all I need. Sir, it doesn't matter. Just take it all. The middle-aged man said again and again. But Qin Feng took five candied haws, waved his hand, and walked away. It wasn't until he watched the other party go away that the honest middle-aged man withdrew his gaze. Only then did he notice that there was still a small pile of copper coins piled on the stall. If you count carefully, you will find that it is exactly the price of five candied haws ten win. Tai War, the middle-aged man called out. The boy raised his head. Read well. You know? Um. Also, keep the image of your benefactor in your heart. You know? Um. Chapter 299 Mist Song Returns Arriving at Tinjiuxuan, the old man glanced at Qin Feng meaningfully. You brat, are you here so late? Something happened on the way. So I was delayed for a while. Qin Feng replied. By the way, master, when will you do that immortal magic? Before he finished speaking, he heard snoring. The old man hugged the wine bottle, closed his eyes, and pretended to sleep. Qin Feng's magical skill of twitching the corner of his mouth and falling asleep in a second. What a liar. The bad old man is really bad. It seems that this magical method can only be practiced slowly. As soon as I stepped into Tinjiuxuan, I looked up and saw a familiar figure. Her powerful legs were wrapped in blue-black trousers. And her black hair was like a waterfall. The beauty turned around and looked at her. Her face was covered by a black scarf. And her light blue eyes were still breathtakingly beautiful. Miss Song? Qin Feng looked surprised and climbed up to the attic and said, When did you come back? Song Filan looked at Qin Feng. Under the black scarf, the corners of her mouth were raised, and there was a smile in her eyes. But she quickly restrained it. She was obviously happy in her heart. But her tone was still cold. I have finished taking care of all the things at home. And I just came back today. I see. Qin Feng thought of something, took out a candied haws from the Sumer ring, and handed it over. This is for you. He thought he couldn't give away the candied haws. 
but he didn't expect Miss Tsong to come back. What is this called? This is called understanding. Tsong Filin took the candy haws and said thank you. A bright red flashed on the tips of her jade white ears. The two reunited after a long separation. So naturally they talked a lot. But for some unknown reason, Song Filin seemed to be deliberately avoiding matters at home and rarely mentioned them. Qing Feng suddenly thought of something and said, When I went to Wanjin Sect before, I passed by Baiwa Valley and met your aunt. At that time, I could tell at a glance that she was related to you. After all, they both had unusually beautiful eye colors, and their faces were covered by black scars. However, is it a tradition for women in your family to cover their faces with a black scarf? Is this true for everyone? When asking this question, Qin Feng's eyes glanced at the other party's black scarf. The woman in the black skirt had told him that Miss Tsong's secrets were all under the black scarf. As long as she uncovered it, she could see everything at a glance. By the way, what does Miss Tsong look like? The more Qin Feng thought about it, the more concerned he became. And I don't know if it's his imagination, but the other person always brushes the hair beside his ear intentionally or unintentionally. As if he is taking the initiative to lift the face towel. Do you want to take off the hijab? At the same moment, the two people had surprisingly the same thoughts. No, no, I will definitely be beaten to death by Miss Song if I dare to uncover her face. Qin Feng quickly gave up this idea. He seemed to remember vividly the scene of Master Sher being held to the neck by Miss Song. I must be crazy to think of listening to my aunt. Song Filin frowned slightly, finally put down her right hand and folded her arms in front of her chest. Both of them fell into silence and the scene was a little awkward for a while. In order to break the atmosphere, Qin Feng took the initiative to change the topic and said, Your aunt is just like you, and she also likes poetry. At that time, I was in Baiwa Valley, in her Baodai Pavilion, and composed a poem, which she specifically asked me to write down. Hearing this, Song Filin paused. She did not take up the topic, but suddenly asked, If I ask you to write a poem for me, will you agree? Qin Feng was stunned for a moment and then replied firmly, With my relationship with you. Of course there is no problem. What kind of relationship do I have with you? Song Filin looked sideways, her eyes burning, and there was an inexplicable expectation in her light blue eyes. Of course we are good friends. Qin Feng replied truthfully. Really? Song Filin responded softly, then turned around. Under the black scarf, she pursed her lips. A trace of disappointment flashed in her eyes. After bidding farewell to Miss Tsong outside Tinjiuxuan, Qin Feng returned to Qin Mansion. Unknowingly, night falls quietly. After dinner, Qin Feng sat in the room, opened the window, and began to observe the sky with his spiritual consciousness, looking for the destiny star. Huh? He suddenly said in surprise. It's not because he found a blue or purple destiny star. There is still a white destiny star in the starry sky, but one of them is shining with white light far shining brighter than the other white destiny stars. This situation was something he had never encountered before. What's going on with this destiny star? It's obviously a white destiny star. So why does it have to be so bright? It's so unconventional. Qin Feng had not heard Master Xiang talk about this situation. But he would not ignore it. After all, there must be monsters when things go wrong. Master once mentioned that if you meet someone rich and powerful, your luck will be contaminated and you will be able to observe higher quality destiny stars. Perhaps, there are high and low white destiny stars, and this bright white star is the best among them. Is it because I met Miss Song again that this change occurred? Qin Feng had such a guess. No, that's not right. Miss Song and I have known each other for a long time. If it was because of her luck, it wouldn't have been reflected until now. But except for Miss Song, my experience today is no different from usual. At this time, Qin Feng suddenly thought of the young man who liked writing and reading. Out of good intentions, he gave the other person a possible future. This is also the biggest difference from what he usually encounters. Is it because of that boy? Qin Feng frowned and thought for a long time, but couldn't find a clue. He once again looked at the white destiny star with his spiritual consciousness, staring at it for a long time, until the night was dark, and then he slowly withdrew his gaze. He pinched his eyebrows and concentrated for a long time activating his consciousness, which made him exhausted. Alas, I didn't find the destiny star above the white color tonight. Qin Feng sighed. After washing, he lay on the bed and fell into sleep. He had a strange dream. It was pitch black in the dream, and there was the sound of water dripping in my ears. It was obviously a dream. 
but he seemed to smell a damp and rotten smell. Suddenly there was a flash of light, and two strong men whose faces could not be seen clearly carried the unconscious man in white prison uniform and advanced towards the depths of darkness. They came to an underground cave. Outside the cave, there were densely wrapped black chains. On the surface of the chain near the cave, there are dark red marks and dark black unknown attachments. Immediately afterwards, the two strong men threw the man in prison uniform into the cave and hurriedly turned around and ran away. After the deathly silence, there was the sound of crunching, chewing, echoing in the darkness, making people's hair stand on end. From Chin Feng's perspective, he clearly saw blood splashing from the cave and onto the chains. In his dream, he kept zooming in and approaching the cave. The sound of chewing became increasingly clear, just as he was about to see the scene inside the cave. A white bone hand stretched out and thrust towards him. Chapter 300 The Plague in Shuyang City Qin Feng was awakened instantly and gasped for air. Young master, are you having a nightmare? Qin, who was cleaning the room, asked with concern. Qin Feng turned his head and looked around. And it was already dawn before he knew it. He rubbed his head and whispered back. It's okay. That dream was too real. And now he seemed to be able to smell the rotten stench and blood in his nostrils. How could you have such a dream for no reason? Qin Feng was panicking for no reason. After all, the last time he dreamed about his wife going through a tribulation, it actually happened. He was also worried that the contents of this dream were also real. But there were so few things he saw in the dream. So how could he know where they were? Or maybe, this is just an ordinary nightmare. If it doesn't work, let's talk to the master about this later. Qin Feng thought like this. Just at this time, the concierge came outside and said, Young master, someone from the Demon Slayer Division is here to look for you. It's the muscular man who came last time. I asked him something, but he didn't say anything. He just mentioned your name. Qin Feng instantly guessed that the person coming must be Fong Tianan. That boring gourd. Okay, I understand. After getting up and putting on his clothes, Qin Feng came to the gate of Qin Mansion. Next to the gate stood a man wearing a demon slaying uniform. It was not Zhang Tianan. Just as the other party was about to speak, Qin Feng reached out to stop him. I have paper and pen here. Zhang Tianan pondered for a moment and silently took the pen and paper. But his eyes were obviously filled with resentment. After a moment, Qin Feng looked at the white paper. The content on it was concise and concise. The Demon Slayer Department is asking for help elsewhere. Master Zhou is looking for you. Qin Feng was curious. Why are you looking for me? Generally speaking, if a local demon slaying division encounters a demon disaster that cannot be handled by itself, it will seek help from the hunting envoy or other demon slaying divisions. But he is just a scumbag, unable to deal with the disasters caused by demons and ghosts. Master Zhou will never look for him, unless he is needed to save someone. Zhang Tianan picked up the pen after hearing this and quickly wrote the content. Qin Feng looked at the white paper and saw three big words written on it I don't know. His expression froze. And then he sighed helplessly, wondering why it wasn't Yang He who came to inform him. Oh, I almost forgot. That guy was sent to other places by Mr. Zhou some time ago. Okay, I understand. Let's go to the Demon Slayer Division first. When they came to the hall where Mr. Zhou was, in addition to Mr. Zhou and Mr. Sher, there was also a thin man with a three-star with spirit on his waist. He must have been the man who came here to ask for help from the Demon Slayer Division elsewhere. The man looked tired and saluted respectfully when he saw Qin Feng. Seeing the heavy expressions on Mr. Zhou and Mr. Sher's faces, Qin Feng asked, What happened? Then Sher Ziming told what happened. The thin man's name is AMU, a 7th grade martial artist from the Demon Slaying Division of Shuyang City. Some time ago, a plague broke out in Shuyang City. After some people were infected, their bodies turned black and their flesh and blood dried up. Although the magistrate in the city promptly blocked the infected people to prevent the spread of the plague. Even so, the number of infected people was still increasing day by day. The Chinese medicine doctors in Shuyang City tried their best. But the plague was so weird that all the doctors were helpless. Siming, the Demon Slayer Division, hoped that the magistrate would notify Fotian City and send an imperial doctor to treat the plague. However, there was no response from the county magistrate for a long time. In desperation, AMU was ordered to go to the nearest heavenly city, Chiyuan City, to meet with the governor Li Mingxian. Then he learned from Mr. Li that there was a miracle doctor in Jinong City who might be able to drive away the plague. So Amuma rushed here without stopping, asking for help. 
For this reason, he has not closed his eyes all day and night. How? Jean Fong, are you sure? Master Zhou asked. After hearing this, Jean Fong frowned. It's not clear yet whether it can be cured. We have to go to Shuliang City to see it before we can confirm it. Hearing this, AMU looked at Qin Feng in surprise. How could he have imagined that the miracle doctor Mr. Li said would be such a handsome young man? Looking at the token on his waist, this young master is also a sapphire demon slayer. AMU didn't think much and hurriedly clasped his fists and said, Master Qin, Dr. Qin, if you can, please come with me to Shuliang City as soon as possible. Otherwise, if it drags on for too long, I'm afraid the plague will continue to spread and the number of infected people will increase greatly. Naturally, there could be no delay in rescuing people. So Qin Feng agreed immediately. Shuyang City is 3,000 miles away from Jinong City. Since it does not pass through Huarong Road, it is necessary to cross mountains and ridges to reach it. In order to prevent accidents on the way, Mr. Zhou planned to send a few people to escort him along the way. Zhang Tianan and Qin Feng were old acquaintances, so they were naturally among the escorts. As for others, Shur Ziming immediately volunteered. This trip may be dangerous. To prevent accidents, I will go together. This was somewhat beyond Qin Feng's expectation. Master Shur, I don't think it's necessary. Don't you have other things to do here? The reason why Mr. Zhou has not returned to Qiyuan City is to cultivate Shur Ziming and make him more reliable. Therefore, Shur Ziming basically reviews official documents on weekdays. Qin Feng glanced at the official document on the case, which was already half a man's height. How much has accumulated? But as soon as he said this, he saw Shirzi blinking at him without leaving any trace. The tacit understanding between the two allowed Qin Feng to quickly understand each other's eyes. Master Shir obviously didn't want to stay here to review official documents. So he had to escort him to Shuliang City to deal with the plague. This is just trying to be lazy. Master Zhou, it suddenly occurred to me that the source of some plagues is due to excessive Yin Qi. As a practitioner of the Hundred Ghost Taoist, Master Shir, if he can go together, he may be able to provide me with considerable help. Qin Feng conclusive words. Mr. Zhou nodded and did not doubt too much. I originally thought of letting him continue reviewing official documents here. But the top priority is to solve the plague in Shuyang City as soon as possible. In that case, let him go with you. Without further ado, prepare yourself and set off immediately. Okay. Several people took the order. Qin Feng returned to Qin Mansion. Cleaned up briefly bowed and explained a few words to his family. Then he came to the door and waited. Not long after, he heard the sound of horse hooves. It was Shur Ziming and others who came. Qin Feng suddenly widened his eyes, because he also saw a heroic figure, who turned out to be Mist Song. Mist Song, why are you here too? Qin Feng asked in surprise. I recently wanted to improve my demon slaying order level, but I still have some achievements to make. I happened to hear about the incident in Shuyang City and wanted to go together. Song Filin said lightly. That's it. Qin Feng nodded. When Shur Ziming heard this, he raised his eyebrows and looked strange. When did this girl care about the level of the demon slaying order? It's not because I'm worried about this kid. He thought again of Xiaoyu in the brothel. She had clearly said that she would only accept him as a client. But she fell into the arms of another man the next day. Just because the other man offered more money. Sure enough, a woman's mouth is really not trustworthy.